Welcome to the new series, Does Your Favorite YouTuber Know His Yu-Gi-Oh Card Prices? Now, this is a new series that I came up with. It's not all gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers. We might have some Pokemon YouTubers. And as today, there's someone that's neither. He's just a commentary YouTuber, Jarvis Johnson. Jarvis Johnson is a former software engineer turned commentary YouTuber with nearly 2 million subscribers. He is well known for his hilarious reaction style videos, as well as his internet battles with content farms such as 5-Minute Crafts. Today, we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh card prices. Prices. What's up, guys? We're here with my first ever episode of this new series, which I'm pretty sure I named earlier and I already forgot the name. So we're getting into it with Jarvis Johnson. Jarvis, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited. Uh, you told me the idea for this and I couldn't wait to play. I'm not that I'm going to do good. <laughs> not, that I'm gonna, not that I'm going to do well, but I'm, I'm excited to play. First of all, we're going to be asking you 15 different questions okay. based on the question. It's the same question every time. What is this card valued at? I'm going to show you 15 different cards. You as a Somewhat a Yu-Gi-Oh enthusiast. I mean, you're, yeah. you're a collector and all that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. your. It's you're, you're not a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTuber, but you're close enough. You know, I'm around. I'm around. I again, I have my little spots. We were talking about this earlier. Like I have my areas of expertise, and none of those though is usually the raw prices of cards. So, so I'm curious <laughs> to see. I think at first I'm going to have to calibrate even like what does a Yu-Gi-Oh card even cost, <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna do 15 questions. The idea here is that you stay as close to the actual value as the value is. So if it's a $15 card and you guess $15, you're right on. If you're anything around that, like 20, you're gonna get five points. So your points are gonna add up as we go. We're gonna have a meter on the screen so you guys can see. You want to stay within percentage points of the total value, which this right. sounds confusing. We've got a graph on the screen. It's not gonna be, if you keep it within 25% of the total value, at the end, you will win $100 for the audience. That's you, audience. You keep it within 10% of the total value out of all 15 questions. You win $250 giveaway for the audience. 5%. $500, yeah, we're getting insane. And if you go absolutely super <laughs> Saiyan God mode or whatever and get within 1% somehow, $1,000 giveaway. So I hope you do that at some point, you know, you or somebody else. I know, I hope I don't let your audience down. I hope I can win them some money. Just please keep within 25%, don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I really mess up your bank account. Last thing before we actually get started with the questions, there are three lifelines for Jarvis. He'll be able to activate these at any point during the Ooh. 15 questions. I'm gonna let you know no, now, I haven't told him these yet, so let's just see what you think. The first one, tell me which amount tier I am in. So there will be three tiers. The tiers are one to $100 value. There's gonna be five oh, okay. questions in one to $100. There's gonna I be see. five questions in tier two, 100 to $250. And then there's gonna be five questions in tier three of 250 plus dollars. I'm grabbing a pen just, just so that I can- Yeah, you uh, can write down, <laughs> you can take notes, do everything you wanna do. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Your lifeline will be, if you just ask me, hey, am I in tier one? two or three like which mm -hmm. amount range am i in that'll give you kind of a hint on what to okay, guess so that's my first lifeline lifeline number two will be lower or higher you get to put a benchmark you say any mm. number you want and i'll tell you if it's below or above that number okay and the final one will be you want to redo you want a new question from the same tier oh, so if, you, if i okay. ask you and you're like i have no idea Okay, you just great. ask me for a new question. It's going to be the same tier as you had before. I just have a second backup question for you. Okay, these are great. These I can't believe you put this together today. It already seems so well thought out. I don't know how. It just came to me as I was going. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if it works out or not. We don't, let's yeah, not praise yeah, yeah, anything yeah, yeah. yet. Question number one, Jarvis. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. 15 questions. You got to keep it close. All right. The <laughs> first one, you told me right before this that you opened one of these recently. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it's from a set you just opened. It is Dark Magician girl mega 10 mm. or mega pack 2022 first edition near mint okay mega pack dark magician girl so uh if memory serves from looking at the little price guide on tcg player obviously this is one of the money cards obviously it's dark magician girl you know um it's a fan favorite it is one of the mini reprints you know they're never gonna stop but there is a premium <laughs> on cards like this there is indeed yes what do you know about the Megatons? I know the Megatons, they're all reprints. They're all, you know, you got the prismatic rarity, which I love. I was yeah. telling Ruxin beforehand, I opened just one and I got myself a little forbidden droplet here. Dang, that camera's and then looking I, nice. And then I immediately stopped opening because I probably f***ed up my ratio, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, okay, you've, you've told me that you know they're all, they're, it's a reprint 10. So what does that mean? What exactly does that mean here? Well, what does it mean? Yu-Gi-Oh cards are expensive. It's expensive to build decks, especially meta cards, especially staples that you're gonna need. Like, yeah. for example, the forbidden droplet. 
So when those things come out and they become meta relevant, the price spikes, it goes up and it could become cost prohibitive for players to be playing with the meta cards. So Konami needs to do reprints to keep the prices within a reasonable range, right? So your forbidden droplets until this launch, I think they were like 80 to hundred bucks, you know? Um, and that's I know pretty close. I know the forbidden droplet reprint is somewhere in the like 20 to 25 range. And I do believe the Dark Magician Girl is the money card from this set. It's possible that it's not, and I'm thinking of another card, but my guess is gonna be $40. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're locking it in at 40 bucks. Let's go 35, let's go 35. Okay, you wanna drop it down to 35, that your yeah, final yeah, answer? Yeah. That's my final answer, 35. Okay, uh, you made a good decision there at the end to drop it down a few bucks. The final price, by the way, I used TCG player near mint low for all of these. Oh, near mint low, okay. You were very close when it was first released. It was around 30 bucks, but it fell okay. down to an official $23. Okay, 23 bucks. So, all right. You're not not too bad. You're, you're in the right ballpark. You're only 12 bucks off. That one's tricky because, you know, the market does shift a lot. So I think I haven't looked at the prices really since they settled. That one's pretty tough because it's like a new artwork and it's like kind of the card or whatever. So it's like, yeah. you know, you, you were in the right area, but it's kind of hard to guess with those exclusives. But not bad. You're only $12 off to start that. I don't know what percentage wise how we're doing, but uh, not too bad. Yeah, percentage wise, it's pretty bad, but you know, it's fine. The second question is, I'm sending it over right now. Gemini Elf first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. The picture is unlimited, but it's first edition. Yeah. I'm asking you about near first edition condition. Labyrinth of Nightmare. I oh, know you okay, have a connection okay. to this card, so. I do have a connection to this card, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, first 1900 normal monster. Uh, four star. I also, when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, like kind of over the pandemic, I did go on TCG player and buy one of these, but I didn't buy Ooh. it in first edition. I just wanted to like kind of have it and like look at it, you know, remember the old times. Here's the thing. Okay. Raw cards, raw near mint. It is first edition. Yes. Pack cards, like cards that come out of traditional sets, even in first edition in near mint are not crazy expensive. I feel like to get into the crazy expensives, you've got to get into like your, either your ghost rares and your starlights or, you know, your tournament packs, your things like that. So I'm between tier one and tier two. You, you do have lifelines if you want to figure it I out. I do have lifelines. This is what I would like to get right, but- uh, You kind of feel like you know it, huh? I don't know. Um, you, have a, you have a decent idea. I feel like you think you know. I feel like it's on the top end of tier one. Near Interesting. Mint. Near okay. mint. And the top end of tier one is $100. So I'm, I have half of mine to just say 150 and I have half of mine to say 80. Interesting. Okay. So you've got, you've got kind of a couple numbers you're going for there. I'll use a lifeline just for fun. You're going to go for the lifeline. Okay. I like it. I think I'm going to use lower or higher. Okay. The number I'm going to give is $150. You had some pretty nice numbers there. Uh, it is lower though. That is according what I thought. That that, that yeah. fits yeah, with what I thought. Yeah, you were on the right track, I think. I'm going to say $95, final answer. $95, interesting. Okay, so you, we know that it's below 150. You were between 80 and $150. I will tell you right now, before I reveal the answer, it is within that range. So you're between there okay. somewhere. Okay, so there near somewhere. mint first edition, Gemini Elf. The final price is $100. And five dollars. Oh, so I was close. Really I was close. close. <laughs> yes. Okay. You almost nailed feel, that right on the head. I feel good about that. I was hoping that you would just go. You know what? Eighty to one fifty. Let's just split the difference. And you yeah, yeah, really yeah. Close. That's roughly where I was going. I did kind of yeah. want to keep it in tier one. It's just a little bit over tier mm -hmm. two. But I was like top into tier one, low tier two. You know, I'm off by ten bucks. I'll take it. Okay. Question number three out of fifteen. So we're on, this. We're like not even a fifth of the way through here. So here we go. Number three, Magician of Black Chaos Premium Pack 1. Oh, interesting. I don't know sh I don't know sh about Premium Pack 1. Yeah, th this is what I thought might be a little tricky. Am I allowed to ask questions about Premium Pack 1? Yeah, you can ask questions. Go for it. What was the year of release? I believe 2008. Okay, so we're, I want to say post Upper Deck at this point. Uh, Upper, no, oh, it was still Upper Deck. Upper Deck, I think was 2009 or 10, somewhere around oh, there. okay. So but right it kind of, it started in 2008 was all the crap, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, so it's a reprint. Wait, it's a re reprint, right? This isn't the first printing of the card. This is the first printing, I believe. Oh, you know what broke 
you know what breaks my brain is all the video games. <laughs> I played all the Game Boy Advance games, and so I was like, this card's been around. Yeah, they, they just had it in there, and it wasn't a real card yet. Yeah, it's kind of like Blue Eyes Ultimate didn't go till 2006. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Interesting, yeah, because I'm I'm thinking of Demok. Which is essentially the same card. I get the two names mixed up every single time. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. annoying. So my strategy is I don't know anything about this card. If this card is the type of card that is in these like niche like minimally printed sets and it's the first printing and it's a secret rare then this could easily be a 250 dollars card and i just yeah. don't have a way of like kind of a north star or, or, or a bounding box to look into speaking of north star all you have to do is use your lifeline and ask so that's what i'm to... thinking so my strategy <laughs> well so like that comes that's you know now i'm coming back to my strategy which is i think what i'm going to do is use my lifelines early to try and gain as much knowledge to inform future future things. i like it that's a good strategy i do actually want to use my lifeline to figure out what tier it's in okay so you're asking which tier the magician of black chaos from premium pack one is in this is your second lifeline and the third question so you're using them early. I like yeah. the strategy. This is in tier one. There, I knew. See, I knew. I could have guessed so much higher. I'm just going to presume. See, I don't know about premium pack. Is it one of those packs that includes the same cards in every pack? It's a secret rare, but what does that really mean for that set? I don't know that set very well. Because it's tier one, I'm going to go smack dab in the middle of tier one and essentially give a guess that I would have given for like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is 50 bucks. $50. Okay, it's interesting that you said that about premium pack. The premium pack Japanese, I think they did all have the same cards. Mm -hmm. This one did not have all the same cards, but it wasn't a very big set. Right. So an iconic card, a very surprising price for me for how iconic it is. This one is $6. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy shit. That would have, that got me a lot. You know, that's crazy. Question number four, Jarvis, you were doing pretty well so far. I'd say that was your worst one, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. What, we got a rebound. We have the Effect Veiler Starlight Rare Eternity Code First oh. Edition Near Mint. I don't, this is not necessarily a first printing because Starlights can come later, uh, can be secondary printings, but it is a Starlight which is, you know, you bling out your deck, Effect Veiler, Hand Trap, not mm -hmm. the strongest Hand Trap, not the most played Hand Trap, but a classic one. One that was once a big staple and still sees play, to my knowledge of the metagame. I mean, I'm not like a huge- Hey, me either. That's why we're doing prices, not like how to play the game. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw out what my gut is. It's not a final answer, but I'm gonna work backward from here. Okay, it's sounds good. It's $220. Okay. The thing is, I don't know a lot about the historic prices of um, like older Starlight rares. What set is this in? Eternity this Code? This is in said? Eternity Code. I think 2020 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was the release. It's not a Starlight of an iconic character, but it's a Starlight of a staple card. I don't know if you know that in the Starlight sets, they do four Starlights from the actual set, like new cards, and then mm. one reprint. So this is the one of the reprint Starlights. Okay, well, it's, you know, it's a reprint. So, you, but but it does have that thing where like someone's going to want to put this in their deck to super bling out the deck. But it's not like a Blue Eyes or, or something like that. It's not like the Ghost Rare Dark Magician or something, you know, that right. commands a big price because of the combination of an iconic character and the, the heart, the difficulty to pull. Keep in mind, these are one out of 10 cases. Keep that in mind one out of ten cases that's true so they're very hard to pull you know what you've convinced me up a little bit so maybe you're just ruining my life here but i'm gonna go three hundred dollars final answer you want to go 300 that's what you want to go with <laughs> i mean maybe that's a bad guess I, i'm just wondering like you want to you want to lock it in i'm gonna lock it in i now you're making me second guess but you know we're here for content <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay all right you're locking it in I'm not, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you i just want okay. you to know all right jarvis has declared that the Effect Veiler is a $300 card. Starlight Rare, Eternity Code, First Edition, Near Mint. This card is, drum roll please, $840. Wow, that is way higher than I expected. Yeah, it's uh, it's an expensive one, yeah. that I mean, it makes sense. I guess it's like, cause I mean, there are Starlights that are in the 300 range. I'm surprised by how much this one has gone up. I personally bought two at around 400 a year mm. or two ago. And mm. I just had them in my deck just for no reason, just to be dumb. And then all of a yeah, sudden yeah, they yeah. went up to like $800. And I was like, what just happened with this card? To be completely fair, I wouldn't have expected any Yu-Gi-Oh card to have that sort of rise, <laughs> you know? Cause like right. most, most 
retro PSA 10s are not that price, you know? There's a weird, a weird thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! When it comes to the players, you would think it's the collectors, but the players really like these like deck cards that are high rarity and really hard yeah. to get. Like they actually seem to go up a lot. So this is one of those, like the hand trap high rarity stuff is insane. So you can see it here. I don't think my assessment was wrong, but I didn't know what the upper end right, looks yeah. like. These so, are just the hardest ones. So, so like now, now I'm like a little bit more educated. Now you kind of know I... this for like future questions that they are pretty difficult. All right, since we just had a really big miss, I it reminded me that we're doing one out of the 15 will be thrown out your absolute worst guess. That way you can't just like lose immediately on one question. So yeah, yeah, right yeah. now this effect Valor guess doesn't count. So you're okay, good okay. there. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna count it like you got it exactly right, even though you did it, unfortunately. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I knew it all along. The next question is, what is the value of Elemental Hero Stratos Ultimate Rare from Tournament Pack 9 Near Mint? OTS Tournament Pack 9. Uh, we talked earlier, GX, not my str strong point. Uh, I do know right. Stratos is like a classic card. I also know that you know, tournament pack nine is a long time ago. OTS and tournament pack nine. Keep that in mind. Not original. Oh, OTS. Oh yeah. So these are like the thing. Cause I feel like, what are we on now? Like 20 something? 20 comes out soon. So we're only oh, okay. 10 away from that. I don't know if it's yearly or every They usually do or... about three per year or something. Three, three to four per year. Per so year. this isn't so, that. This isn't that. No, this is only a few years old. Okay. So it's a few years old. It's an ultimate rare. It's a hard pull. I don't know how hard the pull is, but it's a classic card. So this is like your case of a, classic reprint in a high rarity. I feel like it's probably more collectors than anything else that are getting excited about this. <laughs> well, I'll give you I'll give you a hit on the OTS pull rates. They're about you usually get one ultimate every like 17 packs. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, what out of 10 cases like Starlights. But how many? I mean, you don't have to tell me. There's this, 3 percent. Like, so 3 percent. OK, on the originals. Yeah. Or the not the recent OTS. Sorry. My understanding of the OTS stuff is that like if you enter a tournament, you like get some OTS packs, right? It's a couple of packs usually yeah, yeah, per yeah. depending on the locals. I think that this has got to be tier two. I don't know the OTS tournament pack packs to be that expensive, especially the ones that are a couple years old. And, and if the pull rates are so good, then it, it it would stand to reason that if it was so expensive of a card, you would just like buy buy up these and like drive up the price and yeah. what, what have you. So I'm like, is it the low end of tier two or is it not even that? Yeah, I've, I've heard that you should go with your gut instinct. That's what I've heard. I'm gonna go with $125. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer, $125 on yeah. question five. Jarvis, Elemental Hero Stratos Ultimate Rare OTS 9 Near Mint. You redeemed yourself. This one is $139. So you're yes! only 14 away. Yes. <laughs> so close. You, you almost <laughs> nailed it. That was really, really good. Uh. So very good guess, very solid. You're back on track. If you wiped okay. away that last one, you're good to go. I, I don't know the total right. numbers. They'll be up on the screen. You're I looking mean, pretty still, nice. We got a long, we got a long round ahead of us. We are right. a third of the way through. You still have one lifeline left. Don't forget about it. Yeah. Let's move on to number six. Question number six. Here's one that I believe that you should be familiar with. <laughs> no, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, but I, I think you're familiar with it. Gate Guardian Metal Raiders Unlimited Near Mint. The picture's first edition, but Mint. unlimited, okay. not first edition. Okay. I mean, so I am familiar with the card. Yes. And I actually have, we pulled the first edition copy. Yes. I thought uh, about doing that, but I was like, he pulled it. It's too easy. But you know, it's funny. I can't even remember uh, how much it costs. <laughs> uh, you know, cause I'm always looking at the like graded prices anyway. Right, um, right. If for things that are like pack fresh, you know? Yep. Makes sense. So it's an old secret rare. It's classic but not the most popular card in the set. Like even though it's a secret rare, it's like a, it's like more of a tri-horned dragon than a you know dark magician girl, you know what I'm saying? Um, interesting, interesting. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's a little better than tri-horned dragon. I wouldn't go, I, I, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. A lot fair, of people fair. like Gay Guardian. It's not dark magician girl I know a lot of people level, like but... it, but it's not, uh, I feel like Beast Skull, and other like metal raiders, summon skull, like summon probably skull better. Are, like, yeah. are like higher, higher price cards, you know? So it's not even, it's like versus the difficulty to pull. That being said, it's unlimited. It's unlimited. I and want you to keep in mind, remember metal raiders has been reprinted a lot. Oh, right. So don't forget about that. This is, Wait, this is I, not Oh, that, that sucks because I was thinking of original printing, but now I'm remembering that the pricing is TCG player low. And so TCG player low, oh, then it's going to be next to nothing because you're going to get a Walmart reprint. Most um, likely a reprint price. Keep that in I'm mind. I'm going to guess $7 final answer. Seven. You want to go that low? 
Seeker uh, or Metal Raiders? You sure you want to go final answer on that? Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. It, it's still it's still nostalgia. It's still pretty big. It's I think you're nostalgia. underselling Gate Guardian a little bit for okay, how much people I, like it. Well, so like my thought was like, is it a LOB Blue Eyes reprint raw like 20, 30 bucks? I'll give so you I'm a hint. Like, the LOB Blue Eyes is about 50 to 60. Really? Interesting. Yeah, just because it's Blue Eyes, but. With that knowledge, I'm going to bump Gate Guardian up to $19 final answer. Okay, that sounds that sounds a little better. I like that. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. number six, you're going with Gate Guardian, Metal Raiders, Unlimited, Near Met, most likely a Walmart reprint. Keep that in mind. This goes for, you might be, I think you're going to be surprised by this based on your first guess. I will $33. Be. I'm very surprised. By yeah, that. so it, it still holds value. I think you're underselling Gate Guardian a little bit. A lot of people yeah. love that card. You know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking that, am I wrong that the, there's more Walmart reprints around of like blue, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes than there are for Metal Raiders. It seems to be like the location. There'll be like yeah. one place. There's like all Pharaoh Servant or all LOB or all MRD. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. it really just depends where you are. There depends like on a what mystery double. box you're opening on that day. <laughs> exactly. Like sometimes you buy 10 mystery boxes and they all have the same ones, like all LOB yeah. or something. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. Especially given my low ball. I'm glad I bumped it up. I thought in my head 30 bucks and I'm still like, that's too much. So it, I mean, it is too much. It's just because <laughs> it's such a nostalgic card. Like there's tons of them out there, but people will always pay 30 for Gate Guard. It feels like. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. Honestly, your score is probably looking really solid right now. We're on to question seven. The next one up is Genzo Secret Rare First Edition Near Mint. Oh. Okay. This one's gonna be hard for me, but I'll explain why. So, love Pharaoh's Servant, um, one of my favorite like retro sets. Love Jinzo. I used to have one of these that I played in my deck Ooh. because you know that was the whole. <laughs> you know, we didn't sell. It wasn't about the collecting back then. The issue is, I know that like last year, the first edition PSV Jinzo to PSA 10 was like 15k. But we are in different times. We are in different times. Ungraded. I actually couldn't even tell you how much of PSV. Oh wait, hold on. Can I use a calculator? <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. All right, all right, all right. We have editing. I'm thinking between 250 and 500, and I might just split the difference on that. So let's go, um, well, 250 plus 500 is 750. So 375, that's what you want to go with. I think I'm going to go with 375. I think I'm going to go 375. All right, 375 for a Jinzo Secret Rare Pharaoh Sword First Edition near Met. You are locking that in. I'm locking it in. So question number seven, the final value of a Jinzo near Met First Edition is four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, that's close enough. That's, close enough. That's pretty I'll take good. It. I'll, I'll yeah, take that it. That was close. Your yeah, uh, yeah. ranges, you were hitting the range. Under yeah, a thousand, yeah, yeah, you said two fifty yeah. to five hundred. Like he's yeah. in there. There it is. Yeah. Jarvis, you are doing pretty well so far. We're almost halfway through. After this, we will be over halfway through. Question number eight. This is one you mentioned it kind of earlier. A different version of this card. Mm, so mm, mm. we are asking about the Apollosa. Bow of the Goddess, Rising Rampage First Edition. This is the Secret Rare. Oh, so the okay. original print Secret Rare, not the Starlight. Same okay. set, but not a Starlight. So I have pulled this card. Oh, okay. But it was a different time. Um, and yes. also, I don't know if the card's been reprinted. In fact, I think it was reprinted in uh, Maximum Gold or something like that. Yes, it had alternate art as well. Oh, but here's the thing. People don't like maximum gold. Uh, players, I was players, gonna mention that, yeah. I think people players don't like maximum gold. You know, you got the little like bevels. It's like a little, everything's a little raised. I was gonna mention that, but you were. It seemed like you were on the right track, so I didn't want to steer you the wrong way. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, it's only reprints I believe are maximum gold as the regular or just as alternate art or something like that. Yeah. So. Oh no! It, no, it has a Megaton reprint. Keep that. Re oh, Megaton, it also has a prismatic secret rare. Yes. That is a nice rarity that people like. So that could th like sort of level the market in fact i might prefer a prismatic rarity a lot of people do yeah my actual my my cut is 78 dollars <laughs> is it is it really 78 yeah it is 78 i'm gonna go 78 final answer okay you're locking it in at 78 dollars. okay i like it this was a very expensive card especially when it first came out the value is Sixty dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can, so I can pretty good. That. You know, sixty definitely crossed my mind. Sixty definitely crossed my mind. We are on to question number nine. You're doing very well so far, I would say. Next up, we have Pot of Prosperity. This is the Starlight Ooh. Rare First Edition near mint. So it's another Starlight. This got you last time. So. Okay. This got me last time. But look. Okay. So Pot of Prosperity. It is a card that people play. Oh uh, yeah. Great card. But it also recently got a reprint. 
Um, but it this did is get this, a reprint. This is the Starlight. This is the Starlight we're talking about. And those players, they really like those blinged out cards. So keep that in mind. Tier three for sure. So, but then like tier three goes and it just goes, right? It's just 250 plus, right? Is tier three. I will tell you that there is nothing above $1,000. Okay. So okay. it's two, we'll say 250 to 1,000. So I'm thinking of that effect dealer, right? And I'm, and I'm comparing it to Pot of Prosperity. And I do know that the different pots, like the trade-off obviously in, in retrains of Pot of Greed is to, you have to give something now. Instead of getting these cards for free, uh, which, which one is Pot of Prosperity? I, I will give you a hint. This is, I believe, the most expensive pot card. Oh, interesting. So in that case, I mean, I was already thinking up high because I was thinking Effect Veil is a pretty, you know, staple type card being a hand trap. This is yeah. another card that can fit into a lot of different decks. So I'm like $600. It, that, that's, that's what comes to mind. And I'm like, is $600 too much? Doesn't seem like a crazy price. Doesn't seem like a crazy price. Is it eight hundred dollars? So that's that's a thing. That that's pretty crazy, yeah. Now this could be completely odd. While this is like a staple type card, while this is something that you bling out, Effect Veiler is a character. There is more as a even as a player, but like I feel like someone is more likely to bling out a card that depicts a character than one. It's a that's monster just a rather than a it's spell a monster, card. You right. know what I mean? I'm gonna go six hundred and fifty dollars. Final answer. Jarvis. Question nine. Is this where it all falls apart? Oh no! That's the question. Oh that no. That is the question. Pot of Prosperity, Starlight Rare First Edition, Near Mint. He had all this reasoning. He had these, he's comparing it to previous cards. He thought, oh, this is a perfectly reasonable amount. And he was right, because it's $670! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! That is so Woo! much closer than I thought you would get. When you said 600 I was like, oh my gosh, he is on the right track. And then you bumped it up even closer. Oh, oh, that feels good. That, that is good. a huge hit. Like, you're well within, like, 5% of that card. You know, we had to have our effect veiler so we could have our pot of prosperities. You know what I mean? Exactly. That that effect veiler really, I mean, you took a lot of, like, info from that. And definitely, yeah, yeah. like, I mean, you are on fire right now. <laughs> <You're really good. laughs> For all these cards that I don't own, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. All right. We are on to question number 10. You are dominating right now in the first <laughs> episode of this series that I forgot the name of that I named earlier. Maxi Ultimate. Maxi rare from Astral Pack for Near Mint. Oh. I'm going to give you a little info just so you know. Astral Pack is a tournament pack. So there's OTS that we talked about earlier. Before that was Astral Pack. So mm -hmm. you have to go back 20 OTS packs and then you have eight Astral Packs. So this is the fourth of those. So it's I pretty see. old at this point. This Okay, so this seems expensive as hell <laughs> just by the just by the cut of this photo this photo looks like it was taken in the olden times um, <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't use the tcg player I pictures, know, I know, but I know. yeah yeah it, it, it might be so okay so so this is a very controversial card next year. yes it's also banned in in the u.s it uh, is in the tcg and there's this thing of oh is it gonna come back master duel has it Does, did master duel ban it yet uh no they have not banned it i don't think so i do think that this is one of those cards though that people kind of hold on to in hopes of one day because it's like it's the it's it's a big ticket if it uh right, if it ever gets right. unbanned because everybody will want it as soon as that you have to have max c if you if it's being played so it, right it potentially a, an easy sale if it gets unbanned so it's one of those things that i feel like is maybe speculated on more than your average uh card that's banned this is one of the most speculated on cards oh really <laughs> damn okay yes uh, you're on the right track i want I know, you to but, keep yeah. going that direction people are way on this card for future unbannings. I mean, statistically speaking, a tier two would make sense here. Uh, how sure are you about this one? Not at all. Not sure at all. I, I actually- Remember you do have a third lifeline that could change the card. I know, that's the thing. So there's a part of me that just for the sake of it wants to make a guess on this one, but I right. also don't want to fuck up my track record given that I don't know anything about this card. Do I get to find out the price of it though when I skip? I will tell you the price. Uh, okay. Also keep in mind, this is your fourth tier three card. So there's only gonna be one of these. And these are the hardest ones to get close because they're so high, the the range is so big. Yeah. So if you're not really sure, I'd say that the, the lifeline's looking pretty tasty over there. I know, I, I would agree. Also, I feel like you 
gave it away and said this is a tier three. I did. I did give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Even then, you still have a Even very then, large range. So I will I will use the um, my last lifeline. Okay, I think this is a great decision because even before I even after I gave it away, it's still really hard. I'm going to tell you the price. The Maxi Ultimate Rare Astral Pack for near mint. Just give me your guess. What would you have guessed? So before, before you said anything, I was going to guess yeah. two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, yeah. Before uh, I told you that then, it was tier then three, you told me it was tier three and I was like, Ooh, I don't know. And then I would probably just split the difference again and do something like 650. Yeah. So you would still, I mean, we're talking high value. This one, the lowest price one in English near mint for maxi ultimate rare is $888. Yeah. So this is a yeah. card that people have been sitting on for years and it's just been slowly going up because everyone's like, it's going to get unbanned eventually. And yeah, that's, it's insane. That's kind of what I was saying about the whole picture thing. I was like, this one looks mythical. This one looks like, uh, yeah. this one looks like it's a, a thing that people are like a Bigfoot. You know, they've only captured a few <laughs> photos of it right and if you remember uh, it, when i opened every pack this is one of the last two packs i got because of this card mm, so yeah, that, that can, can it connect some dots for you on why yeah, it's so yeah, hard yeah. to get because everyone opened all the packs right right i do remember only hearing about this from your every pack opening i think both right. of those videos so yeah okay so you have now invoked your right to have another question so yes. let's grab this thing you will be asked it's the same tier which I told you a second ago is tier three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you'll be a little bit more familiar with this one. Definitely more familiar. I don't know if you know the price, but the, the re-question of number 10 is Dark Magician Ghost Rare from Ghost from the Past 1. First edition near mint. $550 final answer. $550. Final answer, you're locking it in right away. Pretty sure about this one, it seems like. I looked at a price for this card earlier today, <laughs> um, but I don't know I don't know what TCG player um, near mint lowest is gonna be. Maybe 475. Actually, let me drop it down to 500. I think you should stick with your gut. Okay, well, I did say final answer, so. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, yeah, we're gonna yeah, stick yeah. with that. This card, the Dark Magician, according to when I checked it, TCG player low of the English card is $650. I'll take it. So I'll you're still it. pretty close. I was like, don't go the wrong way here. But yeah. I, I was around 600 last I checked, but it seems like those had gotten bought recently. I don't know what the deal was. Yeah. So I, it's up I to actually, 650. Like, I, I might have, I had a price guide for, um, I might still have it open for Ghost of the... I literally have it open right now. Uh, it's 593 on the price guide. For oh, you're cheating right? over there? But Is that what's not, happening? No, I... <laughs> it's not. I, I uh, When we were playing this game, I was like, let me look at some recent sets. Yeah, let's try to get a little research in. Well, to try to figure out my bounding boxes. Because right, I was right. like... What are the, like, I was surprised that this card is so expensive because it just came out. It's holding up very well, yeah. It's first Ghost of the Past, yeah. Yeah, so it's two years old at this point, or a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we are on to question number 12. We are 10 out of 15 through this. This is going to be quite the video. All right, question <laughs> number 11. This one, I'm sure you're familiar with this card. I don't know if you know the value or have looked at it recently, but this is Mystical Space Typhoon, MRL first, near mint. I mean, I kind of have looked at this card recently, but I think I've only only looked at it in like PSA 10 and it's one of those cards that like you think would be a lot more expensive than it is at least in my experience it kind of seems like it would be a lot if it was over a hundred dollars because here's the thing I have a like near mint MRL set but I don't remember the prices of anything. <laughs> it was one of those things that like I bought in a collection. Yeah, the, the raw MRL, they're a little bit lower than you would think. And I remember looking at this card in my own possession and deciding not to grade it for $50 at PSA. Right. Wasn't quite worth it. Cause I was like, it, this is gonna get a PSA eight and it's gonna be basically $50. Right. I'm going to go $70. Final answer. Are you on final answer? 70 bucks? Yeah. I think it could be lower. All right. You think this is the last tier one card? All right. Question 11. Mystical Space Typhoon, first edition near mint from Magic Ruler. Is this the last card under $100 in this quiz? I guess we call this thing. Yeah. Jarvis? You better get to digging because this thing's $120. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I better get to digging. That makes no sense. I swear to God, I looked at like a PSA 10 of this and it wasn't that expensive. Maybe I'm like Pokemon brained because the fact that a raw card's $120 and the graded card, like I feel like you can buy a, a base set Charizard for like cheaper than- Yeah, this, that's because people in Yu-Gi-Oh actually care about raw cards, unlike Pokemon, so. That's, and that's on Pokemon brain. I'm Pokemon brain. Yeah, so if I'll you take 
Pokemon, they, there's nothing like if you grade it, it gets like 10 times value. So yeah, 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 let's go to the next one. I actually was scrolling through our DMs and found that where you sent me a picture of this card when you pulled it. So oh, I know you should have known this oh, at some point. Number 17, Leviathan Dragon Astral from Brothers of Legend. I literally just pulled this card out to grade. One sec. Oh, and there it is. There's and the there card we've been looking for right there. I, I don't know how expensive it is. <laughs> Just I, ask the card what it's worth. Okay, okay. Well, because the thing is, I was going through cards because uh, PSA has, it's like, you know, $15 bulk submission thing. And I'm going through and trying to figure out what I should send. And I was pulling out a bunch of cards that might be worth sending along. I remember this card isn't the most expensive card in its, in, in its set. Uh, I will remind you, it was in the Dragoon set with the Starlight. Right. Okay, so this is actually, this is because I don't remember this being over $100. I feel huh. like this was $90. That seems crazy given what we've discussed. That you still have it raw. Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, true. Like, because I think I pulled this and then I looked it up and I was like, okay. I'm gonna, it's in a, you know, it's a, it, it's in a, why can't I remember the name? Top of it? loader? Top loader, yeah, it's in a top loader. <laughs> it's, I put it in a regular ass sleeve. I didn't even put it in a penny sleeve and a card saver. What's that Interesting. about? Interesting, what, what What's value that about? range do you usually put cards like that in? What would you say? I mean, it must've just been what was on hand at the time, but yeah, I feel like this is another mystical space type in situation where I'm gonna be like, this is an $80 card and it's gonna be like- You seem to be making your way too. down. Interesting. I know, well, cause again, it's something I didn't want to grade. And I'm like, why is that? There was a reason at some point why you didn't grade it. You know, I could also imagine this being $130. You could imagine it, maybe. I could imagine it. You didn't. Imagine you it. said you would grade a card worth $130. Maybe. So. I. It depends on what PSA special. You said you'd be digging for $120, so $130. I mean, I'm gonna. I mean, my gut was $90, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna go with $90. Finally. Okay, stick it with 90. So you think this is the last tier two card right here? I'm not thinking of it like that. I'm thinking of it based on what my memory was. Do you think that it is a cheap card because you remember it when you pulled it being disappointed I mean, cheap with how card. cheap it was? It's not. I, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying I'm not so I'm not so rich. I'm not so like rich that I'm like thinking it's a cheap card. I just okay, go, oh, right. this is a starlight. And I was like kind of disappointed because I could have pulled the Dragoon, right? <laughs> I'm not putting words in your mouth. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just saying this is the lower tier, the lowest tier. So yeah, yeah, the yeah. cheapest of the options. Okay, let's reveal the answer. You guessed $90. Jarvis, it was too high. $57. What? Okay. $57. Okay. Okay. And this is I, what I knew would be tricky because it looks so good. Yeah, I know. I, that's what even 90, I was like, I think you, I, I could have gone lower because you were like, you're working your way down. And I was like, well, maybe he's saying that because it's higher. <laughs> I was and trying I just, to encourage you to keep going. <laughs> I couldn't go up. I couldn't go up to tier two. So yeah. I'll take it. I'll take well, it. Well, you are in the bucks. ballpark. That was the right range. I bet it was $90 when you looked at it because it has gone down. My memory is, yeah, because it's like, I think it must have been 80 bucks or something when I. Yeah, I think that, that was what you saw and it just, just gone down since then. Yeah, so you're yeah. pretty close still, even then only $23 off yeah, or yeah, $33 yeah. off, but yeah. not bad at all. We have three questions left. And honestly, you haven't missed any badly except the one that we've already wiped away. Know, so let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Question number 13. Raigeki Ultimate Rare OTS Pack Ooh. 2 Near Mint. So this is another Ultimate Ooh. Rare from the OTS set, but this was only the second set. So it's been several okay. years since this was printed. So this is interesting. So we crossed off Tier 1. So we're in Tier 2 land, and that helps me out. I do think it's a Tier 2 card. I don't think it's the Tier 3. Okay. Because this is a type of card that's playable, it's classic, it's in a unique high rarity. And it's not so recent that you know, it's easy, it's easily available, you know? Right. Uh, let's just try it and see how it goes. My gut is $180. 180. Uh, that's your gut call. Okay. That's my gut call. So we know that we have two tier twos and a tier three. Uh, you're saying I, this is not the tier three. That's just too I much. I don't think it's the tier three. The reason being ultimately it is OTS tournament pack, right? We, we were looking right. at astral packs earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we could be working our way back. Also, it is a spell card. While it's unbanned, it's not played very often or at least right. it yeah wasn't because it you know master duel had it as well on band before i think and people didn't play it okay you're going down to 150 final answer yeah, yeah final answer question number 13 raigeki ultimate rare ots tournament pack to near mint 
The final answer is $123. So you went in the right direction there. You're very I close. Did, you know, one, okay, so when I went, let me go with my gut, and I was like 180, the other number was 125. Oh and so my that's goodness. Kind of, and that's why I split to 150 at the yeah. very end. That's a good idea. Um, so I'll take it. I'll take it. So you're looking pretty good right now. Overall, I don't know exact numbers. So we're going to be doing the math at the end. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably in the between five and 10 percent. I feel like you're doing pretty well. OK, gonna, yeah, this is how we're going to do the last two, because, you know, it's a tier two and it's your three. We're going to ask mm -hmm. both questions at the same time. And you're going to have to give an answer for both, because I don't want to just give you a freebie and you know what the tier is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Question 14 and question 15. Here we go. Number 14, Blue Eyes White Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition Near Mint from Ghost from the Past 2. Ooh. Question number 15, Exodia the Forbidden One, Ultra Rare, Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition Near Mint. I will tell you that the prices on TCG Player, they don't have a lot of raw cards of this. This was mm -hmm. a PSA 8, but I thought it was pretty close to raw value. So okay. both of these are up right now. Whew. Okay, so this is this is interesting. There's a lot yeah. to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. So one, I have this Blue Eyes. Uh, I'm going to send it off to get graded. I remembered you were looking for this one. That's why I added this. And then my only other experience with Exodia Head is I did briefly have a DDS um, Exodia head in right. BGS 9.5. I almost put that one in here. I should have done that. But this is this is first edition LOB. Yes, this is the original set, number one. Here's the thing about Blue Eyes. I know that when these cards were coming out, this Blue Eyes was above $250. But as more and more product is opened, I do think that the price could have gone down to below $250. Yeah. And it is harder to believe that a first edition LOB ultra rare is below 250, especially something as iconic as Exodia. Now, right. Exodia, when you're comparing LOB stuff, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes are a rank above Exodia head. You know, when you pull an Exodia limb, you're kind of like, that could have been something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, uh, yes. And even, even when you pull the head, I feel like it could be a little bit bittersweet. But it is near mint. It is near mint. And, but the other thing is like that blue eyes, I do not think is the most expensive ghost from the past two. Ghost Rare, I think that it's the Dark Magician girl. Uh, I want to remind you, when Ghost from the Past 2 came out, the hype was nuts. There was a lot of people buying that set. But ghosts were twice as more twice as common in Ghost of the Past 2 than Ghost of the Past 1. That's what I'm saying. Lots of people opened it? Yeah, exactly. So so every the hype was huge because the, the list of ghosts was crazy. Much right, it was more so, so good. It was first. insane. I'm going to go with Blue Eyes in tier two okay. at $250 solid. You're maxing it out. And then the Exodia in tier three at $400 near mint. Before you lock it in, LOB is a $20,000 box. Okay, that's fair. Mm. This is an ultra rare. These are the hardest rarities to pull in that set. But Exodia sucks. Um, okay, so with that, maybe I'll bump it up to $600 for the Exodia. Okay, let's do it. The final two answers, we're at question 14 and question 15. Done pretty well so far. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition near mint. We're gonna start with that one. This card, you were pretty sure was above 250 at one point, and you think that it fell below. I will confirm, it was above 250 upon release. And I will also confirm that it is below 250. And you guessed 250, so you're a little bit off. But yeah. the final answer, I was actually shocked to see how low this has got. Has got is it 100 when I checked it. <laughs> it's even lower. It's $150. Wow. I could not believe how cheap this card is. And that, that is just shows so you the sheer low. print of that set. There must That's have been incredible. a ton open. Honestly, like this, I would have guessed around what you guessed if you had asked yeah, me. Like yeah, I would have yeah. said 225 well, something like that. Well, because when I pulled it, when I pulled it is the last time I looked at the price. It was probably $300 then or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. so that one was, you were in the right tier, but it, it was, I, it's crashed. It's insane. So yeah, yeah, let's yeah. move on to the Exodia the Forbidden One. Would you say Almost everyone seems hates too Exodia? Low. Seems like Seems like an opportunity, <laughs> but I don't yeah, know. Buy all the blue eyes. Okay. <laughs> Instead of a legend of blue eyes boxes, buy all the ghost rares. Yeah. All right. Our final one we know is tier three. Question 15. Jarvis, you've done very well so far. You guessed $600 on the Exodia head. The final card we have $850. I'll take the L. I'll take the L there. You were saying that Exodia is not good. Well, here, I think here's the difference between the DDS and this. This has other cards that fit with it. Exod the DDS Exodia mm, doesn't have prismatic fair. limbs. 
fair. So this one has the other parts you could put like pair with it. <laughs> that sounds like a disease. It's it like does, I can't, it does. It I does can't come disease. to football practice. I have prismatic limbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I think that yeah. might be part of it, but that, that also just that being such an expensive set, I think. I honestly would say this is the I think it's the fourth best ultra. So there's, yeah. uh, and I, I'd say Monster Reborn's right after that, but you could argue Ooh. flipped there, but the other three are just so like nice. And like fair, fair. having to pair five cards together is always a pain. So it definitely mm -hmm. hurts the value, but mm -hmm. overall still pretty good. That last one only, you were 250 off, but that was your worst true. one besides the effect failure, which we wiped true, clean. True, true. So now we got to do some math and see how well you did. 12 seconds later. So the total value of all the cards in this were $4,514. You were were off by $767. So if you do the math, you were 16.99% wow. off. So honestly, pretty it. good. Yeah, pretty dude, good. that's actually pretty sick. I mean, that's like a that's like a month in in the crash. You know what I mean? Like like yeah. your whole portfolio. I watch your, you know, six months later <laughs> videos or whatever. Right. On, on your thousand dollars. It's like, hey, sometimes that happens. Honestly, like this could have just been the variance at this point with yeah, how the yeah, market's yeah. going. Like, you yeah, if you asked exactly me this six on. months ago, I would have given all the same answers. So. Yeah, when you get like, yeah. like a, you completely nailed it. So <laughs> that puts you in the 25% tier. That means we're doing a $100 giveaway in this video. Not bad. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure. Oh yeah, go check out Jarvis. He's awesome. He has multiple channels. They're all really good. I watch <laughs> yeah. all of them. So go subscribe to him. If for some, like somehow you don't know about him, go check it out now. So shout out to Jarvis. Thank you for being here. You got any final words? Thanks for having me. This is super fun. I'm excited to watch other people struggle their way through this, um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and gracious to be the first guest. Yes, this has been awesome. Thank you. Day of, he made this happen. So yeah, very we clutch. We've really enjoyed this and I've had a lot of fun doing it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks to Toe Info Show, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko. <laughs> I feel like I listened to it so many times. It's like a song. PokeRev is the fastest growing Pokemon YouTuber with nearly 1.5 million subscribers. He is well known for his epic live breaks, including boxes like Base Set First Edition, Sky Ridge, and other such sets. Today, we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. We are back with episode two of Does PokeRev Know His Yu-Gi-Oh Prices? Last time we did it with Jarvis and it was really awesome. Today, we have a new guest. His name is PokeRev. You probably never heard of him because he's uh you know a small pokemon youtuber how's it going poker poker f hey what's up ruxin doing good i'm excited for this jarvis did this already oh, he's yeah. probably pretty he probably did pretty good i'm gonna assume yeah we have not actually posted the results so no one has seen the video but by the time you guys see this video it's already out he did pretty well he was like 16.9 percent off but there's a little bit of something we got to talk about because of that i thought he did extremely well was like he was like 17 percent off so he was only in like the 100 tier i decided to make a few changes we are going to be making it a 10 question quiz now because 15 was kind of insane and I think he did really well for the 15 but just for you PokerEv and everyone else after this we'll be doing 10 questions to make it a little bit easier we are going to continue to throw out one question so your absolute worst is going to be thrown out and they're going to have your three lifelines so I think you'll give you a better chance to actually get into that possibly one percent tier which is going to be very hard for the thousand dollar giveaway for the comments so make sure you guys like the video subscribe and all that stuff to win that but uh how do you feel how are you feeling about it oh we got this we are giving away $1,000 today. Oh, you're sure that's you're that certain? I'm certain. We're giving it away 1000 How much do you know about Yu-Gi-Oh! singles prices? I feel like I'm pretty decent with graded prices on at least the vintage okay. stuff. But yeah. in terms of like loose prices, like near mint, mint, stuff like that, probably not the best. Uh, for modern, okay. definitely not the best either. Okay, so you're uh, you're going to be getting in the 1%, but you don't know prices. Okay, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to just go big brain on this. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, I thought that maybe if I did like a sealed version, it would have been a lot better for you because I know you know a lot more sealed stuff. So this is going to be interesting to see like what you guess. That's going to be a lot of fun because Jarvis is also not like a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, but he is a lot more into like the single cards than potentially you are. So I'm really excited to see how you do on this. So let's just hop into this thing. We're going to start off with question number one. I'm ready. Let's do it. We we have the Dark Magician from Starter Deck Yugi, Ultra Rare. This is an unlimited copy, not first edition in near mint condition. Pokey Rev, what do you know about this card? What do you think? Okay, Starter Deck, Dark Magician. 
Definitely something I know a little bit about. That's definitely, it's definitely worth some, a chunk of change. Do you have an idea of what the unlimited starter deck goes for? So this was from, which which starter deck was this from again? This is Yuki. So this is the very first one that went along with Kaiba. So it's Kaiba and Yuki was the initial release, but this is not the first edition, it's the unlimited. Okay, it's the unlimited, but it's not the reprint, right? That came out years no, later. No, it is not the evolution. Okay, not the You're thinking of starter deck Yugi evolution. Yeah, this is just the, the first one unlimited. Okay, this is definitely a higher tier card, I would assume. Um, in terms of the sealed starter deck uh, man okay i would guess maybe like 400 or 500 dollars now i think you're pretty close i think okay. it's a little bit less than that i think i sold some for around like 300 dollars for the sealed deck okay okay so that so, can maybe help you figure out what this card's worth okay okay um all right i hope i don't mess up on this first one i think i'm gonna it's okay you got 10 to go you got lifeline if you want to use the lifeline to get it you started off to a good start that's that's okay as well jarvis used okay. his early so you can okay. do that as well i'm gonna put the price of the card what am I guessing? Uh, near mint condition, $125. So you're going in tier two. You think that this thing's gonna be all the way up at 125. When you say it like that, I don't. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not, I'm not trying to influence your guess. I just want you, whenever you put in a final answer, I'll just go and tell you what it is. All right, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm already committed to it. So it doesn't matter what you say then. Yeah, I'm, I'm Okay, committed. you're going to 125, final answer? Final answer. PokeRev, your very first guess. You have 10 questions. You're starting off. Question one off the starter deck, Yugi, Ultra Unlimited Near Mint. The answer, the final price on TCG Player Low Near Mint, first edition of a verified seller. Let's just get that out of the way, is... $30. <laughs> so, okay, you're you're a little bit off, but that's okay. Just remember, the top worst guest is going to get wiped away. I will let you know Jarvis guessed and was off by $540 on one of his. Okay. And so, it's okay. So, that may, might make you feel a little better. Keep in mind, that was a tier one. So, you've used your first tier one. There's three of each now that we've updated the game rather than five of each, and then possibly a fourth on one of them. So keep okay, that okay. in mind. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep track of that. I'm gonna keep track of that. Question two, we are moving on to Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition Near Mint. This is from Ghost from the Past 1, the very first Ghost from the Past two years ago. What are you thinking about this card? All right, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Um, you said f first edition, right? Yeah, this is Ghost from the Past 2. It hasn't had an unlimited print yet. Okay, okay. Oh, Ghost of the Past 2. Okay, okay. Or 1, sorry. Ghost of the Past 1. Neither one. of them have an unlimited print. What's the pull rate on this? Can I ask you that? Like, what what do you think? Like, how many do you have to open to pull this? For this, it was about one ghost per case. There's five different ghost rares. So, it's pretty difficult to pull. Uh, you okay. usually wouldn't pull more than one. Ghost from the Past 2 upped it, and it was a lot easier. And the original, it was a lot harder. So, we're talking more of a modern card. It is a ghost rare, though, which is tough. Yeah. Do you think this is the one of the best pulls in the set, like top three, or do you think it's like another okay, one? Okay, I'll, I'll give you the top cards out of the set. So other than the Ghost Rares, not any good pulls in the entire set. The Dark Magician is the number one pull. Then probably this one is second. I don't know off the top of my head, but I would say this is probably the second best. I'm thinking top pull. I'm assuming some of the hype has died down quite a bit since then. So I'm sure okay. it probably peaked already at some point, came back down a bit, maybe coming coming back up a little bit, possibly, but probably not where it was on the original hype. Right, what tiers do you think it right now? I don't know, I'm actually like, I could see- If, if you're I, completely clueless, you could always use a lifeline, it could help. Okay, okay. Let's use a lifeline, let's do which tier am I in? All right, so you are, you are using your first lifeline. I think this is a good one to use because it kind of, you know, it gives you a range for the most part, unless you're in tier three, then you're kind of like, you know, somewhere above yeah, this. Cause okay, like, I know, I'm but, assuming like the graded price is like probably pretty ridiculous on something like this. So like, but I don't know, like, again, I don't know a lot of the, like the near mint and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like a little bit lost on that end. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. The tier that you are in is tier two. So you're somewhere between 101 and $250 on this card. I'm going to go 150, $150. You're going to guess $150 on Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. What makes you say that? What's your reasoning? <laughs> you know what? Every time you say it, you're like, why did you choose that? <laughs> I just want to know. I want the audience to know your thought um, process because it's really interesting with you specifically because I know you don't know a lot of these cards. So I want to know, like, yeah. is it just a random guess or like, do you have a reason for that? Okay, my reason is I'm starting to, like you said, I'm actually starting to get a, a, more of an idea on the loose cards, like especially after the starter deck Yu-Gi-Oh Unlimited, uh, Dark right. Magician. So I'm like, okay, if that's 30, that's a super old card. Yeah, it's unlimited, but it's still pretty tough to get one like right out of like one of those decks because you have to spend $300. 
Right. This is a top tier pull. 150 out of the pack. I'd assume like a lot of these have centering issues. Like I'd assume they have like PSA 8. Yeah, they, they have a lot issues. of print issues for sure out of the okay. set. The, to get like the top tier like graded 10 card, it's probably even tougher to find one that's like super clean and centered. Because I know Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Like the centering is even tougher than Pokemon because right. you have such like smaller borders so okay I th i'm thinking one i'm thinking like 150 and that's probably on one that's like an eight or a nine let's reveal what the answer is last time you were off by 95 dollars, which was not too bad let's see if you can beat it this time question two you guessed 150 the answer is 175 dollars okay I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You're, you're only $25 off. Okay. That's really good, actually. Making a comeback right now. Only this one counts. So you're really a total of only $25 off because your first one's wiped away. Let's move on to question number three. We have the Crush Card Virus from Gold Series 2008 Limited Edition Near Mint. What do you know mm. about this card? Okay. I don't know anything about the card. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I do know Gold Series. Okay, that's something. So I know Gold Series. You're not gonna just be sitting there opening up like booster pack or booster boxes, right? These come in like special boxes. Yeah. So let me give you a little info on Gold Series, just because I know you don't know a ton about this set specifically. This is okay. the first ever Gold Series. You know, there's like newer ones and stuff like that. Actually, this cr Crush Card Virus is a reprint of a prize card. This is the first ever reprint. So when it first came oh. out, this was the actual for like normal people you know if you didn't have the prize card this is how you got it so that's a little info on that if you have any other questions you can let me know in terms of like first editions unlimiteds what's the, like the deal with that so this is a limited edition print which i guess in gold series the first one they just made them all limited edition i'm not sure why they did that so there's no mm -hmm. first or unlimited or anything like that i will also add that this card was really really strong around the time that it came out it's a really good card so people were even using the prize card versions before this like in okay. duels so it's a strong card not anymore I don't, it might even be banned. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's not uh, a card people are using now, but back when it first came out, it was super popular. It was also very difficult pull. I don't know. I think it was one in 10, like either boxes or cases, something like that. It was very hard to pull. Okay. One in 10 boxes or cases. So very hard to pull. I'm it's, pretty sure it was boxes. Cases seems a little bit steep for early on. I'd probably say boxes. Yeah. I think I used to have some of the original gold series like sealed at one point. I'm sure you did because you've had everything. I've had a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I definitely don't anymore. First ever gold series, an iconic trap card reprint. Could possibly not be legal to use in tournament. Um, also, in, it was in the anime. Kaiba used it. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's super iconic then. Right, very iconic okay. for multiple reasons, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one though. This okay. is a tough one. I threw. I knew this one would probably be one of the harder ones. I could be really off on this. I might need to use another lifeline. So you can either get a new question, like completely new one, or mm -hmm. you can go lower or higher here. I think I want to do lower or higher. Okay. What What is your number that you want me to tell you if it's lower or higher? So let's let's try to narrow the tier a little bit then at least. Okay. I like the strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go with the two fifty two hundred fifty two hundred fifty one dollar higher or lower. Okay, so you want me to tell you if it is lower than, or higher than $250. If you hit it right on or something like that, I don't know how that's gonna work when that happens. <laughs> you didn't hit it right on, I'll tell you that. But you are lower than $251. So you now know it's not in tier three. That was a good strategy. Yep. Avoid use lower or higher. Just pulling it out of my, my hat of strats, but I'm, almost, I'm gonna be strats. out of strats soon. <laughs> I'm soon gonna be, out, be out, of out of strats, but you have one more. Soon, <laughs> yeah. My strats are literally just using lifelines at this point. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, you got to use them at some point. Yeah, another tool out of the toolbox, but that's all right. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to be in either tier one or tier two. Um, okay. Man, okay, so it could be in either of those. Uh, yeah, based on what it. you've heard, what are you thinking? Like, you think one or two? I could see it being in tier two. Maybe. Yeah, okay, what's your reasoning for that? Why do you think tier two? I just think uh, it's super iconic, first ever reprint in the first yeah. gold series back in 2008. It's got age to it. It's got, I'm assuming it's a really good card to play wise as well or it was yeah uh, yeah sounded so, sound like a good argument to me i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go 125 125 dollars you're locking it at 125 yep all right so you're going just above tier one at tier two 125 dollars poker rev the actual answer is 175 dollars the same as the last one. <laughs> oh man i was gonna say 175 but i was like it's not gonna be the same <laughs> 
<laughs> a little bit of a mind trick, but honestly, not a bad right. guess there. 125, you're in their correct tier. I was considering doing a little bonus if you get the tier right while I was upgrade updating it. So I might be adding like 10 points. I think we're probably going to do that because I'm trying to adjust this to make this the most fair possible for everybody. So okay. if you guess in the correct tier, I'm going to be adding like a $10 like credit to each one. I think we're going to do that. Oh, so cool. you essentially guess like 135. You're only 40 off. The last one you guess 150 or at 160. So you're doing pretty well so far. You do only have one more lifeline though. So you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll take any credits I can get. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to question number four we have night assailant champion pack one super rare near mint condition Ooh, okay you should know a little bit about champion packs you've had okay. a few yes i have okay night assailant champions uh pack one what's the release date on that this was around i think 2006 or 7 uh, i don't okay. know if you ever had champion pack one this is probably the hardest one to get i know you had two and after that so yeah. this one has some really big cards in it, Night Assailant being one of them. Some like really popular reprints that are like hollow versions of old rares and stuff like that. Okay, playability of this card. It's very usable in old formats like GOAT format and stuff like that. So if you're playing GOAT format, this is a really nice high rarity copy of a card that you would potentially use. Pretty cool looking artwork too. And super rares in champion pack, by the way, if you aren't, if you didn't know, is one out of 12. So they're pretty hard to pull. Ultra rares are like one out of 48. There's only a few hollows per box. All right, uh, do you know the the approximate cost or value of a uh, champions pack one the cost per pack i think when i bought a bunch of them i bought them at a hundred dollars per pack there's only three cards per pack too so they're pretty valuable for like what's inside or for not for what's yeah. inside for uh for like only having three cards and being like a smaller pack or whatever mm, with all that said i have no idea <laughs> 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 this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Uh, yeah. So a box of these, you've had some champion pack twos. You know, there are a hundred packs in each box. Yeah. So there's a lot of packs. So this would essentially be like a hundred dollars times a thousand. It'd be like a ten thousand dollar box. So yeah. it's pretty. Okay. It's a pretty expensive set. So that's important to know. And it's a playable card. So it's a nice high rarity card. So what, what's your thinking? My thinking is it's this is probably the most valuable card so far, for sure. Interesting. Okay. All right. Based off of the other ones. Okay. Could and be what, what's wrong. your, what, and why do you think that? Well, I mean, Champions Pack one, I know a lot of those, depending on which one you're talking about, a lot of them have like really powerful or like sought after cards. Um, right. This being the first one, probably, I mean, especially $100 a pack. On top of that, the pull rate being really tough on that. And then the collectability outside of like the actual playability of it. I feel like yep. this is probably a big one. Okay. So you're thinking tier three. Yeah. And then on top of that, okay. we haven't had a tier three card. So I'm just thinking. That's a good, uh, very good reasoning. We have not had one yet. How long can we wait? I mean, we got to have one eventually. We got to have one. I mean, we got to have at least three if i'm correct right you do have to have at least three you've nailed it all right well if you're gonna try to pull this card you got to be kind of at least a little crazy because you're gonna be opening up hundred dollar packs like left and right, right. i'm gonna go five hundred dollars i'm gonna go five hundred dollars okay so you're going five. high this is gonna, go gonna be big. by far our top one so far PokeRev, i like that guess that's that's not bad i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you right now you are not too far off the answer okay. on question four you were correct it's tier three uh, reasoning was solid. It's four hundred and forty-three dollars. So you're only fifty-seven dollars off on a. $443 card. That's pretty close. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Not a bad guess at all. You still have wiped away that Dark Magician SDY. You haven't had a really bad guess yet. You haven't been off by 100 yet, so you're doing really well. Let's move okay. on to the fifth question and see how you can do here. All right. Let's do it. Question five. We have a game promo. Our first game promo of the series. This is a ZOA, the Falsebound Kingdom Prismatic Secret Near Mint. This came out of, I believe it was a PlayStation game. There was It was mm -hmm. one of three promos. Almost. So what are you thinking? Do you remember this card? Do you remember any of the Yu-Gi-Oh games? Not this one, no. What what game is this from? The False Bound Kingdom. I think it was a PlayStation 2 game, I think. Playability of this? Uh, not playable at all. This is a normal monster. Uh, you pretty much can't use it. It's it's essentially like a worse Blue Eyes because it's two tributes and stuff. Mm, okay, okay. Completely unplayable. Well, let me ask you one more thing. So okay. you can only get, can you only get this card from a sealed ps2 game or was this ever reprinted yeah, that's a good question this specific version is the only way to get it is out of the game there's of course reprints because Yu-Gi-Oh reprints everything but there was okay. never a false bound kingdom version reprinted so if that helps okay yeah and then the ps2 game if you wanted to buy one sealed i'm assuming it's probably really expensive right yeah it's several hundred dollars for the game yeah you know what i don't think i can see this being in a tier three i, I think it might be a tier one card or maybe okay. a tier two but i feel like i'm feeling like I'm just going to go for it. I'm feeling like okay. 
this is gonna be $60. So you're thinking 60 bucks. Let's reveal the answer. Question five, this is a tier one card. You were correct on that, so you will be getting a little bit of a bonus there for guessing that correctly. <laughs> this card is... Ten dollars. <laughs> oh, dang. So it, it's a real cheap one. Uh, even yeah. and a lot of people actually like this card. Like it's collectible. It's just very easy to get because everyone back then opened them up, and so there was a lot of them available. Okay. It's kind of confusing because like DDS was so expensive, but then they like had that second run of DDS with like Ciaru and like the other ones. So like yeah. those were actually kind of short printed in a way where this was always the same promo. So I think that's part of it. Also, not having a blue eyes and stuff like that makes a difference. I'm alright with that. You know. I was yeah, I was like, it's gonna be, it's gotta be lower, but I didn't know how low. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Question number six, Poke Rev. We have the Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning Collector Rare First Edition from Toon Chaos. This is in near mint condition as well. Blackluster Soldier. This is the Collector Rare. Okay. Do you First do you know edition. anything about Collector Rares? I was gonna ask. So how do you actually get the Collector Rares? Because I actually I forget. I feel like I know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this is like you're doing so well for like you don't even know like really much about the rarities at all. So like you're kind of killing it right now. Uh, the Collector Rare. They started, I think Toon Chaos might have been the first set. I think it was, now that I think about it, with Collector Rares. They are one out of three boxes to pull a Collector Rare. So they're pretty hard to pull. They're just okay. another version of a card in the set. So there's like a rare version of this card in the set, and it's worth okay. like basically nothing. And then the Collector Rare is like the high rarity version that people want. And that's one out of three boxes. But there are 15 Collector Rares per set. So it's one out of three boxes for any Collector Rare. Then it's like four, one out of four cases because there's so many different Collector Rares to get the one you actually oh, want. Okay. Okay, that's tough. So it's it's pretty hard to pull them. What year is this card? Uh, this is Toon Chaos, so it was 2020. 2020, okay. Oh, right. You okay, probably yeah, had some of this at some point, I would say. No, I was going to get some, and I never did. And I wish you I never did. grabbed any. Okay, all right. We found something Rev has never had. <laughs> I was going to get some, and I was like, no. Okay, yeah, I remember when that dropped. You should have, because they're like $300 boxes now. Yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> that's another reason why I was like, I should have. I was going to buy it. I had literally had it in my cart, and then I just didn't buy it. I forget. I got sidetracked. Right. So it's got to be it's a collector rare it's really hard to pull iconic iconic card this is one of those cards that i could see like a great at one being like like a thousand dollars or something crazy or like okay. over a thousand dollars in a 10. um uh -huh. so i'm thinking i think we got a tier three card on our hands here i think this okay is, all right i think this is a tier, tier three. three all right i think i'm gonna go 325 dollars 325 dollars so you are you basing that off of the fact that you think it's a one thousand dollar psa 10 card so you're saying like the raw version is probably around 300 is that what you're saying yeah but i'm also saying when i say a, a thousand for a psa 10 that's like the where I think it could start, but I don't right. know like the actual range. So yeah, yeah, that's probably where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's some good logic. By my recollection, I think you're right on with that PSA price. I think it is around a thousand, something like that. So because of that, it gave you a very good guess. You said 325. You are correct. It's it is in tier three. The answer is $295, so you're only $30 off with the correct tier. So you're extremely close on this one. You almost nailed it right on the head. Okay, I'm happy with that too. Wow, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> That's your best one yet, I think. You like, we're yeah. super close there. Okay, I'll take that. All right, on to question seven. So far, extremely solid performance. I think you might uh, turn out pretty solid for the audience. They might have a pretty nice giveaway after this if you can keep it up. I'm trying, I'm trying. No pressure. Question number seven, Pokey Rev. Here it is, Red Eyes, B-Dragon, from Yap One, which is the anniversary pack in 2008. It's an ultra rare, it's near mint, it's new artwork for the TCG. Uh, have you ever seen this card before? I was gonna say it's unfamiliar. I've never seen the artwork before. Basically, I'll give you a little background on the anniversary pack. It came out in 2008. It had uh, new artwork for blue eyes, red eyes, and then like, I think it was seven or eight different cards like Genzo and stuff like that. And it was one pack that had the same cards every time. It always had these cards. These sealed packs go for like four or $500 though, because the cards inside are like really cool with like new artworks and stuff like that okay so you get the it's set pulls in the pack and then it's in, yeah like, it's essentially like a deck i mean like like it's you're getting the exact same list every time you're not like any okay. there's no variants or rng you're getting the same eight ish cards oh wow okay and then is it actually like just a pack or does it come in like some kind of like collectible like binder type thing or like what oh uh, this is of... you're, okay you're you gotta throw out some good questions actually it does it comes in a booster pack that also comes in like a display box kind of thing it's sort of like the maximum gold things where you can like open it up and there's a pack inside uh it's yeah. similar to that so if you get it like sealed like that you know it's a little bit different they also i think at one point put them in blisters they have like a blister pack version of it as well so there's a couple different ways you can get it mm. yeah i can't see it being a tier three i just feel like you're guaranteed all the cards and then there's a whole bunch or there's like at least a handful 
of other really good stuff in there. Even though it's probably harder to find, it's sealed. I'm assuming a lot of it was opened at one point, and obviously uh -huh. if every single pack is pulling these cards, I feel like that's gonna drop the price on them. Right, that's that's good logic, I like it. I think I'm gonna go with tier one, $70. Okay, you're locking in 70 bucks. Okay, your reasoning is there's a $500 pack. You're guaranteed to get all these cards. So of course it's not gonna be over $250. It's not even the best card in the set. I will confirm, that is correct. You nailed that. Obviously you can't have a $250 card and a $500 product that's not even the best card. That would make no sense. So you're down to tier one, tier two. You were right on the money in terms of the low tier or the high tier one, low tier two. You decided to guess $70. And Pokerev, you have officially become the first guest to get it completely right. It's seventy dollars. Yes! Yeah, let's go. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Did, wait, did you say something? Oh yeah, I was just jumping up and around and dancing and stuff for a second. Oh, okay, there. okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I was like, okay, do you hear me? Okay, all right, perfect. Yes, you officially nailed it right on the head. It was seventy dollars. So I guess now with our new like bonus system, you have officially got an extra ten dollars to subtract from another like your total balance because you got it completely right. Actually, I think we should. We're doing it on the fly here. If you guess it completely right, I think you should get a twenty-five dollar credit. So I think so. so 10 because like it makes sense like it's so hard to do yeah. you just nailed it on head we are making a new rule right now because this is only the second episode you will now get a bonus 25 dollars credit instead of 10 going against your balance your balance is probably insanely low right now because you just guessed it right like exactly right that's interesting how the seventh question was 70 and you got it exactly right so looking very very good you have two questions left you can also still throw one out keep that in mind uh it, oh, or not throw okay. one out but uh uh, ask for a new question with your last lifeline. All right, feeling a lot better. I feel like this is the comeback right now. Pokey Riff, you are on a hot streak. Let's see if you can continue it. On to question number eight. You're 70% of the way through. Let's go. We have the Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare Cybernetic Revolution First Edition card. Ooh, okay, okay. All right. All right, what are you thinking about this one? I think that might be a tier three. Okay, so you right off the bat, you're saying this is a high value card. What makes you think that? Iconic set, very expensive set. Yes, you're right about Probably that. Probably going to assume that's the number Number one pull or at least the most popular i mean correct me if i'm wrong i could be wrong it is so this is cybernetic revolution it's the cyber dragon there are two big pulls out of here it's cyber dragon ultimate and it's cyber Dr cyber end dragon ultimate rare which cyber end dragon is is bigger than this card but they're still in the same ballpark in terms of like value and stuff like that i know booster boxes that those are pretty pretty expensive Very sorry expensive, what year yeah. was it again like 2006 uh six or eight 2005 or i think i think it's 2005 it was it was one of the early 2000 or one of the early gx sets it was one of the early ultimate rare adopters and stuff like that yeah i think there's there's no way that it's not a tier three that's just my that's my gut on that one like gotta be a tier three i feel like it's gotta be you think this I mean, is the most expensive card in the entire thing so far okay see my thing right now is that i know it's not from like the original series yeah but this series is really hard to get especially like first right yes stuff. it is gx so i was gonna mention that but then i realized you probably already know that that gx was i mean yeah. it was it was kind of when Yu-Gi-Oh was dying a little bit like it was kind of mm -hmm. falling down and so they didn't print as many boxes and then these so it makes like these boxes hard to find it makes these cards hard to get and stuff like that a little bit more than the original series it's like the equivalent to the ex like the ex era for pokemon it is a lot like the ex era and pokemon yes i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna guess it's the most expensive one i'm gonna go with 550 dollars 550 dollars okay so you're thinking that it's a little bit more expensive than an ida assailant not too much but a little bit more yeah i will confirm this is a tier three card you were right about that it's an iconic card from a pretty tough to find set a lot of people were opening it back then pokerev this card is one thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars wow oh my god that's crazy <laughs> so, yeah it's a very very tough oh. one so you were about halfway there <laughs> you're about halfway dang there. you want me you make me want to open my box <laughs> but it's hard to pull wow. so don't open your box yeah but, no uh, i won't do it <laughs> i think at psa 10 uh they're around 3500 right now they got up to around 65 to 7000 something like that so it, it's wow. pretty hard because those ultimate rares are really like difficult to grade as well but you know the good news you uh, uh get to move your wipe away question to this question so now 
The Dark okay. Magician you were off by 95 is now in play. This one is out of play. So you don't have to worry okay. about this one. That's okay. You could have one big miss and it not matter that much. And really the 95 miss on the first question wasn't that bad anyway. So you're still doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, You've got yeah. two questions left. Okay, so we wiped, the, we wiped ourselves clean of that. That's cool. I'll take that. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that one. Don't let it get in your head. Uh, this is how we do the last two questions. Because there's kind of like a, a, a tier thing where you could like kind of convince yourself if we ask the last question, you kind of know what tier it was in. We asked yeah. nine and 10 at the same time. So we're gonna have two questions at once. You're gonna have to do two different guesses. Are you ready for okay. it? Okay, let's do it. The final two questions, PokeRev still has one lifeline left. He's gonna be answering the final two. We have two at once. We have the Mystical Space Typhoon, Noble Knights of the Round Table, Platinum, Near Mint. This is a first edition card. Then there is a Toon Summon Skull Ultra Rare from Magic Ruler first edition. You have to guess what the prices are. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. What do you know about these cards? Mystical Space Typhoon, I no idea on that one. Okay, do you want some info about the set it's from? I will take it, yeah. Okay, this is from Noble Knights of the Round Table, which is essentially, it's like a big box that had like a deck of cards in it, and they were all in the Platinum Rarity, which is not a fan favorite, I will tell you that. Most people do not like the Platinum Rarity. I personally like it, but a lot of people don't. And you kind of got the same cards every time you bought this, so it's basically a structure deck with a new rarity. I kind of want to swap the Mystical Space Typhoon, but I also feel like it could be the tier two so i could at least ballpark it but then again i'm not even sure i'm super unfamiliar with that card you don't have to use your lifelines that's okay i think maybe we roll the dice and we just get rid of the mystical space typhoon and see what what pops up all right before we show you the next one uh, let me see what your guess would have been for the mst i want to see how close you would have been i think honestly i probably would have guessed like 75 bucks all right i will reveal what the price was on that one when we get back so you thought you were in tier one keep that in mind for the next question the replacement number nine question is what that was is scapegoat hobby league 05 near mint hmm. <laughs> so do you know anything more about this one uh i've definitely seen the card before uh just... this this picture is kind of not doing it justice hobby league is a rarity it's like a uh, parallel rare it's kind of like it kind of looks like you laminated your card and it has some like uh colors going through it that's kind of what yeah, it looks yeah, like, like. The sparkly all across like the whole card yeah like, exactly yeah does it look like the dual terminal cards a little bit not the dotted ones it's not like dotted but it has uh basically it's like cross light it's like light crosses of light going across it. i don't know how to describe it really but it looks nothing like this picture i'll tell you that okay okay what are you thinking about the tune summon skull what's your you kind of in for that and that could kind of like help you influence what you pick for the other one like a top three pull in the set maybe I mean, I guess I can ask you that, right? The ultras, there, there's not like a huge ultra in terms of like, this one is by far the best, but Toon Summon Skull is a good one. Toon Mermaid, there's like Delinquent Duo yeah. and some other like magic cards like that. Because like Magic Ruler, like I know it's one of the the cheaper, I mean, it's still expensive, but I know it's one of the cheaper OG sets, right? Like Yeah, you're right of, about that. Yeah. If you're matching it's up, like, It's a lot less than like Metal Raiders and LOB and yeah. stuff like that. That's why this one's throwing me off a little bit too. It's because it's not... I don't feel like it's definitely it's definitely not the most expensive card. It's definitely yeah. it's magic ruler, but it's still probably it's still it's still a good box. I mean, it's still got to have some good stuff in it if it's higher end pull. You know that one of these has to be a tier two. You know yeah, that. And I, then... I really feel like it's a tier. I, I'm really feeling like this is possibly a tier two and the scapegoat's a tier three three can you tell me anything more about the scapegoat i think that these were given out like at local stores and stuff like that kind of like they're doing lost art promotions i believe it was something like that where if you played in tournaments maybe you got them and stuff like that man this card looks familiar <sighs> this could be like a super cheap card actually wait wait what's the rarity on this it's the hobby league uh parallel rarity it, it's pretty oh. unique all right, yeah, you were telling me about that. I think it's the only kind of card that has it. There's not really, it's it's not really oh. like in sets or anything. I'm going to say Toon Summon Skull is $195 in tier two. Okay. And then Scapegoat, I'm saying Scapegoat, $4. $4 tier one. Okay, all right. Let's see what you did. You're locking, are you locking in your final answers? Is that it? Done deal. Okay, this is the end. These are the last two questions. You've used all your lifelines. You've done everything. You've even become the first person to guess one right on the nail, which is pretty awesome. Uh, because you went risky on the scapegoat, we're going to finish with that one, even though it's technically yeah. the ninth question. Okay, number 10 is the Toon Summon Skull Ultra Rare. You said $195, correct? Yes, $195. Okay, $195. You thought it was in tier two because Magic Ruler, not that popular. Well, it's, it's popular, but it's not as rare as like LOB or Metal Raiders. So... You were correct. It's a, it is the tier two. Soon Summon okay. Skull yes. is, its value is 
$134. So you're pretty close. You're not like That's not bad. That's real not bad. close, but, but you're all right. You're in the same tier. Now let's see how close you were. You went a little risky. Uh, the last one was tier two. This could be either one, two, or three. This is all or nothing, bro. This is all or nothing right now. I'm, I've shown everything on this one. Like this could it be could a big mess up. It could be any of the three. So you could be off by a lot right now. So let's see if you tanked your entire performance right now. Okay. We have <laughs> Scapegoat Hobby League 05 Near Mint. You said $4. You went all the way. You didn't try and like meet in the middle. You nope. didn't try to compromise. You were like, nope. I'm going right for it. You said $4. Yep. Rev, unfortunately, you were only six dollars off. It was what? $10. <laughs> Let's go. No way. Wait, how much was it? Ten dollars. You were no. so You were only six dollars off. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Yo, that was a huge risk. I can't believe I did that. You completely oh nailed god. it. So honestly, I, I'm like really excited to see what you did because you ended up really close there because the only big miss got wiped away. And so you didn't miss by yeah. over a hundred dollars on any of the other nine. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna be giving away a big giveaway right here. So stay here for one second audience. It'll cut in like five seconds and then you'll see what you're winning. 12 seconds later. Before we reveal what you guys could potentially win, how well PokeRev did, we have to mention what the Mystical Space Typhoon does. I almost accidentally gave him the tier, which would have made it less exciting. <laughs> that was much better by not doing that. It was tier one, as you guessed on the other one. It actually would have been hilarious if you guessed four on this one, because it was $5. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. That would have been but like on that one, I would have never guessed that. I probably would have guessed like like seventy five dollars or something. Like that's right. what I had yeah, in, my, okay. in my mind. Yeah, I, I, I know, bet you've right? seen those hobby leaks yeah. before because when you you know got your store that you bought out or whatever, you probably saw some of these cards. Yeah, dude, that's why that car looks so familiar. I feel like the scapegoat. All right, after our calculations, the total value of all ten cards that I asked you was. $2,475. So that's the total value of everything. Your guesses were $374 off if you include wiping away the Cyber Dragon, which you missed by over $550. So that was pretty good that you, you saved yourself there. Then you got $90 in bonus because you got nine out of 10 tiers correct. That's really, really good. Oh, so wow. that puts you at a total of $284 off. So if you take that out of the total, you were 11.47% off, which puts you in the 10 to 25% range. I might need to change these percentages because <laughs> you're in the same ballpark as Jarvis and oh, you nice. were 5% better. But honestly, still insanely good. I mean, you got $100. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we update the, like the, the prizes? Is this too hard to get in the 10%? I don't know. Maybe it's possible. We haven't actually asked somebody in the Yu-Gi-Oh community yeah. yet, so I don't want to like make it too easy to get like the stuff. But honestly, Rev, 11.5% yep. essentially for someone that doesn't even deal with Yu-Gi-Oh on a regular basis is super impressive. You did really well. How are you feeling about it? I mean, dude, honestly, being friends with you, it definitely helped a lot because like just <laughs> watching your videos and stuff, bro. So I definitely have gained a lot of knowledge like over the years watching your content. And yeah, dude, like I feel like I did all right for a Pokemon guy. I mean, like I, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. So you are now number one on the scoreboard. So we're going to have like a, a thing pop up. Everyone that's ever competed. You are now number one. Jarvis will have a little asterisk. Next sorry, to Jarvis. He had, do, he had to do 15 he had, questions. Yeah, he had it harder. And, and he didn't have the bonuses. So he had he had to like tr yeah. like blaze the trail for everybody. But you did really well today. Rev, thanks again for being on here. If you guys have not seen Poker Rev's channel, of course, it's massive. He has a lot of awesome Pokemon content that you guys will probably enjoy even if you don't like Pokemon. So make sure to go check him out. Any final words, Rev? Dude, uh, thank you for having me on. Seriously, that was a ton of fun. And um, yeah, dude, looking forward to, to watching all the, the videos of people doing this. All right. Thanks a lot, man. I'm looking forward to see you again at some point. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Simo is one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh creators on YouTube, having amassed over 300,000 subscribers. He is well known for his extremely popular show, The Progression Series, as well as his much anticipated banlist reactions. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode 25 of the auction series. Okay, okay, maybe not. Not auction series, but we do have another series and Simo is here, guest number three on our new price question game. I don't even have a real title. So Simo, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic, my friend. Uh, when are we bringing back auction series? I know the audience are really clamoring for it. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of buzz. I'm hearing a lot of hype. I mean, it feels like auction series could be back at any day. I guess any we'll just have day. to find out in the future. I, I don't know. You've been gone for like six months, you know, you've at been- least. 
Yeah, you've been traveling the world, meeting people and stuff like that. But now you're back. You're back to Yu-Gi-Oh! And you better know the prices or you're going to be in big trouble. So the fun part of me doing this, especially when you were telling me about this idea, is that I've been out of like modern Yu-Gi-Oh! for a while because all I know how to do is apparently make series where we start at LOB and make our way up. So yeah. as a result of that, I'm the perfect candidate for this because I'm probably not going to know like 90% of this. We're going to see how well my knowledge is stuck over the years. We're going to have to see if you remember some of those prices because we've had two guests so far. They've both done fairly well. We had like an 11 and a 16.9% away from like the okay. correct prices. So pretty solid. Pretty but I think Yu-Gi-Oh guy, you have an advantage, but you did kind of take a break. So we're going to have to see. Let's get right into question one. Are you ready? I am. Yu-Gi Boomer edition. Let's go. Simo, the first question. This is a card that I know you're very familiar with. So we're going to okay. see if you're familiar with the price. The first one is Breaker the Magical Warrior, oh, Magician's Force, no. Ultra Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, so I do know with this that this isn't technically the most expensive highest rarity because the okay. most expensive is the TP7 Super, which oh. I disagree with, by the way. Like, I understand it's rarer technically, but the Ultra just looks cleaner in my opinion. I definitely but, agree. I think yeah. that this one should be worth more, but I will give you, you are correct. It is definitely not yes. the most expensive version. The TP7 Do I get points is. for that? <laughs> you get any points? No, no points for oh, you. Oh, okay. Well, at yeah, least I, I know at least I know that much. This is hard because like I have had this forever and uh -huh. like obviously I didn't get it for what it's probably worth now. And right. so it's definitely gone up significantly over the years. I'm just going to I'm just going to take a, an easy guess. I'm going to say that this now first ed MFC, I'm going to say that this is a hundred bucks. So you think it's in a tier one, the very top of tier one is what you're feeling. Uh, well, I guess it's by tiers, right? So yeah. So you got to keep in mind the tiers will help you like later on, like what it is. So you are hitting the very tip top and like, max amount of tier one. I think to be safe, I'm going to go tier two because I think it's going to be like slight. It might be like 110, 120. So let me actually let me change up here because I did forget the tiers are part of this. I'm not just like trying to guess like immediately on the head. Right. I'm going to go $120 tier two final answer. The answer here is $90. No! So you oh, were, I you were going to do that. You oh, were going to get man. the right tier and get a $10 credit and have it oh, right on. But then you decided to bump it up to the second tier. I understand the logic, though, because it does seem like it would be more of a tier two card. It seems like I looked at the listings for this because I was a little surprised it was 90 bucks. Like most of them were over 100. Like three of them oh. were in the 90s. It was like 90, okay. 95 and 99. And then there was like a bunch like at like 110, 120, like okay. you guessed. Okay. So you're pretty much right on the head. It's just the lowest one someone had put it at 90 i think there was a 95 as well so there's a couple fine. couple That's people fine. were selling early but honestly you're only 30 bucks off you get to throw out one so you're gonna be fine so far let's go to number two rise of the storm monarch Ooh. force of the breaker ultimate rare first edition near mint beautiful i should go i just need to go get in my collection and just bust all these out because i have yeah all you can these. just ask the cards hey what I are you worth <laughs> Okay, I think this is gonna be like similar to like Breaker where this I believe should be like tier two. I think it should be like within like that hundred, like low hundreds range, maybe like mid hundreds. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go with tier two, 150 on Ulti Ryza, final answer. So far, you feel like, yeah, I feel like you have a good grasp of what the values are, at least kind of close. So okay. let's see uh, how close you were on this one. You said tier two on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm you are correct. It's in the second okay. tier. All right, we're so in you're the gonna tier get the bonus. Least. You're gonna get a subtract 10 off your answer, basically, okay. or add, depending on where you're missing it from. Rise of Storm Monarch, Force of the Breaker, Ultimate Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. This card, you said 150. I said 150. It is worth. $160. Whoa! Almost right on the head. So you essentially got zero with the bonus. You almost nailed it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that That makes sense. I feel like that is what this card is worth. So far, I'm getting a little bit worried that I'm going to have to give away $1,000 after this. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that that's does not happen. Okay, maybe it, that would be cool, actually. So let's see. The next one, question number three. Here's a card that I don't really know much about. I know that you might know about this card. Salamander 
Gangrape Pyro Phoenix from, what is this? Chaos, what is Chime? Chaos Impact. Chaos Impact. Okay, Starlight First Edition. Your oh, the second Starlight set ever. So yes, I know you and Salaman Greats. I don't know about Pyro Phoenix though. So. Uh, yeah, we didn't really play this card because it's kind of bad. Okay, all right. So Why did you get a Starlight then? Because they make a lot of Starlights bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> this was back in the era where they had to use like a rare as a Starlight. One of each rarity. A super, yeah. it was so dumb. Like what were yeah. they thinking? Let, oh, let me let me take a step back. This card is like okay for what it's worth, but it's just like in the context of like when you played it and everything else at the time, it just wasn't great. Right. So this is the thing. It's a Starlight, which you immediately hear Starlight, you think this is going to be like a billion dollars, right? Right. But yeah. Essentially. No, they, yeah. They, this is this is a bad Starlight. So, so you're saying this one's not worth a billion dollars. No, I should this not. Is, I should not take a loan out for this card. This is not IP Masquerina. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah that the other one. The thing is though, it's still a Starlight, and the old like so then you have a card like Win for example, right? Which win is like objectively the worst charmer, but right. because it was like one of the first starlights, it's like $800 or some yep, like ridiculous yep. price <laughs> yeah. or Those something. are insane, those charmer yeah. cards. But I don't know if the second wave, aside from like, I know IP is up there just because IP is actually playable, but I don't know where Pyro Phoenix falls on the spectrum If you don't have here. a good idea, you do have three lifelines. Keep that in mind. I do, but I feel like I'd rather save them for later down the line. I think okay. I have like a general idea idea with this i'm just gonna i'm gonna float a guess out there interesting okay i think it's too rare for it to be tier one the early starlights especially are also like worth money because of like the fact they were the first ones but there was also been bad starlights like there's also that um there's that trap card too like the the storm the, wind yeah whatever. The, sto the storm uh what's it called the dragon's for storm force or something like some yeah some something that like it's it's bad right but that even yeah. that card is worth money in starlight rare yeah i think i'm gonna try to go a little bit safe here i'm gonna wager that this is tier two and i'm gonna okay. go for 150 i'm gonna go like i think this is worth about what the rise is worth okay so you you are guessing 150 the same guess as you did on question two yes you're locking that in that's your final I'm locking answer that in. You i'm don't probably go, way off you, you don't, don't want to change I, it at all I, I feel like that's what this is worth regardless of what it's actually actually were. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. All right. He submitted that he will pay $150 for a salad man gray pyro phoenix. All right. We, you heard it from the horse's mouth. All right. Question number three, you guessed $150. The salad man gray pyro phoenix from chaos impact starlight first edition near mint is worth $83. Wow, so it was tier one. So okay. if you have one, sell okay. it to Simo. He's yeah, gonna pay apparently I'm paying double for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a little tricky because it's like high rarity, yeah. but it's worth essentially like nothing compared to most starlights. I figured it would just be like at least over a hundred. Like I know there's a few starlights that like are incredibly low, but I didn't think they would actually be below a hundred. So that, that just goes to show how bad this card actually is. I was is. going through the starlight <laughs> list and I was like, man, this card is cheap. I was like, all right, yeah. let's just go for it. You didn't hit the tier correctly but you do get to wipe away this question so it's no big deal it's not a big yeah. deal because you this one's this probably one. getting wiped away yeah <laughs> that uh, was yeah right off. now it's really not that bad though you're only off by 67 dollars that's really not too bad in the grand that's scheme true. of things if this is your worst one you're gonna do really well so let's move true. on to number four we have the needle worm Ooh. from tp3 it's an ultra rare near mid condition this was the one ultra rare out of tournament pack three what do you know about this card do you remember playing the old school like eternal duel of soul and like uh <laughs> worldwide edition and you'd play up against, I don't, I think maybe it was like Bakura who played the mill deck. I don't remember. And the whole deck was just playing up against Needle Worms and just yeah. Gravekeeper Servant and all that. That's basically <laughs> yeah. my memory of Needle Worm uh, okay, in a nutshell. Yeah. So you could get it for the cost of Eternal Duel of Soul. Uh, maybe a few copies of Eternal Duel of Soul. But... <laughs> the, the digital version? <laughs> yeah, the digital version. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so... Neat, neat little guy, TP3, anything tournament pack is going to be money. Like even the commons in that set are money. Yeah. This is this is going to be up there. I think TP3, this is probably uh, TE3, tier three. Uh, it, it, at least so that's at least 250 yeah tp3 needleworm has to be at least 250 where it's gonna fall in tier three is a different question you do have those lifelines keep them in mind you <sighs> i can do a lower do. or higher that could help you could even get a new question if you're not too sure about this one uh, i think i like the challenge here okay all right he's gonna try and run the run the gauntlet with no i want to run the gauntlet at the very least I, th I think i don't feel i think i feel pretty confident i'll be like somewhat close uh okay. but I, i'll probably regret saying that now that i just did but 
I'm gonna say five hundred dollars. Five hundred. You want to lock it in at the five zero zero. Final answer. This would be by far the most expensive card. So let's see. Okay, you guessed five hundred dollars. The Needle Worm from Tournament Pack Three Ultra Rare Near Mint is worth six hundred dollars. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. You're pretty close. I mean, you're <laughs> within a hundred. That's really not too bad. So yeah. Uh, technically, this one will be getting wiped away now because it's more. It's but further than the the Pyro Phoenix. Percentage wise, it was better. It was a better guess. So this man's trying to do it without lifelines. I see. OK, all right. I want to save see. them. I want to save them for as best I can, which I could have used it there. Maybe then I would have had a better idea. I mean, you're only I off by a hundred. So it's like you kind of had a ballpark idea. So maybe not use it there. All right, let's go on to number five. Blackwing Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, Ancient Prophecy, Ultimate Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Initial thoughts, this is an Edison format card, 100%. Uh -huh. And with Edison being as popular as it is, this is going to be pricey because everyone who plays these alt formats, they're either one of two ways. They either want to just have the cheapest version of the deck possible just to play like pickup games, or yeah. they want to have like the max rarity Edison stuff, right? And that so is completely if, right. <laughs> if you're going to play Vayu Turbo, you need to have Vayu, right? And having right. an ultimate first Ancient Prophecy Vayu is basically mandatory at that point. Yeah, so like what level are you saying? Like what level do you think? You think it's going to be all the way at tier three? You think tier two? I don't like think what? it's going to be tier three. I think it's probably going to be in the tier two area. If this is over 200 fifty dollars i i'm gonna <laughs> go quit but i feel like this is it's money but it's not like needle worm money okay. just because there's it's a later set there's more of them available i am going to wager that ulti first near mint value is one hundred and eighty dollars. Ooh, that's pretty expensive for a little black wing guy. One hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. OK, so you want to lock that in at one eight zero? Yes, one eight zero. Question five, black wing value, the emblem of honor. I like how the black wings all are like black wing and then they just like have another name. Yeah, so it's like a dash. <laughs> like I noticed that when I was looking through the black wings to figure out which one I was going to ask you. I was like, OK, these have got some long names. So value the emblem of honor from ancient prophecy, ultimate rare first edition near mint. This card has had the craziest rise. So it was easily like down in the tier one just several months I, yeah, ago. Yeah, it was like, I think. 30 bucks or something like that mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. 40 50 it is now all the way up to 298 dollars holy <laughs> sh the progression <laughs> series is over simo has quit oh my god i've it's quit too expensive. i've quit it's too expensive i knew it was going to be up there because again old ulties first ed especially and it's playable and it's in a form that's the most or second most popular alternative format that people play but i was not expecting nearly 300 dollars. it, it is insane. ridiculous how expensive this card is i think maybe a factor is because ancient prophecy was one of those boxes that didn't have a first ed booster box so maybe being uh, first edition like harder to find you know ancient prophecy first edition cards i would assume that's part of it but also it feels like it's got had a buyout like and like people are just aren't reselling them so i i think the other part of it too is that it's also like one of if not the best deck in edison as well and i got so, waxed by it several times this week as a so. result of that with again more people getting into edison it's probably just spiking the demand even more for people who want to play if they want to just high rarity the whole deck yeah so i mean All i get factors. it i just didn't think it was that expensive that's insane to me 300 i mean to be fair, at least I didn't say it was like $50. So, yeah, you were definitely on the right track. You were talking out why it was good. So you just didn't have the exact number. All right, let's go to number six. So far, reminder, two tier three so far. We've got two tier ones and one tier two. Keep that in mind. We're going on to number six. Yada Garasu Legend, oh. or not Legend, Legacy of Darkness, Secret Rare First Edition, Near Mint. This is an interesting one because this just got recently unbanned. So... Not on the most previous list, but it was the one before that, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. This is funny because I remember as soon as this came off the list, everyone's like, Yu-Gi-Oh's over, let's quit. Like, Yada's <laughs> back. And the only deck that could, like, maybe do anything with this card is, like, Flunder. And that's, that's a big if and then yeah. it didn't do anything and so i believe this card probably like all cards in the ban list spiked tremendously as soon as the ban list happened and then probably came crashing back down afterwards just because everyone's like oh this card sucks the one yeah. thing that yada has going for it actually two things let me let me take a step back the two things that is going for it is that it's a very old very nostalgic very memorable card for a lot of people and because of that it's also just going to be expensive because it's a first ed secret the secrets, especially from the old sets, like LOD fifth set ever printed, always seem to hold up very well. 
So I think this is a tier two. Okay. I feel like this could easily go. I think even before this got unbanned, it was probably like a hundred dollar card for the first yeah. Eds near mints. I feel like that's kind of like a reasonable price for this card. Then if we're gonna account for banless type and then crash, I feel like there's probably a bunch of people who held them and just wanna just maybe sell them at a higher price. So I'm gonna go tier two. I'm gonna go 150, final answer. 150, you really like that 150 mark. Yeah, it's just like a clean, like nice, even 150. Uh, there are, it feels like a lot of cards around 150. Like to get over 150, you gotta be a pretty nice card, like uh, Blackwing Vayu, the Emblem of Honor. E evidently, okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're locking in. $150 is your guess. Yadagarasu from Legacy of Darkness, the secret rare first edition near mint copy is worth $160. Oh, so close again! How did I do that twice? You guessed 150 <laughs> on two 160 cards. <laughs> so you essentially got it exactly right that yeah. time. Again. That oh seems about right. Goodness. I feel like that is like accurately where this card should be valued. Question number seven. It's a card that you may have heard of. Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow Legendary Collection 5Ds First Edition Near Mint. I have single-handedly probably caused the value of this card to spike tremendously. I shouldn't say single-handedly. <laughs> Gage is also a big part of that. Yeah, yeah, you and Gage combined have, have probably made that happen. I don't know if you're allowed to clarify this. I believe this is the ultra rare. Uh, Yeah, I meant to put that. I think it's an ultra. I can't tell about I'm pretty picture. sure it's an, I think it's the highest rarity of Kalu. It is the highest rarity. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. That. Okay, that, that's fine. That's I meant all to put the to rarity and I forgot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I was saying, because of the progression series, because of the meme and Kalutes basically my mascot at this point, uh, Kalutes have just gone through the roof. Also, I will say Edison has also had a fair bit to do with it as well. Yeah. But I think Prague is pretty much the biggest part because people just want me to sign Kalutes and Gage by extension <laughs> because that man's probably signed like a thousand Kalutes at this point. <laughs> Poor uh, guy. So this is a tier one there there is i ref i refuse to believe you don't that think it can get over a hundred no, i refuse to believe that ultra rare colutes are over a hundred <laughs> if that's the case i'm actually quitting that 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 is that would be unbelievable to me this is tier one 100 percent. now where in tier one is is a very different story <laughs> because I could see this being like maybe 50, 60, 70 dollars. Like I could see that actually. But I don't you can't know if it see is 100. That high. You could see 50 through 70, but you can't see 100. I, I refuse to value this at a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, I refuse. all right. So with that being said, how much do I value this with Edison, with all of the merit and progression, like uh, everything surrounding this. How part. cool are you? That's what you have to really. really that's think what about. it comes down to. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> How pretty many people lame. Care like, about Simo. I'm pretty lame. Let's be honest. So yeah, I've met you now. So. I know I mean, you've done twenty something <laughs> episodes of auction series with me for some reason. So I'm gonna go. I felt confident for a second, and then I and I, I took a step. Hey, back. you okay. have three okay. lifelines. I do. You I'm can not do an using over them. under. I this might be the I refuse one. to use them. I refuse to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow, Ultra Rare, Legendary Collection 5Ds, First Edition, Near Mint, $35. $35. $5. Okay, so about a third of 100. So you're really sure it's not over. I think a play right? set of this could be worth 100. I don't think a single copy is worth 100. Okay, no okay. All right, so you're locking it in. 35 bucks for Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow. The answer to this one is... $17. Oh, I was way off. Okay. I mean, you're way <laughs> off, but it's still only $18, so it's really okay. not that much if you okay. think about it. The thing is, Kalud also has a lot of printings, which helps it as well. Yeah, it, uh, it did have like four or five, I think. I remember at one point, this was ages ago. I think it was maybe when Prague first aired with Black Wings and like yeah. I was on the whole Black Wings streak. I think the Kaluts were pushing 30 around that point. Yeah, so that, I wasn't that's sure. Probably right. I think in my head, maybe I was thinking they stuck around that, but it seems like they cooled down a bit. And honestly, I feel a lot better that this is a $17 card. <laughs> yeah, it'd be bad if this was over 100. <laughs> yeah, really no shot, no shot. All right, so, so far we've now hit three tier ones. Keep that in mind, two tier twos and two tier threes. We have three questions to go. We also have three lifelines, which you are refusing to use. We'll see if you can continue that streak or not. Question number eight, Dark Arm Dragon, Phantom Ooh. Darkness, Secret Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. I'm gonna make a lot of people angry with what I'm about to say. I think, similar to the breaker thing, 
I think this version should be more expensive than the Over ulti. the ulti, okay, I, making bold I statements here. I love ultis. Anyone who yeah. knows me knows I love ultimate rares. I think yeah. it is a sin that the original first ed secrets are not more expensive than the ultis. Okay. And unless something changed recently, I'm fairly certain that that's still the case. But the ultis are uh, like champion pack or turbo pack, something like that. Yeah, so turbo pack six, I believe. I get why it's more expensive and people like ultis too, but still right. for the nostalgia factor, anyone who played dad back in the day, like you had to play with the secrets. So, so today you have, you've quit Yu-Gi-Oh, you've assaulted twice. ultimate rare lovers. <laughs> and I feel like you did something else in the beginning too. That was pretty Probably. debatable. So Probably. My gut's saying tier three. I feel like if this was not first edition, this would probably be in like tier two. Because especially with the rise again of retro formats and such, and again, this is another heavily nostalgia based card. If only you had a way to know which tier it was. If in. only, well, this is question eight, isn't it? It is. You, it is. You so I could now. use one of my lifelines here if I really wanted to. Uh, <laughs> but like, I as feel if like you couldn't use them before. Ah, now yeah. I can finally <laughs> use them. Question eight. But to be fair, if I'm on the if I'm under the assumption this is a tier three, I think this is probably a good point to use it because had I used it on like the needle worm, I could have uh, gotten a lot closer in that sense. So this is probably another good point to use it. You also could do not only to know the same tier, you could just do lower or higher if you'd figure that it out. That is true. That is true. I'm I'm pretty confident that this is tier three. Man, do I even want to use a lifeline? It might even just be better to save it. I feel like I'm save pretty- it. I, I guess think I'm technically save it. you can use multiple on the same question if you want to. I was about to ask that as my qualifier, but yeah, if I'm allowed to use multiple, cause I've uh, been- In the first episodes, everyone used them in the first like three questions. So <laughs> this is new. This is new, it's just switching it up. I might actually, I'm gonna save it because I think, I think I feel pretty confident. Tier three, secret first, near mint, dark arm dragon, phantom darkness, beautiful card, 300 and $25. 325 You are feeling confident that it's a tier three card. Simo, you could have used a lifeline. I'm just saying you could okay. have. Okay. To know what the Dark Arm Dragon, Phantom Darkness, Secret Rare First Edition near meant, you could basically guarantee they were correct here and you could have potentially saved yourself. But you didn't need to. It was 398. So <laughs> oh, you're, you're still pretty okay. close. Yeah, you're All still right, pretty close. Yeah, I was going to go 350, but I thought, eh, it could be like, uh, I wanted to just hedge my my bets. I, I guess, feel but. like these went up because I feel like they used to be like under 300 at one I, point. I feel like that as well. Yeah, I think these have gone up just it again. It feels same like thing. They, people feel like you, maybe they want it to be, you know, better than the ulti. So it's kind of in the same ballpark almost at this point. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of the people who play the retro formats, unless they just collect it for the nostalgia factor and don't care about playing, I feel like retro format people also like having the original versions of the cards that were played at the yeah. time, not like the newer versions, right? Yeah. Also, I feel like the the like actual Phantom Darkness is like more sturdy than the Turbo Pack version because the, the the ultis are kind of like, you know what I mean? They're kind of flimsy. They're flimsy. They're yeah. Flimsy. So it's like if you're actually shuffling the card, it's like you feel better about having the secret rare because it's a little thicker. I don't know. I just feel like the secret rare just... I don't know if it's the inking on the card or the coloring. It just looks really clean. And the yeah, ulti, really I don't know. Nice. I, I feel like the ulti doesn't really do the card justice. And maybe this is just, you know, Boomer Simo coming out, but I don't know. This is one of the rare instances I'm against the ulti. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make another, uh, another bold statement to agree with you. I actually don't love the ulti, the look of it that much. I still I still like it because it's cool. It's ulti dad, but like, yeah. I feel like the ulti is almost like, it almost like it muddles takes away the card it. artwork and stuff a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's how kind of how I feel about it. So if you guys feel, you know, strongly the other way, let us know in the comments. All right, let's move on. We are now on to the last two questions because nine and 10, we ask at the same time. That way you can't like, you know, maneuver any tiers or whatever. <laughs> but so far you've had three tier threes already, three tier ones and two tier two. So you're guaranteed that one of these is tier two. It can help yes. you out there. And uh, I've got you three lifelines, baby. All Easy. three <laughs> lifelines. So you can kind of like throw everything at the wall here to try and do your absolute best. So uh, let's do this. All right, Simo. Since you are a ghost rare hater, as I say, yes, I decided to end it with two ghost rares. A episode or, or question nine and question ten. Question nine is Black Rose Dragon Crossroads of Chaos Ghost Rare. This is the unlimited copy. Unlimited, interesting. Yeah. That's like first the first time we're going unlimited. unlimited. The number ten is Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Photon Shockwave Ghost Rare First Edition Near Mint. So you have two ghost rares. All of your hate, like, let's hear a little bit. Come on, defend yourself for hating. Ghost yeah. Rares. Well, first of all, I can't tell which card is which because they look exactly the same. But. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that I is not true. A Lies. lot of people, a lot of people love Ghost. Rare. I am not a fan of this of this style whatsoever. It's just okay, it does, you can't it does tell me that me. you saw my picture on Twitter of the black rose that I took and you didn't think it looked good. I think the black rose and the Stardust specifically are the only two 
that I approve of, and maybe honest. Sorry, I'll take a step back. Honest, it, just so because you like the old ones. I like, is, yeah, I think I like the very first ones, and after that, I don't think I like them ever again. <laughs> well, they slowly have gotten worse. Every and like, they okay. keep making them worse and worse. So the beginning ones, I say, are definitely the best. They look really good to me. I don't know, and maybe maybe that is the case. That it just got progressively worse over time. But yeah, for some reason, those three I can appreciate. I still prefer the ulti okay. versions of Black Rose and Stardust. Oh come on! But, but again, everyone has their own preferences, and. Some Everyone has their own preferences, but they can be wrong. Hey, I know, like you. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Black Rose and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So it's interesting we're doing Unlimited here, because if this was first edition, this would easily be like the most expensive card we've probably done. This yeah, it'd be a little episode. bit too easy to know the tier on that one. <laughs> Unlimited, though, I think actually a lot more difficult because that I actually probably have zero clue on. Uh, That's Galaxy okay, you have three Photon lifelines. Dragon. I do have three. I'm probably going to use all three here. I'll be honest. Yeah. So Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, I'll be honest with you. I know nothing about this card whatsoever. So I'm actually going to ask for a new question on... So if oh. I ask for a new question, does it reset both cards or just one? No, it's, this one is just going to do question 10, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Yes, so I would like to reset the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon for a new one. All right, you are asking for a new question. You say, I don't know anything about Ghost Rares, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Go ahead and put in your guess right now, and I'll tell you afterwards because I don't want to give away the tier that it's in. But guess what you think it would have been. I'm going to say that this is like... 200. Okay, 200. All right, we're going to come back to that. Yeah, we'll remind come back me to, to that. Remind yeah. me to tell you that after we do the answers. Okay. All right, Simo, your big brain has finally failed you. You decided that you want to use a lifeline. So Correct. you are getting a new question 10. That is going to be the illusion of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to be out of my choice. <laughs> Dang it. After a slight delay where I gave him the, uh, the wrong question, we will be giving a completely random 10th question because I gave away the tier, I gave away the price, everything. So the, these nine and 10, it's not thrown out the window. He's just gonna have to know because he has a big brain. So here we go. Let's see if this lifeline helped or hurt you. All right, number 10, your re-question is the Dark Paladin first edition artwork, Magician's Force Near Mint. Now, wait a minute. I thought this isn't the Dark Paladin from MFC. I thought that's the one from the- uh, All right, I'll give Duel. you a little background. So okay. this is Dual Master's Guide. Dual they Master's Guide, yeah. Yeah, they accidentally printed the Dual Master's Guide, put it into Magician's Forces First Edition. Then if you got this card, you were able to mail it to Konami and get the actual First Edition artwork, which is like the one everyone's like, oh, Ooh, super rare, because like you didn't actually pull it out of the box. Then in the Unlimited, they had that same other artwork, not the DMG artwork. So oh. this one is the actual First Edition, but it was not on purpose. I never knew that. I always knew, I always associated this with the Dual Master's Guide and I associated the other one with the MFC. So that's neat. That's, I never knew that. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird situation where they put the wrong artwork in the set. I want to say I like improved my chances, but I don't, I think I'm about in the same position I was before because that is a card I have zero clue with that. <laughs> we didn't even know it was the first edition, so. <laughs> I mean, exactly, yeah. So uh, we're learning something new every day. Okay, this is why we saved the two lifelines for the end and you're making fun of me. Uh, it's working out, I guess. Sort of, except that I had to give you a different card and like mess it all up, so. So one of these statistically has to be a tier two correct because we've gone through three tier ones and three tier threes uh statistically yes if we had not messed up number 10 so this could be oh, any of so the at this point it's anything anything yeah game. so uh, you used oh. a lifeline and because of the mess up you have now a less chance to get it right <laughs> excellent i'm glad yeah. that i saved the lifeline for the end and made everything worse great okay i'm going to use the lifeline on the paladin and i'm able to ask do i have to ask if what tier it's in, or do I have to pick a tier and like confirm that? No, you can just ask, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, what tier is the Dark Paladin in? The Dark Paladin is in tier three. Tier three, okay. I felt pretty confident that the Ghost Black Rose Unlimited is also tier three. And I could be wrong, but I think even with the Unlim, it's still worth a lot of money just because it's Black Rose. So for the Dark Paladin, I'm going to go with four hundred dollars and then the black rose is where i'm gonna use my higher or lower is it higher or lower than 500 higher or lower than 500 dollars? you're using your final lifeline to see if you kind of have an idea where it is i can tell you that the black rose dragon ghost rare unlimited near mint from crossroads of chaos is under 500 dollars. under okay now the question is how far under? I still feel like this is worth a few hundred. Uh, there's been the trend this whole episode of these are old cards 
iconic cards from the anime, also staple cards in old formats as well. And so people like their, their shiny cards. And if you can't get a first ed ghost black rose, your next step is an unlimited ghost black rose. So that sort of helps the price balloon a bit. Unless you're CMO, you go for the ultimate rare. Which is what I do. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is prettier. I'm going to go with, Wrong. for the unlimited black rose ghost near mint, I'm going to say that this is also $400. All right, final answers upcoming. This is the end. Simo, how are you feeling right now about how you did overall? Not very good. Uh, do you want to start with the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon that I uh, threw away? Sure, first? I will start with that. Uh, that's actually not going to matter what tier it was because I accidentally showed you. So yeah. <laughs> uh, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ghost Dragon, you guessed $200. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now that you should have stuck with your guess and stayed with that card. This card is $171. Oh my God. So you were really close Damn. without knowing. You were very, very close. Maybe I should, yeah, it, I guess. All right. All right. I so figured I could maybe up. have traded up on the Photon Dragon for something a little bit better. And uh, I know the card, but I don't know it very well, evidently. All right, break me the bad news, buddy. How bad do we do? Okay, question number nine, the Black Rose. This card is worth $265. That feels low to me. Yeah, wow. it, it is. It used, I feel like okay. it used to be 300. It's come down a little bit, I think. Okay, but okay. Yeah, it's very, a lot lower than the first head. Like, you're, I think the first yeah. head even gets up to 1,500 sometimes. So, like, exactly. like less than yeah. a fifth, like 20% to buy an unlimited. So... Yeah, they Sometimes really don't look first any different. Ends, that's how it works. Yeah, they really don't look that much different either. So very expensive card. So I don't know if that's your worst one yet, but it, it's close, I think. It's pretty close. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I, that's go buy those people. I feel like that's undervalued. Yeah, so what we found today is that there's a lot of uh, cheaper cards than we would have thought. Um, yeah. All the right. final question, question 10, you replaced the Galaxy Eyes Photon, which you only missed by $29. I will tell you, you missed it by more than $29. You said oh, great. $400 on the Dark Palette. The correct answer okay. was $330. So you're still not too bad. Okay, not as you're bad not as, as bad. the Black Rose, actually. Yeah, yeah. you actually did okay. You're 400 it's Supposed to be Illusion of Chaos, $179. We accidentally <laughs> showed you the answer, so we had to kind of do a little bit of an audible. But uh, Just fine. Would, would you have known the Illusion of Chaos? I'm interested. Probably not. I knew that this card was played, and so I know the starlight of this is probably uh, some money, not a ton. I probably would yeah. have guessed like two, two fifty on that. In yeah. all honesty, so you would so have been, been around the same range, probably. Yeah, around the same. So actually, I think it did worse from yeah. uh, trying so why, to use my lifelines. You should have stuck with the no more lifelines. I feel like you did better before that. Probably that was the mistake all along. I should have just gone. I stuck with my guns. Stuck with well, my guns. But honestly, yeah. you did pretty good. Now it's time to see the results and see what you actually got, and like determine the giveaway for the fans. All right. Simo, you've completed the 10 question quiz. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Wait, what are you thinking you are? Overall, I, I for not having like looked at card prices in years, because I haven't really had to, I, yeah. I felt like I did pretty good. I completely botched the end. I will fully admit that. That but seems the rest to be a trend. Them, people are, are doing really well, and then the end, they kind of fall off, you know? They mess up a little bit at the end. So that, that the two at the same time is kind of difficult, so. Even with the lifelines, I, that, that made it worse. They were death lines. Yeah, they, yeah, they were bad. You shouldn't have <laughs> used them. Okay, so the total value of all the cards that we asked was 2000 $401. So okay. that's the total value of all 10 that you did. Oh, that was $1. Inc including the replaced. Yeah, yeah, the replaced ones. You were off by $496 overall. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then you got to factor in, you got $70 off because you guessed in the correct tier seven out of 10 times. So you get to subtract 70. So you're at $426 off. Do a little math. 426 divided by 2401. You were 17.7% away, which means you're in the 25 percent here so you're gonna hundred you're officially the worst person on the show so far <laughs> you uh, don't even know doing the worst possible. again i felt like you did so good <laughs> that's why i had to double check i was like i feel like you did pretty well but i mean honestly 17.7 percent .7 with like the variance of how cards move and all yeah. that stuff i've talked about this for pretty much every episode if you're like within 20 it's really good so i'm considering mm. like i wanted to see how a few guests did before i like changed up the tiers of how the money works and stuff because sure. I, I didn't want to like make it too easy then bring you in and you know every price off the top of your head <laughs> you know something like that but yeah, yeah. uh you still made it into the 100 tier you did really well i basically was the 
Last couple was basically it. I mean, the, you, you missed those by about like 200 or whatever, and you had to replace your old one or something like that. But I think the tier threes, the tier threes, if you miss those, that's going to really tank your score. The tier because, threes are really hard. That's yeah. I, I would recommend future guests use your lifelines on the tier threes because that's where you can really yeah. have the variance. Or if you just don't have any idea and like you don't know if it's a tier one or a tier three, it could be anywhere. That's where you can really go wrong as well. Or don't be like me and don't use your lifelines and just go with your gut and then you'll actually do better in the long run. Or do that, yeah, or do that. Just get them all right. At just the saying, I would have been only 20 or 30 off that photon dragon if I actually yeah. kept it, but here we are. <laughs> exactly. But thanks for having me, buddy. Uh, this was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Thanks for being here, man. Yep, I'm happy to be the worst person on the show thus far. I will wear that badge proudly. Uh, you know, hey, there's only the... been three, so you're in third. You're still in like the bronze medal. Not bad, we'll, not bad. We'll see, we'll see 10 episodes down the line if I'm still in last. Yeah, well, I don't think so. I think someone's going to do worse than you um this was no auction series but this can be the sequel we'll have to see if you guys <laughs> i don't know maybe auction series will come back we'll have to see maybe. About, uh, who knows when we're 35 it might sound interesting again i don't know potentially all right thank you guys for watching if you want to enter that giveaway for the 100 giveaway make sure to like the video subscribe leave a comment down below and uh simo thanks again for being here got any final words no thanks for having me and uh you know if you, I'm, I'm glad that we did this because had you given away a thousand dollars maybe auction series would have come back just saying just saying could have happened it's my fault <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> peace Nim Nim is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG creator known for his popular Sealed Only series as well as co-hosting the Progression series with Sima. He is also known as an avid high rarity Yu-Gi-Oh! card collector and makes high quality vlog videos visiting card shops and playing in tournaments. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to episode 4 of Guess That Price. We have an epic guest today, Gage aka Nim Nim. Gage, how you doing today? Oh, incredible, Rux. It couldn't be doing better if you ask me. You let me clock in for another day of hard work? <laughs> this is going to be very <laughs> exciting, bro. I did, and today you have a chance to win up to $1,000 for the viewers of my channel. So how, what are you thinking? You, you're going to win $100, $1,000? you are going to go all the way to the lowest of $50? How are you going to do it? Never, bro. Like, you know I do this for a living, too. I work at a trading card shop, so I'm fully expecting to hit in that $1,000 range. Any card you throw me probably researched it in the last week bro i know what's up i was actually excited to like have you on because i know that you're constantly looking at prices not only for like your work but also like you buy stuff and stuff like that so i'm interested to see like how you do versus like we've had jarvis on we've had pokey rev who like you know they're not really you know Yu-Gi-Oh people and then we have simo on so i, I won't spoil how he did for you yet because you haven't seen the episode but you'll, you'll see if you can beat him yeah i watched with jarvis and uh, i love jarvis he's a really cool collector he's got a lot of nice rectangles himself but like even the Looking at him, I'm like, bro, I know all of these things off the top of my head, dude. So I'm ready to claim your wallet today, dude. It's going to be quite easy. Top right into it. Question number one. Access Code Talker, Eternity Code, Secret Rare, First Edition, Near Mint. Uh, thought process is I already know this one off the top of my head. Access oh. Code Talker released Eternity Code. I'm like, sure, that's 2019 or something like that. Game-breaking card, bro. One of the best Link 4s in the game. On release, this card was 60 bucks, bro. It was affordable. That was a yeah. bargain. And if you kept your copy all throughout time, including up to now, the secret rare copy has been the one that has stood the test of time. What was the peak price for this card? Do you remember? Oh, the peak price of the card was like $120. That's yeah, like before the reprint. Even post reprint. The funny thing about this card is Access Code Talker's only accessible reprint uh, up until the Battle Legends Crystal Beast thing that we have in a couple months was a maximum gold rare. And bro, I don't, what do you think about that rarity? Yeah, it's so I, bad. I think that's the funniest rarity to get a reprint because the original versions just don't go down because nobody wants the gold. So like the gold still was like 40 bucks or 50 bucks mm -hmm. for this thing, wasn't it? Yep. I actually, the funny thing is, is I, I know this for a fact because I sold a copy of maximum gold access code talker yesterday for $40 on TCG. Wow. Okay. So I, yeah, I know that for sure. So the thing about the, the secret rare though, is that it's price has stood the test of time. Like right. if you looked, it had like this inverse effect where it went down when the reprint hit and then it went back up because people realized the other ready was so bad. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing is currently, I don't know the exact price of the secret with the reprint looming, but I still right. know this is going to be my guess. I think it is sitting around an $80 secret rare copy right now. $80. So you want to lock that into your final answer for the access code? I'm just going right away. Let's lock it in. Okay. I like it. I like the confidence. Uh, you pretty much know exactly like all about why this card's still expensive because obviously nobody likes those maximum gold rares. I'm sorry if I'm offending you guys and you guys like them, but most people don't like in, re in reality. So the access 
code talker, eternity code. He's saying this is a tier one card and uh, you are correct. This is a tier one card. I don't know if you know, if you hit the tier correctly, you get a $10 credit so if you're ten dollars off you're gonna ex get it exactly right essentially so the answer for the first question is 74 dollars so oh you my, are I very do. close right on the money bro the only thing that's going to be a problem with me and i'm starting to realize is i think you go by near mint listings of cards okay i do and for my card shop and what i do when i list personally is i list everything unless it's pack fresh as light play so right. i don't get the card back i just ref i don't want to deal with the hassle right exactly yeah there's not normally a large difference between light play and near mint unless you're going to like super collectible stuff yeah uh, but that's where i think it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult when you start hitting me with that collectible stuff and i gotta account for the gap between light play and near mint. there's definitely gonna be a gap on those so we'll see yeah but this one new card i know the deal bro take me to the next one all right so you are essentially plus four dollars right now because you got a ten dollar credit you missed it by six so you're starting off super strong let's go to question two judgment dragon turbo pack one ultimate rare near mint beautiful card bro beautiful card Very i actually beautiful. own two copies of this myself. I, I picked Ooh. up a, a really good trade to get a place at a Judgment Dragon. I've let go a few of them. The first Turbo Pack Ultimate Rare, uh, Konami had just taken over Turbo Pack. Incredible release, dude. Turbo Pack is some of my favorite because I love yep. the Ultimate Rarity. Yeah, it looks great. So this is my thing where I think I know the price off the top of my head again for even a Nearman copy because I did look it up the other day. Oh. I can actually probably just lock it in real quick. I think light plays go for around 400 on the average. Near mints, though, I know for a fact on TCG Player, they go for 500 US dollars. And I will lock that in right away. This is a tier three, baby. 500 right off the bat. You are 100% certain. 100% actually. I will take that. The, the $0 credit you give me or the $10 credit you give me, bro. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. All right. So you are very confident with this one. This might be a quick episode because you're just going to know right off the bat. You don't even have to think about it. So second question is indeed a tier three card. So you've officially gotten your credit. Here's where the variance comes in. Sometimes even if you've looked it up recently, you know, you've looked it up on the price guide or whatever, but you didn't go right in to see the lowest listing. That's how I always go off of it. So what the lowest listing was, you said $500. Yes. The lowest near mint listing for Judgment Dragon is, by a verified seller, by the way, $450. Oh, you know what? That's honestly way close. That's like what? 10 per, 10 you're less than 10% like away. You're only $40 off with the credit out of 450. So you're actually still doing really well. It's actually not a bad guess at all, especially since it was right off the top of your head. And these tier threes, if you get them kind of close, you can like really make up for it with the other ones because these are the hardest ones if you don't know them because they're such a big range. So pretty good guess. You're looking good so far. I'm feeling good, bro. Take me to question three, dude. Have yet to touch those lifelines. Question three, not even, not even thinking about a lifeline yet. So all right, let's go to number three. Dino Wrestler Pankratops Collector Rare Ancient Guardians First Edition Near Mint. Iconic card, bro. Especially now, dude, you have the, the Kashri Ta Fenrir uh, yes. contesting Pankratops' top dog for the going second. I yep. remember this one distinctly because I believe I purchased a copy off of you, my friend. I traded you, actually. We traded for your video. Yes. So yeah, yes. I traded you this one. What did I trade you? I traded you a Summon Skull from... Yeah, Retro Pack Retro one. Pack. Yeah, yeah I still Retro Pack. Uh, at the time, I think that was a great trade. I still think it's a great trade to this day because I, yeah. I play this Pankratops in every deck, bro. You don't understand. I love this thing. So <laughs> Pankratops has been one from Ancient Guardians that has aged tremendously well. Ancient Guardians... Uh, as for collector <laughs> rares, the threshold is like what? You have like Traden and then Pank and then everything else, all of the archetypes, Ogdoatic. Don't they have the Skullmeister as well? Oh, Skullmeister is also yeah, Ancient Guardians. Pretty decent. That is, that's a good call too. That's a good one too. But all the archetypal ones, you know, like you have yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the Sulfa Cord, you have Ogdoatic and then yeah. whatever the last one was. Nobody plays those, dude. They're so bad. Yeah, Ancient so, Guardians has not aged well in general. It's yeah, uh, Besides yeah. a couple of cards, it's not very expensive. I think I know this one off the top of my head too. I believe it's gone up recently. Uh, I think the price of Pankratops. It's going to be in the tier two range, which is a hundred plus, I believe you told me. Right. But it's going to be on the lower end. I'm going to guess 125 US dollars. That sounds about right to me. $125 right off the rip. This man, I traded it once, so I expect you to know this one. He just knows. He just knows. So we're on question three. He has nailed it again. Tier two. We're going to be giving away some money today. If you're in the chat, make sure, or not the chat. <laughs> if you're in the comments, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and enter that giveaway because this might be a big one. Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Tops, Collector Rare, Ancient Guardians, First Edition, Near Mint. Gage said $125. The correct answer 
is one hundred and thirty dollars. I'm just on the so money today, bro. Has like been nailed. So you <laughs> officially <laughs> gone over the correct answer twice with the bonus. So you're like insane right now. So we're looking real good. The very funny thing I wanted to say one thirty. I'm not even kidding you, but like <laughs> you got me with the last one being in the middle, like four fifty. So I was like, right. ah, I'll give it a little wee way. It doesn't yep. matter though. I'm happy with that. Perfect answer. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So you're looking really good so far through a third of the questions. You still have all your lifelines. You still have one to throw out. Technically, the Judgment Dragon is being thrown out of fifty dollars off. So I don't like, even feel bad about that one. That was a good like answer for me too. Positive by ten dollars right now. So this is insane. All right, question four. Maybe this is the one that will stump you because we're gonna have to stump you, or I'm gonna be broke. So here we go. Chaos Sorcerer Turbo Pack Ultra Near Mint. And I know you love chaos because we've watched Prague. I know you love chaos. I do, man. I do love to banish a light in the dark, bro. It's my specialty. <laughs> yes. Turbo Pack 2, bro. Man, again, like just coming out with Turbo Pack. Chaos Sork, another banger, dude. This is the highest rarity Chaos Sork currently to date is the Turbo Pack version. Uh, I never did research the near mint price of Chaos Sork. I've yet Ooh. to actually hit that time where I need something. So this one, it might, might use be a, a lifeline here, huh? I don't think I'll use a lifeline because I know for a fact, right, from the price that I had before, this is definitely going to be a tier three card, I think. It's going to be up above that 250 range not by much i don't think you but are I think on it's a, a massively good streak you have three lifelines and you're saying you don't want to use one maybe i should right this is the one that's going to stump me i got uh, man not even a, a phone a friend wouldn't help too bro i am that friend <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i know a friend up. so phone a friend wouldn't really help you <laughs> All right, so I can tell you can tell me what tier it in. You can tell me if it's higher or lower. Um, higher or lower. The thing about that one is it essentially also tells me what tier it's in. So I might. Yeah, it, you can you can narrow it down to one either A tier or two other tiers. You can't necessarily grab the tier, but it can in this one if you're pretty sure it's between two or three or one or two. I'd like you to tell me what tier it in. Was I right about it being a tier three card? Because if it's a tier three card, I think I can nail the price pretty easily. Okay, you have invoked your first lifeline. First one, question four. I think this was a good decision to use a lifeline because you were saying, I th I'm pretty sure this is a tier three. This is not in a tier three. This okay. is a tier two card. Okay, interesting. So I, I know my copy that I recently got rid of, not even recently, a couple months ago, I got rid of a heavily played for 150 bucks, which I think was okay. a killer deal for an English. Yeah. Um, you're saying it's below 250 for a near mint. I might have to it pick is. up some chaos swords. Right? <laughs> I might have to. This is um, one that I've noticed go down a little bit. Okay, well, that helps me a lot because I would have been way off if I would have guessed a right, tier three price. Right. But I, I'm going to believe it's still on the upper echelon of a tier three for a near mint. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to guess 225 US dollars for a Turbo Pack 2 Chaos Sorcerer near me. All right, so you used your first lifeline. It saved you from being way off, and I think it was a great decision because question number four was indeed in tier two. You get the bonus because you use your lifeline. You know it's in tier two. Turbo Pack Ultra near Mint. The verified low was $201. Oh, okay. I was... 25 off, but still, it's it's at. I was gonna guess 202, bro. Uh, that didn't sound right. Though. All right, cool. God, yeah, I'm, I'm you okay were with essentially that only 14 off, so you're still very very close here. Yeah, if you had guessed 200, that would have been a great guess. Yeah, yeah, that's all right though. You know what? I, I, I'll take it again. Still, I'm, I'm banging, bro. I always round these to the nearest dollar. I think the exact price was like 20 dollars and 78 cents or something like that. So okay. 200 <laughs> would have been insanely like close. Thank for a near mint copy too. That seems like a really good price for Chaos Sword, bro. I know lie. it honestly does. I don't know if it's because of like other prints of Chaos Sork or something, or maybe it's just like goat format is kind of slown down a little bit because of Edison getting popular. I don't know that's if true. that's why, but I had noticed that the Chaos Sorks used to be 300, 350, and now they're all the way down to 200. And I was like, it's kind of a good price, you know? Yeah, it seems like a bargain. Like uh, the thing is though, I could totally see this card getting a collector rare in the future, 100%. That, exactly. So being an ultra is a little precarious because like, sure, it'll always be that like champion pack type version. It's, I mean, though it's turbo, but it's like that older version and like, the not so high rarity, but then once they get like a, you know, a Starlight Collector or a Ghost Rare, it's like, that's another option that people will pick. So it'll definitely hurt the price when that happens. I'm okay with that answer, dude, though. I was close enough. I'll take it. All right, let's move on to question number five, the halfway point of the quiz. Let's see if you can continue to be insane. The next question is, Red Eyes Black Dragon Ghost Rare from Ghost from the Past 2 First Edition Near Mint. Wow, dude, what a set, bro. Ghost from the Past 2. This set has not aged well at all man <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of people bought this set a lot of people oh yeah a lot of people bought this set. i remember the first ghost from the past came out and i was already upset that the ghost rares got reprinted but just doubling the quantity that you would get in ghost from the past two eradicated the market i know for a fact this is a tier one card i don't even gotta guess at that bro uh it's just how low is this red eyes black dragon because i know some of these ghost rares from gftp2 
are sickeningly low. Like you're right. like, I could pick this up for 20 bucks or something like that. I do have a really educated guess for the Red Eyes Black Dragon because I think I sold one recently. Again, bro, working at a card shop, it has its merits. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. I definitely think this Red Eyes Black Dragon, I got to go for the middle grounds again too. I think it's it's between these two. It's between 45 to $50 US. Final answer. Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. No, actually, <laughs> I got to think for a minute because I got to think this is another one of those wild ones where Ghost from the Past in general has had printing errors, atrocious right. printing errors. Like yeah. the back of these cards, Ghost Rares, are sometimes so waxy, they're bad. Yeah, they're gross. So so listing a true near mint copy puts a lot of weight on the seller to like if, if somebody has to receive it it has right. to be up to their standards so yeah. i think most people list these ghost rares as light play oh man that makes it a little more difficult i don't hey, need you a light do play. have a higher or lower option you can even get a new question if you want i don't think i need a new question i'm okay. pretty confident right. in my answer here but like uh it's just the thing is that's gonna get me it's gonna be that nm bro the near mint yeah. but i do we'll go we'll go we'll go the middle we'll go actually i'll guess 50 dollars us for red eyes black dragon okay so you're locking in at 50 and you're a little nervous based on the near mint designation because you know a lot of these times these come out and they're kind of like iffy it's like the borderline near mint might be light play so if you're a tcg seller a lot of the times if it's borderline you just want to put it one lower because the issue of having someone hit you up and be like hey this card is not in the condition i stated and then having to return it or just refund them it's just not worth it most of the time and we could kind of relate with that so usually if you're a kind someone that sells a lot you just default to light play so but the thing is some people just post it as near mint so that might not actually matter at all so we'll have to see question five is indeed a tier one card so you're gonna get the bonus i think you've hit it every time so far you said 50 dollars. it goes for 73 dollars oh oh that's a lot more than i thought it was dude ain't nobody playing red eyes black dragon and it's not all about playability games people collect cards that's true red i did not black expect dragon. that one. i knew it was a tier one like i said i ain't hey, but you're still only 13 dollars right? off i mean so it's really not a big deal <laughs> yeah i'm okay with that one like i said uh red eyes black dragon even like i know back in the day with the first ghost from the past people were listing their dark magicians that they pulled if they weren't like mint they were listing them as like even heavily played on tcg player just because they would have to face those refunds if anybody wanted to like send it back yeah do so. you remember the uh pin dots in the dark magicians oh do there i was like a yes, hundred of them on some they of them. were it on was so every bad. card every card bro like i i finding a psa 10 dark magician yeah. in like ghost rare is a is an anomaly on its own, bro. So yeah, I, I remember the awful printing errors with these sets, man. Okay, Gage, we're halfway through. You are dominating. You haven't had a bad miss yet. We need you to have a bad miss so I don't have to spend $1,000 on the viewers. I hate you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's keep going. Question number six. We have the Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder Starlight from Phantom Rage First Edition Near Mint. Insanely beautiful card, bro. Insanely yes. powerful card too out of Phantom Rage too. I actually own two copies of this. I'm, I'm thinking I... You're a starlight just guy. Recently. I am a starlight guy. I love this rarity more than anything, actually. I know Zeus, I talked for the longest time when it came out in Phantom Rage. I'm like, this is a $500 starlight rare, and the only reason it's not is because you could buy Phantom Rage on the shelf. Eventually, I think it's ascended to not quite that price. It's a little bit below, but it's definitely hit its stride from where it used to be like 250 bucks when I was picking them up and I was like, this is a bargain. I think the price I sold mine recently for was around like 400 to 450 bucks. I think it's gone up to like 400. Um, I'm pretty, it's a tier three card for sure. I don't have to, yep. again, I got to guess. I'll take my 10 credit right there, but um, I'm going to lock it in real quick. We'll go on to the next one. I think this is, I recently sold mine for 400 US dollars or around there based on percentages. So 400 US, I'll lock it in. $400. That's what you said. You are officially correct on the tier. It is a tier three card. You get your bonus. The lowest price available right now is $442. Ugh, again, man, as I know it's around that range. I'll still yeah. take it though. So I'm like 32 it, off on that It's tough to get right on those tier threes. So just keeping it within like 50 like you're doing and then getting the bonus is actually insane. Like you're doing really, really well. Yeah, man, I, I, get, I think that's gone up recently too from the copy I sold. But but again, I, it's uh, again, like I said, it is a $500 Starlight Raid. This card is insane. It'll be insane for the future too. Uh, if anybody missed their chance to get it when it was 250, like Hita in the same set too, I, I feel sorry for you, bro. This one, <laughs> hell of a card. All right, Gage, you're do it. still doing well, still Still got two lifelines. Your worst one is still $50 off, so you're still doing really good. Question number seven. I'm interested to see about this one. I don't know what you're going to say here. Cyber Dragon Dark Revelation Volume 4 Ultra Rare Near Mint. 
Oh, uh, bro, Dark Revelation. <laughs> I don't know this one, bro. I don't. I gotta be honest. I think I'm Life gonna have lines? to call in the lifeline. I think I might have to. Do you the want thing a new about, one or do you want a higher or lower? I'll let you know in a minute. Let me talk about what, I, what, what I'm thinking about Cyber. Okay, Dragon. okay. Any of the Dark Revelation sets are so hard to come by, especially four, bro. Like, mm -hmm. DR04 is an anomaly. I think it was only released in, like, this dual pack or something like that. Yep. Where you got, like, what, is that what it was? You got, like, yeah, two packs in, Yeah, you got two and, like, packs in it. It's, like, this weird... It kind of looks like Duel of Saga, but it has two packs in it. Yeah, and, it, and I think you got a promo Light and Darkness Dragon or something, which was pretty Yeah, you sick. did. Yep. But, but yeah, yeah, that's the only place you could get DR04. Some of the rares of DR04 are, like, unironically, like, $90. Like, it's, like, it's yeah, really it's, hard it's to come insane. by And set. some of the commons, too. It's, like, really weird stuff like that. Man, a near mint Dark Revelation 4 Ultra Rare, that's pricey. I guess it was a Tier 3 card, but I'll tell you what. I haven't used my lifelines that much yet, and I am going to take the safe option. Give me a new one. Give me a new one. I think one this is a great team. decision because you never know. With Dark Revelation, probably the most wacky set in terms of price. Like you, you could, I think the uh, BES Tetrin is like $90. So it's yeah. like, how do you even know that? So I think that's a good decision. Uh, let me, what would you have guessed? I want to know that for I would probably guess if I just took a number off my head, like $300 for a Cyber Dragon near mint. Okay, I'm going to put that on here for later i don't want to tell you what it is because the replacement question is going to be in the same tier so i'll tell okay. you after we finish that one so your replacement question let me grab it real quick brain control ultimate rare the lost millennium first edition near mint oh bro <laughs> oh man that's tough oh, oh man. you don't know this one no i it's it's a thing that i do know it i know what it goes for in light play because i have a copy of brain control first ulti and light play that i picked up and i think i picked it up for a bargain but this is telling me, like, I, with the near mint divide, I think. It's like, it's either going to be right at tier 3 at 250, or it's going to uh -huh. be below it. If I had to guess, we haven't had too many tier 2s. We've had Chaos Orc and Pank. So far, I can tell you there's been two of each so far. It could very well be, again, the upper echelon of the tier 2. I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's... That surprises me, then, that Cyber Dragon isn't in tier 3 level. Yeah, is that what's throwing you off? It's the Cyber Dragon being in the same yeah, tier? Yeah, yeah, because now I'm like, damn, that's that's kind of wild. I would say don't get too distracted by the Cyber Dragon, because that could be literally anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Lost Millennium is another one of those sets where it's like it's hard to get true near-mint copies. Like, if you find a near-mint copy of Ancient Gear Golem, you're balling. Right. But, like, majority of them, I think, are light play out of the pack. I got. I'm going to guess this is a tier 2. This might be my first wrong one. I'm going to guess this is a tier 2 on the upper end. I'm going to go 190 US for the Brain Control Ultimate Rare. Because I think when I picked up my copy, it was 150 for like a light play. And it was a really clean light play. So I'll go 190 US for Brain Con Ulti. All right, locking it in at $190. Do you think it's tier 2? Gage, I know that Cyber Dragon was tricky, but you nailed it. It's a tier 2 card. So you are correct about the tier. You have not missed that one. The final answer, I think 150 for your light play. It seems like a pretty good deal. For the near mint, the lowest available is $225. Ah, oh, okay. So All right, it, yeah. You were nailing I, it. You were like, it's just at the upper echelon of tier two. I was like, yep, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. You're still really close though. You got it. You're only 25 after the credits. So not one of your best ones, but you're doing so well. It's like, you know, it's yeah, still really so good. Can you tell me what the Cyber Dragon is then? And now that's gonna... I can tell you what the Cyber Dragon is. This one is surprising because based on like the fact that some of the rares are 90 bucks and like the Tetrans like almost $100, this is only $130. 100 and... Oh, I would have been way wrong, dude. I would have been like at least like, oh my God, I would have guessed like 250. Like, yeah, at when the you were talking about it, I was like, yeah, life loss. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Try those. All right. I'm, not, I'm okay with that guess with Brain Con. Like I said, I think I, I think got a good was, deal. You on still my saved yourself. Too, so. <laughs> uh, you would have been $170 off based on your first one. So yes, absolutely. You saved yourself a lot by using that lifeline. That was worth it. All right. Question number eight. We have. This one will be interesting. I, you probably know this because you've probably sold some of these, but it's also a really weird like thing and phenomenon in general. We have the Slide for the Sky Dragon Ultra Pharaoh's Rare King's Court First Edition Near Mint. I, bro, these are, this is a tier one card. <laughs> I know for a fact it's a tier one this card. This is one of the weirdest that, like cards to ever hit the mark. It's just weird. Like this whole situation with these cards is weird. It was riddled with issues, bro. The, the Pharaoh's Rare, it's like they really revved it up in the next set here that's coming out. Right. Uh, if you looked at, have you seen the spoilers for some of them like Chris bond and stuff like that yeah 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 Yeah, they've really i think put the rarity in its own thing back in the day though with these cards released the first iteration of their pharaoh's rare it's unrecognizable at points like sometimes you can't even tell it's that special rarity which it is because that's the only rarity it's printed in but right. on top of that they had another thing that they did where they split the pharaoh's rare into ultra and secret 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know I don't why, why they think that, that was like an error. It, it, like the secret looks a lot better. So it's like, I hope that wasn't an error. <laughs> I think the only thing about the secret is the text. It's only got like that secret red text. There's nothing yeah, else it, different. But about that the just adds so much. Cause like this, it, it, looks, it looks so bland. It's like, there's something popping on the secret rares. Back in the day, it added a significant amount of value. Today, even I think you can still get the secret rare pharaohs for like, dirt cheap bro like yeah. th those are tier two cards they're a little bit more expensive yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but the ultra rare pharaoh's rare i don't know the exact price off my head but i can tell you it's probably around like a 30 dollar card it's really i i think slifer is the most expensive out of king's court but again it's not by much bro these pharaoh rare was such a flop when king's court yeah. was just in retrospect not a good set like you had yeah. some good collectors like rivalries the best one that comes out of it lightning a uh, lightning storm's another yeah. good one too but it's just man what a bad set in general though. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna apart, guess yeah. it did I'm gonna guess like um I'm gonna guess the $30 for Slifer the Sky Dragon and Ultra Pharaohs right all right so we gave him a weird one and he immediately knew he said tier one that's what I'm going for he said around 30 bucks all right so question number eight so far I mean you've probably got like three like really close this is another one. This is indeed a tier one card. The Slifer the Sky Dragon from King's Court Ultra Pharaoh's Rare goes for $33. I, man, dude, I'm so on it. I know. It's like, it's so sad because I remember when this first came out, these were like $100 Ultra Rares, right? Even yeah, just the Ultras. Yeah. And the Secrets, $300. No, they were 500. Level type stuff. The Secrets yeah. were 500. Bro, it was baller insane. Baller level type stuff. And then, yeah, did you just... You age forward two years, man, crumbled, <laughs> crumbled. Those died like really quickly. It was kind of sad. It was like, wow, a $500 card. Never mind. It's like 120. It's like not even close. All right, Gage, you are absolutely destroying right now. I don't know if you've seen the first two episodes. So, you know, the last two get asked at the same time. That way you can't like pigeonhole which tier it is and all this stuff. So we're about to ask the last two questions. Don't mess it up because you're on fire right now. Okay, do not mess it up. I I'm not going to, of course, but how do I utilize if I want to my last lifeline? Your last lifeline, you can, uh, you can pick whichever one you want and then ask me lower or higher. So it can be question nine or question 10. Doesn't matter which one it is. Okay, cool. All right, fire them off. Let's do it. All right, and you, you are free to miss one by a lot at this point because it'll go away. So, but if you don't, then you're throwing out one that wasn't even that bad. So you're gonna have a crazy good score. So let's get into number nine and 10. We'll start off with question number nine, tour guide from the underworld, astral pack six, ultimate rare near mint. And the final question is royal decree, tournament pack four, ultra rare near mint. What do you think about these cards? Oh, I'm already concerned. I thought Ooh. for sure, yeah. So my thing was, I think we've we've gone through all the tier ones, right? Yes, all the tier ones have gone through. Right now we have one, two, three tier twos, one, two, three tier ones, and two tier threes. So you know for a fact one of these is a tier it's three tier card. Three. And it's a decree. For the sure. other one can be any of them because there's a fourth. Mm, I also think that tour guide is also tier three. I think it's up there. Um, I'm gonna have to use my last lifeline on that tour guide, I think for sure. Okay, all right. Roll decree from tournament pack four, dude. That's a that's a hell of a card, man an incredible trap card again highest rarity tournament pack four i remember the one thing i have is i actually have like beckett magazines from back in the day behind me and oh. I, I remember flipping through it just for fun and there's a section in this beckett magazine like the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards from it was like what 2008 or something like that is when yeah. the magazine was printed and the <laughs> the first four slots i kid you not were tournament pack one through four ultra yeah. <laughs> like it just goes to show like how rare these cards were even back right then. that's awesome i love those old magazines because you could see like the old prices and like what everyone was thinking around that time and stuff like that those are so cool i love flipping like they have like the entire price guide so like you can see how much you could buy a full set of like first ed lob and yeah, it's like, like two hundred dollars and stuff it's <laughs> so know, cheap you're like damn give me that number let me call it in yeah. <laughs> so i think tournament pack four is the first tournament pack no it's the second because tp1 had european releases tp4 i think reintroduced european releases so um made a royal decree a little bit more accessible as opposed to like morphing jar and needleworm uh, but I still think Royal Decree, it's 100% a tier three card. Like, I don't even have to, like, think about that. The Beckett Magazine coming in clutch. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tur Guide. I prefer the secret Tur Guides. It's, it's nostalgic for me. But I do right. know uh, the Ultimate Rares have jumped significantly up in price. I think Astral Pack 6 is one of the Astral Packs that is, like, impossible to get your hands on. Now. Uh -huh. Was this the one that also had Max C in it, too, I think? No, that was Astral Pack 4. That okay, one is okay. impossible, like yeah, actually yeah. impossible to G find. Literally good luck. Yeah, literally yeah. good luck. But uh, I know Tur Guide is actually up there as one of the better ones. I'm going to use my lifeline on this yep. Tur Guide. Yep, I think that's a good decision. You, you might as well use it now. Uh, is Tur Guide from the Underworld, my, my, my number's in my head, 300. Uh, is it 
higher or lower than 300. All right, you're asking if it's a $300 card. You're saying you think these are both tier three cards. This is a big card, a rare set to get it from. Very highly desired just for old formats and like nostalgia and stuff like that. This one is lower than $300. Tur guide is lower than 300. Oh boy. I'll lock in my answer for Royal Decree because I okay. think I think this one I'm pretty confident in. I'm pretty sure this is like for a near mint $400. It, easy, easy. Uh, yeah, I don't even have to think. That's that's right. 400 for a, a Royal Decree TP4. Okay. You say Tur guide is lower than three. It is indeed lower than 300. Oh my God, damn. That doesn't feel right. Even like it feels like it's around there. I'm going to guess it's probably around 250 range for, for sure. Like I, I refuse to think it's lower than that. Is there any Astral Pack ultis that are that expensive though? There's a lot of them that are have gone up that much. I always say go with your gut, Gage. I, it's been working for me so far. Yeah, but, um, been, it I, has been. I gotta remember, I do have one of these answers to throw out. So I am gonna be, I'll be, I'll be rather timid with it. You know what? I'll go on the lower end. We'll go, I'm gonna guess, I'll guess $215 for the tour guide. And I'll guess 400 US for the Royal Decree. All right, so you're locking in 400 for Royal Decree and 215 for Tour Guide. Final answers. Final answer. Lock them in. All right, the end. The gauntlet. The double question. All right, how did you do? Did you finish it off strong? Because you started off insane. Can you possibly get that one percent, one thousand dollar prize? I think at this point, I guess you know you could mess it up. Actually, I was like, you, could, <laughs> you might be able to mess it up. You mess it's a real possibility. Right, it's a real. All right, possibility. let's just see how you did. Okay, first of all, we will start off with. Do you want to start with the royal decree or the tour guide? Start with the royal decree because I was very confident in royal decree. Okay, I've got good news and I've got bad news for you, Gage. Oh, oh no! <laughs> all right, what is it? We'll start with the bad news, as you asked for. You were confident on the royal decree. You said four hundred dollars. You said it's a super rare card. Super well, it's an ultra rare card. Expensive. Yeah, yeah. Very expensive. And this Royal Decree goes for $595. Yo, the oh, Decree, <laughs> bro. Oh, man. Damn, it's got that's a lot, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> it's expensive, but the good news is that is gone. You don't have to worry about yeah, that one. There's yeah. more bad oh. news. Now you have one more question and you can't really throw it out. So how confident are you feeling about your tour guide guess? Well, you said that was the bad news, right? So like well, the, the good, good news was that it's thrown out. The bad there's more oh, bad I news now that you don't know what the next one is. <laughs> no, that is bad news. I'm still pretty confident in my tour guide answer. Getting it below 300, I was legitimately about to guess like 350 if you said it was more than that. And I was gonna be confident in that. So yeah. the fact that you said it's below three, I'm like, this could this could be bad. Um, right. I'm shocked with that Royal Decree. I got that way off, but um, I gotta say I'm That's confident in the tour guide. one gets thrown out, you know, it happens. Yeah. I gotta say I'm confident in the tour guide because if I don't say I'm confident, I'm gonna look like I don't know what I'm doing. So okay. I'm, I'm confident. Right. That's You're that's always about confident, right. Gage. That's what I like about you. All right, so far you've done really well. Even with that Royal Decree gets, you're still doing fine. Honestly, this is still a record for the least, the biggest miss being the lowest, if you know what I'm saying. Like most people miss by $500 on one of them. You have not done that. So tour guide from the underworld, Astro Pack, Ultimate Rare, Near Mint. You guessed $215. At one point you said, 250, but you didn't guess that. Was that right? 250? Almost. It was $240. So you would have been oh! really close. If you had to, but either way, you're still only with yeah. the bonus 15 off. So that's still insanely good. I can't be mad at that. Like I said, like I, I had to act confident. I should have guessed the 250. That would have been spot on. Yeah, but, you um, nailed it. I was like, oh, say it. And then you're like, 250. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Damn, that's all right, bro. I think I did tremendous though with this, this, this. Uh, yeah, group of we cards gotta do gave. a little math here and see how you did, but you are almost certainly the highest guest so far. Let's check it out. All right, we have totaled the final numbers. Gage, how are you feeling like you did? I feel like I easily hit the 10%. Like, I, I, I think 10% yeah. is a guaranteed for sure. The 1% is a pipe dream for anybody, bro. I thought I had like potential to hit like in the top 5% with it, yeah. but 1% is near impossible. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I can't even, I can't even do that, bro. But I'm confident I hit in the 10%, I think. Yeah, so far, no one has hit above the, like, inside the 10%. So you could be the first one to do that. That's a, a $250 prize. If you get it within five, that's a $500 prize, which Ooh. is much, much bigger than the other episodes because they're only giving away $100. So that's insane. The 1%, I mean, that's like, if you go absolutely insane no mode and we have like the top prize, but it is very difficult. So do you think you have a chance of the 1%? What are you feeling? 0% to the 1%. 0%. My, like, <laughs> no right. shot. I think it's, 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 uh, if I'm extremely lucky, I got the 5%, but I'm for sure in that 10%. Well, I would wouldn't call it luck. I would say that you have some skill when it comes to, to price knowledge. So we're going to see how you did. The total value of all the cards that we asked, like in terms of the the, con 
what is the word for that? The uh, market value, the, the price, the all right, whatever. The total price was two thousand five hundred ninety-three dollars. Okay, you were off by a total of two hundred and thirteen dollars. That's less than ten percent. Oh my God! Wait, that's what is that? What's the exact percent? It's not over yet because you also got every tier correct, so you were a hundred and thirteen dollars off because we take away a hundred from that. I didn't even think of the bonus. Oh, this is big. Wait, bonus. Wait. so you were officially four point three six percent off within the five percent. Oh! The first person to do it. That's a five hundred dollar giveaway. We got to get a sponsor on this video. Oh this yes, isn't sir. Be an expensive one. <laughs> Yo, I am hooking it up bro oh dude i man dude the one thing is all Yu -Gi Oh cards like have value and i'm not good at like creating them myself like i'm not a great player i can't make text out of thin air but i think like the one thing i'm good at is i'm good at like realizing what other people will pay for cards <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> i'm happy i could share that knowledge and stuff. Hey, that's it that's kind of what we both are so it was, i was really excited to have you on because i knew you'd do super well and you absolutely crushed it like getting within four percent is just nuts like that yeah, is but, so good yeah I, if my job's watching this bro consider giving me a raise bro i know yeah. i'm doing <laughs> I know what I'm to, doing. Show it to your, show, show it to your boss. He's like, hey, I know these things. You gotta, hey. you gotta give me a little pay raise here. Dang, Rux, bro, thank you for having me on this, dude. I, I'm surprised I did that great, bro. That this was a lot of fun too, man. Like I, this is, like I said, I love this game more than anything, and I love like the collectible history and the secondary market with it. So uh, just being able to share my prowess with it is uh, is pretty fun, bro. Gage, thanks so much for being on here. It's been a pleasure. It's been awesome to see you just recite prices for half of these. Like, oh, I know this one right on the nail. So that. That was really fun and i'm gonna be seeing you soon i think by the time this comes out it'll be right after pasadena but we're heading to pasadena soon so i'll see you there uh, with a bunch of other people so thanks again for being on got anything else to say no nothing at all if you guys like enjoy any of this content if you want to learn more about like collectibles and like stuff that i talked about a little bit more in depth uh, i post similar content on my channel where i talk about maybe some like older cards and stuff so it might be something you're interested in. Uh, and dude, I can't wait to see you in Pasadena, bro. Always a pleasure to see you. Make sure you guys go check out Gage because he has awesome uh, collectible stuff as well as amazing vlogs. I love to watch his vlogs every time they come out. So thanks again, Gage. This has been an awesome episode. The current highest person out of all four, by far, you are at the leaderboard. I don't know if anybody will ever beat you, but maybe they will. We'll have to see in the future. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Tom Box is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh! player, judge, and Yu-Gi tuber for MST.TV. His ultimate counter guides, ruling videos, and yearly set reviews have provided much needed information to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Today we see if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to episode 5 of Guess That Price. Today we have someone who is confident that they're gonna do well. How you doing, Tom Box? I'm doing okay but I don't know if I'm going to do that great. I haven't really <laughs> needed to buy or look at Yu-Gi-Oh card prices in so long. I usually let uh, Nishi deal with all of that stuff. <laughs> not going to lie. Well, unfortunately, he's not here to oh, help he's you, not. so it's all, it's all up to <laughs> yeah. you. You got to figure this out. Oh, man. All my prices are just like so, so dated. I usually can get a good grasp of like modern stuff, but when it comes to like collectibles, oh, man, I, I could be like a, a train wreck i do want to remind you that whilst we're going through you have three lifelines so i don't i don't know if you are super familiar so we're going to go through the three lifelines that you have 10 different questions we're going to be asking three different lifelines are you can ask which tier you are in so i want to remind the audience and yourself that the tiers are tier one one to a hundred dollar value card okay. tier two 101 to 250 dollar card tier three 251 dollars or greater those are the two, three different tiers so if you ask me which tier you're in i'll tell you which one one two or three and you'll know the range that you need to guess the second is lower or higher you pick a number i tell you if the correct answer is lower than that number or higher than that number if you guess it right on i guess you just get it right because that hasn't happened yet but i'll okay, be interesting okay. if it does and the third one is if you have a question and you don't have any idea you just want a new question so if you're like i ask you a question it's in tier two i'll give you another tier two answer or another tier two question so it'll be in the same tier as the previous question but it's a new question so you'll be able to basically re-roll a question sounds okay let's hop right into the first one the first question is what is the price of deep sea diva from turbo pack four that's a super rare oh my 
god, this is so hard already. <laughs> As Turbo Pack, like way back, I remember pulling two of these and buying a third one to complete my set. But I, yeah, I don't think those prices are relevant anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Could be the exact same I price mean, I, as it I, I'm was. I'm pretty. 10 years I can, ago. I'm 100 sure it is not like 40 dollars <laughs> or anywhere near that. <laughs> okay, so you're saying it's more than 40. All right, we got that locked in. It's definitely more than 40. Like I remember, like I, I think, like I don't know if like the price got impacted thanks to like needle fiber getting banned. This was playable. This was like a card that we used in sprites. Could have been. And I'm pretty sure, like, it was one of the more, like, favorable cards to use then. And usually whenever something comes into, like, the meta that's, like, playable from the old times, they usually spike up. And whenever they leave, they also, like, tank the price a little bit. Where do you think it was? Where do you think it was before and after? I mean, what do you think? Like, for Turbo Pack 4, like, Turbo Pack stuff is, like, a, a lot of this stuff is actually quite pricey. Pretty old at this point. Yeah, it's pretty old. But I don't think it's 250 plus old. I think it's, like, between the range of 101 to 250. Oh, it's here too. Interesting. But right now there's also Edison and that there is there Edison. is Edison, man. Like this card <laughs> just is all over the place. It's all over the map here. I'm going to go for 200. 200 flat is when you want to lock it in. Guess number one. Guess number one. I'm going to lock it in at 200. $200 for the Deep Sea Diva from Turbo Pack. When I looked this one up, I hadn't looked it up in a while because I had these a while back like you did. Not as far back as you did probably, but they were like 80 to 90 at the time. And then they got that reprint in like OTS. Yeah. There was like an OTS oh, no. super. So it's like the same rarity. Oh, no. So then they went down and I was like, oh man. So this is the first time I checked it since then. And I think it is Edison is the reason why it has come back up. So I will tell you, it is in tier two, so you're right about that. You have nailed that. It's definitely come back up from the 90 that I that I had them at, and then it went down. It is now officially 165. Ooh, not too far off. I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, so you're pretty close. I mean, you were <laughs> in the range, I would say. I was a bit higher on the range, but man, I, I think I'm gonna overguess. I think once you started talking about Edison, you convinced yourself to go a little bit yeah, higher. Yeah, I did, I did. Before that, I was like, he might nail it right here. Before I kicked in Edison, I was like, this is probably like 180. Like, well, how, how much would I pay for this? Then again, I might be thinking right. Canadian prices. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, this is USD, so that could mess you up. I, got, I gotta yeah, convert. I gotta convert. Yeah. yeah, after you're done, we're gonna give you like a, a Canadian conversion <laughs> rate. Like, see, like, if you I, I, if you feel like I, uh, I feel like I nailed it if it was Canadian converted. If it was Canadian, that probably is right. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. And question number two. We have Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous, the Starlight Rare from Rise of the Duelist, first edition. Oh, Starlight Rares now. Okay, so Starlight Rares, I mean, some of them are like kind of worthless and some of them are worth like way more than the others. Now, Ecclesia <laughs> being one of the more popular ones, it's a waifu card at the same time, also very essential for anyone playing Dogmatica. I mean, the card, it, the original card tanked to like nothing now. So this card, however, I think it's still among some of the higher ones. Don't think it's that high though. I mean, there's a lot of Starlight Rares that are just like not like a lot, okay, a lot of the later Starlight Rays are worth so little in comparison to like a lot of the original ones. Well, what's, what Starlight Rays are you talking about specifically? Like if you look at any of the Charmer girls, those are really high. Those are extremely, extremely high. And then this is also Ecclesia. I don't know where Ecclesia would really fall under. Cause like we also have some stuff like uh, the Dragonstorm Trap card. You know what I'm talking about. You think Ecclesia and the Dragon? No, they're trap they're card definitely are, are on opposite <laughs> spectrums of this. Uh -huh. I would say like on the higher end of like almost like 300, like maybe 290. Interesting, interesting. This is a waifu card, but like I don't, I, I can't really put my finger on this. You seem to be pushing it toward being expensive, but then you keep wanting to go. I back really down. want to go back down because no one's playing it, but I, it's not a matter of playing it at this point. It's yeah. a waifu card, and the waifu tax is yeah. high. I'm going to like uh, maybe I'll stick with the, I'll stick with the 290. I could be. They could be in the 300 range. You can always use lifelines. If you're not sure, you're not feeling too good about it, you can use I'll, lifelines. I'll save the lifeline for now. I'll, I'll save it until, okay. uh, until after round three. You are officially locking in at $290 for Dogmatic Ecclesia the Virtuous Starlight Rise of the Duelist. Question number two. Tom. Yeah. I think that... Uh, Anybody who was looking to buy this card would be happy to buy it at how much you Oh just my said god, it no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. You remember I said that your your worst one gets thrown out, yeah, right? Yeah, how bad am I? That's a good thing because this card is six hundred and eighty one dollars. Oh I'm so <laughs> far off. 
<laughs> oh wow yeah this one i was actually pretty surprised about this one too because the ultimate rare for this card is like 30 dollars. yeah no one can play you can't play dogmatica right now i think that this is actually a, in large part due to rise of the duelist being a very difficult set to obtain oh and i didn't think i think that. that has to be it because like you were right it's also waifu material so that's gonna add to it but rise of the duelist was difficult to find but 681 i was that's actually like, like that's like the price wow. of like dd crows and effect failures which if you think about it those came out around the same time so it might just be because they're two maybe years it's well, their timing so. i don't know i don't know here here i am those dying left and right okay we'll see how i do after this okay now now i've That's got okay a better mindset because your worst one it's gone so you don't have to worry <laughs> what about if it. i do worse However, <laughs> You don't get to you don't get to do worse than that now. <laughs> so you got to do better than you were four hundred dollars off that time. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Question oh number three: Time to redeem yourself. You have three lifelines. Okay, let's do it. We have the Dark Magician Ultra Rare from the Shonen Jump Magazine promos. Why why why, why are you guys throwing all these curveballs? Okay, this <laughs> one. Oh, okay, I do have a copy of this, but I acquired it like a long time ago, and I'm not sure if the price of this changed since you know, rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi. I know that. There was like a there was a phase where people were all just hunting down like the signed cards there was a phase yeah. uh, especially right after he passed away do you know how much they were when i got it, it was like 50 bucks in a showcase so i was like that was a no-brainer oh but interesting then, but then bucks. when i last checked like when i personally last checked the price like uh when he was still alive uh it was like around 90 dollars for a copy interesting however i think this one went up i don't know I, there's, there's a lot going for this one. There's a lot going for it. But I'm ranging this one around tier two. Like, this is, like, not that hard to actually acquire. I mean, this is a Shonen Jump Magazine promo. I think this is, like, a subscription promo where you get it. So you're, uh, you don't think it was around that same price you picked it up? You think it's gone up since then? It's definitely gone up because when I picked it up for 50 bucks, I did check the price, like, during when Dragoon came out. Dragoon? So two years ago? <laughs> what was yeah, that? Yeah, like, two years ago, like, all, all the Dark yeah, Magician okay, cards yeah. spiked up. That's, that should be accurate. That, yeah, it, we can count on that. So I'm pretty confident this copy is over 100 bucks. It could be like maybe low hundreds. Of course, I could be wrong. So I'm going to go with like maybe like 130. Well, that seems a little low to me though. 130. 130. Is that, is that your oh guess? God, you're, you're, so, you're such a complicated host, leaving me <laughs> confused the entire time. I've heard a lot of numbers from you. You said 50. No, 50 was the original range when I picked the 130. 130 is like what I think. Maybe I think cards are more expensive. I, I feel like, you know that time when Bill Gates had to guess how much like uh, like toothpaste was and he said it was $20? <laughs> 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 that, that's what I feel you like. You are right. the Bill Gates of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. So are you saying, <laughs> wait, so are you saying that you are overvaluing I this would card? Probably, That's basically I might what it overvalue. Like. I'll say it's around one. I'll say 140. So you think it's three times as much as that original 50? Oh yeah, by far. Yeah, for sure. They're definitely definitely not a $50 card anymore. Cause like last I checked when I wanted to pick one up, it was like at least a hundred. All right, okay. All right, well. Please tell me I'm right. You've locked I've it locked in, $140. It. Well, Tom, you probably should have stuck with the original price. 50 bucks? No! It's 55 Oh my god, it was still the same. Okay, I'm dying. I lost 100 here. I was like, yeah, you should probably go down. I thought it was way better. Maybe... J oh my god. Why do I think cards are so expensive? I don't have no idea. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. It's okay. It's just one. That's only the first one you've missed the tier, though. Even though you missed that Dogmatica one so badly, you still got the tier right. So you that, got the But bonus. that one, the range so. was so high. This one, man, that one's unforgivable. Like, this one here, it's $50? 55, yeah. Crazy. It's not It's not too crazy. It's not too crazy. I thought it'd be a little crazier. All right, question number four. We have one that I, I think this might this one might be tough, okay? Question number four. You have lifelines. Okay, I, 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 might, I might try it. All right, this one is Archfiend of Gilfer's Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. Automatically an expensive card. Every Everyone's like, oh, what the Retro Pack version of X, Y, and Z card. But especially <laughs> Ret Retro Pack Secret Rares, uh, they are definitely really expensive. In terms of how yeah, expensive, yeah. like, do people even want this card? This card, this card isn't even used. Yeah, d do people want this card? That's the question. I don't think they do. I mean, it's a good collectible if you're like if you're like a yugi fan you'd probably collect this i mean yugi used this card man this is not like scapegoat or on any of the more common or like blue eyes shining you know the the, the easy ones that people know archfiend of right. gilfer if you have no idea 
Lifeline time. It's just saying. It could be lifeline time. This could be a decent one. Let's go with higher or lower. Let's use your first lifeline. Do you have a number in mind or you want to think about it? I'm thinking 200. So you, so you want to know if it's higher or lower? $200. The answer to that is it is higher than $200. This card, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be higher, but I'm just now I have to take a guess whether it's staying in the tier two range or is it tier three? You've got lifelines. <laughs> I do have lifelines, but I'm not burning all of them here. I could price it smart. This is Archie McGill. Like I know, like the retro pack cards are pretty expensive, especially uh, they're right. pretty hard to get. They were Euro only, aren't they? Uh, I believe retro pack was. It was something weird like that. Because they like, came in that yeah, little they... weird giant blister looking Yeah, I had thing. the very small special edition. They're like skinny yeah, special really editions. Weird. They look, yeah, the Europe shaped one. So it probably was Europe. I'm going to stick with 300. It's just, I don't understand the pricing of retro pack at all. It's so high, but it's like a retro pack Sangin is like incredibly like expensive. Yeah, that that's retro pack one. Retro pack one's even yeah. crazier. That's super hard. Like, to RP2 find. is just yeah. as crazy. But then I also picked up a retro pack two lava golem recently and didn't cost me all that much. But so, so mainly the secret right. rares are they're really, really up there. I think I'm gonna stick with 300 Let's go with it. Three hundred dollars. Okay, this I thought might be one of the more difficult ones because it's just like retro pack. It's kind of like all over the place depending on which card it is. And I'll say you didn't get the tier right. So no. Oh, it's one tier below. It was in tier two at $248, right on the edge. Uh, so you're really not too far off. You're only like $52 off on this bad. one. Not too bad. Yeah, this one was tricky because it's right on the border of tier two and tier ah, three. I know. That's why visible. higher and lower wasn't the best advantage there. If you had picked tier, it, I don't know, because then like, no, I, what would no, you have guessed because, if I Because automatically, two, like, from, automatically for retro pack, I, it, to me, it was automatically going to be 200 plus. Which, which would have been, yeah, if you had said tier two, then you would have been but then I would have been surprised if it was like a, like closer to uh, like the the 190 range. I was like, no, there's no way. Right. But you know what? Not too bad on this one. All right. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Question number five. This is one that I don't know if you are familiar with it, but I feel like you should be. This is Lone Fire Blossom Super Rare from Champion Pack 7. So you've been trying to, to pawn off your wife's champion packs to me <laughs> which i should probably buy at some point yeah. and some of them are champion packs i know so do you know how much they cost is okay, the question so this one like a near mint one is like like the there's the range of this card i am a bit more familiar with because every single LP to like near mint, there's a huge price difference between those. Right. Well, it is near mint. So this, this one, this so. one's automatically in tier three. There's no doubt about it. The question is, am I ranging it closer to 400 or 500? One was like interesting. Wow, that's an expensive. This card. card is hella expensive. I know that for a fact. I'm also <laughs> very upset, and this card is like brings a tear to my eye every time. I had a playset of this card. Oh no! <laughs> I sold them off for twenty dollars each. Oh no! <laughs> You've been around too long. That's the problem. You've had all the expensive cards uh, yeah, at cheap prices. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> like Gravekeeper Spy was like another one. I mean, TCG Player Price guides it at like five hundred ninety nine. Yeah, so the way I do it, by the way, I don't, I don't know, I probably should have reminded you of this. I do the lowest uh, verified seller. Yeah. Unless there's like one that's like extremely far off or whatever. This one, 380. You're going 380? It's, I don't know. Because, because it, you came in know, and it's it's really somewhere high. between 400 and 500. I know, it's 400, 500, but it also could be So you're going below what you thought. No, the, so reason, no, the reason because is like I looked, at, I looked at this card before, not too long uh -huh. ago. And in terms of like verified sales. No, not sales. Okay, available like listings from verified sellers, not sold. Not sold. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I probably right. so pushed not, not sold list. That changes my number. Yeah. So this is this is the lowest listed from a verified seller. Unless there's like one that if there's only like one, then I try to use a sale. Mm, I don't know. I could go like completely far off, man. This maybe like this is like five, five sixty ish. Five sixty. I don't know. This is so hard. The range. I know so this card is you three, just changed it three eighty. Well, like because because like recent sales, it's different. Like or should I just like throw a dart right in between? Or maybe you should go with your uh, you know, your second guess. Maybe you should go with that. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's go with the let's go with the five sixty. All right. So you're going super high. This on card this is, card. This is this super card is expensive. Rare. This card is the most sought card. 
rare card. Lone Fire Blossom, also Edison. You know, yes, Edison, Edison uses this card true. a little bit. Pretty decent card. Champion pack, our first champion pack card we've had today. Well, Tom, I will tell you that your second gut was pretty good. Oh. Because this card is $550. <laughs> <laughs> so you with the bonus you got it right exactly <laughs> oh man that's awesome i know this card is really expensive yeah it's crazy like uh, this is a big it, one it, like i know it's the most sought after card in cp7 yeah i mean 550 dollars that's probably going to be the best card in a lot of sets unless it's dogmatica ecclesia for yeah, the rest just, of the <laughs> <laughs> too soon too soon <laughs> That's okay. That one's gone. You just made an epic comeback oh, with thank that. So goodness. Halfway point, you have two more lifelines still. So you're looking okay. You've basically used two because you had your big miss. Oh, man. You're like halfway okay. through and you've halved your lifeline. So let's move on to number six. That was a good guess right there. Okay. Number six is Colossal Fighter Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack 5. This is near mint as well. Man, I've actually never got this card before. I mean, it exists because <laughs> oh, like, wow. like the moment, like when the when the, uh, the 5D structure that came out, this was the this was part of it like rather not that like a super rare version of this was part of it or if you got right. the weird one you got like a common version of it but this one colossal fighter ultimate rare from turbo pack 5 i remember the old days of wanting like collecting ultimates and like ultimates back then was like a lot cheaper like way cheaper i don't think it is actually that expensive personally this one i think it could be a cheaper ultimate i think it could be in tier one could be. But it's it could like be. a higher end of tier one because it is an ultimate. Interesting. Like it could be yeah. like closer to eighty. I think it's around eighty. Eighty to ninety. Eighty to ninety. Interesting. That's kind of the range I want to go for. I don't think. Okay. Clearly, this is not nowhere near the JD range because JD super popular. Dark arm super popular. I mean, like dark arm dragon is like like i don't know like tier three like 300 or something like that or at least like jd is as well so this one i think is tier one i'll, I'll probably gotta stick with like 80. okay all right colossal fighter ultimate rare you're in question number six you just basically nailed question number five let's see how you followed it up so you're feeling like it's a turbo pack ultimate they only came with one ultimate in the sets back mm -hmm. back then so it was like the main card of the set it's but you're saying it's a cheaper one so it's not like the dad. It's not like the JD. Those are crazy. Those are like tier three cards. Well, I will tell you that you are correct. Ooh. It is a tier one card and it's $88. Oh, that was good. And you nailed it. You almost went to 90, which would have been closer. You'd only been two yeah, off. Yeah, it's like, it's. I'm always between like the 10 range. I think I only know how to round to like even numbers. <laughs> yeah, well, 80 to 90, you were like, you, you were, it was right around it. It was perfect. So that with the bonus, you essentially made two dollars yes. on that one so you're making a comeback right now like it was a rough start on question two but since then two in a row that you've like nailed or like made money you basically made hey, money maybe, on that one, maybe so. i know more than i i give out i think so we've only got four to go you still have two lifelines as well so i mean you're making a comeback here we the go time is now oh and i haven't even mentioned that you you're winning you have a potential to win a giveaway for the audience i don't know if you know that but oh you know what let's go for it let's get that giveaway for the audience and you could win up to a one thousand dollar prize if you're with a one percent which it's going to be difficult to do that but <laughs> we will see we will see at the end because right now uh you're doing pretty well so let's go to question number seven let's do it question number seven ultimate slayer starlight rare from power of the elements first edition near mint oh funny enough i wanted this card I actually wanted this card. I know for a Starlight Rare, being one of the newer Starlight Rares, it was definitely one of the more expensive newer Starlight Rare. However, because it didn't see very much play, it didn't go to the ranges of Appaloosa or IP Mascarena. Nowhere close to those. Yeah. However, it is still, it's like on the fence of tier one and tier, sorry, not tier one, tier two and tier three. It's on the fence there. I just can't Interesting. put my finger whether or not it is like 270 or is it 240? Oh my God, this one is another. Mm, I don't know, is it? Which one is it? Oh. Or is it one of those? I know, I'm pretty sure it should be around one of those two. Nero Starlight Rare somehow never picked up like the hype that the other ones did. Except for maybe like Roll Kalos. Yeah. Roll Kalos, like being such a recent one, of course, I, I paid attention to that one. Yeah. But this one being just from the one, one pass set, I would say this one is closer to, I mean, I could like minimize my, you know, I could min max this <laughs> by going okay, for the one in between. Right. Uh, but I definitely don't think this is a th over $300 personally. I don't think it is $300. Okay. Uh, nowhere close. That's, that's like, that's, some, that's some for something else. This one, I, I 
really want to say. Let's go to 265. <laughs> <laughs> 265. Uh, 265. Okay, all right. Um, question number seven. Tom Box, you start looking up answers mm, recently no, or something? No, this one, <laughs> I, you can check the camera. My hands are free. My hands are free. <laughs> Your hands are free. Okay, I'm just making sure because the answer is $264. <laughs> You're $1 <laughs> off! That is insane! No, this one, I, I told you, I wanted this card. I paid attention to this one. You nailed the range, dude. 240 to 270 again. And then you went... You Modern didn't cards. pick 270, you picked 265. You got even closer. Modern somehow. cards are, are definitely something that I'm stronger hey, with. You're crushing the modern cards. I cannot I cannot argue there. So I mean, even though the last two technically weren't even modern, but yeah, you knew this one pretty But I did play I did try to play into that format. Like Colossal Fighter, I can I can tell you like I wanted to rebuild my Teledad deck, but I also wanted the max yeah. rarity. That's why yeah, Colossal yeah, yeah, Fighter yeah. to me was like something I was a bit more familiar with. And of course, Lone Fire Blossom had a sad story attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew you knew the pain. Oh, yeah i definitely knew those ones like these are just like you know just you know the stars are aligning right now for the things i know okay well you are now down to three questions you still have two of your lifelines okay. you have done three in a row that have been basically right on so you could get some serious like this will be one of the most epic comebacks after the start like you, you started <laughs> off rough and like you are on fire right now so question number eight here we go. Swap Frog Ultimate Rare from OTS Pack 3 Near Mint. I'm sorry, Roxon. I know this one. I know this one fairly well because I, oh, interesting. I bought <laughs> a couple. Oh, <laughs> you recently bought some. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know how much they dropped them. I, I bought them when, um, when sprites were uh, just getting released. So I'm pretty sure they okay. tanked a bit. Well, that's pretty recent. That is pretty so. recent. But I don't, like, they definitely, like, okay, they were, like, 400 at one point. Like, at the peak of the peak of the peak when they were, like, hyped up for before the release. But this one oh, wow. went down hard a little bit. Quite, yeah. quite hard, actually. So when I say a little bit, I mean, it's still, like, a lot, like, like, 100. Uh, I think this one, this one is a uh, tier 2. This is a tier 2, 200-something dollar card. Tier 2. Okay. I just don't know if it's, like, a high, like, high 250 or, like, a low to to 10. Well, you still have two of your lifelines, so. So I've already went for high low, but I already know the range, yeah. but I don't want to change the question. So yeah. I'm going to stick with my gut on this one. I like it, I like it. This one, I'm going to go with um, 220. I'm going to lock this one. In. I'm going to shock on this one. $220, so you're telling me this card was up at $400. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like ridiculously popular. Yeah, it was, it was very hot, but. I can tell you now, it has come down quite a bit. It is definitely not in the $400 range. This card is Swap Frog Ultimate Rare OTS Tournament Pack 3, $150. No, it tech that much more. <laughs> so this thing came down a lot, man. Well, that was in the correct tier, a little bit off. The meta swings, the meta swings will get you for sure. I, what, it, I did go down from from the higher range. I stuck with a tier two. Thank, thank God I did. Yeah, you still save yourself 10 bucks right there. That's not too bad. It's okay, because you've had three or four like insane in a row. Three great ones in a row, so you're doing all right. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, not bad, but now we go to the last two, which we ask at the same time oh. because, you know, because we don't want you to be able to pigeonhole like which tier it is. So question number nine, I'm going to ask these at the same okay. time, and then you can go through them. So the first one is Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End Collector Rare from Tomb Chaos First Edition Near Mint. The second one is Dark Magician 20th. 20th anniversary ultra rare from battles of chaos first edition this is so hard <laughs> so you have two lifelines you have to use, i mean you don't have to use them but i mean you might as well if you want to you i know? shouldn't complain about the dark magician 20th anniversary rare though that one i should know this one okay at, at its peak it was ridiculously expensive Ah, but the Chaos Emperor, is that the highest rarity? Collector rare? Yeah. Well, there's ultimate rare as well. There's also secret rare. Oh, but then again, but then, but then for, for first dead secret, it's probably the highest rarity then. There's also the Duelist Pack Kaiba ultimate rare, which is probably higher than this as well. Okay, I'm gonna probably going to keep the Dark Magician one. Yeah. Because I still have the two lifeline. I'll swap the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Backup question here it comes. First of all, let me give us a guess on what you would have guessed on the Chaos Emperor Dragon. We'll come back to it later. I think this one would have been maybe 200 being first ed to Chaos. Maybe 200 or so. 
I could be completely wrong, <laughs> but like I would get what I guess 200. All right. Once we've once we've done the other ones, we'll come back to that one and see how close you were. So let's get your new question. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit ultimate rare from OTS tournament pack five. Oh, my God. I know like I kind of already know what tier that one is in. So which I have one lifeline, which is guessing which tier it is. I'm going to put I'm going to put that on the Dark Magician. OK. All right. You're going to you're going to confirm what the dark magician is what did you think it was in before i tell you i think it i think it's in tier one well you are correct it is in tier one so my guess on dark magician is probably like 80 bucks or so somewhere around there it's not, it's not the easiest card to pull i mean like it's like same ratio as like almost like getting a starlet but it's like a guaranteed one if you go for the go for the sets so that one's probably around to me, around 80, it dropped definitely significantly from its initial launch price of $700, but it's probably, it's yeah, probably, yep. it's probably around like a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Of a it's drop. probably around okay. 80. Uh, Ghost okay. Ogre Ultimate Rare. Now, it's no Max C, but it's still one of the Ghost Girl Ultimate hand traps, and it is definitely one of right. the most popular Ultimate for sure. Yeah. I would say ranging in the 400. Ghost Girls are always collectible, especially the highest rarity. I'm putting my money closer to 400 to 450 for like the Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. I think 400 it, to 450. That's pretty expensive. It is a pretty expensive card. I wanted to pick it up, but I, after I kept on looking at the prices, I mean, even like a secret rare version of this card is closer to $100 like 100 120 or like it's around that range like it's it's higher than like the 50 dollar typical you can pick it up for no like really easy but like it's i'm putting it around the 400 for like 400 450 for this one so i have to pick a range so I've, i'm gonna lock in the dark magician 80 now for the ghost ogre okay i'd be super surprised that if it was 380 i'd be super surprised if it was lower than like that interesting let's uh you know what i'll lock in that like 410 just sort of like i mean I, I give myself a little bit of leeway all right here we go the final two questions tom how do you feel like you've done so far pretty pretty okay or pretty good i think i did pretty good famous last words all right <laughs> <laughs> the last two answers i've got good news and i've got bad news let's start off with the good news the dark magician you nailed it. It's $75. Yes. Oh no, Ghost Ogre. So, no. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious to why you asked which tier the Dark Magician was in when you already knew. Yeah, well. The Ghost Ogre, you apparently did not know. I'm far <laughs> off. How bad am I? How far am I? <laughs> okay, so the uh, the Ghost Ogre and Snow Rapper Ultimate. I'm wondering if you maybe looked this up like during, uh, you know, like when people were using it back in like I, for Hartford and may, stuff like maybe. that. Maybe. How bad? Because that was, I remember that it was super popular around like the, like Charlotte and Hartford. Yeah. But I don't think it's as popular anymore. The card is now at $190. For Ulsi? <laughs> Yeah, for Ulti. <laughs> oh, no. I... So if you just asked which tier that was in, you would have known to guess later. Oh, man. I thought I was confident. I was so confident. In yeah, it. you're like, I know this one. I was like, okay, he knows it. And then you're like, it's around like four. I was like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, so close. But overall still though, pretty good because you did get one really close. You really just struggled on the Ecclesia and the Ghost Ogre. That's where you missed Those them really badly. Are but oh my God, I got, I thought they were, they're only a hundred, that's so low. Well, 190, it's okay, essentially 200. 200, 200. I guess, okay, then that means Chaos Emperor Dragon. Tell me, tell me if I, tell me. Yeah, oh, that's another thing. The Chaos Emperor really threw you off. The Chaos Emperor Dragon, uh, you guessed 200 it's 115 dollars if i guess that i would have been at least like in the range <laughs> the, yeah, the lifeline killed me <laughs> yes yeah, so, <laughs> that's what happened with simo he switched the question and got worse <laughs> still pretty good all right now we need to total up and see how you did to see what level prize you want so let's do that real all right, quick let's see let's see all right are you ready to see how you did tom all right roxon i'm ready how do you feel overall uh pretty good until the end <laughs> the best we've had was gauge he did he was just under five percent off of the total oh, yeah. prices he was like four point something the worst we've had was simo at 16.9 percent let's just see how you did all right so first of all the total number of dollars for each of the questions i asked you minus the one that we removed and then swapping out one so with that total amount was two thousand four hundred sixty six dollars worth of cards Okay. You were off by, on all your questions, $486. You also got $10 bonus seven times. Ooh. You got seven tiers right. 
So you are $416 off. That means that you were 16.87% off, just better than Simo. <laughs> you are not the worst <laughs> guest so far. You just edged him out, so you're fourth out of fifth place, but overall, you're still gonna win $100 for the fans of the channel. All right. So anyone watching, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know how, to, how Tom did. Did he do bad? Did he do good? Did he get screwed over by just a couple of questions? Because that's kind of how it felt. Because he did really well on some. You were like super close on some, and then you were like way off on a few other ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. I, my knowledge is so spotty on these things. I, I rely on Nishi way too much. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about just beating out Simo for last place? See, it, that's perfect. Just one step above, you know, just just, just the want. right amount of effort to not be last place. Like sec not second bad. worst, like second cheapest wine is the one that always gets ordered. You're second worst right now, but there's still plenty of people to come. Oh. They will they will do worse than you. Oh, so I don't know. <laughs> you will never be the worst to be on the show. <laughs> You will never be that. So not bad. All right. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Tom Box. Thank you so much for being on here. This has been a blast. Uh, anything you want to say before you go out? Guys, hit the subscribe button with Roxon, you know, and, uh, you know, thank you guys for you know, supporting me. Of course, thank you for having me, Roxon. I couldn't have had any more fun than I could have this weekend. Or rather, this week night. Maybe Nishi could be my redemption redemption round. We might have to bring Nishi on for a little redemption to uh, up your score a little bit. So thank you, Tom Box, for being on here. Make sure you guys go check out his channel, MST.TV. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. MBT is one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh streamers on Twitch and also recently passed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. He is known for his 10 minute testing series, his part on the history of Yu-Gi-Oh and history of Jank, as well as his winning personality. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price, episode six. Today we have the world famous MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. How you doing, Joseph? Really good. I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'm um... If you can't tell, he's doing uh, not so good. It's uh, listen. We, we had a lot of fun at Pasadena, you and me. Uh, we probably should have gone to less sloppy makeout sessions. Uh, and as a result, we're just feeling a little under the weather, but not so under the weather that I'm not gonna blow everyone else you've had on this tube show out of the water. That sounds good. Uh, it should be easy then, because like you're, you know Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so you should know all these, right? Of course. I mean, you know me. I'm a markets guy. I'm a, oh, yeah. I'm a pack opening guy. I have to... <laughs> I legitimately uh, tried to sell a Sprite Blue this last weekend and someone was like, value? And I was like, value? Uh... <laughs> What do you feel like? How you? What do you feel about, about this? Why, why don't you just uh, give me some money for it? How about that? Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, what do you value it at? <laughs> All right, perfect. So I want to let you remind, or let you remind you. I want to remind you of your tiers and, of course, your lifeline. So the tiers: tier one, two, and three, one to one hundred dollars. Tier two: one hundred and one to two hundred fifty dollars. And then tier three: two hundred fifty one. There's going to be three of each of those in this quiz, and then one bonus one hanging around somewhere. Then you have three lifelines. So your first lifeline is which tier am I in? So if you say which tier am I in, I tell you tier two, you know your price is between 101 and $250. Second one will be lower or higher. You pick a number and I tell you if, if the answer is lower or higher than that number. So if you say 200 and it's 150, I say it's lower and then vice versa. Then the third tier is you don't like this question at all. You want a new one. So if you're like, ah, I have no idea, I need to switch it. I give you another question in the same tier as the previous question. So if it's a tier two question, I give you another tier two question like that. I gotcha. All right, and then finally, uh, your absolute worst answer will be thrown out. So if you miss one by like $500, which a lot of people have done, then uh, it will get thrown out. So no big deal on that. So you basically have four lifelines on your 10 questions. Are you ready to go? Okay. All right, question number one, here we go. Let's see if you know this one. I feel like this, uh, this is one that I really wanna to ask you because this is the ultimate rarity of Stratos. We have Elemental Hero Stratos Starlight Burst of Destiny First Edition. Hold up. You said it was the the ultimate rarity of Stratos. I used a bad adjective there. <laughs> yeah. I, this is this is not the the best rarity of Stratos, which is of course the ultimate rare. Right. Um, which is of course the Mago Gold Rare. That's the that's the Mago rare. Gold Rare. That's what everyone runs. I hear. Maybe you draw them better. So you know, I I appreciate that Konami keeps printing new Stratoses, but I gotta tell you, um, for my money, nothing's gonna beat the Jump promo. 
uh, and definitely oh. not the Starlight. I remember I was looking at getting one of these at one point, and when I was looking at getting them, I think they it was like 400. Interesting. When was that? When it first came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know usually the Starlights go up over time, but not always. I'm going to say that this is a $400 card. 400, you're locking it in right off the bat. Yeah. You're saying this is a tier three right off the bat. That is correct. All right, all right. First question, Joseph. I gave you the Stratos, your absolute favorite rarity of it. I knew you would know this one right off the bat. The Elemental Hero Stratos from Burst of Destiny First Edition Starlight Rare is $220. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what happened it is one that boy? has come down for sure. I was thinking, I was like, this strikes me as one that could have gone down. But how often do starlights go down? I guess because everyone is of the same opinion as you is that the ultimate rare just looks better. It's also cheaper. The ultimate rare, I think, is around 150. So you could buy that for less. It's like, why am I buying this starlight? And I think and, most and people are gold, thinking that. The gold rarity is like $4. You know, that's the, the best gold rarity, rarity is $4. And the jump version or whatever, that is still not that much either. So yeah, if anyone's that's a watching nice this and you want a really nice Stratos, uh, the jump Stratoses are like under 10. They are really, really yeah. nice. And those are like the OG ones. Oh, too, yeah. So. And they, they read completely wrong. Like the text isn't PSCT. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you want. You don't want to know what you're using when you play cards. That's exactly how I you play. Need, you need so every perfect. every edge you need when you play hero. All right. Listen, if your opponent asks <laughs> you, you get it foreign if you can. All right. Question number two. It's a rough start. You're off by 180 bucks. Also need to mention that if you do get the tier right, like let's say you had guessed in the correct tier, you get like a $10 credit at the end. Oh, so you did great. that time. But next time we're looking at it, it great, could potentially happen question number two we have relinquished from starter deck oh. pegasus first edition okay how many of these are there oh uh, there's 10. okay so relinquished starter deck pegasus i actually know a lot about yeah that's why i asked you i have bought this card specifically maybe a dozen times uh it's okay. nice that the first print of relinquished is as cheap as it is uh unfortunately i have stopped purchasing it because if you've ever read this card it does not tell you anything about what the card does. <laughs> the text on this thing is at 0.01 font, and it's got like quotes in it that are like, the card cannot be unequipped for any reason. They're just typing anything on there. <laughs> for my money, the new speed duels are uh, much better, but the thing that's kind right. of freaking me out here is the first ed. Now the, the Pegasus starter deck did come first ed and unlim, right? It did, it came in both, yeah. Shoot. Okay, I, I feel as if the ones I've purchased are unlim, but I'm gonna say for sure this is a tier one card. I'm gonna say the first debt is probably a little more expensive. So let's go with $15. $15. <laughs> you had that whole thing like, oh yeah, like these, just, I mean, they might be more expensive a little bit. How about 15 bucks? <laughs> well, hey, that is expensive to me, all right? I get it, but I figured you might have an idea with this one because you run the Relinquished deck and Goat. We played a little beer match at one point. Yep. So I figured you might have an idea about this one. There's not a lot of like prints of this card. It's kind of weird. There's like Dark Legend, super rare and like kind of weird stuff. So the dual or the speed duel one is pretty nice but yeah. you said $15? Yeah. Well, you didn't quite nail it. You tripled it up, but it's only $5, but you get the credit, so it's perfect. You're right on. I was going to say it's 5 but then I was like, no, that's what I purchased it for. Clearly, it's more than that. These have never gone up. They've literally just been $5 for years. It's insane. So It's, it's, it's in this weird position where, like, Relinquish is getting better in GOAT. Like, it's becoming, like, a tiered meta deck in GOAT format. Right. And now you can win Konami prizes with it. But this card is just too confusing. The new prints look better. <laughs> they read better. They're nicer. They're shinier. Why would you ever play this one? Yeah, like, if you get the SDP version, like, you have, as you said, you try to read it it's very very confusing Disastrous. especially like with like goat stuff it's just like it's just wild to try and read that thing and then it's just an ultra rare anyway it's like yeah. not like it's like a secret that you need to play so definitely a weird one all right so you're back you're back you start off rough number two is a comeback so let's bring on a number three let's see how you can do on this one all right pyramid turtle super rare from champion pack two this is hard uh i own a couple champion pack cards total when i was maxing out a reaper format deck uh, Gage gave me the hookup on uh, Smashing Ground. At the time, it was like $30, and now it is not that. It is not 30 anymore, yeah. <laughs> Pyramid Turtle, very playable in Reaper format, by the way. Titular card in Dead Rat. Yeah, I know you like that deck, so I figured you might know this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a champion pack card. It's 
playable in multiple formats, Edison and Reaper. I can't remember if like one of the champion packs is way cheaper than the others, but I, I imagine they aren't. I'm gonna say that this card is probably about, I think it's tier three. I think it's probably about three million dollars. I'm gonna say this card is 500 <laughs> bucks again. 500 bucks. So uh, yeah, you do have lifelines, so keep that in mind. So if you wanna do that, uh, you wanna lock this in at $500. I do. You're sure you wanna lock this in at $500. You're saying that like maybe I should. How about this? I'll do lower and higher here. Okay, all right. For what? What number? Uh, 300. I am so glad you asked because this is lower than $300. Oh. Let's say this is a tier two card. Interesting. And uh, let, let's say maybe it's about 150 bucks. Oh, okay. That sounds like a great answer. Let's not talk anymore. $150 on the Pyramid Turtle from Champion Pack 2. This is a super rare near mint. The answer is... $175. Good guess. Wow. Beautiful. That's a very close off the bat. See, the problem is the first time I thought you said Schmira Mid Turtle, which actually is a $500 <laughs> card. Oh, yeah, my God. What yeah, the hell? Point, this card's $175? That seems crazy to me. $500? That, that would be more like, let's see, what, what card do we have? Lone Fire's around $500, so I can see why you'd be in that, that ballpark, like some of the cards that are playable in Edison, like in our supers. Is there a better print of this or something? Like, what's going on? This this is the high rarity, I think. So wow. yeah, it's not too bad for a champion pack card, to be honest. And champion pack two is actually not super like cheap or anything. So it's actually a pretty good deal, I would say, for the most part. I hope this doesn't spike it. I, I would like to see more people playing this card. All right, not bad, not bad. Only $15 off after the uh, $10 credit. So question number four, you have two more lifelines. Your worst one, which is the first question is already thrown out. So you're, you're doing pretty well so far. Let's see question number four. Mast Hero Dark oh. Law Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack one near mint i have tried to buy this card like four or five times and every time i talk myself out of it but the last time i tried was like two and a half years ago so i imagine it's gone up since then do you remember what it was a couple years ago uh it was like 70. interesting okay and i imagine it is higher than that uh the the thing about dark law is that it's actually got two pretty decent other printings obviously it has the structure common which everyone knows but it's got like a right. dusa ultra as well if i'm correct oh yeah everyone loves dusa yeah i mean i know dusa is like a a sticking point but it, it does kind of look cool on dark law actually i think it might be like the most expensive card in dusa it's one I of the most that. expensive um man Ugh. ots tournament pack one ultimate rare master hero dark law uh, the tournament packs are are mm, tp1 all right how about this i want you to tell me which tier this is in okay all right we're using the second lifeline on Mast Hero Dark Law. Glad you asked. This is in tier three. Whoa! <laughs> you said 70? I was like, uh-oh, he's probably not making the jump. <laughs> uh, been a good couple of years for Dark Law. <laughs> All right. It has indeed. It has indeed. It can't possibly be that far in a tier three. I'm going to say this is a $300 card. $300 on Masked Hero Dark Law. You as the hero player. Not too familiar with your Dark Law prints, apparently. I guess. But uh, not too bad. The answer is $395. So oh it's basically a four hundred dollar card jesus christ uh well i am not purchasing these now i will tell you that yeah you said you were you talk yourself out at 70 yeah yeah we're, we're, we're far away i once pulled like four of these they were 200 like a couple years ago i sold them at 200 and then now they're 400 i was like well i probably should have hold on to those but oh well <laughs> the problem with dark law is that he just keeps going up any of the, the, the these idiot hero players they'll pay anything for anything yeah they're literally this they're the exact same as like blue eyes and stuff like that like they just go up it doesn't matter how good the, the deck is doesn't matter how competitive it is also uh is currently being played it was in what the fourth place list at the most recent ycs well that that'll add to it for sure <laughs> no i'm sure yeah mm, all right so so far one tier three two tier twos and two and one tier one so keep that in mind Question number five, this is the halfway point. Let's see 
if we can uh, get a little, eh, well, it wasn't too bad on the last one. Let's see if we can nail this one. Question number five is Gladiator Beast Heraclinos Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack 2 Near Mint. That is a horrific picture from TCG looks Player, nice. by the way, That's that really I just That's really what it looks like in real life, too, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is rough. I did try and max out a uh, Glad Beast Edison list maybe like a year ago now. Difference is I started maxing it out, and then I saw that all the Glad Beast guys are in, I think, the GX collection. Very shiny, $2 a piece. I was like, okay, a max rarity will go a oh, will go a nice looking rarity so i did right. not purchase this card i remember it being expensive turbo pack cards of course are crazy um ulti is a nice rarity perk doesn't have a lot of other good rarities i believe it comes at super otherwise secret rare and glass yeah 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 i imagine this is an expensive card uh let's say this card is i i've been having some luck with with 350 i'm gonna go a little lower because it's really only playable in edison but it's very playable there Let's yeah. say this is a two hundred dollar card. Two hundred. Okay, so you're up. You're up at three hundred, and then you talk yourself down to two hundred. Okay, I like it. The answer to the Gladiator Beast Heraclinos Ultimate Rare Turbo Pack Two is one hundred and fifty dollars. So okay. you you went the right direction there. You came back towards it. Only fifty off. That's not too bad. Okay, that's that's not terrible. All right, you're doing pretty well so far. I'd say for someone who doesn't really look at prices at all, for the most part, you're actually doing very solid. I would say. So let's go to number six. This one, I I when I was researching what to ask you, I was like, okay, he likes heroes. You know, he likes the zombie stuff, all that stuff. I uh, played him in Relinquish. This one, I just I just ripped because you put a picture of it. On your Twitter. Question number six is Red Eyes Black Dragon oh. Prismatic Secret from the 2022 Ten of Pharaoh Gods. Damn, I almost bought this card too. I love all the new prints. I think they look goofy. Uh, they're great. Um, I, oof. This card can't be money. I mean, there's just no way. This is a tier one card for sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this had the same pull rates as any other Prismatic Secret. Yeah, like I personally didn't pull a lot of them, but like, I think it was just variants. Like it's, it, it seemed like it was about the same as like the DMG and the Blue Eyes. All right, I'm going to say this card's 10 bucks. All right, locking it in at 10 bucks right off the bat. That is a good one because this card is only $8. So you absolutely oh. crushed that one. <laughs> You're only two bucks off. That means you get the credit. You essentially made $8 back right there. You did really well. I'm, I'm buying this one. I'm buying this one right now. This this guy is so funny looking. Yeah, this the, all of these like the blue eyes too. I think they just like the goofiest looking artwork. It's really funny. The blue, the eyes, blue eyes look eyes like is money look, though, right? It's like twenty bucks or something. Yeah, something like that. It looks like his body is shrunk and oh, his head yeah. is the same size. It's the weirdest looking thing. I don't know. I personally really like it. I saw one at uh at the vendors at uh, Pasadena and I was like, ooh, maybe. But you know, no, I, I have nothing to use blue eyes. For. I sent in all of the like these three prismatic like uh, old school cards like the red eyes, the blue eyes, the dark. I graded all of them just because I was like, just these the are case. the goofiest things ever. Uh, if we get some tens on this, it'll be awesome. So oh, yeah. now you nailed that one. That was like your best guess yet by far. Pretty good guess on number six. You still have one lifeline left. You could swap out a question. Four questions to go. So far, you've had two tier ones, three tier twos, one tier three. So only one tier three so far. You're guaranteed to have two more of those. Question number seven, we have Caius the Shadow oh. Monarch Ultimate Rare Turbo Pack three near mint. This guy's like a million dollars. Oh man, uh, all the Caiuses. So Caius is in a really weird spot. Um, He is, I think based on play rates and win rates, the literal best card in Edison. Right. A little skewed because obviously a scenario where you get to tribute Caius, you're probably winning. Um, but yeah. he is just an unbelievable behemoth of a card. Iconic, uh, one of the monarchs that everybody remembers, if not the one they remember. He's just so unbelievably powerful. Doesn't have a lot of good prints. Uh, the OTS Super, I think, is the only other print that I even remotely like. There's like a Structure Ultra. There's like a gold rare. He came common once and, and everyone needs him for Edison. So, you know, right. uh, what's the want... common? I don't think I've ever even seen that. I'm pretty sure there's a common. There probably is. It's probably some random deck from back in the day. Yeah, I think it is a deck. But I mean, so if you want a shiny Caius, your options are this now the OTS super, thank goodness, uh, or like a, an awful dog water gold rare or something. So <laughs> I know that this card is money. I thought about pulling the trigger on it a lot of times. I'm going to say this is a $400 card. All right, locking it in right off the bat for that Edison staple. Uh, I think it is It is funny. I know it's like gold series you mentioned. They printed those like during Edison. Like that's why there's so many cards, but like every Edison card ever is in a gold rarity. So yep. <laughs> if you can't find it, you have a gold version like every single time. It's kind of funny how that works, but $400. 
You're saying this is your next tier three uh, card and you were correct. It is a tier three and you're very close. It's $370. Oh, I want one of these so bad. And the the, the way you can justify it to yourself is most decks only play one or two Kaiuses. So you get to be like, well, I'd only need one. I only need to pay to $370 once. It's not that big of a deal. How good it would be. You could get away <laughs> with I could like just buy a play set for $2 each of OTS, but, but this but. one looks really good. Question number eight. We're down to three questions. You got one question. You got one lifeline left if you need it. This is one that I, uh, I knew I had to ask you this one because this is a meme potentially between both of us. So question number eight is Baron de Floor Ultra Rare from Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm First Edition. How many of each tier do I have remaining? Uh, okay, so right now you've done, you've had two tier ones, two tier threes, and three tier twos. So you have one each for one and three, and then one other one. So as the famous clip suggests, I spent $120 on this card. <laughs> I never summoned it. And then immediately after that event, you said you needed a Baron and I yeah. sold it to you for a hundred, taking a $20 loss. Uh -huh. Then you sold the Baron for 80, taking an additional <laughs> $20 loss. No yeah. one plussed off this card. I sold it for 80 on TCG player, so I lost fees too. <laughs> oh man, that is, that is rough. I'm going to say this is a tier one card. I think it has probably stayed around there. It sees play in most tier builds, but not all. I'm gonna say this is a $90 card now. $90 going for that tier one card. And you did have an idea of the price point because of what we spent. I mean, it probably hasn't changed that much and you were correct. It actually has not changed at all from what I paid you. It is $100 now. It's back to that same price yeah, point. Yeah, so. thank you, honey. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was a, that was quite the event. I don't think I, I used this card like maybe twice in casual duels and then sold it. <laughs> Cause I was like, this thing's getting a reprint at some point. It's gonna be a secret rare. I can't hold on to this thing. Any day now, any day now. Question number nine is Psyframe Gear Gamma Collector Rare Toon Chaos First Edition near Mint. Number 10 is Chthonian Soldier Mattel Action Figure Promo Series 3. Uh, give me a different one than Psyframe Gear Gamma. Okay, so you want to switch out the Psyframe Gear Gamma. You feel that confident about the Chthonian Soldier? No, but I think I can make an inference. <laughs> All right. I literally have no idea how much Gamma is. I legitimately could not tell you any price of any Gamma at all. So you're saying you have an idea about the Chthonian Soldier? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Okay, we can swap it out. All right, we are swapping out the Psyframe Gear Gamma. He said, I'm done with that one. I don't know what it is. Let's get a new question. This is the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End Ultimate Rare First Edition from Duelist Pack Kaiba. So what do, what do I know about these? One is from tier three and one I don't know the, pri the tier at all. Yeah, you are guaranteed to have a tier three and then you have one random one. All right, well, I feel pretty confident that said is the tier three uh i ooh, chthonian soldier is giving me a ton of pause let's do said first okay i'm gonna say that this said i mean ultimate rare the problem is that the ioc secret the secret first is already a really nice rarity duelist pack kaiba i don't really know anything about i'm gonna say that this card is $250. All right, $250. We got that locked in. All right, now for the Chthonian Soldier. Yeah, so the problem with the Mattel cards is they are scarce. There are not many of them, but the prices vary from like $5 to like 30,000, depending on what card it is. Hey, so you know the range, five to, to 30,000, you're good. Chthonian Soldier strikes me as a card that is not particularly in high demand. For players, some of the cards that are worth money for collectors in Mattel don't make any sense to me at all. Who would want to collect some of these terrible ass cards? I wonder uh, why is, you know, the Cyber Dragon Infinity so cheap, despite the fact that it's an iconic card. Uh, who knows? I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> could have swapped the question out. <laughs> I guess I could have, but I, I didn't. I think the Chthonian Soldier is probably worth money. Uh, the reason for that is I don't think they made very many toys of Chthonian Soldier because I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to buy a toy of Chthonian Soldier. It's a pop five. There's zero, only five kids got this. I'm gonna say Chthonian Soldier and I'm ready to be just 
wildly massively wrong this is going to replace my worst answer by a lot i'm going to say this is a 700 dollar card 700 dollars on the chthonian soldier okay all right he's going aggressive i like it also what would you have guessed on the cyframe gear gamma just for fun you know i literally don't know maybe a hundred bucks a hundred bucks okay all right time for the reveal for the final i forgot to mention to you that you're like winning money for the for the fans so uh what we'll see how you there do were stakes forgot to to this? yeah so uh <laughs> you you could have won some money for them but who knows we'll see how you did so uh, we kind of forgot about that part but uh yeah all right question number nine the cyframe gear gamma we're just going to tell you what it was uh not that it matters you would have said 100 you made a great choice swapping this because it's 345 dollars oh, oh, oh good god <laughs> yeah i that that that's why i swapped it i've never seen what a tune chaos cr is worth in my life uh so good thing you switched that one because you did better on the replacement the replacement chaos emperor dragon you said 250 dollars for the ultimate rare it's 290 dollars. so you're that's actually pretty close not as bad as i thought all right that is not bad at all and now for the big one the one where you went a little risky chthonian soldier mattel action figure pro you were handed one of these and not the chthonian but at the event apparently which yeah. was hilarious yeah. you said 700 dollars. that is a lot of money would you pay 700 for this card i mean i wouldn't I, listen <laughs> you're talking to the wrong guy here i wouldn't pay 400 for my favorite card ever in its highest rarity i'm going dusa ultra all the way uh, yeah i would not uh, pay 700 for this so yeah i i certainly would not either oh. uh but if you were gonna pay 700 for this card it wouldn't be enough. It's actually an $800 card. Oh, no, that's not as bad as I thought. No, oh, that was insanely God. good guess. I was like, he's going to put, say, like 100 bucks on this. Oh, and no. he said 700 I was like, that was awesome. Oh, thank God. Oh, I mean, it's still pretty, pretty far off. But oh, my God. Like, that's the hardest one because it's such a high number. Like, you could miss it by so much. The the, the Mattel figures, uh, they, they really do range in price from, like, really iconic cards at, like, $40 to like yeah. this card you've never heard of for 10,000 because of the way that the ratios work. I think it's the Motel figure three because they I think those are the hardest ones. So this one being series three, I think is why it's so expensive because that there's no other explanation. Like Chthonian soldier, like who wants that? You know, <laughs> makes no sense. All right, let's add up and see how you did total and we'll see what you won for the giveaway you didn't even know you were playing for. Yeah. So the way this works is uh, it's based on percentage points away from how much you missed the total. So the total number of money that you had in this entire, you know, all the questions you threw out some, you added some others, but all of the cards I asked you were worth $2,513. Mm -hmm. So if you are within 1%, you're going to win $1,000 for the giveaway for the fans. If you were within 5%, you win $500, which is what Gage did. He is the best so far. And then if you're within 10%, it's 250 and then within 25 you get 100 and then within 50 percent which hopefully no one does worse than that 50 dollars so congrats on your 50 dollars chat <laughs> yeah everyone be happy about 50 bucks all right you missed all of yours were off by a total of 352 dollars which is actually really really good that's not so bad that's not bad at all then you had your eight questions were in the right tier. So you get to subtract $80 from that. So you're at $272 now. So if you put that into the 2,500, you are so ah. close to being $250. You were 10.82%. That's actually the second best we've ever had so far. That's first off shocking first off this guy you could say you don't know prices but you do apparently we really threw on the first question that is oh gosh well that it didn't matter because you threw that one out really but if you had been close on that when you throw would have thrown out the 100 you would have been in the 250 dollars range i think yeah, yeah. so that was still extremely impressive like you beat out simo you beat out uh pokerev i mean that, that's not that great but and then uh tom box in the last episode so you've done pretty well all right that's good. How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I I feel excellent. I feel, if if anyone would like me to sign a, a Mattel figures three Chthonian soldier, <laughs> I mean you know where to find me. I'm not gonna do that though. If anyone ever owns that card, then they have to get it signed by you. It just no. it just makes sense oh, because no, no, no. you knew the price that. right off the top of your head. So I mean uh, having a, a MBT signature on it that probably make it like ten thousand dollars. Let me ask you this: so. Have you ever seen Chthonian soldier and I in the same room? How do you know that I am not the Chthonian soldier. That's a great point because I can I can say definitively I've never seen you and the Chthonian soldier in the same room. So 
unless someone at an event had one and I didn't see the Chthonian soldier and it was in there somewhere. But all right, pretty good, Joseph. Uh, I'm very, uh, very impressed. That was very good. Do you have anything to say before we head out? Yeah, um, <clears throat> if you want to see more guessing things, you know, related to card games, you actually can head over to CMO's channel where Ruxin is featured guessing things related to a card game. That is crazy. I am featured starting uh, tomorrow as of the recording of this. So I just got dropped on the Patreon. So I'm on there. So we'll see how I did compared to Joseph guessing prices. I'm just guessing cards. So we'll see how that went. Yeah, yeah. I, I The only other thing I can think of to say is, you know, I hope that everyone in the comments has a nice day, Aussie. <laughs> All right, we couldn't leave with that one. That one, Joseph. Thanks again for being on here. Thank, and you just did really well for the chat or the uh, the comments, I should say, because we're not live. But yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to check out the other videos on this playlist. We have five other videos before this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Farfa is the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! streamer on Twitch and is largely responsible for starting the Yu-Gi-Oh! streaming genre in general. He is known for his hilarious memes and dedicated community. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price Episode 7. We have the one and only Farfa. How are you doing today? I'm really good. I'm also upset that it took seven episodes to get me on here as the de facto worst contestant that you'll have without a doubt. <laughs> well, you're one of the hardest people to get because we have like different schedules and I like don't wake up and like you are going to be asleep by the time I actually wake up. So it's very difficult for us to actually record, but we made it happen. You're going to be a surprise guest. I have a good feeling you're going to do great. Where do awesome. you live again? Is it Area 52? Area 52. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but basically when it comes to trying to get us to get do something together all right i have already explained the rules to you you don't seem to really understand them but that's okay we're gonna figure it out so we got, we got this all right we're gonna go right into it we're gonna go to question one bottomless trap hole super rare from champion pack for farfo what do you think the price of this card is and what do you know about bottomless trap hole and the champion pack for printing so i know that champion pack has a lot of old good staples uh, I think there's like Champion Pack, like Lone Fire, maybe. There's like Ch Champion Pack, Book of Moon. And I know that when I started playing like a few years ago, they were like 60 ish, uh -huh. but they definitely inflated when there was like this big goat boom at some point, maybe like three years ago or something. Inflated to what is the question? Yeah, where did they land on? Uh, Champion Pack, Bottomless Trap Hole. I'm gonna go with, let's go for a flat Hano. I think $100 you want to lock it in at $100 you feel pretty confident about that yeah yeah I think that's probably kind of the range for a bottomless it might be a little less I want to say but I know it definitely went up since it was floating around okay all right so it's up from 50 bucks we are starting it off question number one Farfa says $100 on the bottomless trap hole from champion pack four Farfa this is not a good start <laughs> that bad? <laughs> Champion Pack 4 bottomless is $392. Went up that much? Jeez, wow. All right, that's okay. Remember I told you, your worst one is thrown out. We didn't want to use it this early, but we have used it this early. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're moving on to the next one. This is an expensive card. It's a very expensive card. Anything Champion Pack that can be used in like Goat or Edison and stuff like that, they're just nuts. They're they're way too expensive. Also, bottomless, did it, I guess it got like a, maybe an ultra rare later or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go to question two. Let's wipe that one away. No big deal. We got nine to go. You still got three lifelines. Let's do this. All right. Question number two, Farfa. We have a card that you might be able to see if you turn around. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Secret Rare First Edition from Extreme Victory. Ooh. If so uh, Extreme Victory is the original printing, right? This is the original Secret Rare, yeah. So Tour Guide is... I mean, she has so many printings. If you ask me how much the ulti was. Okay, what would you say for the ulti? I think the ultis are like 250-ish now. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're right about that. I should have asked you about the ulti. <laughs> um, tour guide secret rare, I think is probably like, a, is gonna be a little bit less than that. You think it's like tier one, tier two, tier three? What do you think in terms of the, the ranges? Oh, think it's tier two, 100%. Okay, I think it's a tier two. All right, so you think it's 100 to 250 or 101 to 250, okay. So do I have to give you an exact number now? Oh, whatever you want, whenever you want. Unless you, unless you wanna just keep talking it out. Maybe I can help you out a little bit. Um, 
Wait, but how can you help me out? I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, I just might push you the right way. How can push you help you me out without way. just telling me the answer? Oh, I might push you in the right direction. You know, you know, what do you know about it? You know, it's uh, it's got some reprints, but it's the original secret. But do you want like the ulti or the secret more? You know, usually the ulti probably. Yeah, no, for sure. I think the ulti is always going to be more expensive. Those Astro Pack ones are like super, super hard to get. And there's only one printing of it. But um, if we go with a tour guide, let's go for a, a nice round 200. I think $200. We have tour guide from the underworld secret rare first edition. Okay, edition. since I can be a little bit more, so let's go for like 180. Okay, okay, dropping it down to 180. All right, it, it, the final price has been edited. Final 185. Price, 185. All right, okay, from 200 to 180 to 185. Okay, so we're locking it in at 185. You want to get super specific here? You want to add any sense while you're at it? No. <laughs> okay, no sense. All right, okay. No sense. Tour guide from the underworld. All right, Farfa. Tour guide from the underworld secret rare is $64. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. What? First uh, edition. Yes. Yeah, I was surprised too. It's actually really cheap. I, I looked and I was like, I thought they were 125 when I looked and then they were 64. I was like, Okay, that's cheap. That's extremely cheap. Yeah, honestly, I thought they were in contention with the ultis. Almost, yeah, I, I guess for this one, it seems like the people who want a tour guide have picked the ulti and no one is picking the secret because the ultis are like, as you said, they're like 250 or something. They might even be like 275, 300. They're crazy expensive. Don't forget the gold alt art as well, you know, just saying. Yeah, the gold alt art. That's a great, that's a great pick, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's okay. You got time to recover. We're only two questions in. Let's go to question number three. We have swords soul grandmaster i don't know how to say this card starlight rare first edition burst of destiny i picked this because of your top 16 list by the way so and you had this card so it was a starlight though. thank you i appreciate that um <laughs> Dude, I don't, I couldn't tell you how much Starlight Rares are these days. <laughs> also, hey, let's just throw that out there. I, you don't even use USD. So if you did, if you were using your currency, you'd be nailing these, right? Totally. Yeah, no, that's definitely what's throwing me off here. I should yeah, have done yeah. a little bit more uh, market, uh, or rather economic <laughs> research into the currency exchange right now. Yeah, it's kind of an unfair advantage for, for me, like getting, making you miss them. And as always. <laughs> so I know that Starlight Rares from board i mean i don't know if that really makes a difference to be fair the only starlight rare that i know definitively the price of was like dark the dark charmer was like 250 ish on yeah. like release and i really wanted yeah. to get one i was like nah <laughs> but now i know that they've gone up to like four 450 i should have asked you that card that's like exactly what they are <laughs> yeah um and this one is way less generic than dark so i feel like it's probably a little lower so i'm gonna go with let's go with 300. interesting you think so you okay think so, so i know that starlight valor that's like a generic staple card that thing's like 700 plus because i had to buy one for right valor is from 2020 keep that in mind yeah i'm gonna go let's go with like two 75. by the way don't forget you do have lifelines so if you ever feel eh, not too sure you can go with your three lifelines. Life I lines. think I'm gonna use them on ones that I'm completely like. And the dark. Okay. All right. All right. Makes sense. Okay. Question number three. Sword Soul Grandmaster Guy. Starlight Rare. Farfa, you got top 16 with this card. But it's only $139, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> you went in the right man. direction, though. You started talking yourself in the right direction. You're like, ah, I don't think it's that much. Yeah. So, I mean, you had some good logic. You just didn't know. This, this card's actually really cheap. I guess Sword Soul, like, being not as popular right now, but, like... It's still a popular deck, though, so I thought, like, okay. Yeah, I, 139 to me feels pretty cheap for, like, the price of some of them, as you mentioned, like, the Dark is, like, $500, which I guess is more generic, but this one felt a little weird to me, too, but not a bad guess, I would say. We still got seven. Seven to go, seven to go. Three lifelines. You haven't used any of them yet. You're saving them. All right, let's see what you can do on question number four. We have Test Tiger Ultimate Rare First Edition from Gladiator's Assault. Not even the slightest clue. So we're going to have to go to the lifelines for this one. I don't even know <laughs> where to begin with this. I could... No idea. So what are my options for lifelines? Okay, so if you want to know the range that it's in, you can go with the tier, which will be, I'll tell you, tier one, two, or three. If you want me to tell you if you're lower or higher on a guess, so you basically get to guess, and then I tell you if you're lower or higher. So you could give like your closest guess, and then I could tell you if you're higher or lower. Then you could just completely swap this card out for a new question in the same tier. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to just ballpark in my head. Are we talking like three digits for this? Are we talking like hundreds for this? Probably not, right? I sincerely doubt that. Let's go for a flat hundred, and then I'm gonna ask you to higher or lower that for me. Okay, so you wanna guess 100. So you know what, you know what? Let's go a little bit lower. Let's go with 75, and you can tell me higher or lower. Okay, first 
lifeline is being implemented right here. Test Tiger Ultimate Rare First Edition. You said 75, higher or lower? This card, Farfa, is higher than $75. Really? <laughs> The ultimate rare, it's from Glass. It's a pretty, pretty rare set. Are you allowed to tell me if it's like a staple in Edison decks or like old school Glad decks? Because I don't know uh, if this is a good card. I don't know if you I play this in those. In Edison, Glad Edison, I do know this is not a card that's played. Or at least in the deck that I have. I have a Glad deck and it's not in there. God, I don't know. Let's go with 130. I'll go with 130. All right, question number three. The Test Tiger Ultimate Rare from Gladiator's Assault First Edition is... $299, no, $300, where I didn't round it, $300. Why? It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're underestimating. This is from Gladiator's Assault, which is pretty rare. And then it's also first edition. So you got to keep in mind, there are all those crazy people out there that are just collecting this card. I mean, so I that, think it's kind of an iconic card as well for Glads, right. isn't it? Yeah, I think it was used at some point. I don't know when it when it was, but at some point I think it was used in Glads. But uh, that's your second tier three. So keep that in mind. We're only going to have three tier threes and potentially a fourth, but maybe not. So that's already two of those. So those are the high end ones. Those are the hardest ones usually. So not too bad. All right. Question number five. We have Farfa, the rare from Secrets of Eternity. Do you know the price of this card? So I know it's cheap, but I don't know how <laughs> cheap we're talking here. How cheap do you think you are? Yeah, so the funny thing is like the, the, the main deck Burning Abyss monsters are like very expensive for the fact that they're just like box rares. Like I had to like buy like a gold seer for euros. I think it was that I played this silly deck again for some reason for like eight <laughs> bucks or something. It was, it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, messed up. Let's just go with $5. Five bucks. All right, we're gonna go five. He doesn't believe in himself. He thinks he's cheap. Well, let me tell you, you believe too much. You're zero dollars. <laughs> it's 24 cents. 24 cents. I rounded down zero dollars. <laughs> what? So, hey, it's not even you're close. Still really close. Five bucks? God, yeah. God that's. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm sure now that we're halfway through, you're probably noticing I'm really bad at card <laughs> prices. I don't know anything about card prices. I mean, that's your best guess yet. With the credit, you actually made money back because you get 10 bucks because you were on the same uh, tier there. So not bad. You're making a comeback. What, that's what I was telling you. The comeback starts now. All right. Question number six. We're over halfway through. We have Foolish Burial Super Rare from Turbo Pack 2. So I know Turbo Pack, I think, is actually the best quote unquote rarity of Foolish Burial, but I don't know if, if there's a difference between Turbo Pack 1 and 2. I assume Foolish Burial was only in Booster. Right, so Turbo Pack is, they had Tournament Pack 1 through 8, the originals, then they went to Champion Pack, did 1 through 8, then they had Turbo Pack 1 through 8. This is just another, like, Tournament Pack. It's basically like OTS 2 instead of OTS 1. So yeah, it's two different sets. So two this is the sets. only... Foolish Burial Turbo Pack that exists. Right, this is the highest rarity of Foolish Burial, and this is the only set it's in. Yeah, I think this one is kind of money. Like a like a good quality. Yeah, this is Near Mint, by the way. Yeah, this is Near Mint. Yeah, Near Mint Foolish Super from Turbo Pack 2. That's going to be like, that's going to be money. Hundreds, I'm pretty sure. Let's go okay. with 333. <laughs> 333, I like it. Very specific. We're locking it in. Foolish Burial Super Rare from Turbo Pack 2. You nailed it. This is an expensive card. The price isn't 333, but it is 275. So you're pretty close. Not bad for a tier three guess because this is, I mean, these are really expensive because I think there is a secret rare, but that was like out of legendary collection or something. So this is like the one that people, you know, use if they're trying to bling out their deck. So nice guess, nice guess there, not bad. Yeah, so I was just thinking, especially with the fact that tier limits are like the best deck in the game. Uh, wait, do you yeah. play foolish in tier? I have no clue actually, Never mind. I, but I mean, yeah, I, it's I a turbo know. pack foolish bro. It's one of the best cards kind of ever printed. I don't know. I, I feel like I should, but. I should yeah, play that is, too, but. <laughs> it is one of the best like general cards ever made in the game. It's very iconic and yeah. this was always going to be tier 3, right? So, yeah, that was a that was a good guess. All right, not bad. You're making a nice comeback. Don't forget, four questions left. You still have two lifelines. Keep those in mind. All right, number 7. Dark Magician Girl Duelist League promo with purple lettering. I'm just going to straight up <laughs> ask you for the tier on this one. It okay, means a lifeline. Okay. I good decision. Good decision. This card, I think Duelist League was like given out at some point in, like the mid it was like 2010 or something like that there's a few of these with like green blue purple stuff like that this tier i will tell you is tier two so it's between 101 and 250 dollars big range on this honestly um 
God. I mean, there's the thing is, there's so many Dark Magician Girl variants out there that some of them I know are just not gonna be that popular. But I mean, I guess this did come out a long time ago. What sort of rarity is it? Is it, it, is it holographic at all or? No, I think it's just the lettering. It's like a rare, except for it's purple. Oh, really? That's not that popular. But it's still a tier two card. That's crazy. I'm gonna go with 125. One, two, five. All right, Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, this is one of the weirdest cards like ever. It's just like a regular rare, but it has the colored. Like I, I never personally like the colored rares. I don't know how you feel about them. Like the, they do them in the Legendary Duelist. They always look so out of place. Yeah, you're just like, huh? And like a very few cards, it'll match the card, but most of the time it just looks awkward and gross. And I kind of feel like that about this one as well. This card is. $200 for some reason it's 200 dark magician girl that's why uh, I mean I, I mean that's the thing I know dark magician girls are generally expensive but I didn't think you know all of them regardless of which yeah. you know I you know maybe the holographic ones were hundreds but ah, right. 200 for this this is it, it almost makes no sense there can't there just must not be a lot of them out there that's, that's is there good. a few number of dark magician girl artworks of this specific artwork like the og is that why no there's there's too many of these so i don't i really i don't get this one it's weird it's a really weird one all right okay Three questions left. You've got two lifelines. Question number eight. We have Harpy's Feather Duster Prismatic Secret Rare from World Championships 2004, the video game from uh, Game Boy Advanced. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is the one where the promos in the US for this game are not the Harpy Feather Duster, but it's like in Europe, I think. So, hey, maybe, did you have this game? <laughs> maybe. Uh, no, I didn't play any of the Game Boy games. I played them on a uh, console. Missed opportunity. If you had gotten, you might've known the price if you had just gotten the game 20 years ago, who knows? So Prismatic Secret, Harpy's Feather Duster Game Boy promo that was only out in Europe. So, and, and there's, there's still tier three guesses left, right? So far you've done three tier three. So, and Unless the random 10th question is tier three, there won't be any more. So there may or may not be one more. This has to be a tier three card. It's it's Harpy's Feather Duster and it's a prismatic secret from the Game Boy. Ugh. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe like, what, what are the other rarities of Harpy's Feather Duster? There's like, is it LOB? No, LOB or MRD. The original, or... the, the big one is TP8 Super Rare. And then there's like secret rares out of Legendary Collection, Joey, I think. Maybe Yugi, I can't remember. So there's, and then there's of course the one, the regular one from the US for us. We just had one at a different game, but it's the, it's the same rarity, it's just a different set. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not tier three, but maybe it, I feel like it's definitely up there. Let's go with a flat 200. $200, talked himself back into tier two. Farfa, that was a great decision. I like it. I like where you went with that one. This card is $180. This is one of your best guesses yet. I think that's my closest. <laughs> that, that, besides the Farfa, this is your second best guess. That was pretty good. You, you walked yourself back into it. So now you've had three tier twos now, I think. So three tier twos, so you know, three tier twos, three tier threes and two tier ones. So one of the next two is a tier one. Keep that in mind. Let's go on to the last two. I asked both of the, both of these at the same time because I want you to be able to use your lifelines, but also don't want you to be able to pigeonhole what the last one is. So I'm going to ask both of these at the same time. Keep in mind, one is tier one between zero and a hundred dollars. So your first of the two questions, question nine is warrior of tradition rare from tournament pack two. And then question number 10, you can answer, you're going to answer these simultaneously is blue eyes jet dragon starlight rare from battles of chaos what do you think about these cards oh um a blue eyes card that is a starlight rare you would think would probably just be money by virtue of being blue eyes bat chest because dark magician girl was also the same this <laughs> warrior of tradition has to just be like worthless right like that has to be the lower one that's a tier one card keep in mind you do have your you could switch a question if you don't like one of these so i swap out one of the questions uh, one of the cards y yeah if you don't like one you could swap them out if you want to just guess these you can you don't have to use the lifeline okay and one of them is a tier one yeah one's a tier 100 is up to 100 up to 100 okay so yeah. i think that's very obviously the warrior of tradition now I don't know where Jet Dragon is. That's the problem. It could be like a cheaper Starlight, like Chi Chao maybe. At like Interesting. You think it could be like Chi Chao around that price? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Um, I just, I feel like this is just not that popular. <laughs> it can't be. Let's swap out the the Jet Dragon. Okay. All right. So you, would you have said, what would you have said? I would, I think for a Jet Dragon Starlight, Battle of Chaos, I think I'd say like two. 
30. Okay, all right, we'll come back to that. All right, let me grab your new question that will replace this. The replacement question is, Stardust Dragon Collector Rare from Toon Chaos. That's the first edition print. Mm, I feel like I have a vague idea because those things are not that much. So question, did you swap this out? Is this the same tier as Jet Dragon or? Yeah, yes, same tier as Jet Dragon, yes. That's surprising because I thought the the collector's rares would be a little bit lower, but oh God, okay. All right, let's just do this. Uh, I'm going to go with like 15 on the Warrior of Tradition. That just does not seem like it's expensive. All right, $15. And the CR Stardust Dragon is going to be, let's go with... 350. 350. Okay, so you thought. Wait, 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 wait. You thought your blue eyes jet dragon was 230, which is tier two. Wait, so they're the same tier? Same tier, yeah, same tier. Oh, this game's too hard for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Farva. So, so Stardust Dragon is definitely a tier two card? I'm not telling you if it's a tier two, but you thought the Jet Dragon was tier two. So if it is a tier two, like you thought, then this is tier two. No, this is just a higher tier. I'm just, fuck it. I mean, Didn't you say that you thought Stardust was cheaper though, when you when it came up? No, 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 I think it's definitely more, but no, I thought the Collector's Rares would be cheaper, but I guess not. Because why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I have no clue. Um, Okay, 15 bucks on the Warrior Tradition. I'm going with, uh, I'm, I'm going with, with uh, three, 320 on Stardust. That's it. I'm locking it in. Okay. All right. 320. These are the last two guesses. Before we get into those last two, I, I want to tell you what you uh, what you did on the Jet Dragon. You didn't actually guess this, but you said 120 as a, as a casual. It could be around 120. I was really hoping you'd lock that in because it's $138. <laughs> you would have nailed wow. it. Okay. Let's get to the real ones. Warrior of Tradition Rare from Tournament Pack 2. You were sure this was a cheap card. There was no reason for this card to be expensive, right? It shouldn't It shouldn't be any money, but it's $99. <laughs> $99 for a level six Earth Warrior generic. $99, team. yes. It's from Tournament Pack 2, which is pretty rare. So that, that's, that's why. It's the second one ever. And it's the first printing, and I think the only printing of that card. And you know how those weird fusions can get. All right, the Stardust, which you... <laughs> But you you declared you don't know. <laughs> okay. The Stardust Dragon from Toon Chaos is $140. Ooh. That, oh. What so, did I say again? It, 320? Yeah, yeah, you said 320. So you should have stuck with the jet dragon and done 120. And then, I was trying to I was trying to say it's the same tier. You should bump it down a little bit. Yeah, so, so like just for context, the reason I don't know anything about card prices is that I'm not a big collector person, and if I want yeah. a card, I just go and buy it and yeah. normally it's like a meta relevant card which people right. don't really so track not... the prices for those except at the time and it's not 300 dollars, you know usually yeah. and i'm not the kind of person to chase like oh uh here's a foolish burial i need for my new graveyard deck let's go buy a turbo pack one for some reason so that's why i just i just don't really know card prices hey, that's the that's the point that's the fun of it you gotta have some people on here that don't follow if you here, ask me follow. in gems how, much... <laughs> how many master duel gems does it cost to get started 762 all right. Okay. Not bad. All right. Now I got to total up your winnings real quick uh, and see what you did. As long, honestly, uh, as long as I'm not dead last, I'll be happy. Who is last? I think Simo is last. So did you beat Simo is the question. We'll see. A few moments later. Okay. Are you ready to reveal how you did? Yes. Let us uh, reveal if I am the absolute dead last because I first, wouldn't be surprised. Okay. First of all, Thanks a lot for hopping on here. I appreciate it. It doesn't matter how you did. You know, it's all for fun. You know, this is a preface. How are you, how are you feeling now? <sighs> I mean... I think by stating that, you are basically announcing I came last. Okay, okay, you, okay, uh, let's just, let's just find out, okay? Um, last place, I believe, was around 19% off, maybe around to 20%, something like that. You, Farfa. You have managed to shatter the record. <laughs> you were, before your bonuses of tiers, like tier, you got like $10 back for being in the right tier. Before that, you were 43% off. Wait, that's good. That's a big, wait, is, is the, wait, no, the number should be small, right? Yeah, yes. You want it to be Fuck. very small, but you got your bonus. So you got 70 bucks. You got seven of your tiers correct. So you were only 39% off. Oh, wow. Okay. Not bad. You're under 40. Hey, 
You still won a prize. If you had been outside of 50%, then you would have won nothing, which would have been embarrassing. But guess what? You won a prize, so it's all good. And hey, wait, we don't all have to know card prices. That's why I had you on here. We need some people that don't know card prices for the entertainment. So 39%, hey, so, hey, <laughs> you would rather be way at the end than in the middle. I mean, we're gonna forget all those people. We remember Gage, and now we remember Farfa. Those are the people we remember, the top and the bottom. They're the ones who make history. The people who are the absolute best at their uh, craft, and those who are the the absolute worst and hey you are the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh streamer and you are the worst at card prices so hey look best and worst it works like that <laughs> not not even wrong not even wrong not even wrong farfa once again thank you for being on i really appreciate it it was a lot of fun for me uh you got anything else you want to say thank you so much for watching everyone if you don't know who i am or haven't already uh, subscribe for any reason. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, twitch.tv slash Farfa, where I uh, definitely don't guess card prices daily, <laughs> but yeah, that's where you can check me he'll, out. He'll be grinding stuff. his card prices after this. People are going to be hammering him with new questions so he can come back for round two. All right, Farfa, make sure you guys go check him out on Twitch and of course his YouTube as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Team APS is one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! channels on YouTube. They are known for their many popular series including Larry in the Hole, Rare Hunters, and their dual challenge videos, as well as their many Yu-Gi-Oh! skits. Today we find out if Paul from Team APS knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to episode, what is this, episode 8 of Guess That Price. Today we have Paul from Team APS. Paul, how are you doing today? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm doing good. I'm a little nervous, but I'm doing good. The good news is Farfa just had by far the worst score of all time, so as long as you don't do worse than that you should be okay 10 questions will be asked today of course three from each different tier and then a bonus question you of course have your three lifelines keep that in mind you know if you don't have any idea make sure to use those because you don't want to miss one big but if you do that worst one gets thrown out the next time though you're out of luck so let's see what we can do in this video we're going to start off with question number one are you ready paul i am ready here we go your first question pyramid turtle super rare from champion pack two what do you know about this card paul Ooh. okay so uh i know like all the champion pack card or like the supers and stuff from it are like pretty expensive i know like i honestly i get champion pack and like tournament pack mixed up a lot so like i don't know which is more like like on average and stuff tournament pack is the first eight sets and then the okay. next eight were champion pack so champion pack came after tournament pack so they're right after it though so it was like tournament pack one through eight i think they ended in 2004 or five then it went to champion pack one and that went through eight as well then it went to turbo pack astral pack and now ots one through 20. so this was the second set of tournament packs ever made these are in like the gx era usually right yeah okay and then i know like this card just in general was like a like a meta card so i feel like um that usually like helps out i mean i guess like that's usually what they kind of put in the champion packs and like stuff i guess i'm thinking of like other stuff from around the time that like kind of feels related like i know people like cared a lot about like secret rare goblin zombie and like that sort of thing um yeah there was like the zombie master i think had a i think a they use both of those in, in, in the edison decks as well for the zombie stuff i, I want to say zombie master had a, a, a printing from like a champion pack i'm not sure zombie master definitely had an ultimate rare though in uh i think it's tactical evolution maybe oh i'm gonna say you do have lifelines if you want to use them. Man, I feel like I don't want to use them this early, though. Hey, but if you don't know, you don't know. So, you know. Okay. All you right. might know some of these so, better. So, remind me, what are the life? Okay, so, like, what are the types of lifelines I can have? Okay, here are your different ones. So, you can ask me which tier you're in, so you'll know. I'll tell you which tier, so you'll know if it's either a 0 to $100 card, a 101 to $250 card, or over $250 card, if I tell you that one. There's a lower or higher. You could pick a number. If you think you maybe have an idea, but you're not totally sure, you could say, like, I want to know if this one's lower or higher than like 200 or something like that. Then the final one is whole new question. You can get a question in a different tier. I found that people usually hold this one till the end, and I feel like they should use it a little earlier and just get a different question. But it's up to you I what mean, you want to do. So Well, I feel like I, I, feel like I know this. I, All right. If you think you have an idea, that's the, then go for it. I want to say like one, like 160. 160 okay all right let's lock it in at 160 dollars for your first guess this is pyramid turtle super rare from champion pack one paul you said 160 after a little bit of deliberation you weren't sure if you wanted to use a lifeline or not i can tell you right now it's a good thing you didn't because it's only 180 dollars oh oh wow okay that's 
Yeah. Close, close. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm. I, I had a feeling. I knew it was gonna be like in the 100s. So I didn't want to ask yeah. the tier because I was like, I, I'm pretty sure it's like. Yeah. If you have that, that close of a guess, I think that it's a good decision not to do it. And because you are in the correct tier, you also get that $10 credit. You're really only about 10 bucks off. That's a great guess to start it okay. off. Yeah. Because I was like, I was like, do I want to go low hundreds or like high hundreds? So I was like, I'll go mid hundreds and just toss it around. Okay. All right. Good start, Paul. Let's go to question number two. The Iris Sword Soul Starlight Rare First Edition from Dawn of Magic. Majesty. You know what's interesting is I almost feel more confident sometimes about like the older cards than like some of yeah. the newer stuff. Um, Cause you don't really know what happened with it sometimes. You I like don't. get past that set and you don't like check it again. <laughs> yeah, you know? I don't. I, I feel like, like these, these come out and I'm like, oh, okay, this Starlight's like 500 bucks or whatever. And then like, I don't check again. Right. I know this card is like, like she's like, you know, waifu and all that. But like also I know she didn't actually get played a whole bunch. So like, right. This one like came out right before the other Sword Souls and everyone was kind of hyped on it. And then it kind of was like, eh. Because <laughs> Dawn of Majesty was like kind of like late 2021, right? Right. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Somewhere. It was like mid or late yeah, 2021. Mid, mid I don't to remember late which 20, one. 20, okay. Uh, uh, like I'm going to say this number and you're, you're just, I'm going to, I feel like I'm just going to be so far off. But like, uh, I'm, I'm feeling tier two. Like I'm feeling like this okay. is not above 250. Like my heart's saying something like in the close to 200-ish like range, but like I'm gonna throw my guess in at like 200. 200, so you're going against your heart, which is mid 100s. I mean- You sure you wanna go against your heart? <laughs> shut up, dude, I know it. I'm just wondering, okay. do you wanna, do you wanna, <laughs> you wanna go against it? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, all right, all right. I'm gonna go down a little, I'm gonna go down a little. One, okay. One, one, <laughs> one sixty. I'm gonna do 160 again. Same guess. Same you guess. 160 I'm going 160 again. again. I don't, I don't right, want to go too low, was... but like, I, I don't know. Okay, all right. You think you want to go 160? So you, you, I mean, you have lifelines. You could always, you could always use them, but you feel like you know this I, one. I feel so. like I know this. I feel, I feel okay about it. Question number two: The Iris Sword Soul Starlight Rare First Edition from Dawn of Majesty. You guessed 160. The same guess. Will you guess 160 every guess? I'm not sure. That could be a strategy. <laughs> Probably wouldn't work out that well. But this one, I'm glad you listened to your heart. Came down a little bit. It is only $100. Oh. So this oh, thing is okay. the last dollar of tier one. It, this oh, thing is geez. extremely cheap. Yeah, this thing fell off big time. It, I remember it was 20 to 25 just as a regular secret rare when it first came out. And now it's like $3 and yeah. the starlight was really oh, expensive. Man. I guess nobody's using it. That's strange because I was because I was torn between like I said 200 and I was like, OK, it's either going to be like upper kind of 100s or like lower 100s. And I was like, I could go lower 100s, but it's like I know starlights. Just a question in general for you, like have starlights just kind of gone down like in like over time, like I feel like. Yeah, so little. it depends uh, like if it's not like a great starlight, it seems like they go down pretty easily. Like okay. something like this, there'll be there's a lot of starlights under 100 now. But if it's like a great starlight, like a Stardust, it's up to like $800 and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then like Effect Veiler is like 800 bucks. And there's some that like- The iconic the stuff. The big ones. Yeah. yeah, the big ones that for whatever reason, like Opelosa, IP Masquerade, are both like 15 to, to 2000. Yeah. Because those are like playable and iconic and stuff. But if it's something like, it's like, yeah, this card's all right, but it's kind of eh, then it's usually going to be cheap. So Starlight itself does not make the card expensive, but also you could say it still does because this is a $3 card when it's not a Starlight. So it still makes it kind That's of expensive. That's true. Yeah, you wouldn't hate pulling it, but. Yeah. Right. I mean, you're still like, oh, this is pretty, it's still worth a lot of money, but. Uh, compared to the other ones, not great. All right, I'm off to a not amazing start, but like. Oh, that's not too, 60 bucks is not the worst. Also, this is your worst guess as, as of right now. So it's thrown out until you get a worse one. So if this is your worst guess, you're doing amazing. Oh yeah, okay. All right, let's move on to question number three. I expect you to know something about this one. And here's why. You just pulled one of these the other day. Dark Magician Girl Secret Rare Unlimited from Magician's Force. Ooh, okay, so this is where it The gets picture's first edition, but I'm asking unlimited. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky for me actually, because like, I don't know the difference between, I, I know like first edition is like wildly expensive. Right. I don't really know that much about like the unlimited. So price. you pulled one, you didn't even look it up. I didn't, no, I was just like happy. Oh, I gave you a bone, you didn't look it no, up. Okay, so like, <laughs> I, just in general, I've been looking up prices of a lot of these old things, just like kind of like, hey, like what's like, how much does some of this old stuff cost? And I've been like surprised to find that like if it's not first, a lot of stuff tends to like fall off a, right. a good bit. Like even a lot. You, yeah, yeah, even even if it's like the old 
like old cards. Some of them have reprints. Yeah, like LOB has a lot of reprints. So that definitely hurts the unlimited price because there's a bunch of the unlimited out there. But then like also, I know that it's like Dark Magician Girl. So. This one did not ever get a reprint though. So keep that in mind. No reprint for MFC. I mean, it did, but not since 2007. So like it's, it's not those 2017 like Walmart packs. Those never existed for Magician's Force. So it, the unlimited didn't get hit as hard for that. All I know is she's expensive first head. I think like first ed, I've seen like just myself. I've seen, I know it's like around a thousand or maybe more. Yeah, uh, yeah, very expensive. I'm feeling tier three. I know like Magician's Force is like, there's one thing I know about Magician's Force. I had to like buy a box of it recently and the box <laughs> is very expensive. Yeah, the box. So, I should have asked you box prices. Then you would have known. Them. Yeah, yeah. If you asked me box prices, I'm intimately familiar. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's tier three. 251 plus. I don't think it's like at 250. I think it's probably around like 300 something. Unlimited. What else came in this set? Uh, Dark Paladin, Break of the Magical Warrior, stuff like that. Let's say 300. 300 on the dot. Interesting. Okay. Dark Magician Girl Secret Rare Unlimited. I was hoping that you would look this price up so you could have a gimme, but you hadn't looked the price yeah, up. Yeah, I don't. Sorry. So you didn't have a gimme, but it looks like you didn't need to look it up because it's $289. Oh, oh. Okay, hey. So you're I'll basically $1 off I'll because you it. got the extra 10. I feel like it, I have better luck at this point with like the older cards. So that's been the trend so far, so. Well, I'm gonna gonna give you a little spoiler. I didn't give you a lot of new cards, so that's good. Okay, well, maybe And also, you have not used a lifeline yet. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I've been trying to save them. Like I, you can, I did when I did the, uh, like the rulings thing with Distant Coder, he's like, yeah, you have these lifelines. I'm like, I'm not gonna use these unless I absolutely have to. That, that one might be a little harder, but let's get into the question, uh, the fourth question. Trish Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier Ultimate Rare Ooh. Astral Pack 8. So this is the third tournament pack, or the fourth tournament pack. It goes tournament pack, champion pack, turbo, turbo pack, pack okay, yeah. astral pack. This is right before OTS started. So OTS 1 was, th literally this was the set before OTS 1. This is a card I'm very familiar with. Like just as a, you know, as a player for sure. How much do I know about its price? I mean, <laughs> this was like Astral Pack 8 would have been like 2011. No, I think it was later. I well, think it was later than that. Be I think OTS, what do we get? Like three or four OTS a year. So we've had about five years of those. So it was about 16, 2016, probably, oh. maybe 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's like later so it's a lot newer than, than you think. Okay. Because there's only eight Astral Packs. This is the very last one. <sighs> I think I'm going to use my first lifeline. J well, okay. What well, way? Okay. I can ask what tier it's in. I can ask if it's like above or below a certain. Or you can just get a new question if you don't like this one. I mean, I, I feel like I can guess this. Okay. I feel like I can. I'm gonna throw my money at, I, I really hate doing these roundabout numbers, but they just feel like the safe, like the safest thing I can do. Hey, well, if that's what it is, that's what it is, you know? Do I wanna just do 160 again? <laughs> oh, that, hey, it's worked out so far. It's been a good number for you. Cause I'm, I'm feeling that it's in the, like in the, the 100s, I don't think it's like above 200. Or I, yeah. I definitely don't think it's like tier three. Yeah, let's go 180. 180, just... so he's he got 160 twice. He could have guessed it three times I'm out of four. I'm nervous because I think this is, over, like I feel like this might be like just right at 200 or over, but then it's like, it, it feels like it's on the newer end of cards. So I think like it might not actually be like over 200. So I'm going 180. Question number four, Paul. Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier Ultimate Rare from Astro Pack 8. You could have gone 160 for the third time. I was excited to see if you would do that. And you should have. Oh, it's hundred and forty-two dollars. You would have been so okay. close. Right. Uh, what's hey? What? Any still a great guess? Because you're after your bonus, you're only like thirty-eight off or whatever. No, twenty-eight off. Not bad at all. I mean, one sixty would have been awesome. One eighty is still pretty good though. I'm glad I didn't go over two hundred because like I, I know like some of these ultis can get up there, but it's just like this feels new. So I'm glad I at least stayed in the, like the one hundreds because right. that could have. Yeah, you're still yeah. close. I mean, you're in the ballpark for sure. That's definitely not bad. Okay. Cool. Cool. Question five. So far, still doing pretty well. Let's see if you know this one. We have Big Shield Garden, a super rare from Tournament Pack 5. Okay. All right. This is like where I'm, I'm almost <laughs> definitely lifelining this. I just don't know okay. anything about this card. Like, I just don't. This is from Tournament Pack 5. So the fifth ever Tournament Pack, because this is the original one through eight. Tournament Pack 5 is the most common of the first eight Tournament Packs. And this is a super rare from it. You get four supers, one ultra usually. It's one in 18 to pull a super rare. So usually about one box, one one every box basically for a super rare. And so you say this is the most common Tournament Pack? Not everywhere, of course. But like, if you're looking for a Tournament Pack, it's usually gonna, you're gonna find this one first. It has a Luminous Soldier Ultra 
ultra rare. That, so it's like one of the le least desirable ultra rares. Interesting. So probably I can just guess from that that the set as a whole likely does not, you know, have as much prestige, I'm gonna say, as like maybe other, maybe other sets do. So I have half a mind to just be like, just throw this one out. What, what tiers are you thinking for this? Like I'm like, I'm feeling this card's like 90 or something. Like it's not like, I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but like, it's feeling like a 90, 100. Wow, that's a that's an interesting like, gut number you had there. An interesting number, you say? Huh, I'm interested, okay. I mean, like, I just, I'm, because I feel like it's not, like, I feel like it's, like, close to 100. But, like, this isn't, like, yeah, Gravekeeper. Yeah, 0 to 100, that's tier 1. But I feel like this isn't Gravekeeper Spy type of, like, it's, like, because I know, like, there's stuff like, you know, yeah. Spy and, like, Pyramid Turtle, where it's, like, they were, like, played. But, like, Big Show right, Garden, yeah, like, still wasn't. Right, yeah, they were in decks and stuff. Like, still wasn't played. Yeah, Big Show Garden is a little different, yeah. You know what? I'll say 90. I'll, I'll, All right, I'll you want to... I'll bite. You want to you want to bite on my uh, my little reaction? bit of bait there, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit of bait. I'm gonna I'm, okay. I'm going ninety. Right, whoa, 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 ninety. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't say no more. Say no more. All right. Question number five, Paul. Big Show Garden is super rare tournament pack five. You said I don't know anything about this card. I don't know what this is. How am I supposed to know the price? But then your gut kicked in. Your gut said I know the price of this card. It's ninety dollars, and that's how much it is. What, are you, exactly are right. you joking? <laughs> it's <What>? ninety dollars. <laughs> I'm not getting. I don't know anything. I, I just what? I'm very surprised by this. This is only the second time someone has guessed it right on, and last time I forgot to give them their twenty-five dollar bonus. Do not let me forget. I'm gonna put it a note here. Twenty-five dollars instead of ten because you got it exactly right. Wow. So at this point, you're like. I mean, you're killing it. Like, you're rivaling Gage at this point. Can you possibly do it? No pressure. You still got three lifelines left. I'm glad you didn't lifeline that one because that worked, worked out really well. I just had a feeling. Like, it's like, this isn't played. It's like the not good tournament pack, but it's also like, it's still like, tournament pack so like all right question number six so far i mean we i haven't done the numbers but i think you're like within like one percent at this point oh by the way i forgot to mention if you're within certain percentage points you get the prizes if you're within one percent i'm giving away a thousand dollars so ah! uh, if you could if you could start getting them wrong soon that would be great <laughs> so far you're probably within like one percent at this point so we gotta we oh gotta God. do some work okay the pressure's all right, on. question question number six hopefully this messes you up a little bit <laughs> we have cash tira fin rear ultra rare first edition from Darkwing Blast. This is your new Ooh. card. Here's your new okay, card. Okay, so I actually think I looked this up a couple weeks ago. Okay. I don't know what the right, like what's happened to it since then though. What was it a couple weeks ago? Like 80? So interesting. Like okay. I, I mean, I'm assuming maybe it's like a little lower than that now. I'm telling you guys, like I'm not really that good with like the newer stuff. Like I just I feel like I don't know. Yeah. I just don't keep up with it a lot. Hey, at least you have looked it up recently. So I mean, how much could it have changed since then? I mean, well, I say that. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, I mean, like, but it is the most recent set, so it's not like it should have gone down like too much. And then like you know, it, it's like it's used. People are playing it. I don't think it's like worth lifelining this because I mean, I already have like a good indication of, of what it is. Yeah, I would I wouldn't if I were you. Since you, you've, you've looked it up recently, so you're not going to miss it by that much. Uh, let's just say 60. All right, Paul. Question number six. You just guessed one right on, which was pretty insane. Cast your fin your ultra rare first edition from Darkwing Blast. It's not 60 and it's not 80, but it is 70. So oh, okay. pretty good. Yeah. So you're basically right on with your bonus. So you basically nailed it. Cool. Yeah, I was. I mean, I had a feeling it was in that neighborhood. I just I was like, oh, man, it's going to Okay. Yeah, right now you are on a scorching hot pace. We've still got four questions. You still have three lifelines. So Ooh, all okay. of the uh, all the tools at your disposal, at your fingertips. Let's get to question number seven. Fortress Whale Super oh, Rare from Tournament Lord. Pack 7. More Tournament Pack. Last time you said you didn't know Tournament Pack, but then you got it exactly right. So this, okay, now this is one that I know the his, I know like some history around it. So I know like for a while, this was like stupid expensive. So this got a speed duel reprint, which is, I yeah. know like reprinted the card, I'm sure that didn't right. affect. Like, I'm sure this is still like a tier three for a hundred percent. It's a tier three card. This is where you could do lower or higher. Cause if you think you know it's tier three, but you don't know how high you could like maybe do that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause th these tier threes are usually where people miss a lot. Cause you can miss a huge percentage. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the range is going to be but so wild. Keep in mind, if you miss it by more than 60, it, you, you just get the Iris Sword Soul one. So this one will be wiped out. So it kind of, you have some leeway here. I'm gonna lifeline it, I think. I'm trying to think of what number I want to ask right. about like more or less then. Cause that's where, like I'm trying to think of like what a card like this. Cause I feel like a card like this before it was like a couple thousand bucks. I, I, I feel like before the reprint, it might've been like way more than that. I don't know. 
Or am I like thinking of something else? So I will tell you this, okay? I'm gonna give you, because the tier three is so large, I'm gonna tell you that nothing on your questions is over a thousand dollars. I'll tell you that. No. So you're you're between two fifty one and a thousand on your tier threes. I'll tell you where my head's at. My head's at that this thing was super expensive, probably just because it was the only printing and not because of it being good, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go like three something. I'm trying to decide like if I want to go closer to four hundred or like. So you're going all the way down to three hundred because you're yeah. you, earlier you said a couple thousand. Now well, you're down to three hundred. But the re okay, so there's a reason. My reason is just because like this had nothing else of note besides. That. So I feel like that I feel like that reprint alone must have like done a lot. What did I say for Dark Magician Girl? Like 300? Is that what I said for her? 300, yeah. Let's do 300. I'm gonna do the same as Dark Magician Girl. I'm gonna go 300. 300 dollars. All right, you decided not to use the lifeline. I think that's a good strategy because you really don't have a lot to lose here. The worst you can do is 60 to 60 bucks if it's off by more than that, which I will tell you, it is off by more than 60 dollars. Oh, this okay. card is 695 dollars. Ooh. Okay. And there was actually like four of these listed around that. So there was That's like- That's interesting, okay. I was wondering if this was the only one and then there was like four of them in a row. So they've kind of set the bar at 695 for this one being available. But yeah, this card has always been like way too expensive for what it is. Cause obviously it's never been good. It's just a ritual card. And it never had that reprint until Speed Duel, which I don't know if that actually hurt the price or not. Maybe a little bit, but- I mean, I remember Duel, it was like, like over a thousand at least for a time. Yeah, it was, so. it was. So I think it did hurt it a little bit, but then Speed Duel is like, do people actually want those? because they look different yeah, you know, they say stuff, speed so. yeah my main thing was i was just like i don't know like when you said it was not a thousand i was like okay yeah, i'm either gonna go like pretty close to 250 or pretty close to a thousand i didn't right i, probably sh I yeah. should have just gone with the middle and just been like hey, it's like 600 something and just hope to like hey but you know. here's the thing you didn't really lose too much on that you're that is now the one we're throwing out and you now accepted your 60 dollars. so you're still your worst one's only 60 bucks off which is like still really good okay so you only have three more questions you got three lifelines here okay Cool, so I can actually use them safely. Question number eight is Instant Fusion Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 4. Well, I know this card's like popular right now and it's really getting played. So that probably helps bolster. I know it's like with these ultimate rares, that's a big thing is that like, obviously like, you know, being an OTS ulti is like a good thing, but I know like when they're getting played, that's like even, like that really helps their price. I guess right now I'm just kind of torn between like if it's tier two or tier three. I can tell you the tier. So I'm allowed to ask the tier. I'm allowed to ask above or below and then I'm allowed to ask. You could also do above or below, which could, I mean, if you're between two specific tiers, you don't think it's tier one, above or below could kind of tell you that as well. Okay, is it? above or below 200. It is below 200, Paul. Your first lifeline has been okay. implemented. It is below. I'm gonna say, ooh, I wanna do like my 160 guess again. Ooh, going back to it. Hey, you should have done it last time. I mean, I feel like if I guess 160, even if that's not it, I feel like it can't be like so far off, right? Like, cause I mean, like we know this card's getting play. It's a solid card, great rarity. I'm throwing out 160. All right, sticking with the, the guess. Uh, last time on question four, you probably should have stuck with 160. 160 this time? Pretty good. This card is a hundred and thirty-two dollars. Ah, okay, a little lower. A so you're lower. not too bad. You're about after the after the credit, eighteen bucks off. That's actually still pretty solid. I probably should have also kept in mind, like it's like at one, so maybe that has something to do with it. But. Yeah, I think being at one maybe had the price down a little bit. If it was at three, I think it would probably be a lot more because obviously you got to play like two extra copies. There's but more still, one sixty. On 132, you actually had a pretty solid guess there. We're going into the final round of question nine and question 10. I'm gonna be asking these both at the same time. You're gonna have to put in your answers at the same time. You still have two lifelines. One is I'll tell you the tier. The other one is you get to swap a question. Okay. All right, question number nine. So far, you're doing really well. I think you're one of the best contestants so far. Here is usually where people lose a lot of percentage points is on these last two because they are, can be pretty difficult. The first one is Inferno Fire Blast oh Ultimate Lord. Rare First Edition from Soul of the Doom. List. Oh my lord. And question number 10. So there's your question number nine. Question number 10 is Sangan Ultra Rare from Retro Pack 1. Paul, you have two questions at once. You also still have two lifelines to use here. I'm not going to lie, man. Inferno Fire Blast just took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know anything about this card. Hey, fortunately, you could just swap the card completely if you want to. Yeah, let's swap it. Let's swap Inferno Fire. I don't know anything about it. I know, it's, I don't. What I like to do when you swap the question, I want to see what you would have guessed. And I'll tell you after you we finish up what it actually is. I'm going to say for Inferno, I, I was going to just, it was going to be over 200, I know. Let me see. 
I would say like two hundred was gonna was two hundred. Okay, guess. so just to lock. That's that what in. your your guess would have been. Yeah, yeah. All right, you have decided to swap out the Inferno Fire Blast for a new card. This card, your replacement question is Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster Ultimate Rare First Edition from Elemental Energy. Oh God, I'm barely better off. Okay. Do you think that your $200 guess saying it was a tier two, do you think this is a tier two or do you think you were off on that? I think I was off on it. I, I think this is probably tier three. I know these elemental heroes get rude, but like, but then again, like, I'm feeling like this is probably over 250. Yeah, you know that either Sangan or this one is a tier three. And the last lifeline I have left is just being able to ask a tier. Yeah, you could figure out for sure what a tier is. But since you know uh, one of these two is a tier three, if you guess, if you ask the one that's not tier three, you might get a little more information. So I'm, I'm pretty sure one's tier three and then one's like a, a kind of a, a toss up random. Is that kind of where I am? Yeah, so you know that one of these two is guaranteed to be tier three. The other one could be one, two or three. So if you ask the one that you think is like not the guaranteed tier three, then you could figure out for sure which tier it's in. Maybe it could, it would tell you, you know, if it's not tier three, this could be two tier threes for all you know. So I'm feeling like saying it's actually not even all that high because saying has gotten so many reprints. I mean, I know like retro pack stuff is like on the higher end, but like still like saying it's just got so many reprints. Yeah. I feel like you might be tier one. Well, you could find out you got a lifeline. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll use my lifeline. What, what tier is saying it? Sangan is tier two. Oh. And that tells you for sure that Rampart Blaster is tier three. Ooh, I'm glad I asked, because I was I had a guess in mind for Sangan and it would have definitely been wrong. Okay, um. You're out of lifelines. You are the last two questions. You've done really well so far. You need to nail these two to have an infamous performance. One, I'm feeling good on. I'm feeling pretty good on Sangan now that I know it's tier. I feel that like while it is tier two, I still think it is not drastically higher than 100. So for Sangan, I'm gonna say 120. 120 on Sangan, all right, we have that. For Rampart Blaster, I'm gonna say 350. 350, any reason why you're going 350 or is that you're just-, you're just... I'm just flipping a coin at this point. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, just, it's, it's either, like, you know, cause I'm trying to like think of what is like the price that could help me minimize my like percentage loss here. Do you know any prices of the heroes? So here's the thing, Alec has like been collecting, like starting to sort of collect like the, all the old heroes in like their highest rarity, like these ulti fusions and yeah. stuff. But like he's, like we were talking about that like, a year ago maybe, or like earlier this right. year or something. And so like, I had gotten an idea of how much some of them were then. They kind of were like starting around, like I want to say like 200, 300 for most. And like, then they got like quite high after that. So I'm maybe inclined to think like since time's passed, it's not like they've gotten really any cheaper. Maybe I'll go with like 350 just cause I get to at least like the higher number. Wait, 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 wait. He also has, I'm gonna go a little higher. Okay. I'm gonna go 400. 400 on the Rampart Blaster. You wanna lock that in? I'm gonna lock that in. Final two questions. You got, you replaced one. You have another one. So you replaced your question nine. Uh, you guessed on Inferno Fire Blast. Your, your tentative guess was 200. You now know that it was a tier three card. Inferno Fire Blast was $295. Okay. You replaced it with Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster Ultimate Rare First Edition from Elemental Energy. You were right. These are expensive. They do get very expensive. Did you get high enough on your number is the question. Yikes. <laughs> the answer to Rampart Blaster is $580. Yo, damn it. I knew so, I was gonna like screw yeah, so, that up at the end. I knew the range of this was gonna one. be high. I, I knew it was gonna be high. I'm glad I didn't go with like 300. You inched it up to 400, so you were a lot closer. Only 180 off, which is like, I mean, it's not great, but it's also not as bad as if you had said 300, which would be like half. Yeah, these tier threes get so crazy. Yeah, the tier threes are the hardest part. They're very difficult. So you got, I mean, you getting the Dark Magician Girl off by 11 earlier was huge because you basically nailed it. Now let's go to the Sangen. You, uh, you know that it's in tier two. You were thinking it's around 100 bucks. You said 120. Sangen Ultra Rare from Retro Pack 1 is $200. Oh. I blew this whole thing at the end. Well, Retro Pack 1 is really expensive, but also you didn't do the worst at the end. It could have been worse, but I think overall you still did pretty good. We're going to have to total up the numbers, see how you did. You did get one exactly right, which is going to help. So we're going to go total them up and see how you did. A few moments later. All right. Are you ready to hear the results of how you did? I am ready. 
After your replacement, your replacement questions, the total value of all 10 cards that I asked you was $2,478. The amount you missed by, you missed on your 10 questions minus the one that we threw out by $427 total. You then got one exactly right. So you got a $25 credit. So we subtracted that from the 427. You also got seven others in the correct tier. So you get a $70 credit. So we took off $95. That leaves you with $332 off out of the $2,478. That's that Good. means that you were 13.40% off total, which is actually pretty solid. Okay, I, I can take that, honestly, I, I can take that. I'm just glad I wasn't in forfeit here. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember exactly where you are, but I think you're right in the middle of the pack because I think uh, like second it, second was like 10 point something. There was like 11, but then like SEMO was like 16.9. There was like a 16 and a 15. So you're probably like right in the middle right now and you were really close. Like if it weren't for the end, it oh, like theoretically, man. if you didn't miss those 80 plus the 260, off Man. if you had taken off the 260 the fire blast dude. you would only been 72 off if you had stuck with inferno fire blast and guess 300 you would have gotten an amazing score but still 13 percent is pretty good those tier threes are tricky paul you did pretty well how are you feeling about it i feel good i mean I'll, I'll say this i surprised myself i went into this thinking like i'm just gonna get all this stuff wrong like i'm, I'm gonna be like so far off on everything. And the things that were the most challenging were kind of what I expected was like the tier three stuff just because of the range. Yeah. Like Fortress Whale right. and like Rampart Blaster. It's just like, man, I don't know. Right. The range is just so high. But like all in all, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll say that. Like pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you did really well. I mean, on on almost all the questions, you were really close. So pretty good overall. A solid performance, Paul. Thanks again for being here representing Team APS. Thank you. Uh, you you for guys uh, and you did really awesome in this episode. And that means that you guys will be able to win one. $100. Make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments how Paul did. How do you think? Uh, do you think that the tier threes were a little rough on him? Let me know. Let me know. And make sure to go check out Team APS on YouTube as well. Give them a subscribe. Somehow you're not subscribed already. They've got like 500 quadrillion subscribers. So go check them out. All right, Paul, any final words? No, just thanks for having me on. This was fun. I'd love to do this again. And we got to get you over on our channel for something soon too. So just, just let me know. So keep an eye out for that, guys. That might happen at some point. Point. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Guess That Price, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Team Samurai X1 recently became the largest Yugi tuber on the internet. He is known for his high energy in every video, which includes sniffing cards, his popular Master Duel videos, and his iconic Duel Knight series. Today, we find out if he knows his Yu Gi Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price, episode nine. Today, we have a very special guest, the largest Yugi tuber as of recent developments, Team Samurai X1. How you doing, Sam? I love challenges, bro. I'm gonna win this game, whatever game it is. Okay, all right, well, you're gonna win. It means you have to be Gage. He was only 4.36% off, so. Gage, really? Gage? Yeah, I, hey, Gage, he's got that, he's got a big brain up there. He knew what he was doing. Gage. So, <laughs> All right, let's see if you can beat him. You think you're going to beat him? I don't know. That was, uh, he was like, pretty good. So let's see what you can do. Let's go right into question number one, Sam, if you're ready to go. I'm ready to go, man. All right, question number one, Sam, we have. This is the most unique one I think I've asked anybody so far. This is episode nine. I've never asked anyone one of these. Field Center Token Elemental Hero Stratos, a Yu-Gi-Oh token. Do you know how much this is worth? Bro, I thought we were guessing the card prices. <laughs> what is this? Is, this is not a card, bro. I mean, it's it's a card. It's just not like a Yu-Gi-Oh trading card. It's it's a field center. It's a field center. It's plastic, right? It's it's plastic. Hey, look. Okay, here's the thing. I went to TCG Player. I filtered the cards. This was on there. Oh wow, this is a curveball here. Um, yeah, this, I'm starting you off with a tough one. I knew. Hey, look, you're you're the biggest Yugi tuber now. Kay. You've got a lot to, to have to deal with. Okay, this is it's it's not a it's it's not, it's not a card. It's actually plastic. Yeah. It's, well, I mean, uh, we can get into the specifics later, but you still have to tell me how much it's worth. 200 bucks. You're, you're already going with 200? You're just throwing it out, $200. You think this is a tier two? It's, 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 it's a straddles. No, it's not worth more than the ultimate rare. I don't think it's worth more. So yeah, that would that would be a lot, 200 bucks. Yeah, that would be worth more. I think the ulti, yeah? I think the, okay, the ultimate rare straddles right now is like 110, 80 to 110 bucks. That's, I, I know that. So maybe, yeah. okay, you know what? Uh, just ballpark, maybe just 60 bucks? 60. I don't think there's a value on these type of th stuff. And it's like whatever people want to pay for for stuff like this. That's why it's not fair, right. bro. It's not a card, man. Hey, look, every, that's the same thing with all cards. All cards are, you know, what people want to pay for them. So, okay, honestly, I, I, I personally pay 50 bucks for this card. 50 bucks. You'd pay 50. So you went 200. 60 50. So you're because going 50. honestly, economically, it doesn't make sense because the ultimate rare is 110, like 80, 90, 100, 100 bucks around there for the ultimate rare. If I'm saying a field center of straddles, 
is worth more than the ultimate rare. I don't think that makes sense, right? Hey, I'm going to give you some help because this is a, this is a weird one. The ultimate rare Stratus right now is 150, if that helps you at all. Oh, it's 150. Oh, yeah, okay. it's 150. Okay. I'll give you a little help because this is I a weird close. one. I said 110. Yeah, you were close. But I just want to let you know, like, if you're like, okay, it can't be more than the ulti, it, the, the ulti is 150. So keep that in mind. Honestly, my final answer, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Okay, so we, yep. we've been all over the place. We're settling at 80 as the final answer. Sam, I don't know how you did it because, I mean, first you're at 200. Then you're at 50, then you're at 60. This card's $95, so you're really close. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I literally, you see this? I was close, bro. Honestly, no, 95 bucks and 80 bucks because, are not far at all. Yeah, you get the $10 credit too, so you're essentially $5 off. That's like that's, extremely close. That's so, what I'm saying, bro. I told all you. All right, so. all right. I like, I like it. That, I like that. I like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, all right. We're going to go to question two. That's a good start because that's okay. the weirdest question I've ever asked. All right, these. all right, all right. This one, I'm going to be interested to see if you know anything about this one. Question number two, Parrot Dragon Super Rare from World Championship Pack 2011. What the heck is this? This is a sold listing, the answer that I have. Normally, I do the lowest uh, the lowest available on TCG from a verified seller, but there was only one available, and it was much higher than what the sale was. World Championship 2011 pack. That's a really crazy pack, bro. I have a 2010 pack that I got from Sassy a long time ago, but these are one with the hollows of Droll Bird and all those cards. So do you if think this have... is like a tier one, two, or three card? I know Alligator Sword was like 500 bucks. Same pack. There's no way Pair of Dragons worth more than Alligator Sword. It's a safe assumption. Honestly, give or take, I think this 350 bucks air dragon 350 dollars so you want to lock in at 350 so you're going with your first tier three wait, 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 of wait, the wait, video wait, wait, wait. just give me a second i see i, I hate when you do that just i'm, no, I'm, just, I'm just i'm just okay. reiterating what okay. you're saying okay. i'm just going alligator through alligator sword is like 500 400 bucks like 400 last time i know about alligator sword maybe just like covid prices 400 300 400 rare. honestly give or take pair dragon let's just say uh, super rare it's gone 150. Why are you second guessing yourself? All I was doing was repeating what you're saying. There's no way this card's worth near the price of Alligator Sword, to be honest. 200, 200, 200. Uh, like, so so you are you had 350, and you're you're all the way down to 150 and 200. You were, you're, okay, you're switching I know the value of how much this pack is worth, bro. This pack is so hard to get. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you had 350, pack... and now you want to drop it down? It's a rare pack. It's a, a pair of dragons. It's not, hey, it's highest rarity of Parrot Dragon. Keep that in mind. Wait, is a Parrot Dragon print, 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 printing already? Yeah, the, the Tournament Pack 2 was was a common printing. It was the first printing. 200 bucks. Done. I'll get it. So you are straying off your 350. I just want to make sure that you want to go to 200. Why do you do this, bro? You're doing like I just want to make sure you had 350. You were pretty confident. And now you're, you're, you've decided to move it down to 200. You just told me that this this is a rare pack. You just told me. Fine, 350, whatever. I'm locking it. All right, 350. Let's 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 just stick with your original guess. I, I like that. I like that. We don't need to switch it up. Paradragon right. Super Rare from World Championship Pack 2011. This card is worth $400. Whoa. So uh, How much bad. Alligator Sword then? $500, sword? I don't even know. So here's the thing. This one had, a, had one listing of $669.69. I assume that was a meme. So I checked the sold listings and it was $400. So... Yeah, so if we got wow, 669, close, I think that would have been unfair. Holy, I love that. I love that. I love yeah, that. 358. See, look, your initial gut. You had it. So 350. Oh, I, had it. I had it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, Sam. Question number three. So far, you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. You've been in the ballpark of both of them. You've gotten the bonus for both tiers. So let's see if you can get this one. This is Shooting Star Dragon oh, Ghost Rare First Edition from Starstrike Blast. Uh, 300 bucks. 400, 300, 300, 300. First edition, 300. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, 300, 300, 300. 300. Um, Keep in mind, you do have three lifelines if you ever want to use those. Keep that in mind. So you want to lock this into 300? 300. I, I, I have this card. I literally bought it for 300 bucks. Okay, you bought it for 300. At what point did you buy that card, Sam? Uh, probably peak COVID, maybe. Peak COVID. So you don't think uh price might have changed? You think you're that's how much it still is? Shooting Star Dragon, bro. First edition, Ghost Rare, bro. Stardust Dragon, Ghost, Ghost Rare. Uh -huh. Ghost Rare first ed. For a raw, like a minty fresh copy, probably like 1500 to, you know what I'm saying? To like 1500 to like 2000 for like a really minty one. You're talking um, about like a PSA 10? What are you talking about over here? No, no, no. First edition Stardust Dragon? This, no, this, this is Shooting Star Dragon. Oh, yes. No, I'm, I'm comparing it for Stardust and Shooting okay, Star. Okay, Dragon, okay, okay. You know I was like, okay, like, what are you talking like, about? Shooting Star? That's a little bit high. <laughs> I, I think it's like a $300 card. $300, okay, $400 all card. All right. I like it. Good guess. Let's see what you can, uh, let's see what, how far you off you were. Shooting Star Dragon, Ghost Rare, first edition, Sam, from Star Strike Blast is 
$244. Okay, I was close. $300. you are not bad. You're not bad. I think uh, I think that uh, probably a good price when you bought it in COVID, but of course, you know, everything's calmed down a little bit since yeah, then. But but still, 100%. I, I, yeah, 100%. Pretty good. I, I literally bought this for 300 bucks. Like, literally 300 bucks. Well, 300 Canadian. So that's like probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, you have, a, you have a different currency. So oh, if we convert currency. that thing okay. over. It's probably pretty good. Oh, yeah. If I could convert that, that's probably 240 US, actually. Yeah, you probably nailed it exactly. Yeah, but I bought it for 300 Canadian. All right, still not a bad guess, though. That's your... So, so far, you've had one tier one, one tier two, one tier three. So, you've had one of each. There's going to be three of each in this, and then one bonus. So keep that in mind. Question number four. Krebon Super Rare Turbo Pack Booster 1. <sighs> I've never seen this card ever in my life. Yeah, I actually didn't know this had a super rare print, to be honest. I found this. I was like, oh, cool. What turbo pack is it? This is turbo pack one. Yo, turbo pack one is like 300 bucks for a pack, right? Well, it has judgment dragon in it. Ultimate rare. So it's pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Oof. You could ask me which tier you're in. You can go lower or higher. You can get a new question or you could do none. I have three lifelines, right? You do have three. I don't want to use my lifeline yet. Do you have any idea? I don't. I don't have any idea. So why but not use a lifeline then? You gotta no. use them at some point. What no. if you know all the rest of them? I think 150. 150. All right. Okay. He said he doesn't have any idea, but he also doesn't want to use his lifeline. So he's going in at 150. You want to confirm that? Yes, sir. All right. Question number four. Crab on Super Rare Turbo Pack Booster 1. Sam, this card is $100. Wow. I'm close, bro. I'm so actually, you're not bad. You're not in the right I'm tier close, because bro. technically it's 101, but hey, you're still pretty close. Only 50 off for not having any idea. Really not too bad, to be honest. Honestly, like if someone were to come and ask me to sell a Crabons, like offer, I'd be like, I'm not. No, I'll probably give him like a hundred bucks with this card. A hundred, 150. I feel like that's fair, but I did not know what that card is. So cool. Hey, not bad at all. You are already four questions and you still have all three lifelines. So far, your worst guess that's going to be thrown out is I think the shooting star being 56 off. So that one doesn't count yet. We're going to question number five. Here we go. It is a Slifer the Sky Dragon secret rare. This is from the GBI Game Boy game. Oh, so this is the original. This is the original. This is not the ultra printing. This is the secret rare. So the, the, the higher end one. Okay, so basically during COVID, I got a set for 900 bucks each. So each is 300 bucks for the piece of thing. Assuming that the price of these cards went down, Cypher the Sky Dragon the Mint, I think right now is worth around 200 to 250 bucks. There you go. That's my guess. Okay, so which I, one? 200 or 250? I honestly, I want to be in the middle. Two, two, it's 225. I literally bought a set for 900 bucks. I bought a set, literally three mint copies. I have six sets of these. Oh, wow. Okay. During COVID, <laughs> I bought these uh, six sets of them. $300 a piece for each for each dragon Ugh. right 250 250 uh, so you went 200 between 200 and 250 but you're going with the high end 250 okay yeah because like i i, I personally bought this for 300 dollars each right so yeah. i'm assuming that i bought that last year was that year. canadian no no us us okay us okay so i'm thinking now it's like logically makes well, honestly no to give it a little bit closer 260 are you sure you want to keep going up there's no way there's no way these cards dropped in price like i don't i don't get it maybe like give me like I think people can get a whole set for 600, bro. I think right now. And honestly, 200. Done. All right. Okay. We're locking it in. $200. Slide for the Sky Dragon. Secret Rare from GBI. So these are the originals. These look really nice because they got that nice, you know, uh, game promo printing. So you say 200 bucks, Sam. Sam, it's your best guess yet. This is $210. I told you. So you basically nailed it. With your bonus, you got it exactly right. So that is your best guess by far. Hey, You're halfway you. through. That's a good way to hit the halfway point. You still thank have you. not used a lifeline. No, I'm not, man. Of course. Do you, do, you think, do you think I'm a lifeline time of a man? No, Ruxin. Apparently not. I, I guess not. Okay. So. I'm not a lifeline time of a man. You feel what I'm saying? You know what You're I'm saying? You're just going to use no lifelines. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. All right. We're going to question number six, Sam. You're doing pretty well so far. Let's see if you know this one. I don't know if you know this one. I don't know. This is kind of weird. We have Singenjin Secret Rare from Premium Pack 2. I don't. <laughs> so no, you don't know this one. That's the one with uh, Black Rose Soldier in the front, right? Can I see what the premium pack looks like? Yeah, let me let me let me look it up. There we go. Oh, premium pack two. This is the one with Voltic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty bucks. You're going eighty bucks. You don't want to use any lifelines. You got three. Okay, okay. What tier is this one in? Okay, all right. We are using our first lifeline, Sam. He wants to know which tier this one in is in because it's kind of a weird one, you know. Premium pack two, not opened a lot. Sam, this is in tier three wow oh it's that much it is it is over 251 or 200 over 250 so 251 plus this has both a i think it's an ultra or a super and a secret rare so there's two different versions the secret rare is the one i'm asking you about we'll go 400 400 dollars all right you locking that one in <sighs> Saint -Gen -Gen. 
Yeah, let's do it. All right, question number six. The Singen Jin Secret Rare from Premium Pack 2. This card, Sam, is worth $260. Damn. This one is weirdly expensive. I'm still not really sure. I think it, there were for a while people thought it might be an error or something, but I don't think it actually is. It, it's a very strange card. Uh, the, old, or the other version of it's way cheaper, so the Secret Rare is really the expensive one. But that's okay. This is your worst guess now, so this one's thrown out, so you don't have to worry Damn. about it. This one's gone. It's okay. So I have, okay. I have, I, I have one of each tier left. You now have a, at least a one, two, and three left, and then one extra one. So yeah, you're guaranteed to have one of each left. All right, going into question seven, you still have your two lifelines of lower or higher and a new question. The question number seven here. Tune table of content, super rare from tournament pack six. Uh, have you ever opened any tournament pack six? No. This is the sixth tournament pack ever made. Okay, I'll use a lifeline for one of them. Which one would you like to use? Lower or higher or new question? Lower or higher. All right, what number do you want to pick for lower or higher? Is it lower than 200? Uh, so you're saying 200 and I'll tell you lower or higher than that? Yes. It is lower than 200, yes. Okay, so I'm going to say 150. 150? No, actually, Toon Table Contents, I feel like there's so many reprints of this card and there's like different ultra rarities with the legendary duelist. I'm, honestly, I'm going to give it... So we're missing uh, one of each tier, right? You are missing one of each tier. But you know for a fact this is not a tier three. Yeah, I'm going to say this is a tier two card. Uh, probably like 110 bucks. So your gut was 150. You're swapping it to 110. Yeah, let's go 150, whatever. All right, let's stick with your gut. Let's stick with your gut. That's what they always say. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if it did here. Question number seven, Tune Table of Contents. This is super rare from Terminal Pack 6. Sam? This was $140. Oh, wow. So your gut your gut answer was $10 off. That's really My good. My gut answer so, is $10 off. So. <laughs> Berserk Gorilla answer was correct. Yes, I like it. I like it. I like it. So now there's two more. All right. You have three more, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, there's 10 cards. Oh, okay. You have eight, nine, and 10, but you still have one more lifeline. Don't forget to use that. Let's go to, uh, you know, okay, that was your last tier two of the three. There could be a fourth tier two, but maybe not. So, but you do know you've had three of those already. Okay. All right, Sam, question number eight. One lifeline left. This one is Black Rose Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition from Crossroads of Chaos. There's no more tier two cards, right? There could potentially be a fourth one, but you know that there's, you have all three. There could be zero more. Because there's possibly a fourth as the 10th question, I can't say for sure that there's not a tier two. Okay. I'd say this is a tier three card, but lower end tier three. Probably like 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Yeah. You want to lock that in? Yeah, 300 bucks. All right. Black Rose Ultimate Rare First Edition from Crossroads of Chaos, Sam. This card is a tier three card. I will tell you that. I bought this for like 300 bucks. So. <laughs> I bought but a Ghost Rare for 700 bucks. So I think this has to be half the price of a Ghost Rare. Well, Sam, I'm not sure when you bought those, but you got a great deal on those. <laughs> this card is $745. Shut up. Yeah. The Ghost Rare Black Rose now is like 1500 I think. What? Yeah, so you got some steal. So, hey, look, the bad news is you were way off. The good news is you got a steal on buying those. <laughs> no, this is not 700 bucks, man. $745. That's so no, it's not it's impossible. Not this. <laughs> it is. Ultimate Rare, it's big. The Ghost Rare is like double that. The Ghost Rare is crazy. So, here's what you know now. You have now guessed three tier threes and three tier twos. We're going on the last two. You know for sure one of them is a tier one. The other one is random and you still have one lifeline. Also, these last two we ask at the same time because we don't want you to like know for sure which one it is. So we're gonna ask you both nine and 10 and you're gonna answer at the same time for those. Question number nine, we have Solemn Judgment Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 12. And question number 10, before you put your guesses in, Blue Eyes White Dragon Ghost Rare from Gold Series Haunted Mine. Yeah, that Blue Eyes is like 200 bucks and that Solemn Judgment is like 80. You do have a replacement question. Do you wanna replace either of these cards nope. that you're not too sure about? Solemn Judgment, honestly, I'm gonna give it like a 90, 90 bucks and then Blue Eyes White Dragon 200. 90 and 200 are your final guesses yes sir for guess that price you're yes. locking them in like locking it in okay we will start you didn't even use a lifeline that's a first no yes. one's never used them so you are the first one not to use all of them question number nine the solemn judgment ultimate rare from ots pack 12 you guessed 90 it is 102 dollars i knew it see i i, I said it's only yeah i knew it you were really close the bad news for that is you were guaranteed to have a tier one that was a tier two card what do you mean one of these last two is tier one. You thought that was the tier one. It wasn't. It was a tier two because 102 is in tier two. So you know the Blue Eyes White Dragon is in tier one. You guessed 200. That is crazy, it's, bro. It's $88. That is insane. I know. I could not believe how cheap this card is. I think it's because of the new Blue Eyes came out. I think it must have knocked it down a bunch because this used to be like 200. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I saw you post this. 
in COVID for 200 bucks. Yeah, you were a little off on that one, but honestly, not that bad. It could have been a lot worse. Now we're going to total up and see how you did overall compared to everyone else. Okay, please let me know. A few moments later. All right, Sam, here are your final results. So of the 10 questions that you ended up, uh, you know, answering, the total value of all these cards was $2,384. You were off by 545 total dollars. Okay, true. I'll take it. You were in six of the 10 questions. You got the right tier. So you get $60 off of that. So that means you were $485 off. 485 into the 2384 means you were 20.34% off, which puts you at eighth place out of nine. But what does that mean? Gage got 4%, Farfa got 39% and last. You were second to last, unfortunately. What? But you were very close to Simo. Who was in set? Who was in third to last? So here's the thing: I gave you probably the hardest quiz yet. I'm not gonna lie. I gave you a lot of really hard cards because I figured you'd be pretty good at this. So keep that in mind. But you did in fact finish third, second to last. But that's all right, Sam. You did a great job. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel sad that Gage did better than me, to be honest. Hey, well, Gage did better than everyone. Uh, he was like a wizard. He knew exactly on like all of them. He so, knew it because he like he works in a car shop. Yeah, he's cheating. It's not he's fair. Cheater. What a cheater. Hey, you you did a great job, Sam. I, I appreciate you coming on, man. Thanks no problem, a lot. bro. I had fun, man. I, like like you got you got me guessing on my boots, bro. Like honestly, as long as I as long as I didn't lose to Farfa, you still beat Farfa by eighteen point six percent. So no big deal. You still crushed him. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed this and you guys want to win the giveaway, Sam did win you guys a hundred dollars. So make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below how you think Sam did. And go check out Team Samurai's channel on YouTube if somehow you haven't already because he has 8 billion subscribers on YouTube. No, yeah, not yet. <laughs> he will one day. So thank you guys for checking it out. Any last words, Sam? Ruxin, that was super duper fun, bro. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Don't know when this video is going to go out, but guys, tell your mom you love her. Tell your dad you love him. You feel what I'm saying? Always great messages from Sam. Merry Thank Christmas, you guys, guys so much for checking it out. Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Distant Coder is one of the most well-known Yu-Gi-Oh streamers on Twitch. He is known for his extensive knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay and card rulings. He is a dueling book Yu-Gi-Oh judge and his ruling quiz and deal or no deal series. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. What's up guys? We're back with another episode of Guess That Price. This is episode 10 with Distant Coder. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good, bro. How are you? I'm doing great. I have got this list barely in time. I mean, we're like, what, 26 minutes late to when we we're supposed to start recording, but it's going to be awesome awesome because what are you gonna beat gage let me know are you gonna do it right, it's time to cook bro i believe in it i believe in it <laughs> okay let's hope you can do it he is by far the number one right now and then we got to talk about the other end farfa he is by far the worst so will you beat farfa or will you beat gage in a good or bad way we're about to find out i'm aiming for something right right smack dab in the middle bro that's what i'm aiming for <laughs> okay super average that's what we're looking for all yes, right sir. question number one i've already talked to you about the rules you pretty much know how they work Reinforcement of the Army, Secret Rare First Edition from Magnificent Mavis. This is a pretty new card. Do you know the price? Okay, so I know that some of the Pharaoh's rares from Magnificent Mavens are money. I know the Crystal Bonds. I actually know the Crystal Bonds from that set because I actually have one. And from memory, it was like 90 bucks. Now, keep in mind, this is mm -hmm. going to be rough for me because I'm Canadian dollars, U.S. dollars. Yeah, you might want to get out there, <laughs> translate it over, type in 90 Canadian, see what that is, USD. Oh, no, it's fine. Sam no, no, had no, a it, problem with that, too. Oh, yeah, there's no problem. I, I, cause Typically, when I deal with cards, I deal with it in USD, even though I'm yeah. in Canada. So I know right. Crystal Bonds, from memory, is something along the lines of 90 USD. And I feel like Rhoda is probably more than that the way i'm thinking here i'm thinking road is probably going to be along the lines of like 120 to 150 that's where like my ballpark is at i i feel i feel fairly confident with this one i'm gonna drop it at a solid 120 dollars and i'm gonna lock it in 120 dollars you're already pretty confident on this one you at least have looked at some ferro rare prices so you have an idea of where these might be coder this card is 120 oh wait sorry <laughs> i'm reading your answer wait that's not right i thought i was insane i was like i'm crazy 
<laughs> Coder, it is not $120. Oh, damn. You're not doing too bad, though. It's $84. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that these, when I looked at the little chart on TCG Player, this thing has like tanked. So oh, okay. it probably was at one point around that. But it seems like, I don't know when you check the Crystal Bond price or the Crystal Beast or whatever, but I feel like these have come down quite a bit since it's a pretty new set. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, you're really not that far off. You're only about $36 off. So not a bad start. I've seen a lot worse. Okay. No, I checked the Crystal Bonds. I think it must have been like like a week or two after the release of the set. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. probably came down. That's probably <laughs> I, why. I don't, I, don't, I don't keep up with prices. I check them one time and then they just stick. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, but I, I bet the, uh, the other one's down too then because there's no way Rhoda is less, or is less than that card probably, yeah, right? Because be it's so surprised. generic and stuff. But okay, let's go to question two. You're doing fine. Not great, not terrible. That's where I, where you want to be, That's right? That's where I want to be. I'm going to smack <laughs> dab in the middle. We're chilling. <laughs> All right, number two. Here we go. We have Chaos Space Collector Rare First Edition from Toon Chaos. Bro, this is hard because the only collectors are from Toon's Chaos that I actually know the price of is like Gamma. And Gamma mm -hmm. is like four hundred dollars or something like that gamma is very expensive yeah but gamma gamma i feel like is like an outlier like what else what other collector's rares are there there's like the toon cards right so you got like the 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 bookmark or whatever in collector's rare but those yeah. are again those are toon cards those are like always expensive because of anime woohoo yeah there's like there's like the chaos monsters like chaos Ember dragon blackluster soldier toon blackluster soldier stardust is in there there's a bunch of stuff like that but like chaos space is like an extremely playable card Right. is the thing um yeah one of the few out of that set it sucks is the only one that i actually know the price of is this gamma and it's so expensive but i'm like there's no way chaos space is like 250 300 but there's no way there is just no way i think the gamma is like 500 or something insane it, like it's something it's like, like absurd like it's 400 plus easy and i yeah. I, I can't imagine there's another card in that set that, it, that even comes close to that i feel like chaos space could definitely be like 200 dollar collector's rare that could be a thing 150 would also be realistic i feel like below 150 for a Toon Chaos Collector's Rare doesn't make a lot of sense. That wasn't yeah. the set with the Nightmares, right? The Nightmares were in the same set as the Drytrons? Yeah, it wasn't. There was no Nightmares in this set, okay. uh, from what I know. I think that was Gemini Impact or Genesis Impact, whatever uh, Genesis it's called. Genesis Impact, yeah. Yeah, I'm I think sure that was it. Because I know that the Nightmares are, like, fairly cheap, if I remember right. I feel like Chaos Space is going to be somewhere middle of the pack here. So you're thinking a Tier 2 is what you're saying? I'm I'm getting a $200 vibe from this one, I'm not going to lie. I am I am feeling Tier 2. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Tier 2. Okay. I am going to be slapping chaos space right at the 200 dollars mark lock that sucker in and i think we're gonna be okay yeah all right we'll lock it in at 200 so far pretty confident guesses on both of them let's see how it fares for you this time last time not too bad question number two you're thinking tier two chaos space collector rare first edition from tune chaos you guessed 200 it is 100 and $92. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm crazy! Okay. You nailed nice. it. So with your bonus, because you know, you get the bonus for being in the right tier, yes, you have sir. now added back $2. So you're doing great. We're chilling. Okay, awesome. I'm yeah, when it. you said 200 I was like, oh my gosh, he's right on it. And then I, you said 150 I was like, ah, don't go that way. And then you came <laughs> back. I was like, all right, nice. I mean, yeah, because Toon Chaos is just one of those things. Like, it's a set that not a lot of people really liked, but some of the cards in there are like super chased after stuff like gamma stuff like chaos space so i can imagine that the cards in the set there's none of them that are like middle of the pack they're either 150 plus or they're like pennies yeah this uh this set was was interesting because it was like kind of short printed because like covid yeah. and then everyone was hyped up about it so a lot of people pre-ordered it and then it turned out to be kind of a dud on a lot of fronts yeah. so yeah. It, yeah. yeah they're expensive boxes but not too many cards that actually make your money back but this is one of the big ones so that was a good guess we're going on to question three you're kind of doing well uh, i thought you were supposed to be in the middle of the pack here okay you might have slowed down there buddy we're there we're chilling we are okay we have our question right. of protection <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number three, Coder. Royal Decree Super Rare from Tournament Pack 6. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god. Okay, so I have not dabbled in GOAT format very much. Okay. 
But uh -huh. the little that I dabbled in GOAT format, I played a Horus the Black Flame Dragon deck that also okay. played Royal Decree. And when I Just so you can use it, nothing. You can't use spells. You can't use traps. It's exactly. just awful. Yeah. And <laughs> when I built it, friends of mine who dabbled a bit more in GOAT told me Royal Decree at the time was like super freaking expensive and no one ever had three because I think it only came in the tournament pack initially or was it that was that another set? I don't know. Okay. 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 Called. Let me give you a little background here. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the backstory to this one. Yeah. So Royal Decree originally was a tournament pack for ultra rare oh. they reprinted it later in tournament pack six which is what i'm asking you as a super rare oh. so the the one they were talking about was the tournament pack four and you could only get it as an ultra rare this one was the next print the super rare okay okay tournament pack super rare royal decree tp6 it won't be as much i feel like it I, so it's not ma it's not the max rarity royal decree so it probably won't be like mad stonks okay ruxin i'm gonna i'm going to ask you something you tell me if you can answer it can you tell me what like the the ultra rares or whatever were in tournament pack six yeah okay i can tell you that okay so tournament pack six in tournament pack one through eight they only had one ultra per set yeah so in tournament pack four it was the royal decree tournament pack six was i believe the toon cannon soldier oh and then there was four there's four supers so there's like a usually 20 packs per box there's one total ultra but it's one in 108 packs for that and then it's one in 18 for a super rare and there's four different supers so i think that will make this royal decree not that expensive i'm definitely thinking tier one and i'm definitely thinking it's something like it's probably like 60 or under i feel like it won't be above like the 60 dollar mark Unless there's like some additional backstory of like this specific tournament pack six was impossible <laughs> to find. This specific set was only only sent to Brazil uh, or something like that. You know, I, I okay, know. that's there's none of that, but it is the sixth tournament pack set. So I will tell you that they started with this is just regular tournament pack, mm -hmm. and then they became uh, champion pack, astro pack, or turbo pack, astro pack, then OTS. So this is the first set of those. So it's the sixth tournament pack ever made. But there's no weird like Brazil thing on there or whatever. Okay, good to know. Damn, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am. I am struggling with this one. Hey, you have lifelines. You can yeah, use them. Yeah, yeah. I'm considering using a lifeline. Because I'm going to be honest, I feel like this is definitely one of those things that can either be like dummy cheap because it's not max rarity, or it could be dummy expensive anyway, because you definitely have like some of these older cards that will have a print that's like, you know, a million dollars. And there's another one like, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah. if you don't have a million dollars, you can spend 200K on it instead, you know? And like <laughs> I am going to ask for the tier on this one, please. All right. Okay. First lifeline is being used. The first lifeline asking for the tier. Royal Decree Super Rare from Tournament Pack 6 is for from tier one. Ah, I figured. I figured. I figured. So you're on the right track. I think I'm going to drop it right at 40. I think 40 is a, a safe bet. I'm going to drop it right at 40. Lock that sucker in. Okay. All right. $40 on the Royal Decree. Coder, this card is $93. Okay, okay. So it's okay. top end, but it's still tier one. So you, you okay. get the tier bonus. So there's that. Yeah, it is 93 because all these tournament pack hollows, basically, especially if they're like remotely playable, like Royal Decree and Go mm -hmm. Format and yeah. stuff, uh, they, they're usually not going to be that cheap, but they are still, you know, not that expensive. Like, as you said, I think the other Royal Decrees around like 500 or something, something yeah. like that, maybe 600. Yeah, so yeah. that you were thinking like that. And then mm -hmm. once you realized it wasn't well, that. Well, yeah, yeah, like yeah, if, if you had told me like, yeah, this was that one, like that first printing, whatever, I would have said, yeah. I, I would have probably immediately jumped to 500 bucks straight yeah because it was very expensive okay but not too bad you're fine okay. nothing to worry about you still got two lifelines left your worst one so far i guess is was it the royal decree i guess that's still dropped right now so as yeah. of right now that one doesn't count but if you do have a worse one later we will then replace that one fair enough fair enough okay and this was this wasn't even that bad i was like 50 bucks off that is not bad yeah yeah this is if this is your worst one you're gonna be doing really good so let's go to question four summon skull ultra rare first edition from metal raiders <sighs> What? MRD first. MRD first. What the fuck do I know about prices of MRD? Man, you're you're pulling out the old cards. I started playing in 2016, Rex. So what are you doing to me? <laughs> hey, to be fair, I gave you like the most new cards. I'm just gonna let you know. Oh, I gave let's you a go. bunch of new cards. Okay, okay, okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. MRD first edition, ultra rare, summoned skull. I mean, this is probably money. I can't imagine it's not money. MRD first is like always expensive. Is it, I think. That what do you know about MRD? I know it's 
called Metal Raiders, bro. That's about it. <laughs> okay. okay, well, so, I'll give you a little bit. It is the these, second set ever yeah, printed. Yeah, so like these sets only have, it only has like one secret rare, right? Two secret rares, Thousand Dragon, Gate Guardian, but it depends on which box you get. It has a retail or hobby box. Right, right. So right. it's basically one per yeah. like whatever you would get. I mean, I feel like an MRD first and like we're going near mint for all of this, right? So this is all near mint. Yeah, if I don't specify, which I usually, I've always done near mint because it just gets dicey when you say like mod play or something like that. Okay. So summon skull, it's gonna be up there. It has to be up there. Like I feel like this thing graded. If someone told me it was five hundred dollars, I wouldn't be surprised. But I feel like not graded. I feel like if it's just like a raw near mint copy, I feel like it's definitely going to be up there, and it's going to be a tier three most likely because I feel like anything MRD first foil, especially for an ultra, because there weren't that many ultras in these sets, right? Because this was back there, when there was ten. It was ten, but wasn't there's this ten like, supers, ten ultras. This was before like you had like guaranteed ultras and stuff right I, i'm pretty sure that well you would, okay so something. here's the the layout out of a box for an old school box was you would pull four supers this is usually like on average yeah. four supers two ultras and zero to one secret if you get a secret sometimes that would replace an ultra sometimes it wouldn't so sometimes you get two sometimes you could get three ultras but pretty unlikely usually it's two you said tier two ends at 250 right 250 yeah so 251 plus is tier three so i'm going to hazard a guess here that this is definitely a tier three card but i'm hazarding that it's on the lower end of tier three so i think i'm gonna drop it at 255 just to be in that tier three, just to be chilling. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like three hundo, but I'm going to put it at 255. Who the hell would spend this much money on a card? I don't know, but 255, so, run it. <laughs> why, why do you want it to be just inside tier three? You just, you're just sure it's a tier three. So you just I'm want it to be sure right on it. It's a tier three. I am pretty okay. certain it's going to be a tier three. I, I, I got a vibe. I get a vibe. Okay. All right. $255. You've locked it in for the summon skull metal Raiders first edition mm -hmm. coder. This card is worth $399. Okay, I knew it was tier three. Hey, you got the tier three right. You didn't know for sure that was it. And you, when you said, uh, um, if, if you told me this card would grade it was 500, I was dying because this card used to be 5,000 graded. That's no a tip. shot. Yeah. Okay, dude. When it this, was uh, dude. like during the hype, it was 5,000 for a 10. Now it's down to like 2,000, I Bro, think. Old cards, old cards are so crazy crazy because you'll find like what was that one card there's like an equip spell from like lob or something it's a common that's like short print it's the the, the silver bow and arrow or something oh yeah yeah like, it's like 300 that, or something that card is like 300 dollars as a yeah. fucking common because it was short printed in lob and it's like bro yeah. why why do old yeah all do the lob commons are insane money metal raiders is getting there too because they actually have a lot of anime stuff and <sighs> summon skull just like the anime printing which funnily enough this isn't the first printing of summon skull it's the one out of the starter deck so True. it's like a common so uh, the, then you get this because it's the hollow version it's the one mm -hmm. everybody wants but you're not bad i mean this is your dropped one now yeah, so yeah, we yeah. are now oh, replacing yeah. the 50 but <laughs> that's okay that wasn't too bad you still got two lifelines left six questions yeah we're doing how good. you feeling right now how you feeling I'm do i think i'm doing fine i think i'm doing okay i, I knew this card was going to be like either mad stonks or just okay yeah. stonks turns out it was mad stonks what can i do yeah <laughs> an anime level that's yeah anytime you see anime you gotta think stonks oh, yeah. sometimes sometimes the anime just just be crazy you know, but there's some anime cards that just aren't that money. It's crazy. It's insane. That's true, but there's good news. The next question is good news. Okay. All right. Question number five. We have Unchained Twins Aruha Starlight Rare First Edition from Chaos Impact. Roxanne, I know the price of this card. That I told you was good news. Not I figured only you I know, might I, know this one. I know the price of this card because I check it periodically. This is the card okay. whose value I check about once a month. Just because I own three of this thing. I wonder how much it's changed since you checked it. Starlight Aruha is $170. Lock it in, give or take. It's just maybe, maybe it's a bit more. It's a bit like last time I checked, it was $170. Smack dab on the nose. Run it. Okay. All right. You're locking it in. You're sure. I figured this would be one that you've probably checked at some point. I didn't oh, yeah. know you checked it that much. So it's good for you that you did that. Question five. Saying this is the second tier two. Unchained Twins Aruha Starlight Rare First Edition Chaos Impact. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Coder, what if I told you it was like 300? What would you do? I would tell you you're lying. <laughs> uh, yep, I wouldn't be lying. It's one hundred and seventy one dollars. Let's go. <laughs> so you are one Stunks. away. You almost got that crazy <laughs> bonus of twenty five and you get it right on. But hey, that's one off. You're, but you get the ten dollars. <laughs> You're adding back nine bucks. That's a great midway point right now. You're Let's looking go. good. Let's go. We take those. We take those. Yeah, dude. I knew my boy Aruha was 170, bro. I knew it. I already knew it. <laughs> Question six. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Secret Rare First Edition from Strike of Neos. Oh, my God. This is question number six. Yep. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Secret Rare. You got any idea on this one? Uh, no. What's Strike of Neos? Is that S-T-O-N? Yeah, S-T-O-N. Came out in 2007. Dude, if I get this wrong, John is going to kill me, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you can always replace it and get another one so you don't have to answer to him. Yeah, I can't imagine Grandmaster of the Six Samurai is that much. <sighs> but it could be, like, just, just crazy, you know? Who knows? Okay, please clarify something for me because I am not in the know. Is Six Samurai okay. a deck that is typically played in Edison format? Okay, I answered this last time for Farfa, and they asked about Test Tiger, and I said, no, it's not in my deck. And then apparently some of them run it. But okay. so mine doesn't didn't run it but i do not know of a six samurai deck when i when i do edison i look at the edison.com and look at the top yeah. lists they don't have six it's samurai not in in there. Top list. so okay i can tell you that i don't know for sure if anybody runs it or not but i, mean, I don't think it's in edison yeah so what you're telling me is it could be playable but it is also not one of the top teams. yeah it, it could be playable i'm not sure about that but it is not like the top eight of the of the tournaments good to know so this is not going to be spiking as hard as like black wing cards because of yeah like vayu or something yeah, with yeah, the ulti yeah. okay Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm not gonna use a lifeline for this one. I am going to go with what my gut is telling me. My gut is telling me that this is probably a tier two card. I know Grandmaster was like crazy because at the time you could play like oppression with six Sams or something like that. And like if you oppression negated the Grandmaster summon or whatever, it would just like add itself back or something. Is that what it does? It's something crazy. Yeah, I, I know. I know in the current six Sam decks, people still use this card because it's like nuts. Okay, Ruxin, Ruxin, Grandmaster of the Six Samurai is... $275, tier three. You evened it out because I'm being an exam Andy. Run it, 275, I believe. All right, exam Andy. Did it pay off, Coder? You always say don't be an exam Andy. Oh, We're gonna have to find out if it worked out. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, Secret Rare, First Edition, Strike of Neos. This is actually a funny one because you have guessed this number already in the quiz. Oh, it was 255. Two hundred and fifty-five dollars. <laughs> but still, you're really close. I mean, twenty <laughs> minus ten. You're only ten dollars off. So that turned out to be pretty good. But I was say, earlier. You get the summon skull too. It's five, and I was like, man, he should have saved that for the for the grandmaster. <laughs> that would have been sweet. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, twenty bucks off. I no, am that's not really good on the tier threes. I am not upset about that at all. All right, exam Andy. Question number seven. <laughs> you now have two of each. So keep that in mind. You know, you know, two of each. I, you don't know now because I even if I exam Andy. You don't know what's coming yeah, next. No, I, I can't exam Andy anymore. I got I got one freebie right there, and then it, it was yeah. over. <laughs> I, I never know how to say this card, so I'm just going to say it like I think you say it. Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Ultra, dual, dual Terminal Rare, <gasps> Dual Terminal 1. Oh, my God. Brio, 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 Brio. This is what... Okay, so remind me. Brio came like secret, then this, right? I think it was a secret and hidden arsenal, and then they upgraded it like in rare. I think this is technically a higher rarity. Yeah. Uh, then they also, like, did they... I don't remember if this was in the new dual terminal. Not dual terminal, but dual oh, the, hidden, the hidden arsenal, arsenal dual thing remake. or whatever. I mean, even if it is, that probably wouldn't do anything. No one liked that set. Yeah. <laughs> that set was horrible. <laughs> so I know DT Trish is like massive money. Was DT Trish also dual terminal one? I think DT Trish might have been a different one. I think that there was, I think there was only one of ultra per set. So like when you'd get it out of the machine or whatever, I think you only got one ultra. So it must've been a different set for Trish. Okay, I think Brio might've been in the same set that also had Gen X 
undine. And if it is, mm. that means this is money. Because I know the undine is like not crazy money, but it's like people really, really like people really like undine from Dual Terminal. It's like people's favorite undine, especially when they play 2014 yeah. format and whatever, and they get to play like mermail and stuff. You play undine and that's really good. Yeah. I am definitely using a lifeline on this one. And I think I'm going to be using the higher or lower to okay. ask you if Brio is above or below $230. All right, second lifeline being used on the Brio. This thing is less than $230. I definitely think this is still a tier two. I don't think this is gonna be a tier one card. This is still gonna, this is definitely gonna be above 150 bucks. Uh, wait, tier one is only up to 100, right? 100, yeah. 101 to 250 for the uh, tier two. I'm gonna say Brio is like at a smack dab, like solid 150, and we're gonna put it right there. I think it's a safe bet. We're gonna put it at 150. All right, Brio. We're just gonna call it Brio because I can't say this. Brio, Dragon of the Ice Bear, Ultra Dual Terminal Rare from Dual Terminal One. You said 150. Yeah. This is actually an $88 card. Oh. How the mighty have fallen. I, these have gone down a lot. I actually think that that new set might have hurt these cards somehow. Really? I could have sworn this was like 200, like uh, recently, and it's $88 now. So this thing has gone down quite a bit, which is surprising, but you're still not that far off. Okay, okay. We, we take those. I think that's my furthest one now. But no, the Summon Skull oh, is your the furthest. the Summon Skull is still way further. Yeah, the yeah, Summon yeah, Skull yeah. is your furthest. Still 62, really not that bad though. You still have one lifeline. You've got three questions left. Are you ready for question number eight? Yeah, yeah. Dude, imagine using a lifeline and kick it up. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst feeling. It's the yeah. worst feeling. All right, three more to go. We got this. All right, question number eight. We have Effect Veiler Ultimate Rare First Edition <laughs> from Duelist Revolution. Damn, Ruxin, I wonder how much this is, dude. I wonder I don't know. how much this is. I, I recall, hmm, I think I remember, if I remember correctly, I had a buddy of mine, uh, his name was uh, Ruxin, actually, it was weird, um, who had a playset of these in French that I wanted and didn't in end French, up yeah. picking up off him. And if I remember right, uh, these were right around the four hundred dollar mark, if I remember correctly. That is, that is. Hey, keep where in my mind, mind, these are English instead of French. So yeah. So if I remember right, if I remember right, you had priced these for a French copy at four hundred dollars. If if I remember this correctly. Yeah. This was this was when again? This was YCS. Hartford? I think it was Hartford. Might have been Charlotte. I can't remember. It might have been Charlotte. It was like... No, it was, it was like, Hartford, I think, yeah. I definitely think it was Hartford. I remember we were at a bar. We were having some drinks. And I was like, yo, I want French Veilers. They were like, bro, I have. <laughs> I was like, buy them, and you didn't, so. Uh, and I didn't. I didn't end up buying them. But yeah, that's 400. I feel like this is just the kind of card that just never goes down. And the thing is, I also remember a more recent experience than that. I remember checking the price of Ulti Veiler and Starlight DD Crow and remembering like, and, and, and feeling like, oh, these are so close to each other. I didn't think DD Crow was as much as a, a, an Ulti Veiler or something along those lines. Uh -huh. I believe Starlight Crow is sitting around 450. So I think I'm going to slap the Veiler right around the 450 mark as well. I think that is a very, very safe bet. I feel like it's probably somewhere between 450 and Five. Maybe I should be safe and drop it at 475. Put it right in the middle of where I'm, I'm thinking. I think I might do that. I'm going to put it okay. right at for near, near mint, bro. <sighs> near mint. Near mint. Okay. Near mint ulti veiler. First edition. 500 bucks. Just 500. 500. 500. All right. Okay. Right. We're locking it in. Is that is that it? 500? Oh, oh, yeah. 500. I'm going all in. Okay, Coder. That was some interesting talk. Yeah, there. You had 400. You bumped up to five, 450. You did 475. Now 500. Let's see if you went the right direction. Okay. I, I definitely uh, did. I know I did. There's no way I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Effect Veiler. He's confident. Ultimate Rare First Edition Duelist Revolution. I did want you to buy some of these from me. You didn't do it. You were too busy, you know buying other stuff for some reason i don't know why yeah and i'm weird but like that <laughs> this thing is worth 521 dollars holy you walked it all the way up to being with 21 away that was clutch that was super clutch. Uh, absolutely insane holy being within 21 on a 500 dollars tier 3 
That is really good. That's super strong. Let's go. Let's go. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. That works. All right. We are. We have two more questions. And as you know, if you've watched the show, we ask them both at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to ask both questions. Then you can deliberate. You do have one lifeline. If one of these sucks and you don't like it, you can swap it out. Fair enough. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Nine and ten. We got this. We close it out. We clutch it. Question nine. We have Forbidden Chalice Ultimate Rare First Edition from Raging Battle. And then our last question, question number 10 is light and darkness dragon secret rare from retro pack 2 oh my god oh my god oh my god okay is there anything you're feeling like you want to swap right off the bat or what immediately off the bat i'm telling myself i want to swap this light and darkness dragon probably because the thing with chalice is i've known the price of chalice on multiple occasions i had a buddy of mine yeah. who owned a place out of this ulti first and his binder forever and i remember consistently asking him like yo you want to trade it you want to trade it how much and whatever the light and darkness dragon i do not even have any idea where to begin the veiler was a tier three the brio was a tier one therefore one of these two is going to be a tier two and i'm fairly certain that the forbidden chalice is the tier two because from memory chalice is sitting somewhere between two and 250 the light and darkness dragon i have no idea so i'm going to swap out the light and darkness dragon okay if you were gonna guess give us your guess of what the light and dark darkness dragon would be for lad i don't i don't know anything about retro pack 2 i'd probably say it's like 300 bucks i don't know i have no idea all right i'll let you i'll let you know if you're right or wrong when we get back to it Fair okay enough. your replacement question this is your last lifeline let's see if it comes in clutch i don't know if you know about this card or not we're gonna have to find out oh, no. <laughs> Number 39 Utopia oh, okay. Astral Rarity from Battles of Legend Armageddon. This one's either a lot of money or not a lot of money. I feel as though it was a lot of money on release and then kind of fell off. Because I think the Astral Rare Leviathan Dragon fell off plus ratio as well. I think I'm going to lock in the Chalice. I'm going to lock in the Chalice at 240. Because I feel like it's on the upper end of tier two. I think this is a okay. tier two card. I'm going to lock okay. the chalice in at 240. I feel very confident with that one. It's either, right. it's somewhere between 225 and 250, most likely. So 240 is a safe bet for that. The Astral Utopia is either mad stonks or it's kind of mid. I mean, that could be anything. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is Your so only clue, like, it's... Do you think the, the lad... Like, what do you think about the lad? Do you think it could be really cheap or do you think it's expensive? I feel like it's not... I feel like it's not 300. If it's in the same tier as the... the Utopia. I feel like the Utopia probably it, it could be it could be money. Wait, Battle of Le Battles of Legend Armageddon. Were there other Starlights in that set? There was. There was a big one, the Ten Thousand Dragon. Oh, f so that must have been a pretty pulled set. Are there any others other than Ten Thousand Dragon in this? No, it's just these two. This is the other one. It's Ten Thousand Dragon and then the Astral then uh, Utopia. Then it has to be money. Like, even if it's overshadowed by another card that's like, like, this isn't 10,000 Dragon, like 3K or something like that. Like, it's uh, raw, it's something. like, I think it's 1,400, but yeah, it's okay. insane. It's not, it's still like I, I can't remember Still the last insane time. and ridiculous I, I can't remember the last time I've seen like a card to have been released in recent years hit four digits like it's been forever yeah it, it was it was nuts yeah it's already rivaling like Apollosa and, and IP and those came out like a year before yeah 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 okay then this is probably money I am going to put the Astral Utopia at three hundred and fifty dollars and i'm 350 going to, i'm going to lock it in at a solid let me rethink that one second <laughs> okay all right okay, okay oh my god this is you've been good at walking around after after you say your initial price so I we'll feel, see if you I can do like, it again i feel like it's lower i feel like it's closer to three than 350 and i said three for light and darkness dragon who knows maybe i'm just crazy yeah maybe just double 300 it see what happens maybe, maybe i'm just <laughs> insane i'm gonna i'm gonna run it with with utopia 300 dollars okay all right 300 bucks run it i believe in it okay all right let's do the reveals Preach. i'm gonna start with the light and darkness dragon just for fun okay show me the light and so, dragon. what's the sauce you just threw out 300 dollars. this will give you at least an idea of where you are with the astro utopia okay the light and darkness dragon is 346 dollars. okay 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 We're so you ballpark. are in the right tier okay. for the utopia okay we'll go to the forbidden chalice next because you were confident about this we're one. in the ballpark i feel pretty confident about the chalice at 240 okay you said 240 you said 225 to 250 yeah this card is 
215. So oh, okay. you were very close. Yeah, not bad if you had said 225, you'd been like extremely close. But I mean, you're still only 25 off yeah, plus the tier those. bonus. Yeah, yeah, we, take, we definitely take those. Mm -hmm. Very strong. And you know for the final one, you are in the right tier. Yeah. You went from 350 to 300. Let's see if you went in the right direction. You initially were, you weren't sure, but then we heard 10K. You're like, yeah, this has got to be money. It has to be. It has to be, yeah. And you were right because it's in tier three. The number 39 Utopia Astral Rarity from Battles of Legend Armageddon is $260. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So you okay, walked it those. $50 in the right direction. We take so, those. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm down. Honestly, I'm down. you didn't miss any by a lot. So I'm really interested to see how you did because your worst one was the Summon Skull. And that one's thrown out. I don't think you missed any by 100. No, I think the, the closest one was the Brio that I missed by, I think, 50 or 60 bucks. Yeah, 62. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I think you did pretty good. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math, figure out where you're standing and all the standings. So far, we've had nine episodes. So will you be in the top half? I feel like you will. Let's see. A few moments later. All right, we have the results of how Coder did. I want to remind you guys, if you're watching this video, you can win money because of Coder. Money! If we are within 1%, we win $1,000. If we're within 5%, $500. Within 10%, $250. 25%, $100. And if you're Farfa, it's 5%. And then, you, or 50%, and you get uh, $50. So, yeah, <laughs> okay. hopefully not that bad. We know for sure we didn't do that. So, I'm, aim okay. I'm aiming for 10% so that they can win as much as they can. I, I don't know if I'm there. I don't know if I'm there. Maybe I'm close. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Everyone, if you want to win the giveaway, make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below how Coder did, and make sure to go check him out on his channel as well. So far, this is what he did. Our total value for the 10 cards that I asked him was $2,278. He was off by $266. Whoa. He also got eight tiers correctly. So we took out $80. That means that he was $186 off. That's 10%. Off. That's 10%. That comes to 8.17% off go! second best ever on the show <laughs> behind done. Gage. Let's How you feel go. about that? Dude, that's crazy. That's insane. That was good. 8% <laughs> is super solid. You are actually the first person to get it between 5 and 10%. That is absolutely yeah. Gage, Gage was like Gage like cooked it. He was absolutely insane. Yeah. I was just trying to get, come close, bro. I think I did a good job. That's pretty crazy. You did. You split the difference between him and Joseph, basically. He Joseph was like 11 almost, and he was four point something, and you got basically 8%. So okay. you split the difference. You gave us uh, someone in there. Our 10th episode paying off pretty well. That was a, an impressive performance, Coder. All right, let's pay the people out, dude. Pay the believers. Pay yeah, them out. All right, make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to win $250 the first time it's ever been given away. We had a $500 giveaway, but everyone else has been $100 or $50. So this is a big performance from Coder. Coder, you got anything else you want to say before we go? Uh, nah, dude. Just comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks again, Coder, for showing up to this and doing this. I was a little late, and it was worth it for him because he dominated. Also, check Check out his Twitch stream and his YouTube channel. I'll have those linked down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a good one. Okay. 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 So I have the swap out. Dude. Okay. I, I watched the episode with MBT and you gave him like the Mattel action figure card and something else. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it was like you gave him like collectors or a gamma or something. And then a Mattel action figure card. And he goes, I'm going to swap out the gamma. And I'm like, <laughs> Bro, I was like, what? I was like, who in their right mind does not swap out the Mattel action figure card? Because he knew it. He basically <laughs> knew the answer. I was like, oh my gosh, how like, did he know a, this? That's insane. That's crazy. yeah, that was nuts that he knew that. I, I, there's no way I would have gotten that. That was that was nuts. Rhyme Style is a longtime YouTuber with over one million subscribers. He is known for his Dragon Ball content, but has always been big into trading cards on his second channel. He even recently began doing Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel content on his main channel. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price. This is episode 11 with Rhyme Style. It's about time we got Rhyme Style on here. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm going to fail. Okay, all right. So we got <laughs> confidence. That's good. That's what everyone says, though, and then some people do really well. Some people do actually fail, though. So we'll have to see how, where you fit in that category. I feel like if this is like a year ago, I would do really well in these. Like, I've been so anti-prices for like the past year that I just stopped paying attention to prices in general because they, they just do this. 
it's hard to keep up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is for sure. All right, let's hop into the first question and see, you know, how you're going to do. Question one, we have Dark Magician Girl Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Legendary Collection. God. <laughs> I knew I had to ask you a Dark Magician Girl, and I realized I've asked almost all of them already. Well, <laughs> so I, was waiting the for, I was waiting for Dark Magician Girl because I figured that's an obvious one, especially for me. Yeah. But Legendary Collection of all, it's like, <laughs> I can tell you Magician's for. I can tell you Ghost Rare, Ghost Rare Pass, <laughs> Legendary Collection. I, I want to say 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Have you ever opened this set before? No. You've never opened Legendary Collection through Yugi's World. I don't think so. All right, so you're locking it in at 50 bucks? Yep. All right, $50 on the Dark Magician Girl from Legendary Collection 3. Rhyme? This thing is $140. When did it go up to 140 bucks? And why do I not know about that? I don't know. I'm surprised you've never opened this set because it's actually a really fun set to open. Legendary Collection 3, it has like the uh, Exodia Secret Rares. It yeah. has like Dark Paladin, Dark Magician Girl. But it's a real, like first edition boxes of this are like $600 now. So it's insane sense. to open. I feel yeah, like so the, maybe the last time I was looking into every different copy of Dark Magician Girl, it was probably 50 bucks. Which is why I'm like thinking it's around that Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it probably was at some point because you've been can around. I, can I show this so off long. my video while we're talking about Dark Magician Girl? Ooh. I'm showing. Ooh. The, I'm showing. The I can't see part. it, but I, I know it's great. Is that your black label? It, it's the back. It's the black label. All right, first yeah, black okay. label Dark Magician Girl in the world, I think. I assume. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty jealous. I don't have any <laughs> black labels, much less Dark Magician Girl. So, look, you missed that one by ninety bucks, but you have a black label Dark Magician Girl. So, who really cares? <laughs> All right, question two. We have Harpy Lady Sisters, a rare from Ooh. Retro Pack 1. Hey, what do you know about Retro Pack 1? I know enough about Retro Pack. You and I have opened a little bit too many of those packs. Our very first video together was Retro Pack 1. This is just regular rare. It's just a regular rare. No hollow. Do we know how much those that those three pack like blisters cost now for Retro Pack 1? Because remember, I, the, remember we, we opened, uh, you and I did that opening? And yeah. I felt there bad. There were 400 back then. Yeah, I felt bad, bad and bought another one for 400 afterwards. <laughs> I, I think they're it. more than that, but all I remember is that we bought them for four hundred dollars, and it was very expensive. A retro pack one regular rare harpy laces. I want to say, I want to say twenty bucks. Keep it safe. Twenty bucks. All right. So yeah, I mean, twenty bucks like not a lot of money, but at the same time, this is a regular, a regular rare. rare. So. Yeah, it's not it's not supposed to be a lot of money as a regular rare, but if you guys don't know about Retro Pack 1, it is extremely hard to find sealed and even the cards in general. So some of these rares can get pretty expensive and this one is only $16. I was close. So you are very, very close. I also did not mention that if you get the correct tier, so like you guessed in tier one and it was a tier one, you get a $10 credit. So you basically guessed plus four dollars there because or plus six dollars gotcha. so you gained money there okay. if you get it exactly right it's plus 25 dollars which that has only happened twice so far so if you do that okay. it'd be insane okay sounds good all right question three rhyme style we have destiny hero starlight rare first edition destroyer phoenix enforcer we i put that in the middle of the name for some reason power of the elements there we go i know this one too but the problem is is i don't know how much the price has changed in the past couple weeks, especially with uh, Fusion Destiny being a three now. Right. Where'd you look it up last? Uh, eBay, because I was buying them. Okay. Because I remember I bought three of them. Do you have a 10 of this one? Yeah, I do. I oh. pre-ordered three of them from my friend Ty. Shout out to Tyree. For $250 Shout out piece. to Tyree. And I remember he got me, uh, so I paid $750 for three, and they came out and they were like 400 bucks. Oh, wow. So that was a good deal. I want to say it's... 275 now 275 275 okay so this would be your first tier three question if that is correct are you locking that in i'm locking it in all right destiny hero destroyer phoenix enforcer starlight rare first edition from power of the elements this card is 210 dollars Ooh, kind of close it's gone down a little bit actually mm -hmm. surprisingly i guess it's just not being used as much anymore but this card i i personally think that this card's going to be pretty collectible like in the future i agree it's beautiful artwork's awesome and yeah. like it's iconic from mm -hmm. the time when it came out so i think it's a strong candidate for the future it's splashable but the only thing i hate about everything about dpe is just you will always open up with dasher in your hand a cool thing that's a that's a waste of a card yep yep every single time and uh i used to like those because they were 20 dollar rares from power of the elements then they reprinted them so her power of the duelist i should say but no more they're now like 50 cents because they reprinted them all right not too bad next question number four we have do not miss Dark Witch Super Rare from Tournament Pack 8. Tournament Pack 8. Ooh. <laughs> Have you noticed a theme so far of your four questions? Three out of four. Three out of four. Is it just because they're 
Those special reprint packs? No, waifus. Oh, uh, waifus. <laughs> <laughs> Three out of four. DP, not. Not so much. DP is a waifu, 100%. Okay, yeah, okay. All of them, then. All right. Dunami's Dark Witch Super TP8. I want to say... You know anything about TP8? I know nothing about it. You ever opened it? it? I don't even know what the big hit... What's the big hit in that? The ultra rare... What is the ultra rare in this set? It's, uh... Oh, it's the magical arm shield. That's what it is. And then there's the... There's a big card in here. Is it Harpy's Feather Duster? I think it's Harpy's Feather Duster. Super oh, is that rare. the crazy expensive one? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, and this, okay, so that this gives is me the an idea. last tournament pack. That gives me an idea because that that Harpy's Feather Dust is like seven hundred bucks. I want to say Dunamis is. Hey, by the way, you have lifelines, so you don't know. You I don't know. need lifelines. Do I have confidence. One hundred and fifty. Okay. 150. 150. Yep. Okay. All right. 150 bucks. All right. Dunamis Dark Witch. This is super rare from Tournament Pack 8. Rhyme Style. This card is $395. God. I was off. <laughs> I think the Harpy's Feather Duster is like more than 700. I think it's like a see, thousand something see, at this point. That's the issue because I remember I was trying to buy that Harpy's Feather Duster because that was like the original art as well. I was trying to yeah. buy it back in like, I want to say two years ago. And I remember around right. the time is when it was like 600, 700 bucks, which means yeah. Dunamis around the time was probably like 150. Yeah, wow. prob you're probably nailing it from two years ago. But <laughs> yeah, this card, it, it just doesn't really make sense why it's so expensive. And the only thing I can say is old tournament pack. That's the only and thing then, that yeah, really that, makes that's sense. Pretty much why. Low print, people want the lowest uh, print card. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, question five. This will be the halfway point. So far, you've had one tier three, two tier two, and one tier one. Keep that in mind, there's three of each and then right. one bonus. Question five, area of the water charmer, gentle, starlight rare first edition from eternity code. Okay, that's water charmer is not as important. I want to say water is not important. Lena and dark are the important ones. And those are like, probably like, I want to say 400 bucks. I yeah. want to say. But, hey, you got lifelines. Don't forget those. What are three lifelines again? Lifelines. Which tier you're in? Lower or higher? New question. I'll do the lower or higher. Okay. All right. What's your number? 200 bucks. First lifeline. You want to know if this is more are higher or lower than 200 rhyme style this is more than 200 dollars uh i'm going to say 275 275 Lock me rhyme in. style Lock me locked in, in. <laughs> 275 i don't think you've seen the price of this card before have you no oh wait a minute tier limits tier limits would make this more important wouldn't it this card is 930 dollars is it because of tier limits I don't know. Well, it's from its Eternity Code, so it's an older Starlight, so that, that's a plus. I don't know if it's used or not. Is Eternity Code when it had Appaloosa? Eternity Code had uh, the original access code. It didn't have Appaloosa. That was, um, what is that? Rising Rampage. Okay, Rising Rampage, right. But this was, uh, this was a really good set at the time, and I think it was 20... 20 or early 2021 when it came out okay. but some of the some of the starlights and those older ones are getting insane and i even checked this had like sales at like a thousand dollars like multiple so i'm not i i don't know i think it's part waifu part uh starlight older starlight and then maybe it's actually used that would make sense so it's like I, all three of those I, the I ultimate trifecta it has to be because of tier limits it's probably the ultimate trifecta yeah somebody in the comments will tell us yeah let us know in the comments what this card is used in because it's it's kind of getting in that ip mascarena slash um uh, apollosa range and those are like used waifu and they're like uh starlights that are old and also, so it's like the pull rate was were ridiculous in there wasn't it like and of course they're yeah. yeah really hard to pull so basically everything you could want for an expensive card and it makes sense so that one's getting thrown out by the thousand way thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. that wasn't even close because i'm thinking like lena is important because light dark is important because of dark those are the two main ones used no one used anything else yeah you said that and i was like uh oh this isn't good he doesn't know this card <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a pretty tough one but that's okay we're throwing that one out all right question six here we go let's 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 get a, re a rebound here we're gonna have a close one on this one this is magicians valkyria ultra rare limited edition structure deck spellcasters command i i feel like this can't be that expensive or can it people spend prime money on their waifus true i saw this in japan too i remember i was looking at it in english too yeah so i remember how much yen it was it wasn't that much yen 75 dollars. 75 bucks okay magicians valkyria ultra rare limited edition i thought this was a really strange one because it's from a structured deck, so you're thinking it's not worth that much but it's worth 125 dollars it's kind of close kind of close yeah so you're you're in the ballpark but like i don't understand like first of all why is this structure deck have a limited edition card in it that's confusing and then it's also worth a lot of money instead of being like a dollar like some of the other ones. So this is a weird card. I want to say when I saw it in Japan, it was like 11,000 yen, which was uh, with the exchange rate is about 80 bucks right now. 80 bucks. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, this one was this one was kind of weird. I think it had a couple sales at like 
100 and then the only listing was 125 so yeah that kind of makes sense all right four more questions you still have two more of your uh, of your lifelines question seven beautiful headhuntress rare from tournament pack two tournament pack two the second tournament pack ever made and regular rare See, regular this, rare. this is always the tricky part because you don't know what these regular rares go for tournament right. pack two was pp3 was uh needle worm pp2 tournament was two is morphing, jar. morphing jar yeah morphing jar this is I think the rarest tournament pack is what people say. This tournament pack too. I know the Morphic Jar is insane. And the last time I looked it up, it was like 700 bucks. Which at this point, I want to say it's got to be a thousand plus. Yeah. So a beautiful head huntress. I'm going to say $65. 65 bucks for a regular rare. What? $65 for a regular rare? Is it possible? It's a hundred dollars. Let's find these cards. <laughs> I don't know. Who I don't know. But these cards? Yeah, these regular rares out of Tournament Pack 2, if you have not ever like to look these up before, almost all of them are like 50 plus dollars. And some of them like are 100 or 200 dollars. This card I remember was up to like 200 at one point. It's insane because none of them insane. have reprints. It's like the only version. So they're extremely expensive. I also just threw myself off because I had something mixed up on my thing and I was very confused there. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, we're good. Uh, we don't have to change any of the quiz. Good. Okay, question number eight. This is an interesting one because you have pulled this card before. Harpy's Pet Dragon Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. It was a while ago though, so we'll see how the price has changed. $350. $350. He knows it right off the bat. How long ago was it? It was like two years ago when you pulled this? Two years ago. Two years ago. I remember this and I was, I was very jealous because I got the Shining Dragon and then you pulled all the other good secret rares. <laughs> yep. He pulled everything else besides that. I think I just I think I just sold that PSA 8 for like 350 bucks. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. All right. Harpy's Pet Dragon Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. This is what I wanted to ask, but when I clicked in, there was only one listing. This, so this is what I did on sales. So okay. the listing was 600. I was like, that's too high. So I checked the sales. There's two sales around $300. So I went with $300 on the price. So you basically nailed it for a PSA 350, 300 for the actual raw price. So yeah, pretty close. Not Where bad. Where did you right look up the two. price? Because that might've been mine. <laughs> Oh, uh, was it on? Did you sell it on TCG Player? No, I sent I sent it to Z and G. Oh, okay, I got it on, on TCG. But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I figured it, it, it's three fifty. It's usually PSA eight is near mint quality. Yep. All right, not bad, not bad. We've got the last two, which we will be asking at the same time. You still got both lifelines, so you can use both of them here if you want to. Okay. Here we go. Question number nine. We have Dark Magician of Chaos Ultra Rare from Dark Revelation Volume 2. And then question 10. We have Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare First Edition from Force of the Breaker. And I get a new one for Dark Magician Revelation. Okay, yes, we will we will change that one. So we're going to use our second to last lifeline and get a new question for question nine. Oh, before we do that, I want to see what you would have guessed on it. And uh, give me a guess and we'll reveal it later what it actually is. A hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Okay. So you would have guessed a hundred dollars. So you think it's in tier one you know on your guess so keep that in mind this replacement will be the same tier as that dark magician of chaos okay. if it if that helps you anything okay the replacement question that we have is wave motion cannon champion pack five super rare near mint <laughs> most of these are like packs that just never opened wait champion pack five that was spirit reaper wasn't it um was it spirit i don't think it was spirit i think spirit reaper was no it was spirit reaper. yeah you're right you're right so i gotta answer them in order right so i answer harpy harpy queen first no you can you can answer whatever you want but i'm not gonna reveal them until you've answered both so you can do whatever you want but you do have you still have a tier question so if you should probably use that if i do the tier question that's gonna only apply to one of these right one of the two yeah you have to pick which one can i get the tier one for harpy queen uh wait wait before you do that before you do that you're guaranteed to have a tier you have three tiers tier twos already uh -huh. you have two tier one so you know one of these two is a tier one and one is random so yeah. if you still want to do harpy queen i just want you to have that information you know one of these two is a tier one one of these two is a tier one it's gotta be the first one it's gotta be harpy queen because i know spear reaper is still kind of desired and kind of pricey and let's do let's do a uh, tier on wave motion cannon wave motion cannon is tier one. Oh, i should just go my gut go for the heart yeah. <laughs> i messed you up i thought you would i thought you, you did mix them, me because I, I was like are you hinting well, I, are you hinting? i wanted to i just wanted you to know that one of them was tier one well, i I, fi I figured that much i just figured you know with the way you set me up i was like is harpy queen just okay wave motion cannon uh tier uh, tier one is like what one to 75, right? Uh, zero to 100. Zero to 100, okay. Your $100 guess was in tier one on your Dark Magician of Chaos, so. I'm gonna keep it safe and just say 50 bucks for a wave motion cannon. Okay, 50 bucks on that one. And Harpy right, Queen that. Ultimate Rare. See, this is the tricky part because Force of Breaker, can I ask when he, what year it came out? I think Force of the Breaker was, it was GX era late, yes. so it was probably 2007, I think. Ooh, okay. Maybe early 2008, but I'm pretty sure it was 2007. No, it had to be 2007, I think. 
yeah 2007 harpy queen harpy queen is kind of an iconic card i'm gonna guess 400 bucks 400 dollars and i'm only on basing queen. it off because i remember horus is insanely expensive as an ultimate rare and that came out in 2005 horus was horus might have been 2004 actually right right, uh, right 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 okay so you're sure on that 400 yes okay all right here we go let's do the reveal we'll start with the dark mission of chaos which doesn't count but i want you to know how close you were you shouldn't have switched that question <laughs> was it 100 bucks it was 88 bucks okay okay and that was based off two sales because like the lowest was 175 but it was the only one so it was two 88 dollar ones dark beginning and dark revelation i know nothing about other than they're very weird because sometimes the cards are really cheap sometimes yeah. they're not it's yeah those are hard okay so now you know you're in tier one the wave motion cannon you guess 50 it's eighty dollars. Why? Well, I guess wave motion cannon can still be kind of used, and it's yeah, and it's that super out of champion yeah. pack. Those, those are always like kind of expensive, even if they're not like that expensive. Mm -hmm. And finally, the Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare, your final waifu. I gave you like seventy percent waifus in this in this quiz. This card is Ultimate Rare First Edition Force of the Breaker, one hundred and forty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> What's the original rarity for that? This is it. That's it? There's no like uh, like regular rare or ultra rare? Well, it has a regular rare in the same set. Okay, so regular rare. So just an ultimate rare, regular yeah. rare. Ah, yeah, I it's a retail rare. I figured it was like an ultra rare in ultimate rare. Yeah. Therefore, it's, it's a regular up. rare. So like it's actually a really nice like regular rare ulti, like crazy nice. But I was the, the unlimited's 100 and the first set's only 145, which is kind of weird. Normally, mm -hmm. they're like a lot more for first edition. But I guess people like this card, but not that much to pay like crazy amounts for it. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> yeah it's pretty I'm not gonna lie. I mean, when you when you asked me to do this i figured you're gonna have like all the og cards like well, how much is jinzo how much is blue eyes will be <laughs> i'm good with those <laughs> so when i thought when i was doing yours first of all i can't use like duplicates so i there's i right, right. used a bunch of them then i'm like I, I gotta ask rhyme a bunch of waifus that'll just be funny mm -hmm. and like you know that actually is probably hard to answer all the waifus because you never really know they could be any price like yeah. maybe it's been overlooked or maybe it's like one people have hyped up to like five times the price it should be but so it's really hard to keep up with those so you probably had a tougher quiz than a lot of people but i just thought it was appropriate i'm still thinking about how the water charmer is a thousand bucks that's wild to me <laughs> yeah the, the water charmer being a thousand i mean that that was a tough one uh that one's getting thrown out for sure because that was uh, you know easily your biggest one i'm gonna add up all these we're gonna see where you finished in uh you know total compared to everyone else a few moments later all right rhyme are you ready to hear what you got <laughs> as ready as i can be if he is within one percent of the actual you know price you guys will win a thousand dollars if he's within five percent five hundred dollars if he's within ten percent two hundred fifty dollars twenty five percent hundred dollars within fifty percent fifty dollars so like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know in the comments how rhyme style did and who else you want to see on the series rhyme what are you thinking which which tier do you think you're it's in it's gotta be bad okay it's gotta be bad all right okay the current worst is farfa at 39 percent off do you think you beat him no Oh, no, no, there's no way. All right, let's just go through what it was. The total value of all the cards I asked you is $2,441. Okay. You were off by $824. Mm -hmm. You also got five out of 10 tiers correctly. So you get $50 subtract from that. So you were $774 off out okay. of the 2,441. So we divide that in. You were 31.71% off. So you are not the worst. Second Let's to go. worst. <laughs> yeah. So you, hey, you're official. You're like 7% off. So it's all good. <laughs> you officially won $50 for the viewers of the channel. Rhyme Style, thanks a lot for being here. This was a lot of fun. I like Appreciate to bring it. in a lot of these cards for you that I, I figured you just even wouldn't even know. So it'd just be funny. So but, this is the part where you send me all those cards now, right? Hey, hey uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you all $2,441 worth. Well, no, that's for the upgraded version. I want PSA 10s each. Okay, I'll make sure to grade them all. <laughs> uh, in, in like three years when I get all 10s, I'll send them to you. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rob. So anything else you want to say before we leave? Uh, Yes. What would this cost? Um, five dollars to me. Five dollars. That's a good deal. You should drive a hard bargain. I'm gonna have to accept that. Okay, yeah. You guys might see that in an upcoming video. I will be unboxing my black label Dark Magician <laughs> Girl that I bought for five dollars from Rhyme Style. Rhyme Style, thanks again for being here. Make sure you guys go check out him on YouTube, his second channel on YouTube, which we will try and make him post there <laughs> soon. And then check out his Twitch channel where he streams sometimes as well. And thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. 
Ak is a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player turned streamer and YouTuber. He is known for his rapid success in the Yu-Gi-Oh competitive scene in which he won a remote dual YCS soon after he started playing. He is also known for his technical YouTube videos and Twitch streams where he teaches his viewers optimal plays in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to episode 12 of Guess That Price. Today's guest is Pack. How are you doing today, man? Pretty good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good for this. You feeling confident? You ready to go? I, I don't know if confidence or I wear, but I'm excited. This is really, really fun. I, I like this uh this series that you've been putting on. So I'm I'm glad I can hop on as a guest. All right, so uh there's a wide range at this point. You know, there's been eleven episodes, there's a lot of different, you know, some people have done really bad, some people have done in the middle, some people have done great. So I'm interested to see where you fall. Uh, I'm not trying to put any pressure, but I have high expectations. So mm. let's see what you can do. Oh no. <laughs> okay, sure. But if, if you don't do well, it's okay. You always can be like, yeah, I have like one tournaments and all that stuff. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so uh, exactly. All right, Pat, question number one. Our first card that I will be asking you is Tier Elements Rule Colos Starlight Rare First Edition from ah, Darkwing Blast. So it's a nice. newer card. It's a newer card. Dude, this is awesome. I'm a proud owner of one of these myself. Okay. okay so Tier Element Rukalo. Man, I think like I actually opened one at I think YCS Minneapolis. I opened one out of my booster box actually uh, the, the day before the YCS. Um, and I, I believe... opened one with with Simo. With Simo, at yeah, Pasadena, I saw that. So yes. we have had good luck at YCSs <laughs> with this card. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I, if I remember correctly, I think at the height during Minneapolis, this card was at around three hundred dollars, but it's calmed down quite a bit. I know it's been declining in price, like most archetype starlights do. So, oh, damn, I want to say like, I want to say like two fifty. Closer to 200 range, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay, <laughs> but, you got but, a range set in place. Yeah, you think yeah. you're right, or what, what do you got? I do think I'm in like the 200 ish range. Um, so let me think. I'm gonna guess, I'm just gonna go with my gut and say like 230. 230, okay, we're gonna yep. go with the gut. 230, you said 200 to 250 on your first one. That yep. was your kind of your range on question one. I will tell you this, it's in that range. It's in there somewhere, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, the correct answer for the Tier Elements Rule Close Starlight First Edition from Darkwing Blast is Two hundred and sixteen dollars. Oh, okay, close. Let's go. So you're super close. You got the right tier, and I, I'm just gonna like reiterate that if you're in the right tier, you get a ten dollar credit added on yep. at the end for each one. So okay. you're essentially four dollars off here, which is a great start. Okay, nice. Um, and if you do happen to get it right on, you get a twenty five dollar credit. So I would be happy to see that. It's only happened twice in this is the twelfth episode, so it's very unlikely to happen. All right, let's go to question two. It's a great start pack. Here's one of my favorite cards: the Millennium Shield Ultimate. Ultra, ultra rare, oh not ultimate, my. from McDonald's, pack one. So it's a nice. classic pack. Nice, nice, nice. That card's in the, I think, in your background, right? So that's It is sweet. a giant fake version of it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is one of those cards I have no idea, um, quite frankly. I, I think I'm probably going to use the lifeline on, on this because I feel like if yeah. I'm off, like I'm basically just like screwed for the, for the, the rest. Right, you know what? If you have no idea, you might want to figure it out, yeah. Okay, so I will probably... Swap this one out. Okay, uh, I like yeah. it. Early swap. People Early don't usually swap. do that. I think you're the first person to use that one first. So I actually like that strategy because a lot of times, I don't know if you remember this, but this, mm -hmm. whatever card this this is in, yep. the, the replacement question is also in that same tier. Oh, So nice. if you know the next one, it can maybe help you out or whatever. So, okay. all right, let's get you your new question. What would you have guessed? Let's just let's just see what it would have been. Honestly, I probably would have guessed like, like 20 bucks maybe. Like, I, I think this is a tier one card personally because okay i feel like those mcdonald promo i guess we're looking at near mint right so yeah everything everything's near mint unless i say specifically not i don't know like i, I just feel like it's in like the tier one range yeah. keep that in mind for your next question if you think okay. this is tier one the next one's you know gonna be tier one if you're right about that all right your replacement okay. question your first lifeline has been used use the swap which i think can sometimes be good saying can sometimes be terrible it just depends on if you know the next <laughs> card or not so let's see if you know this one it is clear wing synchro dragon ghost rare ah. first edition from cross souls oh okay wait a second oh my god this card could be like 80 bucks or 120 bucks i don't know why that's what i'm thinking because okay. I feel like a lot of these ghost rares weren't like this is like one of those like not too expensive ghost rares I feel like I definitely don't see being a tier three so I see it in between like the I guess one to two fifty range um, at okay least at this point I guess like the thing that I have to like reason through is whether or not I think the McDonald's promo is a tier one or a tier two right? yeah and then, yeah because if you think this yeah. is tier two do you think the McDonald's got up to the tier two or do you think it's was the tier one like you originally thought and this is maybe cheaper than you thought maybe the McDonald's promo could be a tier two card like over a hundred plus dollars. 
I'm trying to think. Did you have you have you opened these in one of your videos? I feel like I've watched one of your openings. I you have, have right? but it's been like three years. I opened a bunch of these a long time ago. I pulled like five of these in one video one time, which was crazy. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a that's a hint. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Is it a hint? I don't know. <laughs> I've been I've been known to uh, get some flack from the comments for maybe uh, edging people certain ways. Okay. I all right. I'm gonna guess eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Okay. So yeah. you're going down to the tier one so you have yep. decided based on me pulling five millennium shields that's probably a tier one that's what you're <laughs> thinking over here so yep. okay 80 bucks that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna lock it in you used your first uh lifeline here yep. you, so far you've technically dropped the first one but you know mm -hmm. we're not that's not gonna be your your worst one you only lost yep. four dollars so let's see how bad this one is you replaced it with the clear wing synchro dragon ghost rare first edition of cross holes you said 80 bucks yep it is $66. Oh my God. Yes. Let's go. So that was a good decision to oh lower my God. it down. The okay. Millennium Shield, you guessed 20. It's actually $58. Oh, 58. So okay. You okay, were okay. right that it's a tier one and yep. it's not like that hard to get because there was only a couple of ultra rares in the McDonald's pack. There was only like, yep. I think 15 total cards. It, it's, it was just too prevalent there. Like okay. everyone kind of had it. So even with the nostalgia, it doesn't quite hold the value, but yeah. very good guess. You're essentially $4 off twice now with you getting to the right <laughs> tier. So oh my very good stuff. Start. We're looking good. Let's go to question three. Okay. All right. Question three. A great start. I mean, you can't do much better than how you have started. So let's see if you can keep it up. Mm -hmm. We have Skyscraper Ultimate Rare First Edition from oh. Cybernetic Revolution. Oh my God. I own this card. <laughs> this is sick. Oh, but I don't remember how much I bought it for so long ago. <laughs> well, that might uh, not help you then if it was a long time ago. Yeah. It, well, it was like a year ago during height of COVID. So like, okay, yeah. I feel like it, it's probably a little bit less because everything has been you know, dampening down a little bit. Do you have like any idea what you paid or is you, you just completely forgot? I want to say like in the tier one range, like probably like 60 to 80. Uh, maybe I, I don't remember for sure uh -huh. if I were to guess that's where that's probably the ballpark I would guess in to be honest I hmm, I kind of want to get these like early ones right so I'm gonna use the tier check here the, okay the, all right yeah. nice so yeah. you were you're you were thinking tier one I was thinking tier one yeah it's good thing you use this because this is a tier two card a tier two card okay gotcha okay so if I'm trying to think of hero cards and like ranges I, I would say like this is probably a hundred to two hundred dollar card then I don't think it's at the end of 250. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's CRV though, Cybernetic Revolution. I mean, but this was one of the easier ultimate rares, I feel like, to grab it. Yeah, I think this is just a retail. Isn't this just it, a regular yeah. rare, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a regular rare. Yeah, it's not a hobby yeah. ulti. Yeah. yeah. I'll go between my 150, 200 guess. I'll go. I'll go 175. All right, 175. Yep. We're splitting the difference. You've used your second lifeline. Early First time it paid off pretty well. Let's see if it pays off this time. Your question three answer of 175. The correct answer is $190. Oh, let's go. So these are paying off. You're only five okay. off. Technically, that's your worst guess yet, but still yeah. pretty good. Okay, You're only nice. $5 off. Not yeah. bad. This is a great start. You still got seven questions to go. You still... I mean, you've dropped one technically, but you haven't really had a bad one yet. And then you yeah. have one more. You have a lower or higher, t uh, you know, lifeline to go. So let's go to question four. Let's see if you can keep it up. OK, uh, this is kind of a, a, a messed up image, but a TCG player has terrible images sometimes. But <laughs> okay. question number four is Icarus attack super rare from Dark Revelation. 4. Nice, 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 nice. This one is actually quite expensive. This is a tier two card. I'm, I'm like super positive. It could be a tier three. It, it could be on like the lower end of a tier three card. Because I was actually right. looking at this for for Black Wings for for Edison format. I mean, DR DRs are just an amazing sets. So if I were to guess Acris Attack's price, I would honestly go for 200. But I'm gonna think a little bit on that. It, it might just be a tier three card because DRs are just like so expensive. Yeah, you have had two tier twos already. So if this is a yeah. tier two, that would be all of them except for your be, potential fourth. Exactly, exactly. So I feel like I've seen a light plate for 170, 180 when I was checking TCG player like last week. <laughs> so I want right. to say. Uh, but I could be wrong. I, I don't remember for sure. For sure. Keep in mind, it's all near mint. So I know that's could what be I'm a saying. little different with that. So if I guess 250, am I technically guessing you're a tier, tier two? Three? If you say 250, 251 is tier three. What, what could it be? Uh, it's probably like uh, maybe it's 280. I think. Okay, I'll guess 270. 270. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go with 270. You're basically uh, you're basically assuming that I would not put three tier twos in the first four questions is what you're assuming here. I, um, yeah. So we're going to find out. Am I, are you right about that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I could be easily wrong. Okay. So wait, 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 before, before you lock it in, let me think one more time. 
<laughs> okay, oh all right, okay. We won't lock it in. It's Wait, not the, locked in. The, I feel like you're mind gaming me. I feel like I feel like I'm not. I'm just reiterating <laughs> what happened. I'm just reiterating what I, happened. I feel like you might have like Nibiru, and I'm summoning more than five times. Right well, now. here's the thing. It, it's like <laughs> the difference is between me and you dueling is I want you to do well. I'm not trying to That's make you true. do bad. So it, it's a little bit different. If I if I'm just saying it i'm probably not trying to make you do worse okay the, the reason is because like my memory is like messing with me right now like i feel like somewhere in my brain tells me i saw this at like 200th other day and, and like i just don't remember for sure that's the issue right now so i'm trying to okay. see is my brain lying to me am i just like seeing things it, it could be it could definitely be lying to you oh my god okay you know what i'll lock in at 270 i'll lock in at okay let's yeah. all right let's let's stay with 270 yeah. we'll find out if i tricked you or not the answer you locked in at 270 yep. is Three hundred dollars. Oh my God! Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So if you got a two hundred, that would have been a huge mistake. So good yeah. decision. Yeah, this one, this is probably one where the case is like the near men is way more than the light play yep. for some weird reason. Uh, you probably did see a light play at like one seventy or one eighty, and okay. of course Blackwing and Edison has probably made this thing go crazy yep. recently. And of course DR four with those weird prices, like they're always so expensive. It's kind of yep. like retro pack. You're just yep. like, why is this so expensive? I mean, it's kind of hard to find, but. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. So <laughs> it ended up being a good guess for you. You're, this will be your one you've dropped so far. Only 20 bucks off after okay. the credit. So nice. I okay, mean, okay. you basically have one free in the next six that you can miss pretty badly. Oh, OK. Come on. I got to I got to do well. I was watching Gage's episode. So Gage's been crushing it. <laughs> Trying to get pumped up. It's yeah. like watching, listening to Eye of the Tiger, watching Gage guess prices or something. Yeah. No, I was actually doing it. I was, I was actually reacting to it on, on stream. Dude, I, I've been really enjoying the series, so. I was like, dude, this is sick. <laughs> okay, so this is what we need you to do. Okay. You cannot let your stream down. All right, if you're in pack stream yep. and he is sucking later, <laughs> you have to let him know, okay? Know. If he's doing great, yeah, give him a sub or something. Okay, yep. let's go to question five. This is the halfway point after this one. So let's see if you can really kill it through halfway. Okay. I assume you've seen this. Okay, I, I would say I assume you haven't seen it, but I just assume you've seen all these cards, but you haven't been around that long, so maybe you've never seen this card. The Great Bill. Rare oh. from World Championship 2010 card. Oh pack. my God, it's a rare though. It's a rare. Yes, but I I have I have seen this card, and I do know that yeah. the WC 11s and WC 10s are like million bucks. Like they're so expensive. The super yeah. the supers are like you know eclipsing five six hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, the so. 2011s are all all foil, and then the 2010 yeah. is all rares. I think. Oh my God, but these rares are like not normal rares, bro. They're they're like crackhead rares. Like they're like True. probably eighty buck rares. Like let me think. The Great Bill. Interesting. Uh, so it's funny because I, I know in, I think, WC11, I think Drollbird. Is it Drollbird in WC11? It's a super, uh, right? I, I think, forgot. yeah, it's some, it's Droll something, yeah. Because it's like, you think Droll and Lockbird, but then it's just like the random regular one, isn't there? So funny story, on one of my deck lists, I wrote Drollbird instead of Droll and Lockbird. Oh, no. <laughs> so I got a game boss, and the judge was like, you got to find a Drollbird. I'm like, bro, how am I supposed to find this? There's only one print. <laughs> it was only like, 2011? Yes, there's only oh, one print. Oh, and it was yeah. probably like $400 <laughs> too, like, or something yep. like that. So I'm just like, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, rookie mistake. Um, okay, so Great Bill. World Championship 2010 card pack. Damn. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with the super rare prices for like the World Championship 2011, but 2010, like I, I never, I, I don't think I've ever looked at into them. Yeah. It's um, like, because nobody really cares about this one as much because it's rare. Yeah. I will wager a guess that it's like a, probably a really expensive rare, but in the tier one category. So I'll say like 80 bucks is my guess all right eighty dollars yep. on the great bill i just had to put this one on here because it's just hilarious looking i <laughs> yeah. saw it going through and i was like we got to use this one this is yeah. too funny so okay you did have some familiarity with the pack a lot of people would probably be like um what what set what, is this i've never this? seen yeah. it before so okay you, you kind of knew great bill rare world championship card pack uh, you said 80 bucks. You've said that right off the bat. You're like, it's probably like an $80 rare. Yeah. I was over here like, oh my gosh, it's a $77 rare. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> yes. I was okay. like, please guess that. Just stick with your gut. Yeah. All right, 80 bucks. So that one you're like within the tens, you're gaining back oh like God. stuff. Nice. Oh nice. my goodness. So oh at this God. point, the recap is two tier ones, two tier tiers, one tier three. So you do have yep. two potential or maybe even three of those dreaded tier threes left yep. Yep. that yep. it could really mess you up. But so far, like your score is unbelievable. We're halfway through. <laughs> if we got oh. a half time right now, how are you feeling? I feel good so far. This is it's been tough, though, because um, especially like the great bill one. I honestly thought like it could be like maybe 110, you know, like one of those like or that uh -huh. are like between the tier one tier two. So it's a little tricky. I just went with my my, my gut because I've seen a lot 
lot of cards like that are like these expensive and like using like 80 plus range. So I was like, I'll just guess 80, but glad it worked out. <laughs> that was a great guess. Okay, let's go to question six. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. All right, question six. We have Destiny Hero Ooh. Dreadmaster Ultimate Rare First Edition from Enemy of Justice. Enemy of Justice. Wow. I that this is this is an awesome set. I, I love these GX sets. I hate this set personally, but oh, because it does is it because of like the cars are like not in great condition? When no, it was because at one point I bought nine of these hobby boxes. It was a few years ago, two hundred dollars each, so it was like a pretty good deal. And I was trying to pull the shining or the elemental oh. phoenix enforcer and shining yep. phoenix enforcer. I mean, I you know how there's four ultras per GX set. Yep. I pulled one ultra ulti, and it was <laughs> the Voltanus the Adjudicator, whatever no. his name was. Oh wait, so I didn't even pull the Dreadmaster, so no. I pulled nothing good. It was so sad. I was just like, wow, wait. what a waste. It's funny you brought that up because I think I watched that. <laughs> I think I watched you despair as you like kept opening Enemy of Justice. <laughs> I, I know. I was like, oh, it's got to be this one, right? That was before I realized how hard ultra ultis were to pull. Yeah. But and yeah, that, that was a depressing set for me. I love this card artwork. So I was like, if I just pull this instead, I'll be happy. I didn't even get this one. So yeah, no, this is a beautiful card. So Dreadmaster. So, I mean, it's a hero card. I, hero cards. I, man, I think like this is, it's an ultra ulti like you, like you mentioned. So I want to say like 300 is my guess. Cause I feel like, I feel like it's probably in the 300 plus it's collector. It's a really cool collector card. Astro Phoenix summoned it in the anime. Like if I were to guess, I, I would guess it to be a tier three card, but it could also be a, easily a very high tier two so like a 200 plus card as well so i think like for me i have to like flip a coin on the either i guess in the 200 range or the 300 range and i would go with 300 so i'll, I'll say I'll, I'll just throw a random number out there like let's say 315 315 okay yep. all right so you're thinking this is our second tier three that would put us at two of each which would make sense let's see if i made sense when i made this or not <laughs> <laughs> honestly i i just do it kind of random so here okay. we go all yep. right here we go destiny hero dreadmaster ultimate rare First edition from Enemy of Justice. You said 315. Yep. This is your first one. You're gonna definitely gonna have to drop this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. 450 is the real oh, answer. So okay. it's not terrible, but yep. it's also, you know, you're looking to be closer to that. But you didn't yep. actually miss it that bad. It is yep. a pretty expensive card. This one was kind of weird because there was like a eight hundred dollar listing and then the four fifty, but I thought this was a pretty reasonable price for this card. Yeah, uh, just for like the GX stuff and, and the hero and all yep. that. But yeah, this is a tough one because there wasn't I was looking everywhere. There wasn't like any listings like on eBay or anything. It was crazy. So I was like, this is a pretty tough one so not a bad guess you're getting to drop that one though so yeah. you got four questions left question seven we have solemn strike ultimate rare for oh. ots4 i think I, I think i know it off the bat i think it's one 179 or, or 179 but I, have, okay. I, I, have to, I have to think a little bit more but i want to say this card has definitely gone down in price uh -huh. over the years but it is definitely between 180 to 220 like between that range for sure you said 179 why did yeah. you say that specifically Be because i remember like look someone was like trying to sell these i think and i remember looking the price up and i think i saw 179 like, okay yeah so i want to and that's why I said that off the bat, but it could also, yeah. maybe, maybe I saw 179 and that's like 85% of 220 or something like that. So maybe that's what it could have been. That would so. be an interesting way to remember it. You remember yeah. the 85%? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I want to, hmm. Also, it's like near mid. So maybe it's, I mean, my conservative guess would be like 200. And I feel like I probably would be in a decent position. So your conservative guess would be 200. Your aggressive yeah. guess would be the one you remember, the 179. Yeah, the 179. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so are you a conservative guy or an aggressive guy? Uh, I'm pretty conservative, I would say. I'll, I think I will well, I'll go 190. How about that? 190. You're going to split the difference between the two. Okay. I like the strategy. I like the strategy. Okay. He's going to go 190. Are you locking that in? I'll lock in 189, actually. Just 189, <laughs> just in case so you can be exactly right if it's 179. Yep, exactly. Okay, but if it is 179 and you get it right, that's $25. I'm just uh, throwing that out there. Oh, so, that's hard. Because it feels like you want to guess 179, but you're not. I'm just, okay, I'm just okay. wondering How if about you want to do it or not. I'll guess 179. Let's do it. Content. Run it. Okay, you want to go 179. Yep. You're trying to get the $25 bonus. That's a big deal, especially since that. you missed one by 125. You could get yep. some of that back. Okay, yep. all right. 179 you wanted to do that i just asked you if you wanted to do yeah, it yep, the yep. answer is 178 no! <laughs> no 
You don't get the 25 bonus, but you do get $1 off plus 10. So you're still doing really well. A great guess, a huge one. <laughs> I, it's, I figured this would be like a, the, a sort of playable high-end card that you would probably yeah. know. So yeah. I put this one in there. I was like, this is probably one he'll know. But because, yeah. you know, I, I don't want to give some that are hard, some that like mm -hmm. you have a better chance of knowing. Yeah. And uh, you did. You had just checked it, apparently. So <laughs> when you started going until 200, I was like, no, don't do that, please. So fun fact, this was actually one of the, like when I first started playing the game in like 2019, late 2019, this was one of the first Ultimate Rares I've ever bought. It was actually my second ultimate rare ever that I bought. So, oh wow. Um, so it's it's I still have it. So it's a pretty iconic card for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's perfect then. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely nailed it on that one. In this case, you're back in the driver's seat. You got three questions left. Ooh. You've dropped one that's not that bad, and then you have. Yeah. Don't forget your lower or higher tier uh, question, or not yep, tier, yep, but yep, lower yep. or higher mm -hmm. question. Okay. I'm saving that. I'm saving that. <laughs> yeah, you're saving it because you know nine yep. and ten come up at the same time. So we're gonna yep. do number eight here. Pretty good so far, pack. All right. I'm getting a little nervous that I might have to give away a lot of money. I paid a bunch of people out yesterday, and that was painful. It was awful. Oh, no. So oh, here no. we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I'm going to have okay. to pay out another 500 like gauge. We'll okay. have to see. Millennium Miser Strike, Secret Pharaoh's Rare First Edition from Magnificent Mavens. A new set. I don't know if you've checked the prices of these or not. Yep, yep, yep. This is awesome. I, I haven't checked the price on this, but I, I like immediately I could tell it's a tier one card. It, it's just, it's impossible to be tier three, uh, but it's definitely in the tier one card. Like I would probably guess like 60 if I have to. But these secret pharaohs are awesome. Like I, I know, I feel like the cheapest pharaohs rare secret is like out of magical mavens, probably within the 60, 60, 50 range. Maybe, maybe like forty for like the really bad ones. There's so many of them. There's like there's 18. so many. Yeah, but yeah. this is a playable one. Um, and there's like some unplayable ones that are like definitely cheaper. I would reckon a guess at like I'm just gonna throw like a random number. Fifty eight. Fifty eight dollars. Okay, five eight. You said sixty off the bat, and then you changed it to fifty eight. So yeah, you feel like you have like a good grasp on these because there's. So, have you been checking the prices of them or like what? Have you followed these? I uh, I buy a lot of cards, <laughs> but right. I don't really sell them that often. So I usually right. just like, I always try to keep up to date on like cards that I'm interested in. And this was definitely one of them, but I yeah. don't know for sure. Because like I said, Magical Mavens, a lot of the set tanked, including the, yeah. the, uh, the cool stuff, like the Pharaoh's rare stuff. Like, honestly, I can even see myself guessing the forties, to be honest with you, just cause a lot of this set like tanked. Like, honestly, you know what? I'll change it. I I'm gonna guess 40, 45 for fun. So you're changing your guess. Yep. To 45. What made you do that? It's just like. Ah, the secret fair was, ah, but actually remember how I said it was like the cheapest like 40 ish and this is like yeah you said playable? that you said that earlier okay all right fine 57 57 okay so we're yep. going 58 45 57 so you are yep. sure about 57 okay 57 I'm locking in that's it no, okay no. 57 all yep. right okay we're all we're bouncing all over the place but really okay. it's a very small range Millennium Eyes Restrict Secret Pharaohs are first edition of Magnificent Mavens you went the wrong way no it's $59 <laughs> So you no! lost one dollar, but it's better than the forty-five. <laughs> it could have been worse. If you had gone up one, that would have been an epic oh. change. Oh my god, that would have been epic. Yeah. Hey, man, that's still really good though. You nailed it that it's tier one. That's our third tier one. Okay. I think we've had three tier two and two tier three. So going yep. into question nine and ten, you know there's a tier three in here. Yep. The other one, completely random. So are you Ooh. ready for those last two? I'm excited. I, I can't wait. The, the last two are always cool because I feel like you always put up the, the heat at the last two. So it, it's, it's yeah. where you can really make or break it if you did well or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm scared. Question nine. Ooh. We have Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare oh, First Edition from Tactical damn. Evolution. Okay. And then at question 10, Toon Cannon Soldier Ultra Rare from Tournament Pack oh. 6. <laughs> of course, that's a hard one. That's a good one. That's a really good hard one. I like that. That's hey, you've got it. You've got one lifeline left if okay, you want to use so it on either we of have, these. We have a higher or lower lifeline, right? You I do. think the Ken Soldier, I want to guess in within the two to 300 range. It could be more. It's a Tournament Pack card, which is... I mean, that's like one of the first sets of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! prize support, right? Tournament-wise? Yep. The sixth. That's six. That's the sixth, the sixth one. But this one was more distributed, I guess. There's like, um, I guess, European versions of this as well. <sighs> but let me think. Tactical Evolution, Rainbow Dragon, Ghost Rare, First Edition. Not the misprint. The Which one's the tier three? I I, I want to say the, the Rainbow Dragon is a tier three. they could technically both be. But they could, I, you yeah, know I think one is one. One of them is definitely one of the tier three. I think they could easily bo be both tier threes, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's an ultra from TP6. Like, any ultra TP cards are just worth a lot, right? Like, Roy Decree, like, it's worth a lot. Like, I'm trying to think of any other ones. I mean, Morphing Jars uh, so are So it's different. Mech Chaser, Morphing Jar, Needle yep. Worm, Royal Decree, Luminous yep. Soldier, DD Warrior, and then uh, the Magical Arm Shield. Okay, I, I think I definitely have to use a higher 
Galore. I mean, what else am I going to use it? Yep, got to use it. The Rainbow Dragon's an easy one to, like, mess up, but I think, like, worst case, it gets dropped, I guess, and I'll keep the, the third one, which is, like, True, that's off. a good point. Yeah, if you just but get I, one of these close, like, then at worst, you have, like, 125 yeah. miss. Okay, I'll go with the higher or lower, so I, I'll pick a, I pick a number, right? And you'll tell yeah, me. Yeah, you pick a number. Okay. If you do happen to get it exactly right, then that would be the first time ever that's happened, and then I'd just <laughs> have to tell you uh, to okay. neither. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll say for Toon Cannon Soldier, a uh, higher or lower, $300. $300. Okay, yep. final lifeline of this entire quiz. You're doing really well so far. Hopefully, this will help you do even better. Toon Cannon Soldier Ultra Rare from Tournament Pack 6 is lower than $300. Okay, lower than $300. Okay, that's, yeah, like I said, I, I thought it was in the 200 range. So, wow, it's lower than, maybe I should have said 250 That would have been better, I guess. But... Oh, what if what if the Rainbow Dragon was the tier three and then the Toon Cannon Soldier was the wild card? That would be funny because they could easily not both be tier threes. I don't know. You, all you know is one of them is a tier three. <sighs> okay, Rainbow Dragon, Ghost Rare. Honestly, I'm probably gonna guess in the in like the 1,000 range, which is crazy. Um, but I don't know, but it's not a misprint though. It might actually be okay. Cheaper. Well, I will tell you the yep. max that there's nothing higher than a thousand. The, okay, it's nothing higher than a thousand. Okay. So you know there's a ceiling of a thousand. Okay, I'll guess six hundred fifty dollars for Rainbow Dragon, Toon Canyon Soldier, two hundred twenty-five dollars. All right, six. What do you say, six fifty? Yeah, six fifty. Rainbow for, for Rainbow Dragon. Yep. And then two twenty-five. Okay. All right. Pack. Final two answers. How are you feeling right now? Before we tell you how you did, dude. I'm so nervous. This this is like where it makes or breaks. You know, like the. the this whole is street. where you could either have a great time or you could just have ruined it yeah exactly normally this is where someone has swapped a question i have to do like three different ones but you did mm. it early yep. so let's just go for it so you know the toon cannon soldier is under 300 you know one of these is a tier three which one yep. do you want to hear first i'll hear the toon cannon soldier first all right your 10th yep. question toon cannon soldier ultra rare from tournament pack six you said 225 yep you know that's under 300 yep this card is Two hundred dollars. Oh my god! I was gonna guess two hundred. I'm sick. <laughs> if you had said, I, I was like, when you had like, we're gonna do the lower or higher on here. I was thinking, wait, if he might say two hundred, like, because if he's, because like, it's an like even number, so it's like, there's a chance that he goes like just straight up two hundred just to see if it's like really low. And I was like, if he says that, I'm gonna freak out. But yeah. either way, 225, still a pretty good guess. Now you know that this Rainbow Dragon is your tier three. This tier, the tier threes are where everything goes wrong. Yep. Where everything messes up. The good thing for you is the worst guess you've had so far is $135 yep. off. So mm -hmm. that's the worst you could possibly have. Do you yeah. think you got it with an 135? Okay, so it's plus minus. I, I honestly, I was gonna guess 500 for this, maybe 550. But yeah, I feel like I'm in what within the range. What made you go 650? I just, so like, I, I feel like when I looked at the price of these cards, I never see someone just list 500. I feel like someone always lists like 600, 650, maybe seven, eight. So okay. I just guess 650. You're I honestly inside the mind yeah. of the TCG player sellers. Yeah, now. exactly. I'm trying okay, to see how they right. think. <laughs> well, let's see if it worked. Your final card, Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare, first edition from Tactical Evolution. First, you said you were going to win the thousands. Then you just you change. You're like, ah, that's a little high. Then you're like 500. But no, TCG player sellers, they don't list at 500. They list in like random numbers, like yeah. 650. Well, the correct answer, uh, pack, unfortunately, no, is six hundred and forty dollars. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh you my god! That was crazy. You were like six fifty, and I was oh like, my oh, god. I was just like freaking out. Then you were like two twenty five. I was like, that's pretty close too. <laughs> oh my god! I was so okay. Like I said, my original guess was five. I wanted to go five. Then I'm like 800. Then I'm like, okay, what's ha what's halfway between five and eight? It's like yeah. 650. So I was going difference. in the middle. Yeah, because like like my worst guess was 135. So if I can pick something yeah. that's in the middle of like my two like unsure and I'm in the range, it's fine, right? So that was my yeah. thought process that I was like trying to guess too. So yeah, well, 650. All I know <laughs> is that it, this is going to be a really good score because you didn't oh miss my anything God. badly except the one that, that wasn't even that bad. It's like kind of an average miss. Yep. Uh, okay, we got to calculate these things and come back and see what you did. Okay, let's do it. A few moments later. All right, we are back with the results. Okay. Pac, how are you feeling right now? Bro, after the last two guests, I feel I feel amazing. But I feel you bad feel for your amazing. wallet. <laughs> okay, let's just throw this out there. If you're watching this video and you have not left a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, turn on notifications for this channel, you better do it because that's how you enter the giveaway to win. If you're if he's within one percent, one thousand dollars. If he's within five percent. 
$500. We're not even gonna go past that because he did so well. I'm not even, I'm not spoiling anything, but Ooh. we don't need to announce the rest. So it's gonna be somewhere big. So okay. make sure you guys leave a comment. Okay, time for the official announcement. All right. All right. These 10 questions that I asked you, yep. they totaled $2,376. Okay. You were off by, so we dropped the Destiny Hero De Dreadmaster. That was 135 bucks. So the, the other nine that, that we totaled up, this, this might be a little spoiler giveaway what oh. you're at, but the, the total from those nine, you were off by $114. Oh my God. You also got every tier correct. That means you Yo. get $100 off, Yo. which means you were off by a total of $14. Let's go. Which means you were 0.0059% off, which is officially <laughs> under 1%, which means you have won the $1,000 prize for someone watching this video. Oh my gosh, that is insane. That is insane. That's crazy. Not only that, you were off by like one or two or three, like multiple times. Like mm. you could have been negative. You were close to being negative. You Yo. hit those 25s. <laughs> that be, is insane. Crazy. People said it couldn't be done. They said it yep. couldn't be done, but you have officially not only beaten Gage, but you have taken a huge lead. I mean, you're like 0.5% is what we're at. <laughs> like that was an impressive performance pack. Pack, did, were you like doing like TCG player workouts? Were you like <laughs> studying before this? No. Like what happened? So, the thing is I've always been pretty good with car prices. I feel like I have a pretty decent memory. So like I, I buy and, and sell a lot. So, or I mean, I'm, I mainly buy, I don't really sell. And so <laughs> I, uh, I end up collecting a bunch of like really cool stuff over the years and um, there's always like really cool stuff like the the cars you list named like you know Dreadmaster, Toon Can, Soldier, Rainbow Dragon, which I, I still don't even own. Um, that I always like you know try to take a look at like maybe one day like if I have a little bit extra on the side I'll, I'll like you know consider buying. Right. So I also did like a I, I was I think a couple days ago I was doing a Twitch stream where I was like yo I think it'd be really cool if I can, can do this with Ruxin. Uh, let's watch yeah. some of these right and react to them. And like I was watching with my chat and I was like doing it on the side. I was doing pretty well on them too. So I yeah, made how did you do on your get? Do you remember like did you like calculate um, them or did you? Yeah, just, I, like... I did. I did. I was in like I was like so it's funny because the real one that I did with you I was yeah. in, like that was like my best score. The ones that I was doing like yeah. re reaction wise i was getting like three percent four percent so like i okay. felt like i yeah. was gonna do pretty solid and but yeah so i, I it, it yeah, uh you just went like insano mode right here and like <laughs> less than one i mean i put it at one because i wanted it to be really hard yeah. but i also knew it was possible yeah. and it's really good to see like because for a while we had a lot of people getting like the 100 hundred dollar prize range which is like mm -hmm. they did pretty decent but they like didn't do amazing Yep. And people were kind of like, oh, you should like up it. And I was like, this is a thousand dollars. Like I'm not upping yeah. it. I'm making somebody earn it. And you like you and I won't spoil it because you watch the, the show. Yep. But another mm -hmm. person recently did pretty well as well. But you have officially become number one. And uh, hey, yeah, so we've had a couple people like show that it's possible mm -hmm. to do really well. So yep. I'm, I'm super excited, even though I have to donate a thousand dollars to one of you guys. Uh, I, I'm, yep. I'm hyped because you did like the hardest thing to do so yeah. yeah pretty pretty awesome it took 12 episodes but hey we that's, did it that's pretty we did. good hey guys don't forget to comment like subscribe like ruxin is saying i mean bro you, you don't want to miss out on a thousand dollars and uh, this is super fun and i really enjoyed being on here so huge shout out to ruxin man this is awesome yeah make sure you guys go check out pax twitch stream and check him out on youtube thank you so much for showing up man it was awesome uh <laughs> just insane like that i can't believe how you well you did it was awesome anyone uh, thing you want to say for the end uh no no um i i enjoy doing things like this and uh this was great so uh i look forward to watching more people get on and do this so yeah and now you can always be like haha i'm the guy who's in first the whole time which is awesome so you can be like yeah those guys can't beat me so that was awesome thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe of course enter that giveaway and i'll see you guys in the next one peace, peace. is this the one percent is this the dream holy crap <laughs> all right we got we got to do the math but i don't think the math's even necessary at this point okay no <laughs> Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to donate out. <laughs> Curtis Connor is a commentary YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers. He is known for his hilarious videos, podcasts, and stand-up comedy shows. He has also delved into the trading card world once opening a Metal Raiders first edition box. Today, we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price, episode 13. Today's guest is Curtis Connor. Curtis, how you doing? Hi, good. How you... Um... Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. Very nervous, but 
I'm excited. So normally we have like, you know, just content creators. So they just, you know, make videos about cardboard. But now we have like a funny guy on here. So I don't know how this is going to like work. So there's a lot of pressure. You got to make people laugh this time. So it's, oh, a, it's up to you. OK. <laughs> All right. OK, there's no so pressure. much more pressure now. There's no pressure on that. But there is pressure that you are following the best guest we have ever had. He won the one thousand dollar prize for a giveaway. Yo, no way. It, that's sort of pressure, but it's also nice because I mean, it's already been done. You don't have to worry about it. You can just kind of do whatever you want now. Right. Yeah. Because before there was that pressure, like when, who's going to do it? Right. And now it's already been done. So, yeah, it's like maybe Curtis will be the one. But, you know, it's already happened. So <laughs> yeah. no big deal. It's all good. You can get the absolute worst prize. You're just going to do your best. Right. Totally. Totally going to happen. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to do my all best. All right. Question number one. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon Secret Rare from the 2002 Collector's Tin. Okay. And these are all raw, right? Like, no. Yeah, we're doing all near mint, like, TCG player low prices for, like, verified sellers. I'm not going to do any graded. I'm not going to do any, like, light play or anything weird like that. So we're just going with that. All right. Um, do you know this card? I'm familiar with it. Yes. Yeah, I was. Well, I wasn't sure like what like you would know a whole lot of. So I, I went with older cards. So I hope that was a good decision for you. It was. Yeah, I'm not okay. too up to date with the the current like modern stuff. But okay. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna go tier two. Okay. So you think it's in the tier two range? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so you're thinking 101 to 250, somewhere in there. Yeah. Interesting. All right, might be on the right track. <laughs> Damn. Could be, could not. I don't know. I can't really tell you. <laughs> oh, you do, though, have three life lots. So if you want to use those right off the bat, you could. I'm trying to think if I should go use one up first so I can, like, boost the confidence a little bit. Yeah. Do you like to, to start strong or finish strong? Which one? I'm going to use a lifeline, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what which tier it's in. How about? All right. We're starting. You want to start off strong. I like the strategy. Okay. Yeah. You before said you were thinking tier two. Yeah. With your first lifeline, I'm going to tell you if you're right or not. You are. It's a tier two card. Let's go. Okay. All right. So you're already in the right range. I feel like these aren't that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go 135. 135. Okay. $135. Curtis Connor. Here's the correct answer. $113. Okay. That's pretty good. That's, that's a good start. Yeah, 20 bucks uh, you, when you, So I can actually see you. I usually can't see the, the guests, but uh -huh. you made the, like you were going to say 13. And I was like, is he going to uh, say 113? And then damn. you made the 135. I was like, okay, still pretty good. If you Dang. had said 113, that would have been pretty impressive. But okay, still pretty good though, because you do get a bonus for each tier. You're in the right tier. So you get a $10 credit added, added back on at the end. And the Sick. last guy who got in the 1%, which was insane, uh, he got all the tiers right. And it basically boosted him up to get that top prize. So, wow. all okay. right, pretty good start. Let's go to the second one. Sly for the Sky Dragon, ultra rare for American god cards this is the gbi from the game boy game so there was the secret rare and then the ultra rare printing this is the ultra rare printing okay and this is from the game boy game yeah the the ones back in like 1999 or whatever it was this was my favorite i i never had this card but i wanted it so bad when i was a kid it was my favorite of the the god cards i think it's a little underrated so a lot of people like obelisk i think this one's pretty cool yeah i was i remember being like on the edge of my seat at that when they like the first battle with Life for the Sky Dragon, it was like... Yeah, the one with strings and when, like, they have all the revival jam and everything. Yeah. It's a great... It's a classic episode. I feel like everyone remembers that one, along with, like, the relinquished episodes and stuff. It's so iconic. I remember, like, on edge of my seat on Saturday morning. So, uh, a little background on this card is, like, they, they had the first wave, which was, like, the big secret... Prismatic secret rares. And I think you had to, like, pre-order to get those, but then everything... After that, they had the ultra rare version in it. So this was like the more common version of the card. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking because they must have printed so many of these because it's a, become with a Game Boy game. So I'm going to think tier one. I'm thinking tier okay. one. Lower end card. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, tier one. I think I'm going to go. Ah, uh, God. I think I'm going to do <laughs> 56 dollars 56 smackers all right curtis question two you said tier one you think okay they probably printed a lot of these probably not gonna be like 300 bucks because you know when it's in the game every time you know unless you're me and you open up a game boy game for the dds promos and they're not in there but mm -hmm. you know usually they're in there the slide for the sky dragon ultra rare from gbi this card is 39 dollars Okay. <laughs> You're kind of killing it right now. You're kind I'm... of a phenom at this. Okay. Have you been studying? No, literally not at all. I've <laughs> consistently been $20 more. So for the next one, I'm going to 
my whatever my guess is, I'm gonna subtract twenty. And subtract right twenty, on. and you'll be right on. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. All right, question <laughs> three. Let's get to it. You might be familiar with this card. I might have been there when it happened. So we have Gate Guardian Secret Rare First Edition for Metal Raiders. I was there when you pulled you this. You were there on the stream. I mean, I was there like <laughs> ethereally. I was like, my voice was there. Right. Yeah. You were. I remember I gave this to. Jarvis, because I felt so bad that I was pulling all the hollows out of the box. Oh, I just remember he, like, didn't you pull, like, all of the hollows except one or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. I know, it was rough, but he got the Gate Guardian, and I'm pretty sure it graded a nine for him, so that's huge. Yeah, that was sweet. That was a great box, actually. Yeah, it was awesome. My Summon Skull got a got a nine too pretty hype but that's uh, I, I only know the prices for the graded i don't know what it is for okay do you know what do you know what it is graded i but well i mean i don't know what it's like now <laughs> like last year <laughs> might have been different um, yeah probably get guardian or would it be around like 1200 are you talking about for a 10 or what like a nine maybe or is that too much yeah, like, uh, yeah. i will yeah the, the prices have to come down but at one point it was about 1200 for a nine that's probably i haven't been up to date but um okay so now with the Okay. You do have two lifelines if you're not you're sure. Because right. the big <laughs> are ones right. are the, the tier. The, if you think it's a tier three, which, you know, it seems like you might be in that range, you know, because those are the hard ones because it's such a big range. You're right. But if you have an idea for it, then don't, you know, it's up to you. And this is first. Okay. You know what? I am going to use. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to use the lifeline. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to guess tier three. Okay. I'm guessing. Or should I? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Should you? Dude, I don't know. A lot of pressure on you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use. Can I use? Can I still use the lifeline? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're good. You haven't submitted an answer. You're good to go. I'm going to guess a number. Okay. You're going to pick a number lower or higher? Yeah. Okay. 249. 249. Okay. So you. Okay. Wait. So you're trying to figure out which tier it's in? <laughs> kind of. Is that what you're trying to. So you might want to say 250 because because 251 is tier three. And oh, then, true. Yeah. Okay, that's what I I misspoke. Okay, I meant yeah, to say okay, yeah. I just want to make sure I, I I just know <laughs> what you're trying to do, so I'm gonna do that. If you guess it exactly right, I'm still waiting for this to happen. I'm just gonna have to say neither, but that still has not happened. But uh, okay, so 250. You're using your second lifeline. You want to know if it's lower or higher than that? It is higher than 250 dollars. Okay, so I was right about the tier. Okay, so I think both times you've used the lifeline, you were already right about the tier. Uh, I know. I'm doubting myself. Yeah, use your confidence. You got confidence, man. Okay, you know what? My guess is like 300 so i'm gonna go 20 less and go 280 okay 280 so you're you're uh you're using your strategy of being 20 away usually okay let's see if it works out you know it's tier three because of your lifeline the gate guardian secret rare first edition for metal raiders is 340 dollars really yeah, it's very expensive. But for near mint, it, it's like close to be like if you grade it as like a nine, it's only like a slight bump up for being like near mint because that's basically eight. I, for a second, I thought when you said twelve hundred, you were gonna go really high, but then you were like in the right range. I was like, oh, he just he Dude, just knows this stuff. I know. I'm like, I just know that the. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, honest, well, honestly, you act like this is bad. This isn't even a bad guess. Like you're only sixty dollars off. True. Which I guess technically is your worst one and is getting dropped right now. If sixty is your worst guess, you're gonna have a pretty good round. So okay, let's go. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go to question four. It's a good okay. start. It's a good start, honestly. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm just here for moral support, you know? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, question four. You have one more lifeline. That's to swap out the question if you want to do that at some point. Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare, first edition from Ghost from the Past 2. This is a newer card. I didn't give you a lot of newer cards, but this is a newer one. Okay, so this was... I actually got a case of this. I when figured it came you, out. there was a chance you would open some of this because it is sort of old school because it has all the the ghosts and stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I don't, I got like one blue eyes ultimate and like three dark arm dragon or something or something. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it wasn't a very good case. But those but. cases are kind of wacky. Like you'd either get you could get zero, you could get eight, you could get like a bunch of the same one. It was pretty weird. Yeah, I didn't get anything I I wanted, but it's all good. It was fun. But this was like probably the chase card correct i think yeah it was the, i think it is the top card of the set okay so i think probably because i know it went down a little bit i think i'm thinking tier two okay and i think i'm gonna guess 154 154 154 okay 154 you're very specific i like it okay <laughs> all right dark magician girl ghost rare first edition from ghost from the past two the answer is one 
91. Okay. So you're in a pretty Dang, good I'm range. Right like you. you have nailed all four tiers so far. <laughs> like you knew exactly the range. You just, uh, yeah. I mean, you haven't been that far off, but you've been right in the range pretty much. So Dang. pretty good okay. guess, especially for the time. Did you, I guess, did you know, like, cause this used to be like 400 bucks. So did, did you know they've kind of like come down a little bit? I do remember looking after like the, a few weeks after and like months after seeing that. Cause I remember being like, oh, I spent however much on a case and like the actual chase card is like literally <laughs> like so cheap compared to what the case yeah, is. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's like not, not even a third of the price or that yeah, I paid exactly. or whatever. Like, I could just get it now. Yeah. But. Yep, that, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not bad. You're, that's actually solid. I mean, you have not had a bad guess yet, really. So I'm impressed so far. I'm not Thanks, gonna lie. Me too, I'm, I'm pretty honestly. impressed. You're, I think your real goal here is to beat Jarvis because like, you know, yeah. commentary genre and everything. But you <laughs> right. did have 15 questions. So I always have to throw that in there. I gave Dang. him the hardest quiz and I said, okay, everybody else is going to have to be easier. Right. Yeah. Jarvis is very knowledgeable. He is very knowledgeable. So that, that yeah, does he, make he sense. was given like all the background and everything and his, it was great. Okay. But if you, you, you're on pace to, I think potentially beat him. So we're gonna have to see what happens. Question five, halfway point. Let's go. Injection Fairy Lily, secret rare first edition from Legacy of Darkness. I know this is a big one. I'm not too familiar with it but i feel like i've seen you pull one of these in a video <laughs> i have pulled a, i have pulled this before yeah and i remember it being like a big deal so i think i'm gonna go tier three and okay. i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess 420 420 interesting number you got there yeah all right 420 okay curtis are you locking that sucker in final answer 420 final answer 420 okay well curtis maybe you should have done another meme number because i think it would have done a lot better for you because the answer to this one is 70 dollars <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if you went six nine nice, you would have been one dollar off, bro. Yeah, th this card is one that it's a little deceiving because it's the one of the biggest cards of the set, but for some reason it's not very expensive. Legacy of Darkness is a little bit easier to find in terms of the older sets. I still don't get why it's seventy dollars. Like it's just a little bit too cheap. I understand why he has four twenty because it's like the card of the set basically. Fortunately for you. This one's getting wiped away, so no big deal. We can just throw that one out. Fat L on that one. That was and bad. I, you had good reasoning. I mean, you knew it was a big deal, but yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that was a little tricky. I wasn't sure if you were familiar with that card or not. Dang. Okay, right. that's okay. Halfway point. That one's thrown out. You're still doing fine. You do have one more lifeline. Don't forget, you can swap out any question you're not too sure about. Okay. How are you feeling about halfway? How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, so I'm, I'm proud of myself. You're doing great so far. Okay, let's go. Question six. One more lifeline. It is the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon Prismatic Secret Rare from Forbidden Memories. This is also from a game. It's a game promo from the early 2000s. Dang. You familiar with this card at all? No, I'm not. Like at all. Interesting. Okay. I thought you might have been. Forbidden Memories. I don't know if that's the game. Which year did that game come out? It was one of the early ones. It was 2000 three maybe or something like that it also had harpy's pet dragon in it what's the other one uh then the uh the metal morph but i think it was a pc game maybe it was like pretty early oh interesting okay or maybe it was playstation i can't remember i didn't have it so you do have your lifeline if you want to swap it out if you're completely unfamiliar yeah because i have zero idea i might swap it out i might do that okay all right let me know if you want to definitely do that true i guess i could i will so i am go i want to swap okay it. you are confirming you want to swap <laughs> yeah. it out okay and uh, another reminder whatever tier this was in the replacement is also in that tier so i'm if, if this is tier one the next one's tier one so if gotcha. you have any guess at all maybe that could help you out so what would you have guessed theoretically on this one theoretically i would have guessed like probably tier two you know probably like a hundred and ten dollars or something all right your final lifeline on question six has been invoked and we're replacing your question with the king dragon ultimate rare first edition from flaming turn so like i made your list it was like hopefully stuff you knew these backups have nothing to do with if you know them or not they're just if people have used them so this probably just got worse for you I'm it, not did. Gonna lie. It, it really did i can give you some info on flaming eternity if it might maybe help so Flaming Eternity came out in 2004, I believe. So it's a pretty old set. It was the second set with ultimate rares, I think, in the US. Uh, so that might maybe could help you out a little bit. I think I am going to do tier three. Um, and I'm going to guess 271. 
271. Okay, so your theoretical guess on the Black Metal Dragon was 110. Okay, let's go through what, what that actually was. The Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Prismatic Secret Rare from Forbidden Memories. You guessed 110. It is 180. Okay. So that means your next one's in tier two, which is not, not a good sign. <laughs> no. I will tell you though, if you had guessed 110 on this one, on your second one, you'd be in good shape because this card is $115. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you, if you had flopped them, you would have been better. But yeah, that, that was kind of a tough King Dragon. If you don't know, if you never heard of it, it's kind of a weird one. So that's okay. No big deal. Let's just forget about that one. Let's pretend like it didn't happen. It sometimes didn't swapping happen. the question, it's a, it's a gamble. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Exactly. Uh, in this case, didn't work out too well, but that's okay. Because I think you might know, maybe not this one, but you'll know a couple <laughs> of these at the end. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number seven, let's go. Dark Magician, ultra rare from Shonen Jump Magazine, promos here we go ultra rare shonen jump magazine promo wow that's a cool car i don't think i've ever even yeah it's got it's got a very it's got like a specific artwork that's only available for this card cool that's a cool card yeah it's pretty sick i mean you gotta think in a magazine promo that that's pretty tricky to find especially in like okay condition that's what i'm guessing because you know people are sitting and folding magazines and stuff and they're getting <laughs> stacked on top of stuff it's like yeah also keep in mind that you know it's it's a promo so it's in there every time that is true just just throwing that out there yeah this is tricky i think um <laughs> you know what i'm gonna go what i'm changing it up i'm hoping i'm right i'm gonna go to tier one okay and i'm gonna do 88 dollars Eight, eight dollars. Okay, no even numbers around here. 88 bucks. Dark Magician Ultra Rare from Shonen Jump Magazines. You're saying that this is the last tier one, plus maybe a bonus one. Let's see if you were right. It is $66. Let's, oh, dude, yes. I should have took 20 off again. Yeah, if you had done 20 off, <laughs> when you're close, it's always 20 above. <laughs> oh, dang, okay. Hey, no, that's not bad, though. I mean, you're, you're in the right tier. And you get that. the bonus, so you're good to go. It's kind of weird because now you have three tier twos and three tier ones. So you know basically that two of the last three have to be tier three because you got to have right. three of them. So that gives you a little bit of help there. All right, let's go to question eight. You're looking pretty decent so far. You got to be Jarvis, though. So that's that's the whole goal here. <laughs> that's what I'm you trying get... to do. <laughs> he's he's probably like going to be watching. this like, ah, oh, come on. He's rooting against you. All right, here we go. Question eight. Polymerization. Super rare first edition from the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. The first set Ooh, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Iconic card. Very iconic. I mean, first edition LOB. That's, you know, that's the set you know so yeah true i i'm thinking tier three okay <laughs> it's definitely tier three you know i'm sort of i'm trying to i'm, I'm trying to polymerize all my not my prior knowledge right now yeah just right into the it. exact right answer i'm gonna say gosh i think 530 530 yeah you feel pretty confident about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you haven't locked it in, so it's not too late. Okay, 510. I'm taking 20 off. You feel pretty good about that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> 510, okay. Polymerization, super rare first edition from the Legend of Blue Eyes. You said 530, you said you don't feel good about it. 510, sure you felt good about it. So mm -hmm. I feel like you didn't feel good about it based on what I heard. <laughs> You're it's right. 265. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> I get the logic. It's it, it's from the first set, but it is only a super rare. I, yeah. I bet it was 500 a few, like probably a year ago. But then, you know, the prices have kind of come down a little bit. Uh, it's a tough one. Okay, you got two more. We asked these both at the same time. You know one of these is a tier three because you've only had two of them so far. The other one is completely random. Could be one, two, or three. Keep that in mind. Here it is, the final round. Question nine. We have Summon Skull Ultra Rare First Edition for Metal Raiders. Then for question 10, we have of relinquished ultra rare first edition from magic ruler dang which one do you think's the tier three or i think it could technically both be but which one do you think is tier three oh probably relinquished because i'm pretty sure magic ruler is a little tougher to come by if i'm correct i can technically give you some info on this because it doesn't have anything to do with the card theoretically so magic ruler is the third set it is actually easier to find the metal raiders i will tell you that oh okay well i don't know anything i didn't uh, i didn't help you no you know a lot i'm just i'm just <laughs> throwing that out there i do have this exact 
summon skull card. I'm also forgetting how much the friggin' gate guardian was. That's already happened, but the gate guardian was three hundred forty dollars. I that's free reign. You know, we've already been. Past yeah, that we've question. already done that. So that was three hundred forty dollars for that one. Okay, you know what? Summon skull tier three. Okay. And I think that one is three hundred exactly. Three hundred exactly. All right. Okay. I like it. And for relinquished, I'm thinking tier two. High tier two. I'm gonna go two thirty. Two thirty. Okay. All right. So you're locking those in. Your final two answers. Yes. Those are my final. Final answers. two answers. Here we go. Question nine. Summon Skull Ultra Rare First Edition from Metal Raiders. You said three hundred. This card is three hundred ninety nine dollars. Ah. Oh. So it, it's uh, it actually is more expensive than the Gate Guardian, which is kind of really? weird. But it's probably the card outside of the Gate Guardian. So it, and sometimes those Ultra Rares are weird to come by. But still, not a bad Damn. guess. You're still within a hundred. That's not too bad. True. Now your tenth question. The Relinquished Ultra Rare First Edition for Magic Ruler. You think in Tier 2, you said $230. It is in Tier 2. Okay. But it's only $153. <laughs> okay. So it's not bad. You're you're in the tier. So that, that's, right. it, that's at least $10 worth of credit right there, which is not bad. Okay, not too bad. We're going to have to total up and see how you did. Yeah, damn. How, how are you feeling now? It's nice that I'm that I was in the correct tiers, but I think later on I'm also going to be in tiers as well from the other ones that I messed up. <laughs> literal crying. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to try and remove those tiers, but let's see <laughs> if this was... Well, we'll see where you stack because we have had 12 guests before this, so we're going to see what position you're in. All right, I'm going to do okay. a little math here. A few moments later. All right, Curtis, are you ready for the results? I'm ready. So the total amount of cards, the value from the 10 cards that I asked you was $1,751, which is actually lower than normal. Normally it's like 2,300, but I guess somehow I, I guess I didn't give you one that is like $700 like I normally do. Right. So that like affects like, so now you have less margin for error. So that's <laughs> that hurts you a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. You were $649 off total, and most of it was because you missed that 245 on one of them. That, re that really hurt. But yeah, that's you got dumb. eight tiers correct, so you get to subtract that away. So it was 569 after that. In total, right. you were 32.50% off, which fortunately for you is not last place, so you're good to go. Let's go. Hold on, let me press my uh, applause button. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, not a bad performance for someone who doesn't really keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh! And honestly, like the lower number actually made it harder. I didn't even realize that because not giving you a really high one made the total right. lower. So I, theoretically, you did even better than the number show. So theoretically, I'm kind of in first place is what you're saying. Theoretically, you were the best one we've had on yet. <laughs> Sick. OK, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Not bad, Curtis. Thanks again for hopping on. I know you got a busy schedule. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before we hop out? Shout out Roxin. Shout out everybody watching. Thanks for having me on. This was uh, a lot of fun. I don't know. Go subscribe to everybody. <laughs> subscribe to everybody on YouTube, okay? Go out there. <laughs> do not stop pressing the subscribe button everybody. until there's no one left. All right, this was awesome. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Curtis Connor just wins you guys $50. Make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and do not forget to leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget about Curtis Connor's channel. I'm sure you're all subscribed to it because he has like 4.9 thousand million subscribers. So get exactly. over there, check him out. He's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a great time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. DZ is a longtime Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber and player with over 200,000 subscribers. He is known for his discussion videos about specific Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and archetypes, and more recently, his series Master Saga and Master Roulette. Today, we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price. This is episode 14. Well, it was recorded 14th, and then we didn't actually record so then I did 15, but so this is back to 14. It's like a rerun. This is round two with DZ. Yeah. He's already been through all, not these questions, but he's been through 10 questions. A different he list. actually finished fourth out of everyone. And then he realized he didn't record his whole episode. So it doesn't count anymore, He but he does get to retry. So maybe this like, uh, you know, extra 10 questions will help. Do you think you're gonna do better or worse than last time? I'm hoping better, but man, you guys missed a legendary run. You know, there were a couple times where like I got it right on there, which was pretty crazy. You know, I, I think we were talking about that I had 10% uh, was the number at the end or whatever, which is good. And I hope I can do better. You know, you'd think I'd be able to, but uh, I don't know, maybe the questions are gonna be harder this time. We'll see. Yeah, so if you were expecting any DZ related questions, those were in 
in the last video that you didn't see. So sorry. Now these are just random. So we're just going to have to see how he does. Multi-faker is 50 cents. <laughs> Multi-faker is worth zero dollars, by the way. <laughs> we did that question one last time. That is not in this quiz. Yeah. So unfortunately for him, that was one of the easiest questions he had. We're going to have to go into question one. Uh, it feels weird because like we've already done this and yeah. nobody has actually seen it. It just feels like it's the first time for them, mm -hmm. but it's not really for us. So let's just go straight into question one. You know the rules. You've done this before. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> question number one, or should I say question number 11 for Doug? It is Charge of the Light Brigade Secret Rare First Edition from the Duelist oh, Genesis. This is where we're starting here. I told you it's a little different than the multi-faker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little different. So with Charge of the Light Brigade, I uh, I know this card has skyrocketed considerably over the years. I've owned, I think I actually do still own a couple unlimbs of this card, which are much lower than the first set as far as I know. Um, but I know this card was like, pretty expensive a couple years ago because I did actually, so I, I had two unlimbs and one first set and I did sell the first set uh, probably three years ago, which uh, once we find out this card price, I'll probably cry about. But uh, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be in the tier two category. I doubt it's going to go all the way to 251. Um, it's kind of a tough first question though, because it could be all over the place could be anywhere yeah i really like i really just have not paid attention like i know this card has gone up a lot but i i just have not paid attention enough i actually think this feels so bad no there's no way i can pass the first question i can't be that wrong i mean, okay. you could i mean that's the last lifeline people use because they don't like it it's like the least you like effective i think so if you were to swap this out that might be a good idea because it's like the it's like the worst lifeline I yeah think. i used it on the 10th question last time use it on the first question this time <laughs> yeah I, I, nobody knows that though so it's all good no i'll just guess one yeah, no, I'll do the swap. I'll do the swap for the same tier. Okay, so you're, you're you're right in between there. So you were saying you thought it was in tier two. So keep that in mind for when yeah. you swap it out. Yeah. This next one could be in tier two. Okay, so you do in fact want to swap this card. No, no, no. I'll just get, I'll just guess one sixty final answer. Just tell me how bad it is. <laughs> okay, all right. That that is the most back and forth I've oh, ever man. seen. First it's tier two. Well, I was telling like, you no, last episode that know. you know I'm the type of person to hold the full restores until after the elite four. So yeah, it's yeah, just you're uh, like, ah, I just might as well save them for later, and then you just never use them. So. You started tier two, then you were like, I'm gonna use a lifeline. Then you're like, no, let's just go 160. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will tell you, you are right about the tier. So it's in tier two. Yeah. This card is worth $198. Okay, that is nowhere near as far off as I thought. I thought you were gonna say like 230, 240. No, okay. honestly, uh, when you said like uh, tier two, I was like, I think he's in the right like like right yeah. place. And then you were gonna swap it. I was like, uh, oh, maybe not. And then you came back for 160. That was a pretty solid guess. Okay. I mean, last time multi-faker, you guessed $1 and it was <laughs> zero. So you were a lot closer then. Yeah, but this is great. also a tier two card, which is a little bit harder. So right. not a bad start. Maybe you can, you know, do what you did last time. We're just gonna have to find out let's go to question two okay rivalry of the warlords collector rare first edition from king's court this one i believe is either 80 or 90 dollars it did skyrocket in price for like a month or so i think pack had talked about it or something or actually i think it was yeah. like john mentioned that like it should be more expensive but then it, it eventually <laughs> went back down and um yeah. i think that right now because I looked at buying this card um, back at Niagara when I was thinking about playing Altergeist for a brief moment. And I think at that time <laughs> it was a bit more expensive. Maybe I'm wrong though, but I feel like this card is definitely, it's definitely under $100. I don't think it's over $100 anymore. Although, oh man, first ed King's Court is probably actually more than I, uh, no, I don't. It hasn't been Should played be in a fair, little while. Yeah. I don't think there is an unlimited King's Court. Okay, so. is there not? That's actually one that I don't, I don't know. Think I know, so. I know I think Toon it's Chaos has an unlimited run. Okay, thank you, thank you, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, they did never reprint this one. Okay, in that case, okay, that's good to know because that means that the prices I'm thinking of have only ever been the first ad price, so that's good. Yeah. Um, In that case, I will in fact guess, I feel like I saw it for $79.99 or maybe $89.99. I like just looked at this card last week, um, <laughs> or apparently I did it. I don't know. I'm going to guess 90. I'll guess 90. Final answer. $90. All right. Rivalry of the Warlords Collector Rare First Edition from King's Court. Yeah. You said 80 to 90. I was really hoping you'd split the difference. It's $86. Oh, oh but closer to 90. Closer to 90. <laughs> I mean, you're technically picked the right side. If you're yeah. going to pick one of them, you're only four bucks off. You get that bonus. Hell Great yeah. start again for the second time. Okay. Let's just go to question three. There's not a let's lot to say there. You crushed that one. Red Eyes. Dark Dragoon Starlight Rare First Edition from Brothers of Legend. Okay, I'll tell you this. I 
don't fucking know. <laughs> like, uh, oh. I, uh, yeah, so this is one where I've, I don't think I've looked at the price in probably... Since it came out. Yeah, like, I think I kept track of it the first, like, month, and then I was like, eh, eh, who really cares? Because I feel like at one point I saw this card at 250 which seems... You know, I think 250 is like not that outrageous of a price because it's not really played. I mean, it's just not played at all. Like you can't play it right now. I mean, you can play in Dark Magician, I guess, but you know, whatever. Right. And, Are you saying Dark Magician is not good? Is that what you're trying to say? Um, you, they, you know, they took a hit when Anaconda lost. You know, they needed two multiple avenues to get there. But yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's pretty play. sad. Still play. <laughs> but uh, so I think that the, the Dark Dragoon um, is definitely not at its peak anymore. I believe that this is one that has not gone up in price. This might sound ridiculous uh, once we find out the price. I really think it's under 250, but how close? That's one where I can be like really wrong. I'm just looking at the lifelines again. Tell me which amount tier. I think I do know that. Lower, higher. Mm. I will guess. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'll guess. Two hundred and thirty dollars. Final answer. Two hundred and thirty dollars. All right. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon Starlight Rare First Edition Brothers of Legend. This thing's like you were $6 million. in fact correct when you said it is below two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. It's two hundred and forty dollars. Oh, okay. You were so close. You okay. Were just ten past. It was so close. <laughs> I was about to That's say. I think guess, it's though. around that price. I think it's around that price. Yeah, you you absolutely nailed that one right off the bat. You were like with I almost passed that one at the very it. last second there, like the tier. Yeah, I was like, I'm just not gonna say anything and just yeah. see what he says, because like I'm just I'm not gonna interfere here. You're already <laughs> so close. If you want to switch it, you could switch it. Okay. Question four. Hopefully this one will trip you up because uh, we can't be having you get like one percent again. Okay. Or <laughs> well, you know you can't be improving on your yeah. score from last time okay we have blue eyes alternative white dragon blue letter secret miscellaneous promotional card so this is the one that they gave out and like the uh yeah like the twitter thing the, yeah. with the joan and stuff it's that version okay this is a wild one to put on here my first guess would be that this is 999 dollars. like i think it's like really close to the cap i actually think this card's probably around like 800 dollars. i don't know I, i've never looked at the price of any of these blue lettered um cards i've never uh won any of them either Unfortunately, I really wanted this alternative. Looks very cool, but um, man, I this could be anywhere, like really, really anywhere. So I'm actually quite worried about it. This could be the swap right here. I'm gonna be honest. This could be the swap right here because it seems like a pretty decent one, yeah. Oh, but I remember that they kept giving out these, so I feel like the price has probably gone down a little bit. So I don't know. It could be anywhere between five hundred and eight hundred dollars in my mind, and that's just like so. I mean, that's way too big of a. It's range. a big range, yeah. I'll do lower or higher. You, sh you don't want to swap this one. Yeah, I think I can actually narrow it down if I do lower or higher. Okay, I think, I think okay, sure, let's do I, it. I like the, the swapping the tier one. I like to, I, you know, I, it's not the best one, but I, I like it. It's, it's an underdog. Okay, you just um, like it to keep it just in case. Or yeah, something so I'll do lower or higher and I'll say $650. Okay, so you're splitting the difference between your 500 and 800. I yeah. like the strategy. This card is higher than $650. Okay, so I'm going to guess... I mean, it could just be 651, who knows, but I'm going to guess could be. Uh, 700 and $25, $725, final answer. $725, the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. I'm going to cut you off before you say anything else. This card is $749. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like that worked out. I thought you were disappointed. I was like, that's no, no, insane. No, that's, that's, it's so no. Close. I was just like in disbelief that that, that strategy worked out because I really, I have no clue on this card. Nice. You were very, very close because this is oh my gosh. like, I mean, this is a really high number. So it's a huge percentage of yeah. your total. Like that's what I was worried 24 about. 24 minus 10. So you're 14 off. So that is a big time guess for like your potential final score. Yeah. Let's just go to five. Like that was that was well played. I'll give you that. That was well played. All right. This is the halfway point after this one. We have Book of Lunar Eclipse Starlight Rare First <laughs> oh Edition from gosh. Lightning Overdrive. And I want to reiterate yeah. so far, two tier twos, one of tier one and tier three so far. Okay. So Book of Lunar Eclipse is a card that at one point I knew the price of, you know, when Gage was talking about it and everyone was kind of following the price of the starlights and stuff. Not sure if uh, <laughs> he ever got a chance to use that. But uh, I know this card is below $100. The question is how how far below? I feel like I've seen this card. It's definitely been at $70 before, but the question is, 
is this a card that could go to like 50 i mean a 50 dollars starlight what am i talking about like even the that shitty trap card is i think like 60 bucks storm dragon's bucks. return yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Surely Book of Lunar Eclipse is more than Storm Dragons. Although that was actually from like a set that's hard to get. So maybe that actually increases it a little bit. I'll guess 70, final answer. I think it's like right around there. $70. Yes, yeah, Book of zero. Lunar Eclipse, mm -hmm. Starlight Rare First Edition. This card is $96. Really? So you're in the right tier. But okay. yeah, it was like just under a hundred. Yeah, I can't believe that's the one that I've gotten the most wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that actually your worst one so far? I think so percentage wise, right? I don't know. Maybe charge was probably charge was probably charge was probably charge. Was. <laughs> yeah, charge charge was the worst, but uh, okay. But still, I mean, really not bad because you're in the right tier. You're 16 off. That's nothing that's going to kill your score or anything. You're doing really well through the halfway point. Let's see how the back half goes. You do have two more. Uh, lifelines don't forget about that you really haven't dropped one either all right question number six we have the track trap tricks alamaris starlight rare first edition from eternity code man yeah you are really throwing some that i do not know hey well, you're basically like number 16 now because so there's yeah. been a lot of cards i've used so i'm trying to i'm getting to some random ones yeah hopefully you can reuse my list for someone else i'm going to oh. i think <laughs> um okay so the trap tricks I think this is like actually pretty expensive. I think this is over $250, I'm pretty sure. What question is this? Six, you said? Yeah, question six. Yeah, this will be your, uh, you have two of tier one, two of tier two, one of tier three so far. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is over. Oh, especially because it has to be over two. There's no way this card did not spike over 250 if it wasn't already there after the Trap Trick structure deck was revealed. Uh, surely that has made it crazy, but then that might've, it's probably hyped or something. Um, that actually kind of scares me. I think, I think I might do, I'll do, tell me, uh, yeah, I'll do, tell me the tier that it's in. Cause I don't know if it's in tier two or tier three. The Trap Tricks Alamaris, however you say this card is tier three. I'll, I'll do 300 final answer. $300 final answer. We've got the Trap Tricks Alamaris Starlight Rare first edition from Eternity Code. This card is 200 and $89. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it spiked a little bit. It spiked a little bit. Or how? what was yeah. it before the Trap Trick Structure Deck? Do I you have know? absolutely okay. no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I, I thought I it was like know, around but... 200, but I can't remember. Yeah, it probably went up from a, like a tier two to a tier three card from after that. And you basically nailed it with your bonus. So nice. uh, yeah, very nice. You got four questions to go. You could still swap one card the rest cool. of the way. Keep that in mind. Haven't really dropped a big one yet. So you kind of got one to, to play with there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what number seven is. Has. We have Pot of Duality Ultimate Rare from Astral Pack okay, 5. Okay, okay. Um, so I do know the tier this is in. This is in tier 3. This is a card I have bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold a lot of times. I seem to be very fickle when it comes to Pot of Duality, I guess. I just never want to own it for more than like a year. I do know this card is quite expensive. I think it is near... 300. I think this card is pretty expensive because I know that like the last time I sold it, I remembered like regretting it quite a bit because I think it spiked like over a hundred dollars because I feel like I sold them when it was like 250 and then it spiked to over 300 after that. Is it still that though? I mean, it is being played in flu. So I feel like the card, yeah, it must be, is it more than 300 though? I'll guess 320. Final answer, 320. Pot of Duality, Ultimate Rare, Astral Pack 5. Mm -hmm. Doug, you were pretty confident about this one. I kind of was, but... But it's $200. Really? How the mighty it has, have fallen. It, it has gone down, How it seems, for whatever reason. I don't know why. I actually don't... You were so confident, I double-checked while you were talking. <laughs> because I was like, this guy, no, he's like, sure. So yeah. I was like, let me double-check. And there's multiple listed for, for 200 near mint. So oh, I don't okay. know what happened to this card. I mean, yeah, like you said, flu is still pretty popular, so... like, But it's like just flu, right? Like nothing, literally nothing else. Oh, and Mystic Mine isn't in the format. That was the deck that played it, so now it's <laughs> half as many. I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess half oh as many gosh. now. So the good side for you is you had one to play with. Yeah. So you can kind of throw this one out. It's mm -hmm. no big deal, but... Now you gotta, you gotta be perfect the rest of the way, not to have to drop another one. Okay, question number eight, you could still swap one as well, so sure. let's keep going. Blackwing Armor Master Starlight Rare First Edition from Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Who knows this card? <laughs> it's new, man! What is... 
<laughs> I, I've I've never I've never seen this card's picture next to a price in my life. The question is, do I think I can logic my way into figuring out this card's price? It is a cool starlight. It's a nice, you know, crow card, but I feel like, you know, that, that black winged dragon crow card already exists. It's not the first black wing and it's not the first crow starlight. And it is an Edison reprint, but it's like, I know a lot of people with older formats do like, you. they might just use like the ultimate rare of this because they like using the, the highest old rarity. Um, but starlights are cool. Oh my gosh, I don't know, dude. You do still have a swap if you want to use it. I really want to try to save this swap for the... <laughs> Next question. So your your breakdown, your tier breakdown could help you out a little bit because you have three tier two and only two of the others. So it's like between one and three, unless this is a fourth tier two before the last two. Oh no, I think it's lower. I think it's low. I think it's like, I, I'm almost willing to guess like 50 bucks. That's I'm just willing, I'm just wondering if it's like that low. I mean, it's a starlight. I feel like I'm trying to treat it like a collector's rare, but it is a starlight, but it's in like Battles of Legend. It is a starlight. And like, but the Battles of Legend, we did see that Leviathan. Oh my gosh. I'll swap. Uh, it's, I'll guess $80, I'll guess $75, final answer, just get this out of my sight. <laughs> $75, get yeah, this out of his sight, he said. I don't want to see Blackwing it. Armor Master, Starlight Rare from Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. He doesn't like these Starlight Rares, apparently. That's what we've learned today. This is $90. Oh my gosh. A weight just lifted off my shoulders. I literally like felt that. I thought you were going to just say like $300. Or <laughs> Any number. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. yeah this was probably one of the cheapest ones in the set for sure. I mean, it's like it had not... to be, but what if it wasn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what if it wasn't? What if it, I mean, it is new, so you never really know with the brand new stuff. It's just like really expensive randomly. So, okay, not bad. You were only like 15 off, then minus your 10. You're looking good. You almost said 80, which would have been great, but uh, 75 still awesome. Let's get to the last two. You're still doing really well. Yep. All right, question number nine, Spirit Reaper Super Rare from Champion Pack 3. And then we have Blackwing Super Rare from Turbo Pack Booster 1. Bad news, I do not know either of these. Uh, not even a little bit, which is a little surprising. Okay. I knew Spirit Reaper at one point, but um, since like the the boom of old collectors or old uh, Champion Pack cards, I, I really don't know. With Black Whirlwind, I mean, it's the highest rarity, but I mean, Black Wings did get support. I'm just trying to think about which one of these I think I know the least. <laughs> yeah, to swap out. Because like the Spirit Reaper I'm thinking is pretty expensive, where the Black Whirlwind, I'm actually thinking it's not that expensive. And I think it's easier to guess things that are less expensive, less of a range, you know, if I'm just guessing right. under 100 versus anywhere. I think I have to swap... Yeah, I really, I have to swap the Spirit Reaper. I have no clue. No clue with the Spirit Reaper, unfortunately. All right, you are using your last lifeline. Yes, I've saved it till the end once again. Ironically, this fits in with your quiz, a one you've already done. So I don't know if that'll help or not. Who knows? We're just gonna have to see. Your new question, instead of the Spirit Reaper. Oh, by the way, let's give yeah. a let's give a guess for the Spirit Reaper and then we'll, I'll tell you oh, what it is. Oh, guess for the Spirit Reaper? Uh, probably like 300 is where I would have guessed. All right, 300, we've locked that in. Your new question, Palladium Oracle Mahad, the mis miscellaneous promotional cards. <laughs> so this is the same thing as the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, but a, a, obviously a different card. So it's the same situation. <laughs> Bro, <f> you. <laughs> <laughs> you two blue ones on here? It wasn't supposed to be, it's supposed to be a backup. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, let me think, let me think. Um, God, do I know that one less? No, I can probably figure that one out more because at least it's like a recent card. But it's like, once again, is that one where they just gave it out over and over and over again? I feel like the one that they gave out a bunch of times was either United We Stand or the Guardian Angel. I think it was the Guardian Angel that went out a bunch of times. Um, how much was that Blue Eyes one? Did we? It doesn't even matter. This card's in such a different category. Yeah, the Blue Eyes oh, was $749. There's no way that. <laughs> mod is that i will just you know trust my gut here these are the numbers that are in my head i'm going to go i don't feel confident about any of these I'm just looking at this black rolling image for the last five minutes and just crying um i'm gonna go 450 on the blue oracle okay. and uh, 70 on black whirlwind 70 and 450, are those your final answers for the quiz? They are, in fact, my final answers for the quiz. Okay, first we will do the Black Whirlwind. Then I will tell you, actually, first I'll tell you what your oh, spirit, spirit Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Doug. Yeah. You should have just stuck with the Spirit Reaper. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Spirit Reaper's $315. <laughs> 
<laughs> you almost nailed it right on the head. Dude, I, I like, should have oh, known well. as soon as you started looking for the, the replacement and we couldn't find one. That was the sign. I should have said, nope, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, that should have been the sign. You should have stuck to it. Damn it. Okay. You did decide to replace it. Yeah. You said $450. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad, but it wasn't as good as the Spirit Reaper. Okay. It's three hundred and seventy dollars. Okay. Okay. So it's all right. I mean, it, you're in the you're in the range. Yeah. So gonna end up being eighty minus ten. So it's not terrible. Yeah. Black Whirlwind. This card, you guess seventy, is one hundred and fifty dollars. So you're equally off on both oh, of them. So that's actually the because it's percentage wise that the one gets dropped, or is it the the biggest difference? It's just total total number. Oh, total number. So yes. you're, yeah. Yeah. So you're still dropping the pot of duality. Okay. That's gonna so, yes, drop. Total number over total number. Right. Right. Oh my right. gosh, Black Whirlwind is that? Ah, oh, geez. Yeah, messed it up on the final ones. It could have been the support that brought it up. It also could also be people playing in Edison as well. Yeah. That I did. I didn't even think about Edison. Yeah. Of course. Damn. Okay, let's total you up. Let's see if you beat last time okay. or not. We're gonna have to figure it out. It's gonna be close, I think. Let's hope. Are you ready, Doug, to reveal if you beat yourself and who you beat overall? I am ready, I'm ready to find out. So the total value of all your cards on this quiz yeah. was $2,468. You were off by $288. You also got nine That's tiers correct. That's... which means you were $198 off. If you could do some quick math. Yeah, I'm seeing what you're saying. <laughs> you beat last time. Even with those last two, you beat last time. You were 8.02% nice, off. Nice, nice, nice. So that would officially put you at third plate. No, wait. Yeah, third place, 0.1% oh. ahead of distant coder. Oh, I passed coder this time? Ha ha. <laughs> so second time, Doug is in third place. That's crazy. First like, time, Doug, is just two, is just, yeah, last time you lost a coder, this time you beat coder. Yeah. So pretty impressive performance. Because we had all the issues, I am definitely down to honor this 8% in the giveaway. <laughs> so make sure you guys enter that for a $250 giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed. Let me know how Doug did down below. Let me know if you wanted to see the original one. I mean, I can't actually show it to you. I just want to know if you actually were interested <laughs> Just <or> your audio. <laughs> all right, Doug, how do you feel about the second performance? I feel good. These ones were a lot harder. I'll just tell you guys that right now. The other ones, there were a couple that like, I actually got right on there and there were cards that I had a little bit more experience with. This was a tough quiz. I hope people don't think that uh, I got this score only because I retook it. I really think that this one was like, I almost want to say like twice as hard. This was significantly harder than the uh, previous one, which is how it should be. But uh, great game show. And uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I feel like you uh, last time pretty much knew the ballpark of every card. This time you like kind of guesstimated a few. You yeah. just like nailed them a couple of times. So and it really was only a 2% difference. So you were pretty consistent about where you were at in terms of the the stuff. So you did, however, bump it up into that next category of $250 giveaway. So congratulations. This was awesome. Thanks for being on here. Make sure you guys go check out DZ on his YouTube channel and he sometimes streams on Twitch as well. So go check him out there and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace. Moist Critical is one of the largest creators on both YouTube and Twitch with over 16 million total followers. He loves all things gaming, playing nearly every game you can think of, gifting thousands of dollars for specific gaming achievements, and even starting his own esports org. He also keeps up with all things drama, following all sorts of scams or scandals in any community. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price episode 15. Today's guest is Moist Critical. How you doing today, Charlie? Hey, good. Just having Happy to be here and I'm ready to flex my knowledge on the, the old card prices here since I've got so many. I think I'm going to absolutely crush this one. I mean, you have every card like ever made. So it's I mean, you should know these, right? I mean, just theoretically. Oh, yeah. I'll know them. <laughs> I'll know them. I'm not worried oh, about that. OK, yeah, you're definitely going to know them. Perfect. OK, let's just go straight into question one. I'm expecting top notch performance from you. Yep. All right, question one. We have Eldritch the Golden Lord Secret Rare First Edition from Secret Slayers. Ooh, that's an interesting one. So this is definitely going to be probably a tier one card. This is a meta card. Secret Slayers, kind of a stinker of a set. I'm going to just go with my gut. I'm going to think this is right around that like 40 to $45 ballpark. I'm not even going to use a lifeline. I'm just going to send it. That's my final answer. Lock that shit in. Okay, okay. You said 40 to 45. So what's your actual lock-in answer? Oh, right, right. I needed an exact one. Let's just go right in the middle. Let's just do 45. 45. Okay. All right. <laughs> 
Charlie, okay. Charlie, look, you said you knew all the answers. So, I mean, you did know this one. It's $46. Ooh, that's, <laughs> all right. if, if I was getting, you know, I, I miscarried some decimal places there. I would have gone 46, you know, it's just one of those things. We're, we're, we're in right You there. rounded, right? You rounded to the yeah. nearest like five. So yeah, otherwise you would have nailed it completely. But okay, you're off to an ex a scorching start. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> I didn't mention to you earlier, but because you were in the right tier, you get like a $10 credit added on. So you're basically plus nine right now. So you're oh, looking good. really good. Question two, I mean, I'm getting a little worried already. I mean, your first question, you've already nailed it. We have Elemental Hero flame wingman ultimate rare first edition from the lost millennium oh this is an interesting one this is a very cool set this was the same set that also had the um was it guy i think it was gaia the ultimate rares in this set were pretty cool so this is absolutely a tier two this is first ed right yeah de definitely tier two yeah. your wallet's got to be sweating right now because i think i'm going to strike within again one or two dollars because i'm pretty sure flare wingman was like a 105 ish so let's just lock in like 105 on flare wingman 105 okay 105 let's see if my wallet's gonna be sweating after that one elements of hero flame wingman ultimate rare this card is 200 dollars Ooh, uh, well, you see what happened? I didn't account for inflation. So right, I, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, yeah. I, when I purchased this thing back in the olden days, it was far cheaper. You know, you you could get a pack of gum for a, a penny, but, you know, not not today. <laughs> this, you sound like, this is what Rhyme Style was doing. He's like, three years ago, I was exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right He's now. He's like, look, if I just traveled back in time, I would have nailed this quiz. But hey, you're still in the right range, so you do get that, that credit back. Your stuff's still, still not a terrible guess. You're within like 85 after the credit pretty solid let's go to question three see if you can keep it up You've, not bad not bad yeah i'll take it all right question number three a great guess and an okay guess so far let's see if you can keep it up we have dd assailant secret rare from oh. dark revelation 4. yes this is a very interesting card dark revelations was a pretty stupid set that i'm not too big of a fan of but i did decide to get this card it's hard to find. I got it like two years ago. This is a tier three card for sure. I think when I got it, it was just over 400. So let's let's do some rough calculations in the old noodle here. I'm going to assume it's gone up because it's only getting harder to find. So let's just add like, you know, let's add like 50, 60 bucks. Let's go with like $460. You could DDS say, sale. yeah, you could say it's probably gone up, but then you do have to account for the fact that, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh in general is like, it's gone down a little bit recently. Ooh, that's true. It's not as hot. I'm still going to lock in though, because I, I okay. feel confident. Let's just do 460. 460, okay. All right, DD Assailant Secret rare you said you bought it for just over four hundred dollars yeah this was a couple years ago well it seems like the price hasn't changed that much this is a four hundred dollar card mm, no, <laughs> i thought I you were gonna go right on the head for a second i was like oh my gosh she's insane that's so unlucky the price hasn't changed i should have just trusted my gut i made a mistake asking you on because you've literally bought every card so you you've literally you know you know how much they were i know oh i know <laughs> i still feel oh, them. oh my god Gosh, most people would be like, what is even Dark Revelation 4? Like, uh, what is that? What is that set? You were like, oh, yeah, I know this set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a weird set. They had like a, it was mainly just a bunch of reprints, but then they had some weird, uh, weird rarity ones that they threw in, like the Assailant. And then they had the, yeah. um, the, the Orbital Laser one that I forgot the name of. Yeah, they have some really uh, like satellite cannon and stuff like that. That's the one, satellite cannon. Yeah, they have some strange, like almost every hollow in here is like, like ridiculously expensive. Like there, I think I pulled like a BES Tetran in the lowest was listed was like $105 for a super rare and I was like this yeah. cannot be right <laughs> it's such a insane. weird set okay all right it's still a pretty good guess for tier three because those are usually where it goes awry so 60 bucks off not bad at all question four you haven't even thought about a lifeline yet so keep in mind oh, yeah, you I do have those I mean you've got those let's go to question four this one is Lumina the Light Sworn Summoner Super Rare from Champion Pack 8. Ooh, so now you found something in my Achilles heel. So I didn't bother with Super Rares. I'm very familiar with Champions Ooh. Pack. This one's going to be a little tough for me. So there's an Ultra Rare in every Champion Pack. Those were the ones that I'd grab. Those weren't Tier 3. Yeah, ironically, the uh, the super rares from Champion Pack are actually usually the valuable cards. I mean, in general, I'm not telling you the yeah. answer for this one, but you do have your lifelines if this is not in your wheelhouse. So there's probably not a lot of super rares left on the quiz, theoretically. So I think I will use a lifeline on this one. Let's use lower or higher. I'm going to throw something out and you just tell me where I'm at. 
okay. hot or cold. I'm going to assume that this is going to be around the ultra rare, maybe a little bit more or less. So let's just go with, I think in this one, I think it was like a, a little over like 150 at the time. So let's just say 150, lower or higher. First lifeline being used. First time we've we finally found a weakness in your armor, a chink, <laughs> as you could say. This card is more than $150. Okay, then I still just, I'm not convinced it breaks tier three. If I can give you, I can give you some info on, on Lightsworn. So Lightsworn is pretty popular. I'm sure you know that, but mm -hmm. uh, it is also playable in Edison format, which is pretty popular right now. And this is the highest rarity of the card. This is the highest rarity Lumina. I mean, if you're going by like highest rarity, not as in literally like Starlight, Ultra Rare, but this is like the high rarity card people use to bling out their deck. My gut's telling me it just doesn't break tier three. So I'd be a fool to go against it. I'm going to go a little under tier three. So let's do like a 225 for that card. Okay, I like it. You, I mean, you should never go against your gut. That is true. I agree with that. However, your gut may have steered you slightly wrong. Not too bad. It's a $294 card. Mm, oh, unlucky, unlucky. I believe this is actually the most expensive card in Champion Pack 8. Uh, a lot of the Champion Packs, the super rares are like crazy, and then the ultras kind of suck a lot of the time. I don't know why they did that, but for some reason they did. Uh, but still, you're really not too far off. You're in the ballpark. You didn't hit the tier this time, but you're less than like 70 whatever away. So pretty solid. Yeah, that's a, that, that was definitely a curveball. Nice one on that. Question five. Maxi Secret Rare First Edition from Storm of Ragnarok. How do you feel about the Maxi? It's great in Master Duel. And in fact, I think it's 100% necessary in Master Duel or that'd be just like an unplayable format. Oh, a hot take. Okay, people are gonna <laughs> probably be mad about this. <laughs> hey, I, I have not played w in about three months, not like in the ladder. So maybe things- I haven't either. So <laughs> join the club. Cause they have so many like high rarities of Maxi. They have the ultimate rare as well. Yeah, the, I think this is the second highest. The ultimate rare is definitely considered the top rarity. Uh, I'll just I'll just feel it out here with what my, my gut's telling me. I think this one's going to be in the tier three zone because this is the secret rare Storm of Ragnarok. This is from the actual set. I'm just gonna go with like a nice clean 300 on the maxi secret rare but something's telling me i'm going to regret that but uh, if something's telling you that it's not too late to use the lifeline and double check you could check the tier you could swap it who knows let's let's do let's do the tier what tier is this okay so so you you went for it and you're like eh, let's, let's try the tier let's double check great decision charlie because this is a tier two card okay all right good that's huge tier two that tells me a lot here I don't even think it breaks 200 if I'm being honest. I think it's gonna be less. Okay, so so it's, you said that tells you something. What did it tell you that it's not? I mean, obviously it told you it's not, you know, tier one or three, but what did it tell you? It tells me that this card still got quite a lot out there. So it's not going to be like a super hard to find card, which means the price isn't gonna be crazy. Okay. So I'm going to guess that it's, I'm just, I think I'm gonna stick with like a 200 here. Even though that even seems a little high to me, it just feels a bit safer to go with that. I'm just waiting for you to talk yourself into another number. <laughs> I know, I, this has been all over the place. You know what, no, no more second guessing, just do 200, lock it 200, in. okay. All right, yeah. so we have cut off 100 since you used the lifeline. I will say that 100 was definitely in the right direction. This card is $123. Yeah, that's, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, You're still within yeah. 100 though. You have yet to go over 100. You almost did, but then you used your lifeline. So not bad. You're at halfway point. You're doing pretty solid. Question six. Marincess Seahorse Starlight Rare First Edition Rising Whoa. Rampage. I chased this card. How I don't I don't know if these have really like shot up. Is this one of the ones when you opened like a hundred boxes back then? Oh yeah, absolutely. This also had the um the trap card secret rare that I'm blanking on the name of the Storm Dragon or yeah, something. Yeah, Rising Ray. No, it wasn't. No, it's the name of the set. What is it? Storm Dragon's Return. Yeah, you're right. Yep, that's the one. So that I pulled that one. I never. I don't think I ever pulled the Marin Society. Did you I pull Opelosa? No, I had to oh, buy it. It's like $2,000 now. I have it. I had to buy it though. It was cheaper then. Yeah. Marin Seahorse, I don't think was a very big one at the time. I know Storm Dragon's Return was the cheapest when I pulled it. And I think Marin Seahorse was right above it. And I think something's telling me it was like right around 400. Because, hmm. 
Yeah, I think I think that's probably right. I doubt that it's gone up unless Marincess is seeing play for some reason in like a new deck. Let's trust me. I I'm gonna go 400 on the Marincess Seahorse. I let's get a wacky number in there so I can see if I can hit it on the nose. I'm gonna go with 400 and... $14. $414 from the Marincess Seahorse. All right. This card is $280. What? How is it going down? So the Storm Dragons returns all the way down to like $50 or $60 or something. No, I actually, it might be like $100 now. This one, I think, also went down. But then the Opelosa went the other way and went way up. So I guess because this isn't really being used and it's not very good, I guess. And it's not, I guess, collectible for the most part, unless you're collecting all the Starlights. It's like, you're not really collecting Marincess, I guess. I get, that's my guess. I don't really know. That blows my mind because this is the first set that had Starlights. In right, the yeah. US. It's 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 literally one of the first Starlights. It's one of four. Wow, okay. But that's this one being dropped. No big deal. We're cutting it out. Yeah, not, Jesus. Nothing to worry about. Hey, that's your third tier three. So you may or may not even have another one at this point. So you, unless it's the bonus one, you don't have another tier three. Okay, question seven. Rebound question coming up. Cyber Jar Ultimate Rare First Edition from Duelist Pack Kaiba. Oh, this one's not very expensive. Uh, Duelist Pack Kaiba is a cool set, but it's not like super expensive cards in there. This one also had like the Ring of Destruction. It had, I think it had the... Um, Pot of Greed. Yeah, Pot of Greed, and it had two more, right? Because it was five. Yeah, Chaos Emperor and... Yeah, Chaos Emperor. Uh, Crush Card, I believe, was the fifth. This one, I don't remember being one of the top of that. And even still, it would have been under $100. I, I'm pretty sure Cyber Jar was a tier one card. So let's let's go off faith. Uh, I'm gonna go with $92 for Cyber Jar. All right, like, getting a little wacky with the numbers now. Get the random <laughs> stuff, trying to nail it on the head. I like it, I like the yeah. strategy. Okay, question seven. Was this your rebound question? It was. This card is $80. Oh, a little high. Okay, I shot a little too high. That's still good. I mean, that's a great guess. So you're up to two tier ones, two tier twos, three tier threes. That's going to really start mattering towards the end because you'll be able to like know for sure one of the last two is uh, whatever the actual one is. So question eight, nice comeback. Let's get onto that one and see if you can nail this one. We have the Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare First Edition from Force of the Breaker. Okay, uh, this is kind of like a nothing burger card to me. Uh, I I don't know a whole lot about it. I have it and Force of the Breaker is kind of a bad set. Force of the Breaker is the one that I think also had the Crystal Beast Ultimate uh -huh. Rares. Yep, which yeah. not many people really care about. This card I know had to be towards the bottom. I don't think Volcanic Doomfire was a big one in that set. I think the Crystal Beast, what's the big Crystal Beast? The Pegasus one, I think. Yeah, Sapphire Pegasus. One. That was only like a $70 card. So this guy's gotta be much less. I'm gonna go with like $24 for Volcanic Doomfire. So ultimate rare first edition from a 2007 set. You want to go $24. It was very cheap. Unless things have skyrocketed, Force of the Breaker was really cheap when I got it a couple years ago. I'm just double checking. You want to lock in 24 bucks. You know what? I'm going to add $10 since you since you gave me the attitude. I'm you're going gonna get, $34. You're going to give me the, the rucks in 34 That's what you're going to do? Yeah, we're going $34 <laughs> on Volcanic Doomfire. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be cheap. Uh, okay. All right. You asked for it. The Volcanic Doomfire. Ultimate Rare First Edition. This card is $183. <laughs> what happened to this set? What? I mean, it's the cover card. It's got to be worth something. <laughs> but There's yeah, it is. No it's, way. it's an awful card. It's actually really hard to find. I've always wanted one of these. Don't ask me why I want it. I think it just looks cool. But getting the first edition Ultimate Rare, like actually near mint, is like really hard to find for this card. That blows my fucking mind. <laughs> it's like crazy. 24 bucks. This card sucks. I think the Crystal Beasts have gone up a lot too because of the uh battles of legend crystal revenge as well so that that could have just influenced the whole set but this being so old at this point it, it's probably like the worst gx set but it's still like it's old so people are gonna buy it but yeah wow Hey, you went $10 up. That works. Okay, we'll take it. Last two questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just pretend like that one didn't happen. No big deal. Hey, you still haven't missed one that bad. We've had a lot worse. We've got two questions left. So far, review, you've had three tier two, three tier three. That means the last two, one of them is guaranteed to be tier one. Keep that in mind. The other one's completely random. I'm going to ask you both of these at the same time. 
Okay, I'm ready. Question nine, we have Elemental Hero Bubble Man Ultimate Rare First Edition from Cybernetic Revolution. And number 10, Graceful Charity Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Cool, so this one's easy. Uh, the Graceful Charity's Tier 1, Bubble Man's Tier 3. Bubble Man is really hard to find in good condition. So Bubble Man is absolutely the... Uh, the the tier three in this one. Keep in mind, you do have your swap question if you do want to do that. No, I think I know Bubble Man. Cybernetic Revolution's an older set that was really hard to find. This one also had like the Cyber and Dragon and all that. Mm -hmm. I think Bubble Man was like somewhere in the 300 range. Graceful Charity, I remember being, I think in like in the $20 range. So let's, right, I'm coming rapid fire here. Graceful Charity, <laughs> I'm going to lock in a $26 price tag on that puppy. Okay. And then for Bubble Man, I'm just going to I don't think it was more than 300. I really don't. But maybe it was. Because Bubble Man's also pretty rare in another set as well. It's one of the um, old G GX collector sets that I can't remember the name of, but it also oh, had like the, a... Oh, the G Secret Rare one? Is that the one you're yeah, talking about? the Secret all... Rare one. Yeah, it's like a promo, but it's really hard to find that product. Yeah, I think Bubble Man just in general is a pretty tough one. In this set, I know he was a, a big boy. Let's go a little higher than 300. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Are you going with or against your gut right here? That's the I'm question. I'm going kind of against it because I oh, feel like it's to the 300. Changing strategies. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, maybe it's more now, a couple years later. So let's let's account for that. Let's go with like a $448 on Bubble Man. Okay, so you, you were saying, okay, this thing's probably not over 300. Then you decide to go against your gut and go an extra $150? Yeah, because... Uh, if Volcanic Doomfire is somehow already that much in, in Bubble Volcanic Man, Doomfire I, is throwing you off, isn't it? <laughs> that's really, yeah, that's that's shaking my confidence. Well, okay, here's the difference between those two cards. Volcanic Doomfire is the cover card, and it's an ultra in the set. And then Bubble Man is just a rare in the set. So there's a pretty big difference between those two. I just remember Bubble Man, he's one of the top five in that set, because I remember that one was kind of hard for me to actually get when I was looking yeah. for it. And that was a couple of years ago, so I imagine it's even more difficult now. Maybe it's not, though. Maybe you're trying to tell me something. Uh, you know, I, I could be, could not. Who knows? Maybe you're trying to transmit a little information through the ether. Let's let's bring it down. Let's go with like 373 on Bubble Man. 373. All right. You're ready to confirm those answers? Yeah, I'm confirming them. Run it. So you didn't use your swap. That's okay. You didn't need. It. At least you think you didn't need it. <laughs> Question Hopefully. number nine. We have the Bubble Man Ultimate Rare First Edition. I'm going to save that one for last because that was the one you think is a bigger number. Graceful Charity Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World. You said 26 bucks? Yep. This card's $39. Oh my so, God. So <laughs> very close. You're very close. You're in the ballpark. You are in the correct tier. Now we go to the Bubble Man, the one where you're all over the map on this one. You know it's rare. You know it's hard to find. This card is you said 373 dollars mm -hmm. this actual price is 228 dollars how is this possible what is happening <laughs> where are they finding these extra inventory of like <laughs> near mint bubble man Ultimate i rares? think they traded them for the volcanic doom fires i think that's what happened they're how almost this, the same price how is this happening <laughs> what, what in the world okay but honestly not too bad now we got to figure out how well you did we got to do a little math here but we're going to come back and see how you did compared to everyone else. All right, that sounds good. Are you ready for the reveal of how you did, Charlie? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm a little disappointed in my performance. I thought I'd do better. Look, I thought you did really well, especially considering you bought all these cards like two years ago. So it's like really hard to keep up when you haven't checked them in like two years for the most part. I was really worried in that first question, though, when you were like one one dollar away. I was like, oh, no, <laughs> has he been studying or something? OK, yeah. let's just see how you did. So overall, your total value of your 10 cards was one thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars. OK. You were off by a total of $606, but you got seven tiers correct, so we get to take that out. You were off by a total of 536 when you consider that. That puts you at 28.62% off. You win $50 for the viewers, claps. Okay, okay. And you are also, look, you beat Rhyme Style and you beat Farfa, so not a bad performance. We'll, hey, we'll take, take it. That. We'll That's take not that. bad at all for, I mean, look, Two years ago, it's been a long time. Solid performance. Mm -hmm. Also, you had kind of a lower number. Sometimes they go up into like the 2200s in terms of your total value. So it makes it a little bit less margin for error. So still not a bad performance. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you got anything else you want to say before you hop out? No, thank you for having me on. This was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll come back at some point in the future and be a little more accurate. I'll, I'll 
study a bit more. <laughs> you'll you'll you'll, uh, you'll get in the books, you know. Start start yeah. uh, start dusting off those old uh, TCG player prices. Not bad. If you guys want to enter the giveaway for the money that that Charlie just won, you guys make sure to like the video, be subscribed, and let Charlie know below that he did it awesome. Or maybe you don't want to say he did awesome. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys can decide. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to check out Charlie. I'm sure you already know who he is. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> like, this card sucks <laughs> that was unlucky <laughs> that was tragic i liked how confident you were that was the best part josh schmidt is a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player with three Yu-Gi-Oh championship series wins he is also known for making youtube videos about the current meta and for his twitch stream where his chat makes fun of him for not knowing Yu-Gi-Oh prices today we find out if he does in fact know his Yu-Gi-Oh prices welcome back to guess that price i believe we're on episode 16 at this point which is a lot of episodes and today we have josh a professional Yu-Gi-Oh player that also does content. So uh, we're gonna see if professional Yu-Gi-Oh players really know anything about card prices. Uh, how are you feeling today, Josh? I'm feeling great. I'm excited. Uh, I I do have to tell you beforehand that we do we do watch these on stream every once in a while. And when I compare myself to the people on here, <laughs> I don't always do that well. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, you know a, a running gag on my stream how bad I am with card prices. As much as I you know know how to play with these cards, I don't really know how to you know uh, do the do the investments and all that type of stuff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, that sounds great for my wall. It sounds terrible <laughs> for the viewers. But if you're a viewer, you just got to root for Josh. Maybe today's the day. He really gets it together and gets all the prices right. I'm not going to lie. I was putting this quiz together. I tried not to do duplicates. We're getting into some really niche stuff. Oh, so gosh. good luck with this quiz. Oh, it might God. be difficult. Are you ready to get into question one? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's get it over with. <laughs> kind of ready. Let's do it. All right. Question one. A very new card. The Baron de Floor Collector mm. Rare First Edition from Maze of Memory. So it's pretty recent. I don't know if you've checked recently, but it hasn't been out that long. So maybe you know the price. Yeah. It's like I, I was hoping I was hoping that you would give me more like meta relevant recent kind of stuff because i've never been much of a you know collector yeah sadly actually i wish i kept some of those you know cool cards from back in the day as like a collectible but i didn't yeah i remember checking this one eu prices shortly after oh it yeah came you out. also have the uh, the whole issue with being in a different country I, so that's gonna make it even harder <laughs> i think that's what's gonna cost me like a couple you know bucks off on on some of these cards i i don't exactly know where this one is right now i remember this one being definitely over a hundred in in eu uh when i checked it the last time which is like a reasonable thing for it to be at i don't see this card being under a hundred so this is this is tier two then right is i'll go i'll go over the tiers mm -hmm. again it's zero to a hundred yeah. for tier one 101 to 250 for tier two and then 251 plus for tier three so i'm i'm pretty sure this is a tier two card then i I think it's around the 150 mark in, in Europe, at least like, you know, shortly after release, which is like a week ago or something. Maybe I checked it like one and a half weeks ago. I don't exactly remember. But since they're never like, you know, 150 on the dot, I'm just going to say I'm always going to pick like arbitrary numbers. Uh, it's like I'm, I'm going to say it's 152. OK, $152 on your first guess. You're convert. Are you converting these in your mind to USD every time? Or are you just like trying to guess close to what you know? Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I just <laughs> I think that's the euro number, but I think they're close to each other. Honest, anyways. Yeah, so. they've they've gotten a lot closer where it's yeah. like the conversion rate. I, I remember when euro used to be way higher, just like a yeah, couple yeah, years yeah. ago. It's but not like that anymore. Okay, one hundred fifty-two dollars. Don't forget you have three lifelines as we go through. Mm -hmm. Uh, your worst one will get dropped, everything like that. So the first question: Baron de Floor, Collector Rare, First Edition, Maze of Memories. You said tier two. Yeah, it is tier two. Nice. But okay, okay. it's two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty? Yes. <laughs> oh my god! It's not I'm that pretty sure that it's gone up because when I was looking this price up, the last I saw was like one hundred and ninety, and then I looked and the lowest was two fifty. Oh. So I guess people are buying this card, but it makes sense because it's a good card. But yeah, two fifty is pretty expensive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember that for future questions to always shoot a little bit higher, maybe. Okay. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of comments where people are like, "It's not that much in Europe," and I'm like, "Well, I'm not in Europe, so yeah. I don't know what to tell." <laughs> All right. Question one. Not the worst. It's getting dropped at the moment because it's your worst guess because it's your only guess. But we'll go to question number two. See if you can redeem yourself a little bit there. It's the Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, Starlight Rare First Edition from Photon Hypernova. I am 99% sure that this is a tier three card. I don't know exactly how high I need to go because I feel like, like the first number that popped up in my head is around 400, which I think I 
saw this being sold for 400 at some point. Once again, I think that's EU prices I have in my mind. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's like the right ballpark somewhat. Like maybe it could be like 350. It could be 450. I can't really see it being that much higher but branded is a very popular deck so i think it's one of those starlight rares that's definitely like on the on the higher end so i do think this i'm i'm, I'm definitely gonna put this into tier three your gut went straight to 400 see have you like looked this price up or like is that just like i you just feel like it should be 400 i think we've talked about it on stream at some point like weeks ago and then we checked it yeah. and i think it was around 400 just like you know every once in a while on stream i'm like yo how much is that card by the way when like someone shows it in a deck profile or something and then yeah I, I, and i think i remember it being in the ballpark of 400 now once again that was the eu price so i'm wondering if i should you know shoot a little bit higher than that or if i'm if i'm good like that i don't know exactly i think that's a price that makes sense somewhere around the 350 to 400 for this it's like because it's yeah. relatively new like if it was older and branded was still relevant then it'd probably go even higher than that right i'm wondering if i should just guess or if i should use a lifeline to make sure i don't like bomb it completely because like on the starlights on the tier threes you can really you know you can really do a lot wrong true you true yeah so it depends on how confident you are in your gut because you did say you looked it up at some point if you want to use one on something that you you might want to save it you know in the future if you think there's one you have no idea or maybe you just want to lock this one in and get a great guess it's up to you <laughs> well chances are there will be something where i have no idea oh there is oh okay <laughs> based <laughs> well, on this okay, quiz then... I, there probably is <laughs> <laughs> then i i am pretty confident that it was around 400 when i looked it up maybe a little bit lower than that so i'm just gonna say let me say 397 on this one. 397. So you want to go with the arbitrary number. You're not feeling like going the exact number, right? It's never flat, uh, the 100. No shot. Yeah, it's never the flat. It's no. never the flat 100. Okay, so you, are you ready? Yeah. You're, you're locked in. You're 100% you're sure. <laughs> you don't ask me like that. <laughs> I just want you to, I just want to be sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm locking in. I'm locking it in. Okay. All right. All right. Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, Starlight Rare First Edition for Photon Hibernova. Josh says they're never the flat number. Oh, God. He dude. said 400 was his gut. Is it 400? But he guessed 397. It's $400. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> you, were saying, you were talking about flat. 400 they the never the flat time. number. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe it was like... Uh, it's never the flat number. But either way, you're still three away. I mean, you almost got the $25 credit, which would have been insane, but you still get the 10 and you're only three off, so you really made money back on that one. That's still pretty good. You're going to need all that money. It still feels like I lost. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you lost because you were so close. Yeah. But honestly, a really, really good round for a tier three. Yeah. You just locked in a profit on a tier three. Yeah. So that's really good. All right. Question number three. One average guess and one great guess. Now you're on to the third question. I feel like those two were probably your best chance of getting them right. Uh -oh. If you are more of a meta guy, you know, a, a competitive player. But we'll see. Maybe you know some of this stuff. The third question is Elemental Hero Lady Heat Secret Rare from Premium Pack too i do think i know that this is the one of those that's like normally a super rare right premium pack too yeah they had some that were super some that were secrets as well yeah there were some where like it was i don't know how exactly it worked where like they were regular super rares but then very rarely you would get them as a secret rare yeah pr for a long time people thought they were errors but i think it was just how the set worked um for the most part but they were pretty rare right well they're harder a lot harder to pull than the supers okay i have no idea i have literally no <laughs> idea keep in mind you're gonna have three of each tier tier one tier two tier three and then a bonus one keep that in mind yeah no i have no idea i'm i if i had to give a well, blind guess i would say since this card is pretty bad maybe it's like a high tier one but i have no idea on how to confirm that so i'm trying to think if i use the i'm I'm gonna use a lifeline on this one because i don't know exactly how rare these were and maybe they're like this crazy collectible that's more expensive than i'm thinking but i'm thinking it's like a it's a bad card but it is relatively rare and relatively old so maybe it's like middle tier one high tier one which is like still a lot of money for like a card like this that basically has no like usage yeah there's a lifeline for that right okay so your three lifelines are you could i can tell you which tier you're in tier one two or three Mm -hmm. Or I could, you can pick a number and I it's lower or higher. I tell you if it's lower than that or higher than that. And then there's one where you completely replace this question with another question from the same tier. Tell me if this is higher or lower than 75. The lower or higher question of $75, the Elemental Hero Lady Heat Secret Rare is higher than $75. Okay, now I'm even more confused than before. Why <laughs> now, now you're like, is it like high tier one or is it like a $500 card? Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't have asked like that. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, people, people do that with the lower or higher. Sometimes it makes it worse when you know lower or higher. You know what? 
I will just go with my gut. And if it's like, if this card ends up being really, really expensive, I guess it's just going to be my worst guess. And it's just like, we're going to keep the Barone in <laughs> the Barone incident. But I'm just going to say this is high tier one. And I'll just say like higher than 75. So let's go with let's go with 92 92 okay so use the lifeline over 75 it just made you more confused but you ended up sticking with the same exact thing that you said before you used the lifeline which was higher tier one let's see if it paid off on your third question elemental hero lady heat secret rare for premium pack two you guessed 92 mm -hmm. it's 99 dollars. oh okay nice <laughs> you had it the whole time you were on track you're like yeah i think this is probably it feels like it would probably be a higher tier one yeah. and then you were like Oh, or is it 500 bucks? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it, it threw me off the fact I, I should have just asked for the tier, but there's still a lot of money. 99 for, for this card. That's uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, I guess it is yeah. a hero. I was a little bit surprised when I saw this. I was uh -huh. like, this is very expensive. I guess this is the elemental hero slash lady is uh, really helping it out. Yeah. But still, yeah, great guess. You're making money on the last two. We're a third of the way in. You've already made money on two of them. So not bad. Let's go to question four. Breath of Light, super rare, oh, limited God. edition, oh. Duelist League promo. God damn it. I've seen this card like once in my life. What do you mean? <laughs> I saw this as I was going through and I was like, I got to ask this question. <laughs> no, you didn't, have to. Is, you didn't have to do that. No one forced you to do that. Well, how am I supposed to know? Hey, you have lifelines, so you're safe there. You could always swap this out and not even have to guess this one. Yeah, I, I need to swap this one out. I have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> I have, like, nah. Are you actually saying you want to swap it oh, out? Yeah, or I'm you swapping. Thinking? I was waiting for Okay, the next okay. One. I was like, oh, are we thinking or what? Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. No, I have we no are clue using the card. lifeline. We are swapping this one out. I thought you were like casually, like, yeah, I should probably swap this one out. And then you started thinking. And then we just sat there for like 10 seconds. So I was like, okay. All right. We are officially using our second lifeline. We are not going to answer this question. First of all, give me a guess on what you would have said on this one. I can tell you what it is later. There's a world where this is expensive, I, but I have no idea. So I'm just going to say, like, I don't know, 175. I, I, Oh, no. Okay, 175. All right, we'll lock that in. You're at 175 guests. Doesn't count anyway, but yeah. it's just for fun. Keep in mind, that would be tier two. Yeah. Like if this next one is the same tier, if you're right about that, then this one is also. So that could help you out with this next question. Let me get the replacement here. Your replacement question is the Ancient Fairy Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition from Ancient Prophecy. So that means that breath card was definitely not cheap or does it i don't know how much is ancient fairy worth? well it's not cheap <laughs> i don't know exactly how <laughs> expensive it is i'm not i'm i'm i'm, I'm like the, the one thing I'll, i'm gonna need to figure out for myself is whether this card is tier two or tier three because it's definitely at least tier two there's no way you find the first edition ultimate rare ancient fairy dragon for for like tier one money there's no shot so like the the breath was probably up there my God is telling me that ultimate rare fairy dragon then might even creep into tier three. It's not, I don't think it's the highest rarity of ancient fairy. Like people consider the ghost rare higher, even though I think there's an argument to be made that the ultimate rare looks better. Well, some people prefer, but it's definitely not rarer than the ghost rare. <laughs> so I think it's like at least 200, but it might creep into tier three, but I'm not sure how okay. confident I am on that. So we're looking at like a 200 to low tier three ballpark is what you're thinking. That's about. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Based on the fact that I don't really know whether the, the spell card before that was in tier two or three, three, but I would rather put it into tier two somewhere. I'm also going to throw the ancient fairy, I think into tier two, but I'm going to, I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit and go a little bit higher in tier two, just in case it's in tier three. So it might not be a complete disaster. So I think I'm going to throw the ancient fairy dragon at a, at a 249. 249. You're throwing it right at the edge of tier two okay you confident in that you ready to go somewhat confident but we have to get it done you know okay question four so this has been an eventful question because we started off with a card that i've never really heard of you've <laughs> never heard of it you swapped it out i've got good news and i've got bad news for this one. Oh god okay the bad news is the breath of light super rare is 180 dollars, and you guessed 175 okay but that's yeah okay i see the good news now so the good news is the ancient fairy dragon ultimate rare first edition is 236 dollars well, that's pretty good so you're only 13 off you're in the right tier yeah. so you had your 
bets correctly, putting in the right tier. So you really were only off three after your $10 credit. You would have been better to use the breath, but at the same time, not that much better. You did pretty like, good uh, on both of them. There was no way I could have just locked that in. I had no idea on that. I was like, wow, 175. He almost <laughs> nailed it by accident. <laughs> okay, but still three in a row, you've kind of crushed, but you are only down to one lifeline. Yep. You do still have one that could get dropped, but you want to drop the Baron if possible. Yep. We're going to have to see what happens. Six more questions. Let's get to question five, the midway point. The Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare First Edition from Dimension of Chaos. This is a weird one. I've seen it before. <laughs> That's the good news. You have seen this card. Yeah. Now, the weird thing is, in my mind, ghost rares are like this super expensive rarity where every time, like, you know, a main set ghost rare, I just automatically assume it's very expensive. However, the mention of chaos is one of the, when we're speaking timeline of main set ghost rares, I think this is one of the newer ones. This is the last ghost rare or, or main set with a ghost rare until they brought him back. So it was like 2015. It's not that old and it's also not as iconic as like you know any of the signer dragons you know it's not like it's not a stardust or ancient fairy or whatever like if it was one of those i know those are tier three cards as of right now you have had two tier two one tier one one tier three this is my problem right now because i'm i'm starting to metagame in my head and i'm like do you really give yeah. me the third tier two i don't know would i have done that yeah, Who knows? see that's my problem because that's where i would put this if if this was the first question i'd be like this is a tier two card no way it's anything else yeah that's not how my mind works when we're on question number five and if i've already had two tier two cards <laughs> this is where the professional Yu-Gi-Oh player comes see in let's how, see if it works out you see how that'd be a problem because i don't know if you just randomize <laughs> these or if you actually, uh, you know, uh, because if this was a tier two, I would know for the remaining for the remaining ones that they are not tier two. Well, you would know that there could be one more tier two. Like in theory, I could have the fourth one as a tier two. Can that be at any point in the quiz? I could do it at any point. It doesn't have to be at the end. I could, I've never done that before. I'll tell you that. So uh, this would be the first time, Oh God. but I'm just letting you know. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't think this is the tier two. I'm going to metagame you. I don't think this is the tier two. The problem okay. is that leads me to another problem because I can't really <laughs> imagine this card being a tier three, but I also can't imagine it being a tier one. <laughs> So I'm really yeah, the problem a, I, with I'm that a, is if you if you avoid tier two, you're like if you pick the wrong one, you're pretty far off because you're you know pick three. Off. You could hedge your bets, go in tier two and just get in the middle, or you could go you know go for the gusto and go pick which one you think it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna either say 99 or 251. All right, you've decided that you're going for the gusto. Which one are you picking? Let us know which one. 251. 251 dollars. You're locking it in. Oh, you're very quiet. I don't like that. You don't seem too certain about this. I am not very certain about this. Okay. You've given yourself two <laughs> options, so I guess you just got to pick one. Yeah. Unless you want to use the tier, which could, you know, tell okay, you okay. To which one to am pick. Am I allowed? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating if I do that now. If you do what? Ask for the tier? Yeah. Well, you didn't lock it in. Why oh, didn't? I felt like I did. Okay, well. All right. Well, do you want to lock it in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got to make a decision, man. Okay, tell me the tier. Tell me the tier, rip my okay, lifeline. Okay, you're using the lifeline, are you sure? I am using the lifeline. All right, the last and final lifeline. This is the fastest we've used all the lifelines before, but you're having a good quiz, so it's a good decision, I think, because this one is in tier one. Oh, God damn it. That's, that's, that's not very expensive. Well, then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw something higher end of, of tier one at you. Just like random number that pops up in my mind. 84. 84 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Eight, four dollars. So you abandoned your uh, your $99. Well, now that I don't 84. know, I, I was the, the 99 was to hedge as close as possible to tier two. But yeah, it makes sense. Okay, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare First Edition Dimension of Chaos. You almost said 251, yep. but not quite. This card is $95. Okay. So you walked away from your, your 99 would have been a great guess. I, was, yeah, I thought you were going to guess that for a long time, but that's okay. Still a great guess. You're still looking good, but now you're on your own. There's no oh, lifelines. No. You just got to dominate the rest of the way. Don't worry. These are all easy cards the rest of the way. No big deal. You got this. <laughs> all right. So you have two tier one, two tier tier, one tier three. On to question number six. That's the halfway point. No more lifelines. Let's see what number six is. Dark the Dark Charmer, Gloomy, Starlight Rare, First Edition for Battles of Chaos. <laughs> I have one of these. Hey. Oh. I do have oh. one of these. It's one of like the two Starlight Rares I own. Okay, that's a good sign. Do you know the price? <laughs> I 
picked it up once again this is euro prices i picked it up a, a long time ago for around 250 i think which i know that's it is it's more now because I've, I've i've looked back into it i know that by euro prices once again i've looked it up a couple weeks ago this is between four and five hundred in 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 europe i'm like 99 percent sure that's the ballpark we're in if we're talking euro i know there's a lot of hype surrounding some of the charmers starlights in the us like some of them are like unreasonably expensive like the uh i think area win kita some of them i don't know exactly which ones but some of them are apparently like super expensive yeah i am just trying to pinpoint where exactly between four and five hundred i go if i go higher end or lower end I'm pretty sure for Europe, it's like maybe it's around like the 410, the 420. So maybe if I'm, I, I tend to guess a little bit lower than I should, I think for US prices, except for the, except for the Scarlet. We don't talk about that. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to throw like a 4, 4.35. At you. 435. All right. No, I can't I can't say you want to use a lifeline because you're out. So yep. at this point, it's are we 100 percent sure we're going in? You want to hear the answer? Yes, I want to hear the answer. OK, Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy Starlight Rare First Edition for Battles of Chaos. So you own this card. I do. I've got two things of bad news for you. It's only three hundred fifty five dollars. Okay. So uh, your card is now not worth as much as you thought. <laughs> and you're eighty dollars off. So it's a double way of me. But no, 80 bucks. You're actually better than the Baron. Yeah. You're in the right tier. So it's really terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, actually. It's pretty solid. That. I can live with that. You had a ballpark idea. I mean, it could be a lot worse, especially tier threes. You know, they yeah. can go wonky. So that's OK. Not the worst thing ever. Let's go to question seven. Let's see if you know this one. Dimensional Fissure, super rare from Champion Pack 8. This is this is way too old and rare of a card. Like Champion Pack supers are are crazy. Like when I've, I, 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 I don't remember ever looking at a Champion Pack super rare's price and being like, yeah, this is reasonable. Like it's never happened before. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, this is like, uh, maybe I'd actually buy you know, this. No, <laughs> every once in a while I look at these cards, I, get, I feel nostalgic about them. I go online, I check the price and I'm like, you know what? I don't miss it that that badly you know yeah. <laughs> i don't need to have it that badly so i'm pretty sure dimensional fissure is no exception to that now i don't remember the last time i ever checked this price like i don't know i, I can't get any more help so i know this is at least tier two and if even if it is tier two i would guess that it's relatively high up there like i could see this card being like around 200 easily i don't know if it can be more than that i could also see it being like 150 but i don't think i'm gonna guess lower than 150 there's like there's no work like in my mind there's no way this is less than 150 i don't want to shoot too high just in case i am wrong and it ends up being like 120 which it would shock me but it's not like you know completely un unheard of i think i'm leaning more towards the ballpark of like 200 because it wouldn't even surprise me if it ends up being like a 250 card or 230 or something so i'm just gonna hit you with a solid 200 no i'm gonna hit you with i was joking i'm, I'm gonna hit you with a hundred and ninety three one hundred and ninety three dollars for the dimensional fissure super rare champion pack eight okay you were all over the place with that you're like it could be 120 could be 250 yep. it's somewhere in there i will tell you that you were in the right range yeah okay but it's only $130. Oh, really? Okay, that that is one of the less outrageous prices for a champion pack super that I've seen. A lot of the time, champion pack supers are like 200 yeah. plus. So I see why you were in that range. Yeah. And I'm guessing, I really don't know why this is this is less <laughs> okay. because a lot of times they're 200, 300. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was thinking of like some like, you know, book of moons and bottomlesses that are like out of this world. And, you know, I, was, I yeah. felt like Fisher is like relevant enough in like old formats and nostalgia and whatnot that it might be, you know, but it, that's fine. I think champion pack eight might be a lot, might be easier, especially than champion pack one. That's really hard to find with like the book of moon. Oh, yeah. They, they are stuff. significantly older even yeah or yeah then uh, several years over those champion pack eights but not a terrible guess you're still doing fine that one's fine honestly on a good track we got three to go though that was your last tier three or tier two yep. plus maybe one more who knows i'm not going to tell you if that's the case or not but question eight let's see what this next one is going to give you and see if you know it elemental hero wild heart super rare unlimited from dark revelation 4 i i love a lot of those cards from dr4 but whenever i look at one at, at its price i'm like i really don't need it that badly because dr4 is like for some reason i don't actually remember the reason but for some reason i think those cards are super super rare and hard to find yeah the, it's a it's a weird set for sure compared to the other like dr1 through 3 where there was you know not as it's pretty pretty common compared to this uh you mean dr1 to 3 are pretty common compared 
compared to this? Yeah, could be yeah, Dark Revelation 1, 2, and 3, they seem to be more prevalent than Dark Revelation 4. I, I think there is no way that this is a tier 1 card, because it's a hero, it's DR4 super rare, which is very hard to find. Once again, if we didn't go through three tier 2s yet, I would probably put this in the high tier 2, but this makes me think it has to be a tier 3 card, which I don't think is... I, I can I can believe that. I can believe that. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I, 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 I can believe that for a DR4 hero super rare. So I'm going to throw it into tier three. I, I think I'm going to guess somewhere between 250 and 350. I don't know if I if there's anything I can do to get closer to a potential answer. Probably not. So I'm just going to I'm just going to throw a number at you. That's that pops up in my mind. 279. 279 dollars for the elemental hero wild heart. Super rare from Dark Revelation 4. OK, you're ready to hear the answer. Yep. You metagamed. You said this could this can't be tier two. And you were right. It's not tier two. This card is $100. It is $1 away from tier oh, two. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Okay, I'm being meta game while meta gaming. All right. <laughs> this is a this is a very uh this Dark Revelation 4 is really, really tough. Cause like some of the prices are outrageous. Yeah. There's really no reason to it. Yeah. So your reasoning for it being like a hero, rare set, it made sense, but didn't quite get to that price. Unfortunately. Okay, well. Unfortunately, but you are dropping that one. So now the Baron's in at $98 off minus the tier. So not terrible. If you can end with that being your worst, you're still going to do pretty good. All right. All right. Question number nine. You have the Exodia, the Forbidden One, Secret Rare from Dark Duel Stories. And then question 10 is the B-Skull Dragon, Super Rare from Tournament Pack 3. Oh, why does it have to be two really old ones? Oh, God damn. Okay. So DDS... Exodia, just to clarify, because I'm not 100% sure, but this is the same card, like the same, this is from a game, and it's the same exact yeah. game where you get the Blue Eyes from, right? Yeah, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician and Exodia are the three promos. Those are the three promos. Then they had a back. second wave with like the Pink Dragon and the Salamandra and stuff, but this was all in the first wave. Okay, so I am, um, in that case, I'm pretty sure that this one is a tier three card. Of course, the Beast Skull Dragon might also be, we're going to get around to that in a little bit, but the Exodia, I, I know that the DDS is very expensive the blue eyes at least and i don't really see a reason why the exodia wouldn't also be expensive because i i've seen these blue eyes go for like pretty good money i don't remember the exact ballpark though i, I, I yeah I, I can't really it's also been a couple of years since i've been you know confronted with one of these but i know that the blue eyes was always like money I, like I, I think even years ago the blue eyes was already like 200s or something so i'm i'm guessing since they only get older the beast skull dragon on the other on the other hand is a problem because i have no idea <laughs> on the black skull dragon now i know tournament pack three is super super old like probably like 2000 and four ish i think maybe even 2003 yeah so like super super old definitely very hard to find because i know like i mean tournament pack ultras from way back in the day already go for a lot of money and the super rares i think are no exception but the the beast skull if i had to guess probably somewhere in tier two and the exodia somewhere in tier three now the I, I i think those guesses but where yeah they i think where exactly this has kind of been the problem today in general <laughs> <laughs> you've been in the ballpark for pretty much all of them except you just for, the, nailed except some for of the, them. Uh, the scarlight and the wild heart I guess. Uh, yeah <laughs> hey you were you were used your used your lifeline so it worked <laughs> yeah okay the exodia i'm pretty sure is tier three and uh once again i'm metagaming because the two tier threes we had so far where 350 and 400 so we haven't had like a super high we have not had a super high uh tier three yet so i'm gonna just guess that this one is like around 500 so i'm gonna throw at you a 500 56 okay 556 <laughs> it's just arbitrary numbers i'm really talking I'm talking myself into, into just throwing arbitrary numbers at you. It's yeah. You're talking a lot and then you're just making up a number. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not trying to sound super, you know, just like guessing, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, yeah. For the beast skull dragon, I'm going to, um, my gut tells me this is tier two. Cause I, I, yeah, I can't imagine anyone paying over 250 for that, even though it is a very old and, and, and rare card and cool card from the anime, which is why I'm going to assign it something in, in tier two, which is still a lot of money for such a card. I'm just going to say a hundred and a hundred and forty seven. And this is final because I really have no reason to. <laughs> I can't find anything else. <laughs> nothing to fall back yeah, on. There's You're nothing just I can like use to second guess or anything. I'm just going to say this is final and this might have just ruined the entire game or maybe it's 
maybe it's okay. I don't know. Well, you tell me. Okay, Josh, I once again have good news and bad uh, news. Well, okay, there is good news. Which do you want first? Give me, give me the bad news first. In that case, we'll be talking about the Exodia. Oh, really? Yes. But don't tell me. It's, it's a tier three. Please tell me that. Okay. So you are in the correct tier. Okay. But you metagamed yourself out of the right area oh, okay. because you went based on my other tier threes, yeah. which when I made this quiz, I was like, all these tier threes are in the same ballpark, but I'm going to leave it that way just okay. to like, you know, see if they know it. So this one is not $556. It's only $370. Is that my worst one so far then? Uh, I think so. Uh, okay, well. But there is good news. Ooh. The Beast Skull Dragon. Ooh. You basically nailed it. It's $150. Wait, what did I say? You said 147. Oh, it's never. Why is it the flat number every time today? <laughs> yeah, it's not usually flat numbers, but in this one, there's a there's like three or four that had flat numbers. Why would actually. you do that to me? It's never the flat number. Okay, well. <laughs> I, I don't pick the prices. I just look them <laughs> up. It's not me. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty happy about the Beast Skull. Honestly, not having a lifeline for these last five. I'm not too upset about these. I'm not too upset about no, the No, you last actually five. did pretty well for the last five yeah. we're gonna have to calculate see exactly how you did but honestly it feels like you did pretty well i maybe that's just a feeling but we're about to check right now and see exactly where you fall with everybody else i'm happy I, i'm happy that i didn't completely fumble the back that's already enough for me although it's always, as long as <laughs> chat can't make fun of me like completely for making last place i'm, I'm walking out of this uh, happy oh you definitely didn't get last place chat <laughs> is gonna be is gonna be blown away by how well you did i hope at least <laughs> All right, Josh, are you ready to hear how you did? Hit me with it. So the final numbers, your total quiz was $2,185 total. Mm -hmm. You were off by $449, uh. but you hit nine out of 10 tiers, which is pretty impressive. So you get to subtract 90 out of that. So you're at $359 off, which if you divide that into 2,185, you are 16.43% off. You're like right smack dab in the middle okay. in terms of performance compared to a lot of other people. So chat will not be making fun of you. <laughs> you're completely average at knowing guess, guessing prices and stuff like that. That's all right. I can live with that. Hey, that was fun. That was fun and I didn't completely mess it up. So so that's, that's, that's a win in my book. I'm happy with that. You did pretty well and it was a little bit different. You saw your, your lifelines early, which was fun. And uh, you actually got really close and almost nailed like two or three of them, which was pretty awesome. So uh, Josh, thanks again for being on it. It's been really, really fun. Uh, and uh, good luck in your future, you know, professional endeavors. Hopefully you get some more wins, uh, you know, pull out some YCS and some world stuff like that. Hey, well, I'll try. Thank you for having me. That was very fun. I really enjoyed that. Hey. All right. Make sure you guys go check out Josh on Twitch and YouTube. He's streaming there. He's posting videos, stuff like that. If you want to follow him in the future, go check it out. You guys can win. Uh, I think it's what? A hundred bucks, hundred bucks for the giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below how Josh did and who else you want to see on the series. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.